The first thing I did after crossing over was to sell my 80-year lifespan, and then I pondered whether I should go for beauties or territories. No, no, only children make choices. I want them all. It's all because I gained the lifespan control system after crossing over to the world of high martial arts. By sacrificing one's own lifespan, one can evolve all abilities. The lost lifespan can be replenished by plundering other creatures. At this moment, a burst of system sound brought me back to reality. The sacrifice is complete. Remaining lifespan, 1 year, secondary. Sea level thunder technique evolution B level heavenly thunderfall. I flipped my palm and moved my mind slightly, and saw pale lightning surging from the palm. Soon the whole palm was covered with lightning. Among them, an inconspicuous purple lightning snake surged back and forth. I was delighted in my heart. With my current 4th grade strength and the thunderfall, I have the power to fight against a 5th grade warrior. After a while, I withdrew the lightning but had a worried expression on my face, no longer smiling. Because the biggest problem now is that I only have one year of life left, and I need to quickly plunder the life of other creatures to make up for the loss. However, not all lives are useful. Only the lifespan of warriors or demons can be plundered. This is a challenging task. On the morning of the second day, I woke up from the dormitory and walked to the classroom. Just returned to my seat. Immediately, a boy rushed over and hugged my shoulder, asking why I was so late today. I looked up at this familiar boy and searched my memory for him. Zhao Huilin my best friend since childhood. After chatting for a while, the homeroom teacher, Shen Dan, walked into the classroom. Immediately, I straightened up and looked towards the podium. Just by intuition, I knew that this person had considerable strength, at least a martial artist of rank 8 or above. Definitely not someone I could challenge now. Shen Huan stood on the podium and cleared his throat, saying that the freshman hunting competition would be held in three days. He hoped that everyone would sign up on time. The prizes for the hunting competition were also very rich. Upon hearing this, I was overjoyed. This was great news because I was worried about where to take the lives of my target creatures. This competition was tailor-made for me. Shen Huan explained the competition rules and precautions of the hunting competition again, and then left the classroom. Then Zhao Huilin walked over. What are you thinking? I came back to my senses. It's nothing. How about we team up? Then we can take care of each other. Zhao Huilin looked at me with a furrowed brow. Can this also work? I am not aware of this illegal teaming. Of course it can but we have to use some means. The Crimson Rainbow Domain is a bit far from the school, so we can only enter through the teleportation array. Inside, it is divided into four major areas based on the level of the Warcraft, namely, Zone C, Zone B, Zone A, and Zone S, Restricted Area. We will be teleported to Zone C at the beginning. Just wait for me in place. Zhao Huilin looked proud, as if I was his little brother. Well, I agreed to face this unfamiliar world. After all, it is safer to act together. Okay, that's settled. Zhao Huilin snapped his fingers and returned to his seat. Two days passed quietly, and the mobilization meeting before the freshman hunting competition was held as scheduled. We just arrived outside the playground and saw a scene of bustling voices. Wow, it's so lively here. Today, all the freshmen will register here. It's quite lively. Hurry up and go in. The class teacher has been urging in the group. Zhao Huilin glanced at his phone, feeling a bit urgent. The first class is located on the outermost part of the playground, and our class, class 15, is positioned closer to the inside, requiring us to pass through the crowd. While passing by the first class, a strong and imposing male student suddenly rushed from the side, almost failing to stop his bike and crashing into me. Zhang Liang's legs suddenly exerted force, barely stabilizing his body. You are stupid, blind. I got angry when I saw the other person's arrogant look. Hurry up and reincarnate. No one is stopping you. Zhang Liang looked at me coldly and evaluated me. Is this kid in the same class? When he found out that I was just a fourth grade warrior, his eyes darkened with anger and he said, Are you looking for death? Class 1 is the most highly anticipated class in the whole school. Students who can enter class 1 are either incredibly powerful or come from influential families. So the people in class 1 have always been arrogant and domineering. Kid, do you know that you've kicked the iron plate? Zhang Liang's face looked fierce. The argument between the two parties attracted people nearby and those who watched the show would not mind the big deal. Surrounded by so many students, Zhao Huilin was unsure in his heart. Chun Yu, we can't afford to provoke this person. Let's go quickly. Looking at the aggressive Zhang Liang, he knew deeply that escaping from the grievance was the best decision. Do you want to leave? Did I promise you? Zhang Liang's playful eyes indicated that he wouldn't let me off easily. Come, accompany grandpa for a while. I want to see what kind of strength you, a fourth grade waste, have to challenge me. Without hesitation. Without any signs, Zhang Liang threw a punch, and his fist carried a whistling sound. In the next second, I saw my mind quickly calm down, 
and strands of lightning flickered in my right palm, among which the purple lightning snake was also mobilized. In an instant, the lightning was accumulated, and the fist carrying the lightning exploded and blasted out. Immediately, a loud noise erupted from the crowd, and two figures retreated at the same time. Zhang Liang took three steps back, and I took ten steps back before stabilizing my body after running several times. The lightning in my right hand is weak, and the purple thunder snake in it is nowhere to be seen. My whole arm is slightly painful, while Zhang Liang, who is unharmed, has a more intense look of shock on his face than anyone else. He used all his strength in that punch just now, but he couldn't even defeat a fourth grade warrior. This is a shame for him. People who know him nearby started teasing him, saying that if he can't handle a fourth grade warrior, he should quit our class. The mocking laughter around him grew louder and louder. In their eyes, the two conflicting parties are simply not on the same level, but the result is unexpected. Zhang Liang blushed immediately after hearing it. It is indeed unethical for him to bully a fourth grade warrior with his strength, and the most important thing is that he has not defeated the opponent, which seriously affects his prestige. Boy, I want to see how capable you are. A strong warrior's aura burst out from his body, indicating that he is about to get serious. Seeing this, Zhao Huilin was like an ant on a hot pan, jumping up and down in anxiety. Standing between the two, he pleaded softly, Classmate, forgive and forget. My friend knows he was wrong. Get out of here. Zhang Liang angrily waved his hand and forcefully pushed Zhao Huilin aside. With no one blocking him, Zhang Liang's speed increased. Don't participate in the hunting competition anymore. Go home and lie down for me. Then I clenched my teeth, narrowed my eyes, sank my body, and my eyes were like torches, showing no sign of fear, ready to face this terrifying blow. Even if I can't participate in this hunting competition, I can't lose face. Kid, you really dare. Zhang Liang's smile on his face became even more mocking, without any concealment of sarcasm, and then everyone's emotions were stirred up. Shout loudly and knock him down. In the eyes of these geniuses, I am like a monkey being played with, without any sympathy. Go to hell. Zhang Liang jumped up and violently swung his fist towards my head. Just as he was about to succeed, a sudden voice came from a distance. Zhang Liang's body was directly frozen in midair, unable to move forward at all. Today is the mobilization meeting for the hunting competition. Do you little brats want to rebel? The crowd felt palpitations. The voice was too intimidating. The power on Zhang Liang's body was instantly drained. The unbeatable attack just now quietly disintegrated. Looking at the fist only an inch away from my head, Sweat seeped from my forehead, the pressure in my heart suddenly decreased, and I took a deep breath. I followed the gaze of others towards the source of the sound, and a man walked slowly with a stern look, scanning everyone present. Everyone lowered their heads and shouted, Hello, Director Han. After I saw the person clearly, I also respectfully greeted him. Han Shuren, the director of teaching at Tianyun University, is here. He is nicknamed Iron Face Director, and no student dares to provoke him. Han Xiren walked to my side and glanced at Zhang Liang with the corner of his eye. The restraints on Zhang Liang disappeared in an instant, and his body regained freedom, falling from the air. In front of this important figure, he dared not continue to act recklessly. As a student, do you think it's fun to bully weaker classmates? Han Xiren coldly reprimanded. In front of this stern principal, Zhang Liang lost his previous momentum. He knew that if he angered Han Xiren and made him unhappy, it would be a small matter to involve parents or even get expelled all at the whim of the other party. He quickly lowered his head and apologized. Director Han, I was wrong. I shouldn't have bullied my classmates. Han Shiren ignored him and turned to me. He looked me up and down and said, you're such a reckless person. Then he turned around and left. With Han Shiren intervening, there was naturally no fight. Everyone spread out. Zhang Liang, who lost face, saw Han Shiren walking away. He threatened me in a low voice. Kid, you're lucky this time. Don't let me see you in the demon realm. Zhang Liang said something harsh and quickly walked away. The terrifying calmness in my eyes, the hatred between the two has been formed. Watching his departing figure, I secretly vowed in my heart that I must achieve top 10 in this hunting competition and fiercely slapped the faces of those self-proclaimed geniuses. Watching Han Xiren walk away, Zhao Huilin and I hurriedly ran towards the location of class 15, and then queued for half an hour to register. The next day, the teleportation hall of the school was bustling, and everyone was waiting here for teleportation. I stood with Zhao Huilin, and remember not to run around in Area C when you enter later. Find a safe place to wait for me first, Zhao Huilin whispered. I nodded imperceptibly and started teleporting. A voice came from the loudspeaker. Several teleportation portals opened simultaneously, and the students entered them one by one. I took the first step into the teleportation portal, and Zhao Huilin below gave me a signal with his eyes. It was surrounded by a powerful spatial vibration, 
causing a momentary confusion in my mind. When I opened my eyes again, I found myself in a different place. Instead of towering buildings, there were tall trees all around me. The air was filled with a natural wildness. This is the Crimson Rainbow Magic Domain, and it is where I am about to make my first fortune in life. However, I didn't rush to take action. I found a relatively hidden place and rested there. On the other hand, Zhao Huilin also completed the teleportation. He couldn't wait to take out the receiver to check my location. He found that our positions were less than 20 kilometers apart, and he felt slightly relieved. Run towards the direction of the signal transmitter and other students immediately take action in the magic domain. Starting to hunt down the surrounding monsters in order to gain points. Each monster has a magic core inside. Of course, it is impossible for first year students to hunt down ninth order monsters. Chun Yu, come out and help me. A familiar voice caught my attention. Then I walked out of the hidden bushes and looked around. I found Zhao Huili not far away. He was running towards me quickly. I wondered why this kid was so excited. But soon I knew the reason. In the next second, I saw two huge red monsters chasing after Zhao Huilin, about 10 meters behind him. I quickly learned the relevant information about these two Warcraft creatures from the Warcraft Compendium. Red Roar, a primate creature, has a fierce temperament and enjoys fighting. Based on the size and appearance of these two Red Roars, it can be roughly determined that they are fourth tier creatures. It's a bit difficult. Can you hold one for me while I kill the other one and then help you? Zhao Huilin knows that it's difficult for me to kill a fourth order Crimson Roar. I just hope I can hold on for a while. Okay, I'll go and meet them. Distracting one of the Crimson Roars. At this moment, my face was solemn because it was my first battle against a Warcraft, and I was somewhat nervous inside. Then I took a deep breath and pulled out a B-grade split wheel blade from the spatial ring. Rushing forward quickly, this split wheel blade is the most valuable weapon on me, and it is no problem to deal with a fourth order Warcraft. These two Red Roars are not low in intelligence. When they see another person approaching, they immediately separate and fight each other. The red roar in front of me stood up, towering three meters high, and raised its huge fist to strike its chest, accompanied by a piercing roar. Seeing this, I snorted coldly. I won't be scared by a monster. I tightly gripped the handle of the sword in my right hand, and the distance between us is getting closer. The intimidation doesn't work, so Chiho uses its hind legs to exert force and charges like a cannonball. It opens its blood-filled mouth and bites towards my neck, but I naturally won't sit and wait for death. Immediately, I move my right hand back and gather strength. Then, I swing a full circle and a more than one meter long big knife cuts through the air, directly chopping towards Chiho's head. The red eyes of the roaring red suddenly shrank, knowing that it was impossible to withstand this powerful and heavy blow with the body alone. Driven by instinct, the body shifted to the right, trying to dodge this knife. The knife swung empty and smashed into the ground, leaving a 30 centimeter knife pit on the ground, shocking in power. Although the attack did not succeed, my fighting spirit was not affected in any way. Immediately, I quickly raised my splitting will blade and swept it horizontally, aiming at Chi Ho's thigh. In Chi Ho's eyes, human speed is too slow. It is impossible to cut it. With powerful physical talent, he adjusted his posture again and tried to avoid this knife. Seeing this, a sneer appeared at the corner of my mouth. A beast is still a beast. It just managed to dodge Red Roar earlier, but it won't get its way this time. Shadow Step. At this critical moment, I used a secret technique of body movement, increasing my own movement speed by 30% for a short period of time. Don't underestimate the 30% bonus, it's deadly in battle. With the blessing of Shadow Step, I instantly approach Red Roar within 1 meter. This time it can't escape. The color of fear ripples in Red Roar's copper bell-like eyes. It knows it's unavoidable, so it makes a tough decision and stops retreating. Its fist, the size of a sandbag, comes rushing towards me. It's smart, trying to trade injury for life. Even if I cut it, it won't be life-threatening. It just needs some time to recover. But if it swings its fist at a fragile human head, it will surely explode. This is a battle where both sides suffer heavy losses. But I will not back down. Poof. I knew you would use this move. In the blink of an eye, I remained calm because I had already anticipated this situation. The lightning in the left hand has accumulated. And the fist surrounded by lightning is aimed at the fist of Chi Ho. Exploding. In the next second. The blade first pierced into Chiho's thigh, tearing the skin and splattering blood. Then, the fists of the man and the beast collided. I retreated more than 10 steps before stabilizing my figure. The physical strength of the monster is truly terrifying. I stood firm and shook my slightly numb left hand, shocked by the power of the Warcraft. The two sides have the same realm, but the physical strength is not at the same level. Even if I used the Heavenly Thunder Meteor, it didn't do any good. Fortunately, I firmly chopped it on the thigh of the Red Roar. The Red Roar's left leg was hit, greatly losing its mobility. 
It limped back, trying to get close to another red roar. It seems to know that it has no chance of winning, and continuing to fight is a dead end. Can you walk if you want to go? Take advantage of its weakness and take its life. I still know this principle. I immediately picked up the cracked wheel knife and rushed towards the slow-moving Chiho. This time, Chiho completely lost its counterattack power. Can only be forced to defend in place? More and more wounds on the body. One knife after another, each leaving a bone-deep wound. After being hacked by me for a minute, this sturdy red roar fell down with only one breath left. I am sure there is no threat. So I walked to the front of the red roar, holding the handle of the knife with both hands, raised it high, aimed at its head, and violently swung it down. Click. The tip of the knife cuts through the scalp, piercing into the skull. The sound of bones cracking. Then I exerted force again. Go die. In the next moment, one third of the blade instantly enters Chihu's head. The general white red slurry splashed out and the roaring life was directly cut off at the same moment of the roaring death. A prompt sound rang in my mind. Ding. Host hunts down a fourth order monster. Whether to plunder its lifespan, to plunder the lifespan of other creatures, you must kill them. Plunder. I didn't hesitate. I have no reason to refuse my own hard work. Remaining lifespan of the fourth order roaring, 55 years, subordinate. All plundered. Suddenly, a strong vitality transferred from Chi Ho to me. Checking my lifespan, I couldn't wait any longer. Host's remaining lifespan, 56 years, secondary. It really came to me. And I was delighted. The first time I plundered the life of another creature. I tasted the sweetness. Just like turning on a switch. Unable to turn off. I secretly vowed in my heart to make a big splash in the demon realm. After dealing with this Chi Ho, I looked at Zhao Huilin again. It's similar to what I thought. With Zhao Huilin's strength at the 5th rank, it's relatively easy to deal with a 4th rank magic beast. That roaring beast is being pushed back in defeat covered in wounds. Its death is only a matter of time. Wait, don't kill it. This remaining roaring beast is on its last breath, lying on the ground like a puddle of mud. Zhao Huilin is about to kill it, but I stopped him. Zhao Huilin stopped in time, but he was very confused. You little guy hide your true abilities. He put away his weapon and turned to look at me who was approaching. Just lucky. Why did you ask me to stop? Zhao Huilin asked the question in his heart. Let me take over. My purpose here is to kill as many monsters as possible and plunder their lives. Um, does it matter who kills? Personal points need to be recorded with magic cores. Killing monsters does not increase points. Zhao Huilin doesn't understand his own brother. It's okay, let me handle it and make up for it. I said as I threw the freshly stripped magic core in my hand, and Zhao Huilin caught it smoothly, looking confused. What do you mean? I don't want points for now. I just want to practice hunting Warcraft and learn combat skills. You can have all the magic cores you get later, but you must let me finish off the monsters you defeat. My explanation confused Zhao Huilin. Since you're willing, then don't say that I'm taking advantage of you. Zhao Huilin hesitated briefly, then entered the information of the magic core in his hand into the identity card. His points also increased from 0 to 4, taking the first step. According to the previous agreement, I came to the front of the dying Chiho and killed him as planned. Ding. Remaining lifespan of the fourth order Chiho, 58 years, subordinate. Plunder or not? Plunder, I silently said in my heart. Immediately, this 58-year lifespan was once again successfully plundered, and my total lifespan instantly reached 114 years. However, I am not in a hurry to sacrifice my lifespan. I want to save a little more and then have a blast. Next, Shen Yu and Zhao Hualin hugged the group and cruised around Area C, looking for suitable magical beasts. The third rank was directly decapitated. The fourth rank would not suffer any harm if the two worked together. As for the 5th rank magical beasts, they would have to take a risk. After all, the practical combat ability of a 5th ranked magical beast was stronger than a 5th ranked martial artist. The two did not plan to go to area B. The probability of encountering a 5th order magical beast in that area was much higher. If they encountered two 5th rank magical beasts at once, then they could only crush the spatial jade and withdraw early. This was not the result they wanted. After a day of searching and hunting, the results were outstanding. On this day, the two of them worked well together and hunted a total of 15 magical beasts. Among them, there were 6 third order magical beasts, 8 fourth order magical beasts, and 1 fifth order magical beast. All the magic cores went to Zhao Huilin, and each magic beast was supplemented by Qin Yu. The two of them were very cordial in their respective roles. Even after fighting for a day, the two didn't suffer any serious injuries that would affect the next day's hunt. This made Zhao Huilin a bit embarrassed. In his opinion, he was purely taking advantage of the situation. His points came to 68. He looked at the real-time points ranking, 378. If he continued at this pace, the top 500 was definitely secure. 
But when he swept his gaze upwards and saw the points of the first place, his newly lit heart instantly fell into an ice hole. 1320. Is this TM a human being? Even Shen Yu who was on the side was shocked. The first place was too perverted. He and Zhao Huilin looked at each other with a bitter smile and couldn't help but sigh. This is genius. The sky slowly darkened and the night deepened. At night, this was the world of magical beasts, and humans became prey. Shen Yu and Zhao Hualin were physically exhausted and hungry after a day of hunting. Immediately, they chose a safer stone cave and sprinkled beast repellent powder on the outside of the cave before they dared to build a fire to cook. Today is really cool. Although Zhao Hualin was physically tired, his mood was free and clear. Chen Yu was even more so. You don't want a single magic core. How are you going to explain to the class teacher and your parents when you go out? Zhao Hualin asked with some embarrassment. Chen Yu sprinkled the cooked meat with seasonings, took a big bite and chewed hard. As he ate, he said, Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Zhao Huilin was deeply moved. Good brother. Feel free to call me in the future. After eating and drinking enough, Zhao Huilin couldn't carry on and slept first. Not a moment later snoring repeatedly. Chen Yu began to check the results of today's battle. Checking personal situation. Chen Yu, 4th grade martial artist. Host lifespan, 921, secondary. Personal abilities, grade B heavenly thunder meteor. Grade C instant shadow step. Whether to sacrifice lifespan? That's for sure. He had saved up a day's amount just for this moment. He had to have a blast. How many years of lifespan is required to evolve the B rank heavenly thunder meteor into an A rank secret art? Chen Yu inquired. 400 years of lifespan required. What the hell? This was completely different from what Chen Yu had expected, previously. Evolving a C-ranked Thunder Art into a B-ranked Heavenly Thunder Meteor had only taken 80 years of lifespan. This time, he had thought that a hundred years would be enough. How could he not expect to need 400 years of lifespan? It was just too much. Why do you need so many lifespans? The host obtained a very low level of life, resulting in low evolutionary efficiency and the need to exchange quantity for quality. Note, secondary lifespans will evolve the secret art to S rank at most, and further up will require the sacrifice of void source level lifespans. The system broke Shen Yu's illusions with some explanation. Forcibly evolving secret arts or other abilities was inherently against the heavens, and the limitations were too great. He didn't even know what level of creatures possessed void origin level lifespans until now, let alone plundering them. Sigh. Let's sacrifice 400 years of lifespan then. Shen Yu helplessly agreed. Great as secret arts were already rare and many 6th or even 7th grade martial artists did not necessarily possess greatest secret arts. Chen Yu's 4th grade strength getting in a grade secret art was a great boost for him. He now wanted to see what level the Heavenly Thunder Meteor would evolve to. Life sacrifice begins. 100 years. 200 years. 300 years. 400 years. Sacrifice complete. Remaining lifespan, 521 years, secondary. Grade B Heavenly Thunder Meteor Evolution Grade 1000 Annihilating Thunder Destruction all thunderbolts evolve into purple heavenly thunder, covering the whole body, both external and internal. This thunder can sweep away the evil spirits in the world. Oh my. So fierce. Thunder and lightning also has a difference between high and low strength. The most common is the electric sparks in life, with limited damage. Upwards is the white lightning. The strength of this lightning is related to the number. Encountering strong people are not necessarily able to break through the other side of the defense. Purple lightning is a more advanced lightning commonly known as heavenly lightning, high damage, high intensity, with a certain penetrating effect, is an extremely strong means of killing, Chen Yu was now releasing the thousand annihilation thunder extinction, and it could be said that the fourth grade was invincible, and no one could withstand the power of the purple heavenly thunder, not only that, thousand annihilation thunder extinction was also a secret art that combined both melee and distant combat, attaching it to one's body could form a layer of thunder dipper on the surface of the body, and releasing it would be a lightning strike, achieving the effect of surprise. It is not bad in terms of both offense and defense. To summarize, it could be concluded that Thousand Annihilation Thunder Extinction belonged to the top tier A grade secret arts. Regarding this evolution, Chen Yu was very satisfied. After a short period of elation, Chen Yu looked at his lifespan balance. His eyes slipped and a question came to mind. Can I sacrifice my lifespan and use it to raise my realm? Strictly speaking, one's realm also belonged to one's personal abilities and sacrificing one's lifespan to raise one's realm was very reasonable. Chen Yu was filled with anticipation, waiting for the system's response. Yes, a flash of excitement instantly surged to his heart. His current biggest problem was that his strength was too low. A fourth grade martial artist was the bottom of the pile at Tianyun University. He had to elevate his realm. How many years of lifespan do I need to sacrifice to advance to a fifth grade martial artist? 100 years of secondary lifespan is required. Then sacrifice 100 years of lifespan and use it to raise your realm. 
Chen Yu did not hesitate. Instructed, the system began the sacrifice process. Not a moment later, the beep of the end of the sacrifice came. Sacrifice complete. Remaining lifespan, 421 years, secondary. Host realm, 4th grade martial artist advancement 5th grade martial artist. Twilight. A powerful strength erupted from the body, and then hid into all parts of the body. All natural. This 5th grade strength seemed as if it originally belonged to Chen Yu. Without a trace of incongruity. This is the strength of a 5th grade martial artist. It's really strong. The abundant sense of power caused Chen Yu's confidence to expand infinitely. If I break through to a 6th grade martial artist, how much lifespan do I need to sacrifice? 400 years, secondary. What about a 7th grade martial artist? 2000 years, secondary. What about an 8th grade martial artist? 15, 000 years, secondary. Crap. The difference between each grade is too much. The further back the demand went, the higher the demand. At this rate of growth, in order to become a ninth grade martial artist one must not sacrifice tens of thousands of years of life. Even if a high grade magical beast had a lifespan of over 200 years, one would still have to hunt several hundred of them. The pressure was immense. For Chen Yu, the lifespan required to advance to the sixth rank was acceptable, but the lifespan required to advance to the seventh rank was difficult to bear, and the lifespan still had to be used sparingly. Chen Yu had successfully broken through the fifth grade, obtaining the grade a thousand annihilating thunder destruction, and his strength had been greatly improved. However, there were too few means to protect his life, and with only one powerful attack secret art, it was not going to work. Glancing at the lifespan balance, his heart crossed and said, sacrifice 420 years of lifespan, all of it will be used to evolve the C-grade instantaneous shadow step. This instantaneous shadow step was too low in rank and was no longer worthy of him. It needed to be evolved a bit. Don't ask Ching Yu why he only had one year of life left at a time. For him, there is no difference between one year of life and one thousand years of life. If he wants to directly plunder the life, he can't die for a while anyway. The game is to play is exciting. To a certain extent, it can also whip him. The system has been numbed by him, and it can't do anything about having such a master. Today's third sacrifice begins. Life sacrifice begins. One hundred years. Two hundred years. Three hundred years. 420 years. Sacrifice complete. Remaining lifespan, 1 year, secondary. Great C instant shadow step evolution grade or retrospective instant lightning, stance and speed are greatly enhanced, with a phantom effect during movement, so opponents are unable to lock onto it. Bonus, after activating the instantaneous flash of retrospection, there is a chance to go back 3 seconds to the previous position. If it wasn't for the fact that Zhao Huilin was sleeping next to him, Chun Yu would have almost shouted out. The surprises brought by this evolution were no less than the previous two. This retrospective instantaneous flash could be said to give him a chance to save his life. Suddenly backtracking himself to a position three seconds ago during a battle. Who could have thought of this? Utilizing this means of surprise could definitely turn the tide of battle. Strong. Strong. This is Chen Yu evaluation. In just half an hour, squandering away more than 900 years of his lifespan to give himself a comprehensive major upgrade. The effect was remarkable. With his current strength. Entering Area B to defend himself was no problem at all. Tomorrow, he had to find a time to talk to Zhao Huilin to see if he was willing to enter Area B to continue hunting. If he didn't want to go Chen Yu naturally wouldn't force him, but he will definitely enter. Chen Yu came to the magic area for two purposes. Plundering the lifespan of magical beasts was only one of them. And there was also to take the top 10 of the hunting tournament to obtain the qualification to enter the dragon sacrifice domain. Before he had entered the demon domain, this goal seemed like bullshit. Now it was different and there was every chance to take it. Staying in Area C would only be a waste of time. For Chen Yu Area B was also a transition area. Area A was the destination. The level of the magical beasts in Area A was by no means comparable to Area C in Area B. The level of the magical beasts in Area A was by no means comparable to that of Area C in Area B. It was only there that one could obtain super high points and super longevity. Planning his course of action for the next 6 days, Chen Yu's eyelids began to fight. He was sleepy. The fatigue of the day needed to be relieved, and he had to continue working hard tomorrow. He lay down on the mat that was spread out and slept peacefully. The two slept until 8 o'clock the next morning before waking up. Ah Zhao Hui Lin Yan and stood up and stretched a great deal. What a comfortable sleep last night. He hadn't had such a good quality of sleep in a long time. Next to him, Chen Yu slowly opened his eyes and moved around a little, his mental energy slowly recovering. Zhao Hui Lin looked at Chen Yu who got up and frowned, feeling that this good brother in front of him was a bit different. He wondered, why has the aura on your body become much stronger after a night? Because I broke through to the fifth rank last night. Chen Yu did not intend to hide his realm. Realms and secret arts were different. It was hard to hide them. 
Zhao Huilin's sleepiness was gone and his entire body popped up in place, exclaiming, What the hell? I didn't see any signs of you breaking through before I went to sleep last night either. It probably just happened to be there. I didn't disturb you since I saw you sleeping soundly. Zhao Huilin wrapped his arm around Chen Yu's shoulders and his entire body almost pressed on Chen Yu. Congratulations. You did stay at the fourth rank for a bit too long. As a diehard friend, Zhao Huilin was happy from the bottom of his heart. I'm going to be strangled to death by you. Chen Yu broke the arm around his neck and sucked in a few wild breaths. Oops. I'm too excited. Zhao Huilin scratched the back of his head and laughed nervously. Chen Yu also smiled. Then said, I'm going to go to area B. Are you going? If it was yesterday, Zhao Hualin still had some regard. But now both of them were fifth grade martial artists. And if they encountered a magical beast in area B, even if they couldn't kill it, they would definitely have no problem escaping. Okay, going to area B today. As soon as they said they would do it, the two of them packed up their things and walked towards the depths of the forest. In the red rainbow demon region, the deeper the magical beasts were, the more powerful they were. While their numbers plummeted, high-ranked magical beasts had a very strong sense of territory, and they didn't allow other creatures to appear in their territory, unless it was a male and a female. After entering area B, the probability of encountering a magical beast would decrease, requiring more time to search for it. Chun Yu, are we entering area B? The two of them had been walking for a long time. The sun was already overhanging the sky, but only sparse sunlight shone in. Zhao Huilin was deeply aware that the surroundings and atmosphere were clearly different from Area C. It should be. Chen Yu looked around vigilantly. In Area B, it was important to keep one's attention at all times. There was a possibility of encountering a sixth order magical beast here. And magical beasts of this level possess the ability to threaten the lives of two people. After a short rest, the hunt for the day began. The two searched for a while, and didn't even see a single hair. Why isn't there any movement at all? Zhao Huilin twisted his head to Chen Yu and muttered in a low voice. Chen Yu was also puzzled. He didn't even encounter a single magical beast in a radius of one kilometer. Not only that, even the wild animals had all disappeared. It was not in line with common sense. Chen Yu was vaguely uneasy in his heart and always felt that there was a pair of eyes staring at it in the dark. The two of them walked for a while longer. It seems like we've entered the realm of some high-level magical beast. Although they were unwilling to accept this fact, all the phenomena implied that the two of them had entered the realm of some high-ranked magical beast right from the start, and were still being stared at by the other party. The identity of hunter and prey had changed at some point. It can't be this unlucky, Zhao Huilin lamented. Actually, he had guessed this possibility as well. Chun Yu, how many ranks do you think this magical beast will be? Zhao Huilin swallowed his saliva and looked around with apprehensive eyes, trying to find out the magic beast that was hidden away. How would I know? To have such a wide range of domains, it's at least 6th rank. Chen Yu guessed. Then what if it's 7th rank? Why don't you say 8th rank? Chen Yu gave him a blank look. It's not impossible. Chen Yu did not want to talk to him and stared in thought. The magical beasts were in the dark and they were in the light. The type and strength of the magical beasts were unknown. And they could come scurrying out at any time and any place. Chen Yu pondered for a moment and said. We must draw this wraith out and then wait for the opportunity to move. If you can beat it, then fight it. If you can't, then slip away. I agree. Zhao Huilin very much hated the feeling of being jittery. How should we attract this magical beast out? Later, I'll count to three and run towards the front together. This magical beast definitely won't let us escape and will definitely show itself then. Then what if we choose the wrong direction and run to the magical beast? No one will take you as dumb if you don't speak. If it wasn't the wrong time, he really wanted to give this guy a big mouthful. Zhao Huilin had the sense to keep his mouth shut. Three, two, one, run. As soon as Chen Yu's words fell, he opened his legs and desperately ran forward, and Zhao Huilin next to him did the same. At such a dangerous moment, a slow step could cost one's life. Sure enough, Chen Yu's move worked. The prostrate beast in a dense bush had its torso shaken. It did not understand why its prey suddenly escaped. It had been secretly rounding up for such a long time, and could never let the meat in its mouth slip away. It no longer hid and emerged from the bushes, its gaze ferociously looking at the two humans running in the distance. The size of this beast was not particularly large, black in color, with a square scale attached to its body surface. Chen Yu heard the movement behind him and was glad that he had chosen the right direction. At the same time, he knew the information of this magical beast. The sixth ranked black scaled leopard had a significant difference from other leopards. Its body surface was not a short patchwork of hair, but black scales, and these scales could greatly enhance its stealth and defense capabilities. No wonder Chen Yu didn't find any trace of it for more than half an hour. A born hunting expert. Chun Yu. To fight or not to fight? Definitely fight ah. 
We can't run away from it even if these two legs of ours are broken. Good. The two stopped and faced the black-scaled panther that swept in. Zhao Huilin took out his weapon, which was a B-rank one-handed axe. Chen Yu did not take out his split will blade. He wanted to try out the secret art he had just upgraded last night. Together, you are responsible for holding back. I will be responsible for decapitation. Chun Yu laid out his tactics. His thousand annihilating thunder destruction could attack remotely, and as long as the timing was right, he could deal a fatal blow to the black scaled panther. I trust you. Even though Chen Yu had just advanced to the fifth rank and his strength was not necessarily as strong as his own, Zhao Huilin still had full confidence in him. This was the brotherly love of more than ten years. No more nonsense. Zhao Huilin rushed forward with his huge one handed axe. Chen Yu knew that in front of the sixth order black scaled leopard, Zhao Hualin wouldn't last long and had to fight quickly. He followed closely behind, his figure gradually shifting and moving in another direction. The thousand annihilation thunder extinction was quietly opened. His hands were wrapped in purple heavenly thunder, ready to be released at any time. Facing the powerful black scaled leopard, Zhao Huilin would be lying if he said he wasn't scared, but he didn't want to end his hunting match so early. The only way was to go for broke and give Chen Yu a chance in exchange for a desperate situation. His muscles tightened and he suddenly exerted his strength, raising the axe high and slashing it down hard against the head of the black scale panther that was running over. In addition to its unrivaled speed, the black scaled leopard also had exceptional agility. This axe was as slow as slow motion in its eyes. It effortlessly dodged. Undisguised contempt could be seen in its dark pupils. When one strike didn't work, Zhao Hui Lin knew the gap between himself and the other party, and then shouted, Violet blood. Open. Instantly. A powerful blood-colored aura erupted from Zhao Huilin's body, enveloping his entire body. From a distance, a layer of light red blood mist enveloped his body. This was Zhao Huilin's most powerful B-rank secret art, Violent Blood. After opening it, using Qi and blood as a guide, Berserk possessed his body, and his combat power skyrocketed in a short period of time. The price was that there would be a long period of weakness after the blood bust ended. If you don't succeed, you'll die. Zhao Huilin cut off his own back road and was bound to stall this black scaled leopard. If he couldn't kill the black scaled leopard by the end of the bloodstorm, he could only crush the spatial jade and teleport back early. This also meant that it was impossible for him to enter the top 500 first years. With the bloodstorming secret art, Zhao Huilin was barely able to deal with the black scaled leopard, but it was impossible to completely suppress it. During the intense fight between the one man and one beast, Chen Yu quietly approached. He had been waiting for the right moment. Just when the black scaled leopard leapt into the air and tried to switch positions, Chun Yu moved. The purple heavenly thunder in his hand gathered into a beam and fired it out. Although the black scaled panther was fast, trying to dodge the lightning strike was difficult, especially now that its limbs were detached from the ground. It was helpless in the face of the incoming purple lightning. Put me so. In the blink of an eye, the purple heavenly lightning accurately hit the head of the black scaled panther. Under such a powerful lightning strike, even if its flesh strength was not bad, it could not withstand it. The robust limbs stiffened and didn't move, and its consciousness briefly went into a trance. This was the best time to decapitate it, and it must not be missed. Retrospective instantaneous flash opened. The split wheel blade was drawn out. Chen Yu's speed was extremely fast, and under the retrospective instantaneous flash enhancement, it was so ridiculously fast that only the residual shadow could be seen. The distance of more than 10 meters was instantaneous. The black scaled panther was covered in hard scales. Zhao Hualin had just slashed at it several times, only spattering sparks, unable to break through the defense. Chun Yu, after watching the battle just now, realized that the only weakness of the black scaled leopard was at its lower neck. It was the only place where the scales were not wrapped. His figure sank down. The split will blade in his hand was in an upward stabbing position, and he stabbed straight at the neck of the black scaled leopard that was still in a state of paralysis. Victory or defeat depended on this strike. The black scaled panther had lived in the demon realm for hundreds of years, and had not experienced any predicament, but this was the closest it had ever been to death. The sense of imminent death constantly stimulated its sanity, wanting to get rid of the paralysis and regain consciousness. The tip of the blade descended, only 30 centimeters from its neck. Victory was within reach. Even Zhao Hui Lin, who was exhausted on the side, revealed a pleased smile. The good brother really did not fail him. Not good. Chen Yu was closest to the black scaled leopard, gaining insight into its movements and state. Just as the tip of the blade was about to pierce into the soft neck, the black scaled leopard regained its ability to think and act with its terrifying willpower and physical strength. Roar! The first moment it regained its consciousness, it realized that the sharp tip of the knife had already touched its skin. If it was zero, zero 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 one seconds later, it would definitely die. In this situation, 
it was impossible to completely get away. Within a very short period of time, the black scaled panther made the most correct decision. It used its whole body strength, neck upward. At the same time, the hind limbs stopped on the ground, wanting to do a backflip, avoiding the fatal blow. The physical quality of this black scaled panther was truly terrifying. Stab. The sharp blade cut through the skin and blood spilled out. That was all. The split wool blade only cut through the skin of the black scaled panther's neck, unable to go any further and decapitate it. The black scaled panther smoothly got away. Death was just a step away just now, and its pupils couldn't stop warring. That second just now was the most dangerous time in its life. It was good that it reacted. This human of average strength had almost decapitated it. And anger once again took over the fear that it had to tear these two humans in front of it apart to ease the hatred in its heart. When it looked towards Chen Yu who was not far away, the corner of this human's mouth actually raised a teasing arc, as if everything was within his grasp. The black scaled panther vaguely felt that something was wrong, but did not know why. Hoomph. Just now you were counted lucky. Let's see if you can do it again. After Chen Yu said these words, his figure disappeared in place. Zhao Huilin on the side looked like he had seen a ghost, a big living person disappearing into thin air right under his eyes. It was too weird. The black scaled panther was even more so. Its target disappeared out of thin air. Even its breath was gone. It looked around and still did not find Chen Yu. It panicked. Completely panicked. Its limbs unconsciously retreated backwards. It was cowed and wanted to escape from here. Chen Yu did not want to do as the black scaled leopard wished. In fact, he had just planned two attacks. The first was the main attack. If he could kill the black scaled leopard, it would be great. If he could not kill it and it escaped, he would have to use the second attack. The second attack needed to utilize the retrospective instantaneous flash to retrace his steps back to where he was three seconds ago. That was where the black scaled panther was now. This was all within his calculations. Put. As Chen Yu reappeared, a sharp blade penetrated the black scaled panther's neck. Blood sprayed out like a spring. This time, the black scaled leopard did not have any chance of surviving. Pulling out the knife, Chen Yu quickly left to prevent the black scaled leopard from recoiling before dying. He came to the side of Zhao Huilin who was already dumbfounded. Zhao Huilin's numb eyes stared dead at Chen Yu, his mouth open and unable to speak. What are you looking at me for? After a long slowdown, Zhao Huilin came back to his senses and screamed. Just how many things are you kid hiding from me? Eh? Chen Yu wheedled for half a day and found an excuse. These are all things my father taught me. They are the inherited secret techniques of our Chen family. How can I tell you? You kid. You can really hide it. Zhao Huilin gritted his teeth. I treat you as a brother. You're playing mind games with me. The Chen family was indeed much stronger than their Zhao family more than a decade ago. And it was normal to have a few powerful secret arts. Zhao Huilin didn't doubt Chen Yu's words. While the two of them were talking, the black scaled leopard lay on the ground and stopped convulsing. It's breath broken. Quickly go and take out the black scaled leopard's demonic core. We've made such a big commotion. We need to hurry. Chen Yu reminded. Okay. The two of them walked quickly to the black scaled leopard's body. Zhao Hailin was responsible for dissecting out the demon core. And Chen Yu was responsible for plundering the lifespan. Ding. Sixth rank black scaled leopard's remaining lifespan. 112 years. Secondary. Is it plundered? Plunder. Chen Yu read silently in his heart. With that, his lifespan increased by another 112 years. The lifespan of a 6th ranked magical beast was nearly twice that of a 4th ranked magical beast. It wasn't a waste of effort. Chen Yu. You can take this magic core. Zhao Huilin knew that being able to hunt this black scaled leopard was mostly due to Chen Yu. He had taken a lot of advantage before. So he couldn't take it this time anyways. The 6th rank magic core was 150 points. Much higher than even his total points. Chen Yu waved his hand. Keep it. I don't need it for now. He was going to go deeper into area a later on and wouldn't be able to help Zhao Hualin then. So he wanted to share a little more points with him. Don't be humble you too. Give it to me if neither of you want it. Just as the two of them were humbling themselves, an unfamiliar voice sounded from the side. Chen Yu looked up and followed the voice. A group of four people were slowly approaching his side. These people were coming aggressively and were not good. Chen Yu signaled Zhao Hualin with his eyes, telling him to put away the magic cores. Zhao Hualin understood in seconds and put away the magic cores. He wasn't a fool to give away the magic cores he had desperately obtained. The four people who came over, led by one, walked at the front. When he saw these two brats in front of him who didn't know the heights of heaven, his brows locked, his eyes flashed with a few moments of anger, and he quickened his pace. Chen Yu and Zhao Huilin knew deep down that today was not going to be a good day, and then prepared themselves to meet the battle. Chen Yu, the one they are leading is Zhang Linha of class 2, a 6th grade martial artist, not bad strength. The two of us are most likely not their opponents. Zhao Huilin reminded in a low voice. Chen Yu's demeanor was grave and he nodded. Kid, 
Originally I wanted to talk to you guys properly, but now it seems that it won't work. Zhang Linhao looked at the two men in a different way. His anger had turned to teasing. The little brother behind Zhang Linhao was also arrogant. You two had better be good and obedient. Hand over your magic cores and then serve my big brother for three days. My big brother is in a good mood and might let you off the hook. The school authority wanted to avoid students from infighting in the magic domain and grabbing magic cores from each other causing casualties. That's why each magic core can only be entered into the points once. There was a policy at the top, but there was a policy at the bottom. Some students, with their own strong strength, would force others to help them hunt magic beasts, greatly increasing the speed of acquiring magic cores. Those students who were enslaved had a bitter experience. They couldn't just crush the spatial jade and leave the magic domain. Many would choose to give in. Obviously, Shen Yu did not belong to the latter. He would rather get out early than fall into the role of a cheating tool for these trash. I'm going to waste that 6th grade. Can you hold back the 3 5th grades? Shen Yu's afterglow looked at Zhao Hailin on the side and inquired in a low voice. You only need to hold them off for half a minute. Zhao Huilin's blood storm state was at its end. It would disappear in less than a minute. And by then, it could be said that he had no power to resist. However, Chen Yu's ability to kill a 6th ranked Black Lin Leopard in seconds earlier had given him an inexplicable sense of trust. Good. Zhao Huilin gritted his teeth and tightly gripped his one-handed axe, his gaze creepily looking towards a few people not far away. Chen Yu once again catalyzed the Thousand Annihilation Thunder Destruction. Purple heavenly thunder ringing his body. The power was appalling from afar. And the splitting sound of thunder and lightning indicated his stance. Zhang Linha lightly chortled. Two insouciant things. He would show no mercy to such weaklings who tried to resist. Go, let them taste the bitterness. He instructed the three people behind him. The three followers understood and pulled out their weapons. Their faces fierce as they came towards Chen Yu and Zhao Huai Lin. Zhang Linha stood in place with a slight slackness. In his consciousness, Dealing with two fifth grade martial artists did not require him to make a move at all. Go! As soon as Chen Yu's words fell, Zhao Huilin held his weapon in his hand and swept towards the three alone. With his current strength, he could only drag it out, and he wouldn't be able to drag it out for long before he was sure to lose. At this moment, he could only hope for his good brother. Looking at Zhao Huilin who rushed over alone, the three people laughed out in unison. This kid doesn't want to take on three people at once, then let's waste him. The three of them surrounded Zhao Huilin and their attacks rained down on him. Zhao Wei Lin was barely able to carry it off with his busted blood enchantment. As the four surrounded and fought, Chen Yu moved. His target was Zhang Linha. With the retrospective instantaneous flashes boost, his speed was so fast that even Zhang Linha was unable to catch his figure. How could it be so fast? Zhang Linha was surprised. Even if he was a 6th grade martial artist, he had yet to possess such speed. Then there was only one possibility that the other party had used some sort of body secret technique and the rank was not low. Zhang Linha's lax attitude changed extremely. His uncommon martial artist's aura penetrated his body, and he looked vigilantly at the blurry figure in front of him. Retrospective instantaneous flash exploded at full power. Chen Yu's speed at this moment had already reached more than five times the original speed, close to one-third of the speed of sound. Ordinary people could only see his shadow as he swept past. Zhang Linha kept scanning his eyes, but no matter how he focused, he was still unable to lock onto Chen Yu. It was only at this moment that he realized that there was something wrong with this body secret technique. Not only did it boost his speed, but it also interfered with his opponent's vision. Kid, don't be too complacent. Zhang Linha was enraged. He didn't care about this, and moved with vigor towards the vaguely swaying figure. Since he couldn't lock it down, he would break it with one force and rely on his great strength to crush Chen Yu. In his opinion, a 5th grade martial artist had no chance of winning against a 6th grade martial artist. Even if the other party had a little something, it was still not enough to make up for the gap between the two realms. Both sides were rapidly approaching. The corner of Chun Yu's mouth grinned. This Zhang Linha was really calm. Within his calculations, if the other party is stable in place, full defense, even if he is faster, there is also a certain response power. But the other party is too hasty. Want to take the initiative in their own hands. This is also a common problem of many senior martial artists. At the moment, the fast-moving Zhang Linha was full of loopholes in Chun Yu's eyes. You are too slow. Zhang Linha quickly twisted his head and looked in the direction of the voice, leaving him with a residual shadow. You seek death. Zhang Linha had never been humiliated like this before. His heart was in complete disarray as he quickly attacked in all directions. He wanted to rely on the frequency of his intensive attacks to catch Chen Yu. Bang, bang, bang. The earth around them flipped and trees snapped. After only 10 seconds or so, the surroundings were a mess. The destructive power of a 6th grade martial artist was very powerful but it still couldn't hit the target. Don't run if you have the guts to fight with me. 
Zhang Linhe's chest was rapidly rising and falling. His breathing was rapid. His eyes constantly looking around. He was horrified to realize that he couldn't find Chen Yu's figure. It was now. The more panicked the enemy was, the closest to victory. Chen Yu suddenly exerted his strength and ran straight towards Zhang Linhe. In his right hand, a purple to black mass of lightning sparkled, and the air around him rippled under its influence. In these ten seconds or so, he had gathered all the heavenly thunder in his body here, and a thousand purple thunderbolts had gathered into an egg-sized thundercloud. Its power was not something a sixth-grade martial artist could withstand. Not good. In an instant, Zhang Lin his back went cold and his scalp tingled. A powerful sense of crisis swept over him. It was only a pity that he couldn't react. Turning back half a bit, he could only see a trace of an arc raised at the corner of Chen Yu's mouth. Subsequently, the terrifying thundercloud dipped into his back. Suddenly, he went numb. The muscles of his entire body stiffened. Even his hair stood on end, his body unable to move a single bit. Bear bear. Boom. Puffs of lightning wandered through his body, and heart-rending pain followed. Explosive sounds rang out as a figure flew out backwards. Zhang Linha was truly miserable, not even having the chance to fight back. He fell in defeat like this. His body flopped on the ground for more than ten times before stopping, his body twitching continuously, blood spilling out from the corner of his mouth. He would not be able to resume his normal actions in a short period of time. Chen Yu had defeated a sixth grade martial artist in just over ten seconds, and it was still complete abuse, with the opponent not having any chance to resist. The actual combat ability was quite terrifying. The loud noise over here caught the attention of the four people next to him. When they saw the result, their expressions went out of place. How is it possible? Big Brother actually lost. The three stopped their attacks and looked at each other. Their shocked expressions magnified uncontrollably. Under the shocked gazes of the crowd, Chen Yu slowly walked to Zhang Linha's side, condescendingly looking at this genius of the second class who had just been unbeatable. Indifferently, he said, Hand over your spatial jade. In fact, the moment he knew the purpose of these people, he had made plans in his heart. Since you guys want me to help hunt magical beasts, then I can naturally do the opposite. What Chen Yu lacked the most right now was time. With just him and Zhao Huilin, the speed of hunting magical beasts was far from enough to fulfill the demand. These few ungrateful brats sent him to the door. He had no reason to refuse. Zhang Linhao lay on the ground and slowed down for a long time before regaining his senses. Once he thought back to the sourness of the lightning just now, his body couldn't help but tremble. That taste was really not something a person could stand. But he was a person of the second class, usually used to being arrogant. How could he possibly hand over his spatial jade? Impossible. Do you know who I am? Dare to touch my old man. When I go out I'll make you eat your words. The family that Zhang Linha was from still had some prestige in Kyoto. Otherwise he wouldn't have been so arrogant as to force others to help him hunt magical beasts. Chen Yu lightly snorted. You don't seem to be able to distinguish between big and small kings ah. You don't look at your own situation. You really think you can walk sideways by relying on a mouth. He shook his head inside. Since you are not willing to hand over the spatial jade, it's useless for me to keep you, so I'll waste you now. Chen Yu was not a man of indecision, and with that, he raised his hand in preparation for a second attack. Zhang Linha had never seen such a strong person before, not even giving him a chance to talk nonsense, saying that he would strike. He knew that he had met a tough opponent this time, and then his face turned around and said with a smile, Don't, brother, I'll hand over the space jade not good enough. In order to not get out early, he could only take out his spatial jade and handed it over with both hands. Chen Yu's mouth corner twitched. This kid is really able to bend and stretch. Say goat on goat. A second without hesitation. Purpose accomplished. The fist fixed in midair slowly lowered. Zhang Linha wildly breathed a sigh of relief. A look of celebration after the robbery. Brother, what class are you in? Zhang Linha had seen Chen Yu's terror. This strength was definitely from the first class. But he didn't have any impression of Chen Yu and didn't remember that there was such a character in the first class. My name is Chen Yu. From class 15. Chen Yu did not hide and stated his information. This time it was Zhang Lin his turn to be dumbfounded. A person from class 15 had beaten up class 2. If this was spread out, he would not need to mix in Tian Yun University in the future. He was a bit unconvinced. Are you really from class 15? Chen Yu stopped talking nonsense and walked over to Zhao Huai Lin's side with his spatial jade. Zhao Huai Lin looked at his former good brother in a very tangled way. How could he not figure out why Chen Yu had become so powerful overnight? So strong that he could not look at him. His eyes were also frustrated and unable to understand. Chen Yu looked at Zhao Huai Lin and nodded. Then he looked at Zhang Lin his three little brothers and said, Will you hand it over obediently yourselves, or will I do it myself? The three of them looked at me and I looked at you, not knowing what to do. Finally, they all looked at Zhang Lin ha, and only after getting a sign from their big brother's eyes, 
did they reluctantly hand over their respective spatial jade palms? Chen Yu holding four spatial jade palms in his hand was equivalent to grasping the right to continue the match of these four people. As long as he was willing, these four people would be terminated from the hunting match at any time. Brother, what are your instructions? Zhang Linha walked over and timidly asked. Help me hunt magic beasts for two days. When these words came out, the hearts of the four people were cold. In fact, they had already thought of this possibility. Their looks were a little hard to bear. The next few days were going to be for nothing. But in order to get back the spatial jade, they had to agree. Fortunately, Chen Yu was a good person and only let them help hunt for two days. They could still catch up with their efforts later. Remember, don't kill all the magical beasts you come across, just hand them over to me half dead. This point was very important to Chen Yu. It was necessary to ensure that the lifespan of every magical beast could be plundered. The four of them, Zhang Linha, were stunned, they did not understand why Chen Yu was doing this. It was not a waste of time. They also did not dare to ask more questions for fear of upsetting the other party. The four of them resentfully followed behind, ready to follow the command. As long as they survived these two days, they would be fine. Chen Yu, I can't understand you more and more. Ever since Xiao Huilin had witnessed Chen Yu defeating a sixth-ranked black-scaled leopard and a sixth-ranked martial artist, his mind was in turmoil. Chen Yu was clearly a bit weaker than him some time ago, and within two days of coming to the demon region, his strength had skyrocketed and he was simply not the same person compared to before. Zhao Huilin was unable to accept this fact for a short time. Chen Yu scratched his head and laughed. I still think I woke up too late. I was too mixed up before. These seemingly thoughtless words caused Zhao Huilin to fall into deep thought. It turned out that his good brother wasn't wasted. He just wasn't willing to work hard. On the contrary, he was really a bit wasted. A sense of loss swept through his heart, taking a deep breath to alleviate the disappointment. Zhao Huilin smiled in relief. Everyone had their own path to take, and he naturally wouldn't pull his brother down. Zhao Huilin looked at Chen Yu with firm eyes and solemnly said, Cheer up, I will always support you. Chen Yu looked towards his good brother and nodded. He would definitely not forget Zhao Huilin when he became rich in the future. With the addition of Zhang Linha's four, the squad's strength was drastically increased, and the speed of hunting magical beasts was greatly increased. Previously, if they encountered a group of magical beasts, they could only avoid them for a while. But now the six of them could sweep through most of the magical beasts in Area B without having to worry about the safety of their lives. Zhang Lin has several people's space jade are in Chen Yu's hands. Naturally do not dare to slack off. Encountering magical beasts will do their best. The single magical beasts, as long as they were not of the seventh rank, could all be killed in seconds. Of course, under normal circumstances there were no seventh order magical beasts in Area B. In this way, under Chen Yu's leadership. The six of them did their best to hunt and harvested a lot in two days. The evening of the third day of the hunting tournament, a group of six people were lying on the grass, covered in bloodstains. These were the blood of the magical beasts. Several people were panting and tired. Brother Yu, we weren't lazy, were we? Zhang Lin has said with a ragged breath. These two days could be said to be the most exhausting time in his life. Never having experienced such intense hunting activities, Chun Yu, as the principal, definitely had to do it himself and he was no easier than the others. This is your space jade. Chen Yu was true to his word and threw Zhang Linha's respective spatial jades over. A few people were ecstatic and picked up their spatial jade palms. Thanks a lot for these few days. Feel free to look for me if you encounter difficulties in the future. Chen Yu thanked. Zhang Linha smiled nervously and complimented. You are welcome. It is my honor to be friends with brother Yu. After a few days of getting along, Zhang Linha realized that Chen Yu was still a good person and his strength was even more terrifying. The previous vengefulness was gone, and he now only wanted to befriend him. After two days of tireless hunting, the six-man squad had hunted hundreds of magical beasts. Each of the magical beasts was personally terminated by Qin Yu, and his lifespan came to a terrifying value. 9. 667 years. A fifth-grade martial artist possessing a lifespan of over 9. 000 years was beyond everyone's knowledge. One had to know that ordinary martial artists, even ninth-grade martial artists, had difficulty reaching a lifespan of 200 years. Even if they broke through to the martial spirit realm, martial Zun realm, or even the martial saint realm, it was impossible for them to have such a large lifespan. To a certain extent, Chun Yu had already exceeded the realm of humans. The next step was to squander his time. Chun Yu could have a blast all at once. He was curious to know how far the great a thousand annihilating thunder destruction and greater retrospective instantaneous flash could evolve. After bidding farewell to Zhang Linha and the others, only Chen Yu and Zhao Hailin were left in the squad. Although Chen Yu was the first beneficiary as he had gained a huge amount of lifespan during the two days of hunting. However, on the surface, Zhao Hualin's harvest was quite a lot. 
and all the magic cores went to him. His points came to 4,446, ranking 18th, a result that was unimaginable before the tournament. The top 20 in points were basically all geniuses from class 1, and now that a class 15 was mixed in, it was very sudden. Even if Zhao Weilin crushed the spatial jade and teleported out, waiting for the hunting match to end, he would still be able to enter the top 100 in points. The depressed mood from earlier disappeared with the super high points. His original goal was the top 500 of the first year, and now he was in the top 20. Shan Yu, I'm a little embarrassed that you're doing this. Zhao Huilin looked at his points ranking and was happy in his heart. What's the point of being polite with me? Chun Yu gazed at his brows and pondered for a moment, saying, I'm going to go to Area A tomorrow. You're alone out there. Pay attention to safety. If you encounter any danger, just crush the spatial jade palm. With the points you have now, it's completely enough. Zhao Huilin's face was shocked. What? You're going to Area A? The weakest ones there are also 6th rank magical beasts. It's too dangerous. The Red Rainbow Demon regions Area B and Area C were relatively safe. Area A was different. The magical beasts were of a very high rank, and it was possible to encounter any of the 8th rank. With Chen Yu's strength, encountering a magical beast of this rank would result in 9 deaths. Chen Yu's expression was bland. Don't worry. I'm sure. I won't joke with my life. If I encounter special circumstances I'll teleport back. Zhao Huilin was still uneasy, but he knew that he could not persuade Chen Yu. He could only carefully instruct him to be more careful. Late at night, Zhao Huilin went into dreamland, and the sound of slow snoring came from him. Chen Yu got up and started doing his business. He only had fifth grade strength now, and entering area A was indeed looking for death. Sacrifice 400 years of lifespan to raise the realm to sixth grade. Chen Yu recited silently in his heart. Instructed. The system began the sacrifice process. It did not take long to complete the sacrifice. 400 years, secondary, lifespan sacrifice completed. Remaining lifespan, 9, 267 years, secondary. Host realm, 5th grade martial artist advancement 6th grade martial artist. Only 10 seconds or so to accomplish the efforts of others for several years. And this realm advancement is very solid. There will not be any side effects. The realm and the strength are completely matched. A solid 6th grade martial artist. A powerful force originated from within the body which made Chen Yu excited. Only three days after entering the demon realm he had risen two large realms in a row. Anyone else would simply not dare to imagine. He actually wanted to continue to raise his realm, but after deep thought, it was better to raise his two secret art levels first to ensure his combat power. After a short period of excitement, the next step was the main event. How many years of lifespan do I need to sacrifice to evolve the A rank thousand annihilating thunder destruction to S rank? For thousand years, subclass. The system's reply made him really startled. This lifespan consumption rate was too fast. More than 9, 000 years of lifespan was simply not enough to squander. But in order to bring his strength to the next level, he could only follow what the system said and sacrifice 4000 years again. Then sacrifice 4000 years to evolve the thousand annihilation thunder extinction. Chen Yu solemnly said, lifespan sacrifice begins. 1000 years, 2000 years, 3000 years, 4000 years. Sacrifice complete. Remaining lifespan, 5,267 years, secondary. Great a thousand annihilating thunder destruction evolution great as shouting thunder heavenly fairy, heavenly thunder has evolved again, and can rain down thunderbolts on earth. The brief introduction however caused Chen Yu's mood to surge and he almost shouted out in excitement. Thunder tribulation. I can actually control thunder tribulation, Chen Yu exclaimed in a low voice. One must know that thunder tribulation belonged to the power of nature and could remove evil spirits from the world. Ordinary martial artists who encountered a thunder tribulation could not escape death. Strong people of the martial spirit realm could only avoid the thunder tribulation when they encountered it. And only strong people of the martial zoon realm and the martial saint realm could resist it for a moment or two. From this, one could see the horror of the lightning tribulation. Even if the thunder tribulation under Chen Yu's control had a slight potential and was a far cry from a true thunder tribulation, it was still not something that an ordinary martial artist could resist. Worthy of being an S-rank secret art. It was a pity that secondary lives could not continue to be sacrificed to be used to evolve S-rank secret arts. And if one wanted to evolve the Shouting Thunder Heavenly Fairy into an SS-rank or even an SSS-rank secret art, one would have to sacrifice a Void Origin rank or Origin rank lifespan. Chen Yu looked at the remaining lifespan and did not hesitate. Continue to sacrifice for 000 years of lifespan to evolve the retrospective instantaneous flash into an S-rank secret art as well. It could be too rare for a 6th grade martial artist to have two S-rank secret arts at once. Even the geniuses of the first class couldn't possibly possess such depth. The sacrifice continued. Lifespan sacrifice begins. 1000 years, 2000 years, 3000 years, 
for thousand years, sacrifice complete, remaining lifespan, 1, 267 years, greater retrospective instantaneous flash evolution grade S thousand shadow silence, during high speed movement, it can create residual shadows, each of which is equivalent to a marker, and the host can return to any of the markers, up to a maximum of 1000 residual shadow markers, I'm going, this is not a plug-in, Shen Yu was once again shocked, no wonder those martial artists were rushing after advanced secret arts and pursuing them relentlessly. When a martial artist of the same realm was empowered by a powerful secret art, the balance of victory would naturally tilt in his favor. With S rank thousand shadow silence, one could be invincible during a battle with a martial artist of the same realm, and the other party would most likely not even be able to touch his own shadow. Together with the terrifying killing power of the shouting thunder heavenly fairy even if it crosses the level of the challenge, it also has a not bad bottom. Now. Chen Yu had absolute confidence to enter the A area, the fourth day of the hunting tournament. Halfway through the tournament, Chen Yu's points were still zero, and he was ranked in the bottom half of the entire year. Next, he was ready to make a push. Do you really want to go to area A? Zhao Huilin looked at his good brother with a lot of emotions. Chen Yu had a serious expression and nodded slightly. If he wanted to enter the top 10 in terms of points, he had to enter area A to hunt those high-level magical beasts. Alright then, let's part ways for now. You must pay attention to safety. Don't be too heroic. Aha, wait for my good news. Chen Yu grinned, then headed towards the depths of the forest, and in no time, his figure was hidden within. Zhao Huilin went towards Area C in order to seek stability. With his fifth grade strength it was still a bit dangerous in Area B. He just wanted to stabilize the next few days without any accidents. A lean figure swept past, the rustling of leaves constantly coming from his ears. After several hours of running wildly, Chen Yu had unknowingly entered area A of the Red Rainbow Demon region. The students who had the guts to enter this area were at worst 6th grade martial artists, and most likely still entered in groups. This was a hunting ground that belonged to geniuses. Chen Yu would use his strength to prove himself that he was not a generalized person. In area A, he could only rely on himself and had to be careful in everything. Chen Yu slowed down his steps, his gaze cautious as he constantly looked around, scrutinizing the situation around him, even if there was a hint of wind and grass he could not let it go. After searching for half an hour like this, not a single hair was found. The magical beasts in Area A had a higher rank and a stronger sense of territory, and it was likely that several kilometers in a circle were the territory of a single magical beast. Therefore, the density of magical beasts was very low. Just as Chen Yu wanted to find a place to rest for a while, a noisy discussion came from the front, and among them was a very familiar voice. This voice made him frown. He then quietly groped his way over his body crouching down to hide in the grass, preventing the other party from discovering his trail. Not far away, amongst this group of people was an even more familiar figure, Zhang Liang from class 1. What a narrow road, ahead. A group of five people were there discussing in whispers, completely oblivious to the fact that there was a person squatting in the grass next to them. Brother Yun, is there really an inferno dragon crystal inside that blazing inferno auger cave you mentioned? Zhang Liang's pupils flickered, his excitement undisguised. The other three did the same, their faces full of anticipation. I could still lie to you all? Chu Yun lightly hummed. As the strongest in the squad, he naturally possessed a very high right to speak, and the doubts of the others gradually disappeared. That's really great. The Inferno Dragon Crystal is a good thing. Let's go now. Don't let the others get there first. One of the burly men said impatiently. Chao Chi, your nature is still so impatient. If the Inferno Dragon Crystals were so easy to obtain, I wouldn't have gathered you all here. Chao Chi let out a simple laugh and rubbed his head to stop rushing. Zhang Liang then asked, Brother Yun, tell us the specifics. We will definitely cooperate with you. Zhang Liang's attitude eased a lot in front of these people, speaking in a polite manner. Chu Yun gazed around the circle and solemnly said, I went to the cave entrance earlier to take a look. There are at least 300 kilograms of Inferno Dragon Crystals, and there is also a very overbearing aura in the innermost part. Even I don't dare to approach it easily. What? 300 kilograms of Inferno Dragon Crystals. If this news were to spread out, it would most likely attract all the advanced martial artists of the first year. No one could refuse the temptation of 300 kilograms of Inferno Dragon Crystals. Most importantly, there was also some sort of object that caused Chu Yun to feel palpitations in the depths of the cave. Chu Yun was a late 7th grade martial artist, just one step away from becoming an 8th grade martial artist. It could be concluded that there existed treasures inside this cave that were even rarer than the Yen Long Crystal. Now, the mood of the other four was completely driven up, all of them rubbing their fists together, itching to go and set off the blazing inflammation Zhao Dragon's lair right now. Chu Yun's next sentence extinguished most of the enthusiasm of the several people. 
This blazing flame Jiao Dragon should be an 8th ranked magical beast. Hiss. Sounds of cold air being sucked backward iterated. Brother Yun. Are you sure it's an 8th rank magical beast? Zhang Liang's expression was somewhat ugly. He only had the strength of a 6th grade martial artist, and encountering an 8th grade magical beast could only be described as asking for death. Moreover, it was a dragon type magical beast. Although it wasn't a true dragon race, it was still a Jiao Long Ah. Its strength was far above that of ordinary magical beasts. Even an 8th grade martial artist wasn't a match for it. It was impossible for the five of them to decapitate this blazing Jiao dragon even if they joined forces. Seeing the low emotions of the several people, Chu Yun then explained, It's not like I'm asking you guys to decapitate this blazing inflammation Jiao dragon. I've already thought of the method. As long as you guys follow what I've said, each of you will be able to at least share a few tens of kilograms of inflammation dragon crystals. Really? Chu Yun nodded his head slightly. His expression was composed, as if he already had a certainty in his heart. That's great. Brother Yun, just say it, we'll definitely listen to you. The crowd was certain that they could get their hands on the Inferno Dragon Crystal, and they were all overjoyed. Afterward, the five people moved closer to each other, and Chu Yun began to narrate his plan. The crowd listened and nodded their heads, their eyes displaying a strange color from time to time. Chun Yu, who was crouching in the grass, wouldn't be able to hear what they were saying, but he knew what these few people wanted to do. The Inferno Dragon Crystals were only produced in extremely hot magma lands, and according to the degree of rarity, it was a great a top grade fire attribute material. Not only could it be used to refine the physical body, it could also be used to forge weapons, so it had a wide range of uses. A kilogram of Inferno Dragon Crystals on the market could be sold for millions of dollars and could not be found. Chun Yu was equally interested in it. Since he had come across it, he definitely had to get a foot in the door. It just so happened that he could take revenge on Zhang Liang to ease his hatred. However, Chen Yu had to be careful. These five people in front of him two of them were 7th grade martial artists, three were 6th grade martial artists, and Chu Yun was still a late 7th grade. His strength was not to be underestimated. If these five people knew what he was thinking, it would be bad. As if the five people in front had discussed the matter, they stood up and walked towards the interior of the forest on the left under Chu Yun's leadership. Only when the figures of the several people were about to be out of sight did Chen Yu get up and follow far behind. As the few people went deeper, the surrounding trees became fewer and fewer, replaced by dark brown rocks. These rocks had obvious magma burn marks on them. Not only that, the temperature around them increased more and more. It increased from 30 degrees to over 60 degrees, making it difficult for ordinary people to survive. Fortunately, the few people were martial artists with stronger resistance, and no problems would arise in a short period of time. This is too hot. Zhang Liang's forehead was densely covered with beads of sweat. He unbuttoned his top coat and waved the corners of his coat with his hands. But unfortunately the effect was minimal. The more he fanned, the hotter it got. How else would it be the lair of an 8th order blazing Zhao dragon? This area of more than 10 kilometers is its territory. And not a single magical beast dares to enter it. Xu Yun signaled the crowd to stop and pointed his finger ahead. There is the blazing flame Zhao dragon's cave. The four of them looked in the direction of the finger. The large cave entrance was open, and the cave was filled with a domineering aura both inside and outside. This blazing Jiao dragon should be taking a bath in the lava. Now is the best time. Later, Chao Qi, Zhao Yu, and I will enter the cave to look for the inflaming dragon crystals, while Zhang Liang and Zhao Kai will keep a lookout outside. Chao Qi and Zhao Yu readily agreed, and Zhao Kai didn't have much of an opinion. He and Zhao Yu were blood brothers, so naturally, he was relieved. The only one who wasn't happy was Zhang Liang. He also wanted to go in and make a profit instead of looking out. I, Zhang Liang's words reached his mouth, but when he saw Chu Yun's unquestionable expression, he could only be dumbfounded and agreed. All right, that's it, let's move. Chu Yun gave the order, and the three of them ran towards the interior of the cave, while Zhang Liang and Zhao Kai climbed towards the top of the mountain. The two of them wanted to occupy a higher place so that they could spot the blazing scalp dragon's traces and keep them informed. Chen Yu hid behind a large rock, gazing and pondering. Must not cheapen this group of people. Have to think of a way to stop them. After pondering for a moment, his brows relaxed and a good idea was born in his mind. He avoided Zhang Liang's line of sight and ran towards the depths of the magma land. After hiking for about 4 kilometers, an extremely vast sea of magma blocked the way ahead. In the center of the magma sea, there was actually a fire-red scaly dragon that was a hundred meters long. Its eyes were half-closed as it floated on top of the boiling hot magma, enjoying itself immensely completely unaware that its old home had been stolen. Chen Yu was shocked by the appearance of this 8th order blazing Jiao dragon. He had never seen such a terrifying magical beast before. He couldn't waste time. He had to get down to business. 
He took out three dark black oval objects from his spatial ring, Class C blast bombs. The power of a blasting bomb was average, but it could create a very exaggerated commotion, and detonating all three together could definitely attract the attention of the blazing flame Jiao Dragon. Without hesitation, he pulled open the fuses of the three demolition bombs and threw them out together, wrapping the blazing flame dragon in a zigzag pattern. A few seconds later, a huge explosion sounded, splashing up layers of magma. The blazing flame scaly dragon, which was in a sleepy state, instantly woke up. It rose up in the air, a pair of oozing vertical pupils scanning the surroundings, the dragon's breath in its mouth continuously. There wasn't any being in Area A that dared to mess with it yet. Chunyu threw out the blasting bomb while quickly finding a hidden location to hide. He did not want to be discovered by the blazing Jiao dragon, and then the one who would suffer would be himself. Roar! Looking around for a few weeks and not finding a target, the blazing flame Jiao dragon raised its head to the sky and roared, venting its anger. Just as it was about to lie down and continue resting, a flash of color flashed through its vertical pupils. The body paused for a few breaths, as if sensing that something was wrong, and then swept towards the direction where the cave was located. As the instigator, Chun Yu, saw that his purpose had been achieved, the corner of his mouth flicked, and the color of triumph surged to his heart. Looking at the distant figure of the blazing flame Zhao Dragon, Shen Yu appeared from the pile of rocks and hurriedly followed him. Outside the cave, Zhang Liang sat there boredly, keeping his gaze fixed on the cave. Zhao Kai, how many inferno dragon crystals do you think they can get out? Zhao Kai shrugged. How would I know? It's best if they get all of them out so that the two of us can share more as well. Let's hope so, as long as that auger dragon doesn't come back early, Zhang Liang said resentfully. As soon as the words fell, an extremely obvious air-breaking sound and the roar of the Zhao dragon came from behind him. Crap! Yu Crow's mouth. Zhao Kai whitened Zhang Liang fiercely. Zhang Liang looked back. A behemoth was rapidly approaching. The corner of his mouth twitched. How unlucky. The two of them could not afford to be shot. They rolled and crawled towards the cave, shouting as they ran. Brother Yun, the blazing Zhao dragon is back. Retreat quickly. The Zhao dragon's flying speed was extremely fast. It would not take half a minute to arrive. If the five people could not retreat in time, they would all have to play through. Inside the cave, Chu Yun's trio was struggling to mine the Inferno Dragon Crystals. These Inferno Dragon Crystals were attached to the rock wall at the time of their birth, and were very hard and solid, so it was time-consuming and laborious to mine them down completely. In the past 10 minutes or so, the three of them had mined a total of more than 30 kilograms, which was far from their goal. Chu Yun was anxious as he looked at the chunks of fiery red Inferno Dragon Crystals on the rock wall. However, his mind was not on the Inferno Dragon Crystals. He was eager to enter the depths of the cave to see what was inside. After hesitating for a long time, he placed the Inferno Dragon Crystal he had just mined in his hand and turned around, preparing to go deeper into the cave. Before he could take two steps, he heard the voices of the two Zhang Liangs outside the cave. Not good. The blazing Inferno Jiao Dragon is back. Quickly go. Chu Yun was not mesmerized by greed and chose to retreat at the first opportunity. The depths of the cave could still be returned to explore some more. A small life could be won. One could not lose one's life because of an unknown object. How come it's so fast? Chao Qi and Zhao Yu said in unison. Forget about the Inferno Dragon Crystal. Retreat first. Chu Yun took the first step and ran towards the outside. Seeing that their big brother had run away, the other two did not dare to hesitate, putting down the work in their hands and running out furiously. Not long after, the five people converged outside the cave. Yun, brother Yun, the blazing flame Jiao Dragon is back. Back. Zhang Liang gasped for air and pointed at the rear. The crowd looked over, and as far as their gazes could see, a huge-sized auger dragon was approaching, with a body length of hundreds of meters, bright red dragon scales, coupled with the overflowing dragon's might. It truly frightened a few people. Even the most stable Chu Yun trembled slightly. Run! Without the slightest hesitation, the five of them ran towards the forest in unison. As long as they entered the forest, it was still easy to escape with the advantage of their small size. The blazing scaly dragon had already locked onto these five humans. These lowly ants actually took advantage of the gap between its baths to sneak into its cave. This is absolutely unforgivable. The blazing flame Jiao dragon hissed, its tail swaying as its speed increased again, like an arrow chasing towards the humans. It is necessary to let these mole crickets fall here today. Zhang Liang glanced back and realized that the distance between the blazing flame Jiao dragon and them had once again closed, and was shocked. This is too fast. Immediately, he buried his head and gritted his teeth, running with all his strength for fear of falling behind and becoming the target of the dragon's attack. The other four were the same, all trying their best to escape. Only when the Jiao Long and Chu Yun's five people were out of view did Chen Yu come out from the shadows. With the delay of these five people, 
The blazing Jiao dragon would not be able to return for a while. As for the life and death of Chu Yun and the others, it had nothing to do with him. With a few bounces, he descended from the top of the mountain and drilled inside the cave in a puff of smoke. He had to hurry up and mine the inferno dragon crystals, and mine as many as he could within 20 minutes, never staying a minute longer. Chen Yu took out his mining tools and climbed up the rock wall to get busy. Each piece of dragon crystal is about 1 kilogram in size, and the time needed to mine is about 1 minute, so Chen Yu should be able to mine about 20 kilograms of dragon crystals if there are no surprises. The market value of 20 kilograms of dragon crystals is more than 20 million dollars. Time is money. Chen Yu swung up the pickaxe, one after another knocking, sweating like rain, soon soaked his clothes. Time passed minute by minute. Ten minutes passed. He mined 12 pieces of Inferno Dragon Crystals, very efficient. As the time he stayed in the cave increased, a strange feeling arose from the bottom of his heart. There was a special attraction in the depths of the cave that constantly provoked Chen Yu's heart, preventing him from concentrating on mining. In the face of temptation, he, like Chu Yun, put down the work in his hands and prepared to look deeper into it. I'd like to see what's in here. Chen Yu placed the 13th piece of Inferno Dragon Crystals into his spatial ring and took a deep breath. Then his body moved closer to the rock wall towards the depths. Fuck, why does this beast keep chasing after us? Not just taking a few of its inferno dragon crystals, is it necessary to play with our lives? Strong as Chu Yun, running so far with high intensity was also a bit unbearable. He originally thought that by entering the forest and using the concealment of the trees, he would be able to get rid of this blazing inflammation Jiao Long very well. It turned out to be the opposite of what he thought. This blazing Jiao dragon didn't know what kind of medicine it had taken and drove the five humans to their deaths. In order not to lose the trail of the five humans, it did not hesitate to spit out a large amount of flames and set fire to the trees on the left and right sides. There was only one road left in the center, and in this situation, there was no way for them to run separately even if they wanted to, they could only go one way until dark. On the other hand, the blazing Jiao dragon's vertical pupil had a teasing color constantly emerging. A proper cat and mouse game. Today, it will play with these humans to death, so that all creatures know that the power of the dragon is not to be blasphemed. The other magical beasts in the surrounding area have never seen such a battle. All of them slipped away with their tails between their legs for fear of attracting fire. Brother Yun, what should we do? It seems like we can't escape. Zhang Liang kept turning back to observe the situation of the blazing flame Zhao dragon. Xu Yun, as the pride of heaven, even in the first class, he was a big brother-like existence. How could he have suffered this kind of anger? He had never been the one to run after others. But today, it was good that he was being constantly teased by a scaly dragon. He knows, today is planted. Not take out life preservation guy is not go away. Xu Yun stopped his steps very abruptly, and the other few people, who were unsure, also stopped. Brother Yun, do you have a solution? The four people looked at Xu Yun with anticipation. Xu Yun blankly glanced at the few people, turned his head to look at the blazing flame Jiao dragon in midair, and chided, you brute bully. Don't think that I can't do anything about you. When the four heard this, their hearts rejoiced, knowing that they were saved. Xu Yun was burning with rage. His face was very ugly. His back teeth clenched and squeaked. After hesitating for a moment, as if he had made some sort of decision, he took out a javelin-shaped object that was more than a meter long and 10 centimeters wide from his spatial ring. The object was silver white in circumference with a 30 centimeter crimson tip. And under the reflection of the sunlight, a cold aura flickered. One could tell that the object in Chu Yun's hand was not simple just from its appearance. Holy shit, isn't this an S-class weapon? The nuclear blast gun. Brother Yun, you're really willing to part with it. The nuclear blast gun, as its name implied, had a small nuclear bomb filling the tip portion of it, and belonged to a restricted military weapon that ordinary people did not even have the opportunity to touch. In addition to the small nuclear bomb equipped at the front end, the rest of it was also filled with high-potency explosives, with appalling power. For Chu Yun to be able to get his hands on this kind of weapon, his status and family background was quite impressive. An S-class weapon, that possessed the potential to decapitate a martial spirit realm powerhouse. It was a waste to use it against a blazing flame Jiao dragon. This nuclear blast gun was a life-saving weapon given to him by Chu Yun's father, and he definitely would not use it until it was absolutely necessary. But now, for the sake of his life, he could only endure the pain and cut his flesh. Chu Yun glanced at the nuclear explosive gun in his hand. His brows furrowed, very reluctant to give up. The only way to stop the loss was to decapitate this blazing inflammation gel long and then mine all the inflammation dragon crystals. Otherwise it would be a huge loss. With the nuclear explosion gun, Chu Yun's aura increased steeply as he took a few steps forward, looking straight at the blazing inflammation gel long and roared sternly. This is where you will be buried. Die for me. Chu Yun no longer hesitated. 
His right hand gripped the front half of the nuclear explosive gun, half turned at the waist, and gathered his entire body strength into his arm in a javelin position. Violently turning around, he drove the nuclear explosive gun in his hand and threw it in the direction where the blazing flame Jiao Dragon was. At the same time the nuclear blast gun was thrown, the internal device had already been activated. With such a close distance, coupled with the blazing flame Jiao Long being such a huge size, it was impossible for it to avoid it. Shen Yu walked along the rock wall towards the interior of the cave for about a hundred meters or so, and still did not find anything unusual. However, the inner touch became more pronounced. With every step forward, his heart beat a few points faster, as if there was some sort of undeniable presence constantly guiding him. Everything proved that a certain treasure was inside. With the dry environment coupled with the scorching temperature, Chen Yu nervously kept gulping. He wasn't sure if what was inside was good or bad, and if it was an existence that he couldn't resist, it was likely that his life would be in danger. But in the face of such temptation, even with a firm state of mind, it was difficult for him to retreat. Approaching step by step, the air became unbearably hot in the hot environment, and the temperature around him was as high as over 80 degrees Celsius. Chen Yu's body was reddened by the scorching heat, his breathing was rapid, and his clothes were constantly shifting between damp and dry states. His body was somewhat dehydrated. An ordinary person would not be able to stay in this kind of environment for a few seconds, and even a sixth grade martial artist would not be able to endure for several minutes. Chen Yu had to act fast or else he would probably be roasted if this continued. He then quickened his pace and jogged all the way inside. Poo. After walking another tens of meters, the violent rise and fall of his chest indicated that he could barely hold on. Go, or continue. Two thoughts fought fiercely in his mind. According to the current situation, even if he found that being, he might not be able to get out. The thought of giving up grew heavier and heavier. And just at the moment Chen Yu was about to turn around and leave, his afterglow glanced at a bright light that was so mesmerizing that he could not move his eyes away from it after just one glance. Found it. He was so excited that he disregarded whether there was any danger or not, and ran straight towards the bright light. After walking dozens of steps, a bright light opened up. There was actually another hole inside the blazing flame sculptor's cave. A hole within a hole. This existence in front of him was hidden so secretly by the blazing flame scaly dragon. It was bound to be something extraordinary. After entering the second cave, the surrounding temperature plummeted to a temperature that Chen Yu could withstand. His body leaned back slightly his legs moving slowly one after the other. If the situation was not right, this posture would allow him to run away immediately. Chen Yu kept approaching the stone pillar platform at the very center of the cave. The source of the bright light was on top of the stone pillar platform. The stone pillar platform was more than a meter high, and stood very abruptly, all natural, with no signs of man-made construction. If there are wonders, there must be wonders. Chen Yu was convinced that there was something good on top of the stone pillar platform. He was about two meters away from the stone pillar platform and stopped his steps, not daring to go any further. His eyes were slightly condensed, his eyes focused on this. On top of the stone pillar platform was a bowl-like structure with a diameter of half a meter. In the bowl-like structure was a puddle of reddish, eye-piercing liquid, and the space around the liquid was somewhat distorted under its influence, which made it look terrifying. Although he was more than two meters away from the liquid, Shen Yu still felt a deadly danger. He was clear that even touching a single drop could melt him instantly. Could it be this puddle of liquid? Chen Yu muttered. The stone pillars were entwined by a vein-like red vein that connected the bowl-like structure to the ground. This puddle of liquid was likely the essence of the entire volcano, and if he could take it in, he would have the means to save his life even if he encountered an opponent above the martial spirit realm. It was a pity that with Chen Yu's current ability, he didn't even have a container to hold it in, let alone remove this puddle of liquid. Being able to look at it and not be able to move it was really a tricky problem. In the face of such a treasure, one could not return empty-handed. This was not Chen Yu's character. He stood in place, gazing at his brows and pondering for a long time, and still did not have a strategy to deal with it. Twenty minutes were almost up. That blazing Jiao dragon could return at any time. A choice had to be made. Alas, perhaps it is destined. Chen Yu agonized for a while, knowing that this treasure was not meant to be with him he could only choose to resign himself to his fate. This time, before he could turn around and leave, the red liquid actually began to churn up. This abnormal phenomenon scared Chen Yu. He froze in place, did not dare to move, for fear of disaster itself. In this way, watched this beach of liquid churning for a few seconds. The next scene made Chen Yu's pupils dilate. A slender body, head and horns of the flame-formed creatures unexpectedly appeared from the liquid. Very enjoyable in this pool of liquid wandering. Its form was somewhat like the legendary dragon, but its body was somewhat illusory, not like a solid creature, as if it was composed of flames. 
This creature also noticed that there was an additional person next to it, and then looked towards Chen Yu, gazing at it with a crooked head, its small brain wondering what it was thinking. The harmless appearance of the human animal was very adorable, but in Chen Yu's opinion, it was not like this, to be able to swim freely in this puddle of liquid, one could imagine how terrifying it was, and it was by no means something he could touch, he swallowed hard, even his breathing stopped briefly, his legs moving back a little bit, he even held the spatial jade palm in his hand, ready to teleport away at any time, the dragon-like creature sensed that Chen Yu wanted to leave, and with a shake of its body, it actually shot out of the liquid and headed straight for Chen Yu, oh no, Chen Yu's heart went cold as his fingers snapped, trying to crush the spatial jade, the vertical pupils of the dragon-shaped creature condensed, and Chen Yu instantly lost control of his body, his entire body froze in place, the hand that held the spatial jade unable to exert any force, any thoughts of teleporting out were interrupted, this time is really finished, Chen Yu began to curse in his heart, why should he come in, it's not good to mine the dragon crystal honestly outside, dragon creatures in the air around Chen Yu hovering, from time to time also sniff a bit, as if in the taste of human breath, now Chen Yu more difficult, timidly said, you will not want to eat me, right? After sniffing many times, the dragon-shaped creature was very satisfied. It flew to Chen Yu's front and its small tongue kept licking its lips. Finished, it's over. This thing really wants to eat me. Chen Yu closed his eyes and waited for death to come. After waiting for a while with his eyes closed, no abnormality came from his body. He opened his eyes again, and this dragon-shaped creature was still gazing at Chen Yu like that. One person and one dragon were just like this. You looking at me and I looking at you, wide-eyed. Chen Yu was confused and then asked, what do you want? The dragon-shaped creature opened its mouth and a somewhat muffled voice came out. Hungry, hungry, crap, it can still talk, Chen Yu exclaimed. What's the point of looking for me when you're hungry? I don't have anything. Hungry, hungry, to eat eat. Until this moment, Chen Yu didn't understand that this dragon-shaped creature didn't want to eat him, but then again, he didn't know what this little guy wanted to eat. All right then, take whatever you want to eat yourself, don't be polite to me. Chen Yu's mind moved and took out the objects within the spatial ring and placed them on the ground. He was ready to give up everything on his body, even if he gave it all of the Inferno Dragon Crystals. However, the dragon-shaped creature did not care about the objects on the ground. Its eyes looked straight at Chen Yu, looking at his heart hairy. The dragon-shaped creature had just gotten Chen Yu's permission, and with a small grin, it flew straight over. Without giving Chen Yu a chance to speak, the dragon-shaped creature drilled into his chest and began to dine. Chen Yu let out a cry of surprise, thinking that his body was being eaten, there was no pain coming from it, as the dragon-shaped creature entered his body, he regained his mobility, Chen Yu hurriedly ripped off his clothes and checked his chest without any signs of injury, the only thing that could be seen was that the dragon-shaped creature was coiled like a tattoo, slightly opening its mouth as if it was absorbing something, what are you doing, Chen Yu was unsure, but he soon realized what the dragon-shaped creature was eating, it was actually absorbing Chen Yu's life force, Chen Yu's lifespan was rapidly decreasing, and after only a few seconds, more than a hundred years of lifespan was gone, it must have been absorbed by this dragon-shaped creature, your grandmother, these lifespans Chen Yu couldn't even spare, this guy was not hesitant at all, now, he finally understood what the dragon-shaped creature meant just now, it should have sensed Chen Yu's extremely large lifespan and wanted to absorb it, Chen Yu agreed to it in confusion, which led to the outrageous scene, big brother, you damn don't absorb it, I'm going to be sucked dry by you, Unconsciously, more than 400 years of lifespan had been absorbed, so anxiously that Chen Yu stomped his feet, but could not stop it. At this rate, in less than a minute, more than a thousand years of lifespan would be sucked up. Right at this moment, the system's voice came in an inopportune manner. The parasitization of the juvenile fire god dragon is complete. Fire god dragon actively absorbing lifespan in the middle. 100 years, 200 years, 300 years, 400 years. The fire god dragon absorbed a thousand years of Chen Yu's lifespan before stopping, nearly sucking him to death. If the person who entered this cave was Chu Yun, he would have already been sucked to death. The fire god dragon completes its initial awakening. This bastard actually sucked one thousand years of my lifespan. Chen Yu was although he was angry, there was nothing he could do. Check its life level. No permission for now. The system's reply once again left Chen Yu dumbfounded. It was reasonable to say that the highest level of life level on the blue star could not possibly exceed the planetary level, and the life level of this fire god dragon actually could not even be queried by the system. Then there was only one possibility, this fire god dragon did not belong to the blue star. It came from other advanced star domains in the universe and belonged to a life form that far exceeded humans. Chun Yu had really picked up a treasure this time. The fire god dragon absorbed a thousand years of life in one go, and after eating its fill, 
It took the initiative to detach itself from Chen Yu's body and reshape into its original form. Chen Yu looked at the fire god dragon floating in front of him. His heart was deeply touched. He could clearly feel that he and this little guy had a connection that could not be broken in seconds. This feeling was like you have me and I have you, both sides belonging to one. The fire god dragon was very docile as it swam around Chen Yu, muttering under its breath, Dad Dad. It had already treated Chen Yu as its father and acted very intimately. Chen Yu cried and laughed. Inexplicably there was an extra baby. He reached out to touch the little guy, and the fire god dragon did not resist in any way, obediently sticking its head over and rubbing against his hand. Then you'll follow me from now on. I'll be sure to treat you well. The fire god dragon nodded and agreed. Chen Yu doted on the fire god dragon and said, That's so cute. I'll call you Firefire. Fire. The fire godly dragon called out, seemingly agreeing to the nickname. Chen Yu looked at the adorable little guy and felt pressurized that all the lifespan plundered behind him would have to be given to this little guy. Moreover, this little guy's appetite was not smaller than his. Let's get going. The blazing flame Jiao dragon could return at any time. Speaking of the blazing flame Jiao dragon, disdain and indignation could clearly be seen in flame's eyes. However, it still obeyed Chen Yu's words and prepared to leave the cave. Wait, what to do with this? Chen Yu looked at the liquid on top of the stone pillar, unwilling to leave it here. Firefire Fire made a turn to the bright red liquid, opened her cherry mouth and swallowed all the liquid into her stomach with a single suck. It then returned to Chen Yu with satisfaction and burrowed into his body. Still you're a cow. Chen Yu gave a thumbs up to Firefire. Fire. Turning around, he wanted to leave. Bang! An earth-shattering explosion suddenly resounded outside. The entire cave shook. These people are so fierce. Chen Yu guessed that it was Chu Yun's few people who had caused the commotion. But he just did not expect the commotion to be so great that it could cause earthquakes and mountains to shake even when they were several kilometers apart. The explosion subsided and a mess was created. Chu Yun's five people suffered from the aftershocks and were sent flying out. Brother Yun, this nuclear explosion gun of yours is too fierce. Zhang Liang got up in a sorry state and patted the dust on his body. Nonsense. If an S-class weapon hits a martial spirit realm powerhouse head-on, he would have to lose half his life. The corner of Chu Yun's mouth rose. Satisfied with the power of the nuclear blast gun, he believed that it was impossible for the blazing flame Jiao Dragon to survive under such a powerful explosion. Let's go and check out the corpse of this beast. Just in case, he wanted to see the blazing flame Jiao Dragon fall with his own eyes to add to the lofty aura within him. Xu Yun led the way, with the other four following behind, heading towards the center of the smoke. Roar! A roar came from within. How can it be? This beast is not dead. Xu Yun's pupils suddenly dilated as he looked over incredulously. Suffering a nuclear explosion gun attack head-on, it was impossible for an 8th rank magical beast to survive. The only reasonable explanation was that this blazing Jiao dragon was a 9th order magical beast. The 9th ranked magical beast coupled with the perverted physical quality of the dragon could have avoided a death. This was completely out of Chu Yun's expectations. The roar of the blazing Jiao dragon dispersed the dust around it, and several people could see the situation at the center of the explosion. Although the nuclear blast gun did not kill the blazing flame Jiao dragon, its physical state was no better. The scales on the surface of the dragon's body fell off by a large margin. The red-laced white flesh turned over, and blood dripped down like rain, staining a large portion of the ground red. These were all secondary. The most serious part was still the part that came into contact with the nuclear blast gun. Just now, due to the suddenness of the incident, the blazing flame sculptor didn't have time to dodge at all, and could only turn its body at an extremely fast speed twisting its most important head over to prevent it from being exploded by a single shot. The result of this is that the rear tail and the nuclear explosion gun came into close contact. The energy generated by the nuclear bomb explosion almost blew off its entire tail, and its wounds were deep enough to see the bones. The internal organs inside could be faintly seen. At this time, the blazing scalp dragon which still has the might of a dragon, properly the appearance of a rascal snake. Seeing this result, Chu Yun let out a wild sigh of relief and laughed out loud. It's good that you didn't die. I'll personally send you to the west. He paced around, the hideous smile at the corner of his mouth undisguised, to be able to personally kill a scaly dragon. How honorable it was to say so. And it was still a ninth order blazing flame scaly dragon. Weren't you beasts arrogant just now? Continue to be wild. Xu Yun arrived in front of the huge dragon head and taunted. He wanted to release all the grievances he had just suffered. How had the blazing flame Jiao dragon ever experienced such humiliation? Its inner pride did not allow it to lower its head. Roar. Who? The blazing flame Jiao dragon rose violently and roared, then spat out a mouthful of dragon breath from its mouth. Chu Yun had been wary of the blazing flame Jiao dragon's deathbed counterattack, and the moment before the dragon's breath was spat out, his figure flickered rapidly to get out of the range of the dragon's breath attack. 
The Blazing Jiao Dragon knew that this place was not suitable to stay for a long time. It had to go back to the cave now. As long as the Fire God Dragon was there, it couldn't die. After a mouthful of Dragon's breath, the Blazing Flame Jiao Dragon did not engage in a battle, dragging its bruised body towards the cave. Humph. Even if you escape to the ends of the earth today, I will still slaughter you. Give chase. Xu Yun gave an order and chased after it himself first. Zhang Liang's few people looked at each other and chose to follow. The polarity reversed. The original hunter became the prey, while the prey became the hunter. Although the Jiao Long was flying fast, the blood trails it left behind were all along the way. It was impossible to lose it. The joy in Xu Yun's heart was hard to suppress. Killing a ninth order blazing Inferno Jiao Long, then mining all the Inferno Dragon Crystals, and most of all, the presence in the depths of the cave. All of this would belong to him. In that case, it seemed that the nuclear blast gun hadn't been wasted at all and would even make a huge profit. Chen Yu walked out of the cave with fire fire, with his eyes raised upwards. His gaze moved forward and a familiar figure appeared not far away. Crap, the blazing auger dragon is back. Frightened, he was jolted. If the blazing flame Jiao dragon knew that his old home had been stolen and the fire god dragon had been taken away, he would not go mad. Chen Yu's first choice was to wipe his feet and slip away. No, the moment before Chen Yu skipped off, he realized that the rapidly approaching blazing flame Jiao dragon was a bit off. Fixing his eyes on it, Chen Yu finally noticed the furrowed wounds on the blazing flame Jiao dragon's body, as well as its decaying aura, which still had the power of the previous Jiao dragon. He understood that the wounds on the blazing flame Jiao dragon's body must be related to the explosion sound just now. Chu Yun and the others did not know what kind of weapon they had used to actually injure the powerful blazing flame Jiao dragon like this. The withdrawal stopped, and he had a new plan. Take advantage of its sickness and kill it. This blazing flame Jiao Long's level wasn't low, plus it belonged to the dragon type of creatures. Its lifespan was definitely very long. If he could behead it and plunder its lifespan, he would definitely be able to make a huge profit to make up for the portion of its lifespan that had just been absorbed by the blazing flame. Chen Yu once again entered the cave and quietly hid in the shadows, waiting for the right moment to kill this terrifying magical beast. The fiery flame Jiao Dragon returned in a sorry state, completely not noticing the abnormalities within the cave. It only wanted to return to where the fire god dragon was and use it to recover its wounds. This was its only hope of surviving. In fact, the fire god dragon didn't appear because of it. Instead, it was it that happened to find the fire god dragon in the depths of the magma. It then treated this place as its own cave and took the fire god dragon for itself, constantly absorbing the breath it released and using it to raise its cultivation and temper its flesh. For the blazing Jiao dragon, the price was to dedicate a portion of its life force to the fire god dragon every once in a while. However, it was very stingy, only offering 5 or 10 years at a time. It simply couldn't satisfy the appetite of the fire god dragon. And it just kept hanging on. The fire god dragon, however, couldn't do anything about it. It was bound to that puddle of liquid and couldn't leave too far away. It could only be forced to compromise. Which was also the reason why the fiery flame didn't hesitate to parasitize into Chen Yu's body. It wanted to get out of this place. The life expectancy that the blazing flame auger lost and what it had gained were not on the same level at all. As its realm rose, its lifespan became even longer and its strength skyrocketed, allowing it to completely establish itself in the Red Rainbow Demon region, with few magical beasts being its rivals. This time, it still wanted to use the old method of contributing its life and praying to the Fire God Dragon to help it recover its wounds. Even contributing a little more would be fine. The blazing scaly dragon finally returned. It landed from the air with a sharp break and ran towards the depths of the cave with a roll. Only it didn't notice that there was a human hiding on the side of the cave entrance. In the past, it was impossible for it not to notice, but today it was too weak, and coupled with its anxiety, it did not check the situation inside the cave. This gave Chun Yu great convenience. He hid in the shadows and had long since executed the shouting thunder heavenly fairy, a cloud of purple-black lightning gathering above the cave. When the blazing flame Jiao Long had just explored its head, what was waiting for it was a terrifying thunderbolt that struck directly on top of its head. It was completely unprepared, plus its body was severely injured. It was impossible for it to carry the lightning tribulation. Boom! The lightning tribulation bloomed like a flower and struck the head of the blazing flame Jiao Dragon. As strong as a ninth rank magical beast, it was instantly paralyzed, and the powerful heavenly lightning entered its body along the top of its head and began to wreak havoc. Muscles, dragon tendons, internal organs, bones, all were baptized by the lightning. The blazing flame scaly dragon was thus left defenseless, and suffered another destructive blow. Its vitality weakened extremely quickly. It was lying on the ground, with little air in and much air out, already in a state of dying. Its creepy vertical pupils looked at the originator, unwillingness in its eyes. Shen Yu appeared from the shadows, 
He did not have the slightest bit of compassion for this kind of magical beast, completely in the life of the blazing flame Zhao Dragon, the ninth ranked magical beast had fallen. Next was the main event. He was curious to know just how much life this blazing Zhao Dragon had. The system's prompt arrived as promised. Ding, detected the host decapitating a ninth order blazing flame Zhao Dragon. Is the lifespan to be plundered? I'll go. It's actually a ninth rank magical beast. Shen Yu's interest in it intensified. Plunder. Ninth order blazing Zhao Dragon remaining lifespan, 412 years, void source level. Plundered in its entirety. The 400 plus years of lifespan did not cause Chen Yu's mood to ripple, and the void origin level annotated behind him caused him to rejoice inwardly. This was the first time he had plundered a lifespan at the void origin level. In fact, under normal circumstances, the life of a ninth rank magical beast also belonged to the secondary level. But this blazing Jiao dragon was a bit different. Firstly, it belonged to the dragon system of creatures and had a higher life level. And secondly, it had absorbed the breath released by the fire god dragon for a long period of time, causing its life level to be even higher than that of creatures of the same rank. Only then did it reach the void origin level. However, all of the blazing scalp dragon's efforts had turned into bubbles, becoming Chen Yu's dowry. Chen Yu excitedly said, Check my lifespan. Host's remaining lifespan, 267 years, secondary, plus 412 years, void origin level. What is the ratio of the value of the void source grade to the secondary grade? This was information that Chen Yu eagerly wanted to know. In terms of evolutionary efficiency, one year of void origin level life is equivalent to more than 10 years of secondary life. But there is a hierarchical restriction barrier between the two and they cannot be converted in the same way. Chen Yu understood the meaning of what the system was saying. A void origin level lifespan was equivalent to more than 10 times the secondary lifespan in the process of using it. However, the level of the void origin lifespan is higher and can be used to evolve more powerful abilities, while the secondary lifespan cannot. That is to say that sacrificing more secondary lifespans would not be able to break this restriction barrier. And when necessary, one must sacrifice void origin level or higher level lifespans. From this, it could be seen how precious high level lifespans were. Chen Yu snickered for a moment and climbed onto the auger's body to dig out the magic core. A ninth rank magic core could not be wasted. It was worth 5,000 points, and this one alone could bring his ranking from the bottom to the top 20, surpassing Zhao Hui Lin. Chu Yun's five people followed the bloodstains and came here as well. Facing the raging five, Chen Yu did not choose to hide this time. He was going to settle the score with Zhang Liang. When Chu Yun saw the blazing flame Zhao dragon lying horizontally at the entrance of the cave, half of its body outside and half inside, Severed from its breath, he felt a slight sense of dismay in his heart. According to its previous state, the blazing flame Zhao Dragon should not have died so quickly. With suspicion, he prepared to enter the cave to find out. He just happened to meet up with Chen Yu. Who are you? Chen Yu did not answer him, but instead recorded the information of the Ninth Order Demon Core he had just dug out into his identity card in front of Chu Yun. With Chu Yun's hindsight, combining what had happened earlier in Chen Yu's current actions, he had reason to suspect that all of this was a setup by the brat in front of him. First, he attracted the blazing Zhao dragon back, and then used the five of them to attract away the blazing Zhao dragon again. In the end, this kid took the opportunity to enter the cave to mine the inferno dragon crystal. Not only that, he also intercepted the blazing inferno Jiao Long halfway and decapitated the blazing inferno Jiao Long that was about to die. All of his own efforts had fulfilled this brat. The anger in Chu Yun's heart could not be suppressed. His expression twisted as he looked at the cozy Chen Yu. He had never suffered such a disgrace. Being toyed with, he roared morosely. You seek death. Zhang Liang, who was standing at the back, also recognized Chen Yu. It's you kid. There's a way to heaven you don't go. There's no door to hell you barge in. You recognize him? Chu Yun turned back to look at Zhang Liang. Zhang Liang snorted. Just a punk from class 15. And still my defeated man. If it wasn't for director Han's hand earlier, he would still be lying in bed. His tone was extremely disdainful. 15th class? Are you sure? Chu Yun looked at Chun Yu and questioned again. How could there be a 6th grade martial artist in class 15? What? A 6th grade martial artist? He is clearly a 4th grade martial artist. The teasing in Zhang Liang's eyes turned to surprise in a split second. When he fought with Chun Yu a few days ago, it was clear that the other party was just a 4th grade trash, and he didn't even bother to use his full strength. Only a few days had passed, and he had changed from a 4th grade to a 6th grade. He wouldn't even dare to brag like this. One must know that it had taken him four years to advance from a fourth-ranked martial artist to a sixth-ranked martial artist, and Chen Yu had only used four days. After a short period of shock, Zhang Liang came back to his senses as he guessed that Chen Yu must have hidden his strength before, trying to play the pig and eat the tiger. So what if you are a sixth-grade martial artist? The five of us can still waste you. Judging from the surface strength, 
Chen Yu was in a position of certain defeat and had no chance of winning. Since it's not your friend, then I have no mental burden. Chu Yun looked towards Chen Yu. Kid, unless you use the spatial jade palm to escape, you will be scrapped today. Chu Yun did not allow his life to have such a big stain, so he must abolish Chen Yu, facing the five people with notable strength. Chen Yu was quite calm. How do you know that the one who used the spatial jade palm is me? Fine, fine. I'd like to see if it's your mouth or bones that are hard. Go waste him for me. Although Chu Yun was angry, it was not his turn to deal with a sixth grade martial artist. Zhang Liang was the first to step forward this time. He wanted to wipe out his previous shame. I won't be merciful this time. Zhang Liang suddenly erupted, charging over with unstoppable might. Chen Yu was still standing in place, his gaze quiet and unmoved. The others thought that he was scared silly. After all, there were five people on his side. Get down for the master. Zhang Liang was already approaching. He would not give Chen Yu any chance to catch his breath this time. The large fist approached the face at great speed, bringing up a whistling strong wind. Still this move, nothing new at all. Chen Yu shook his head slightly, expressing his disappointment. Let you know what it means to have a gap between people. As soon as the words left his mouth, he disappeared into thin air. Zhang Liang swung his fist in the air and stood there with a wooden expression, as if he had seen a ghost. Where did he go? Even the four people watching the battle from the side didn't see what had just happened. In just a blink of an eye, a large living person had disappeared. It was too bizarre. The same was true for Chu Yun. Even though he had the strength of a late 7th grade, he did not see it clearly. Like headless flies, the five of them kept looking around, trying to find traces of Chen Yu. Apart from the illusory remnants, they could not see anything, let alone lock onto a target. After using Thousand Shadow Silence, Chen Yu's speed reached a level that was difficult for normal people to find. This was the terror of the S-ranked body technique secret art. The next battle was much simpler. With the advantage of body techniques and speed, they could be broken down one by one. Chen Yu wandered between the five. Like a fish in water, they couldn't even touch the corners of their clothes, and could only launch attacks in all directions haphazardly. I'm here. Your grandfather. Zhang Liang suddenly heard Chen Yu's voice ringing behind him, and he just wanted to turn around. A deep purple lightning bolt then landed on his back. Boom. Zhang Liang flew out backwards, losing his mobility. As he did, Chen Yu knocked down the other three in turn leaving Chu Yun alone. Strong as Chu Yun also panicked, he was powerless and incapable of using his power. Impotent and furious, if you have the guts, don't run, fight with me head on. Chen Yu did not give him a chance. Intensive heavenly thunder attacked from all directions. Chu Yun was too busy defending. Each heavenly thunder made him really painful. As the frequency of the attacks increased, Chu Yun was too tired to defend himself. And eventually, he was caught by Chen Yu who found an opening and struck him in the chest with a powerful heavenly thunderbolt. Now, Chu Yun also lost his ability to fight. With the two S-rank secret arts, defeating five martial artists with notable strengths in a few minutes' time, including two seventh-grade martial artists, could be considered very strong. Will you roll back by yourselves, or will I help you? Chu Yun lay on the ground, gasping for air. He was not willing to be set up by a sixth-grade martial artist, and even more so, he was not willing to be defeated by the other party but reality was merciless and slapped him hard. In this situation, he was powerless to fight back. He hissed, I'll remember you. Just wait for me. Our Chu family will make you pay a heavy price. Afterward, he crushed his spatial jade and took the initiative to teleport out. He didn't want his last bit of face to be held down and rubbed on the ground. The other four saw that their big brother had slipped away, and busily took out their spatial jade, teleporting away in turn. Next, Chen Yu could quietly mine all the inferno dragon crystals inside the cave. In a trance, Chu Yun returned to Tianyun University, with Zhang Liang and a few others following closely behind. The faces of several people were very ugly, with Chu Yun being the most so. He was the pride of heaven, the genius of the first class, and the most talented generation of the Chu family. His plan was to enter the top three of this hunting tournament, and he was just halfway through the tournament when he was kicked out by a person from class 15. Unable to continue, he was embarrassed to face his classmates, teachers, and Chu family elders. This bad breath had to come out. What's his name? Which family is it from? Go investigate clearly for me. After Chu Yun said those words, he left without looking back, leaving behind Zhang Liang several people to look at each other resentfully. They knew that this Chu family young master was truly angry, and the consequences were very serious. Chun Yu was going to suffer. The Chen family was going to be finished. Chun Yu, who was unaware of this, was still immersed in the joy of mining the Inferno Dragon Crystal. The treasure belonged to the final victor. Brother E, the explosion just now seems to have come from here. At the place of the previous explosion, there was an additional line of people. 
three men and one woman. A few people looked at the deep pit left by the explosion, their hearts palpitating slightly. This is at least damage caused by an S-class weapon. Unsurprisingly, it should be an S-class nuclear explosion gun. A handsome-looking, spirited man in the lead spoke. He was none other than the third young master of the Sun family, Sun E. The Sun family was extremely prestigious and powerful in Kyoto. Next to Sun E stood a woman with excellent appearance and figure. She softly said, the battle seems to be over. What are we doing over here? Sunny looked at the woman and said with a smile, One air, don't be in a hurry. A battle of this scale means that there must be something good nearby, or else who would be willing to use the S-class nuclear blast gun? Let's go over and see if we can get a piece of the action. Lin Wanner smiled shyly, I'll listen to you on all counts. The four of them followed the blood trail left behind by the previous blazing flame Jiao dragon and came in the direction where Chen Yu was. Chen Yu was still mining the inferno dragon crystals within the cave, completely unaware that another group of people were approaching. Today is a good day. Whatever the heart desires can come true. After several hours of uninterrupted mining, hundreds of inferno dragon crystals throughout the cave were basically pocketed by Qin Yu, with only a few sparse ones remaining. This is an inferno dragon crystal worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Even if the Chen family was sold, it would be impossible to come up with this much money. Chen Yu finally experienced the feeling of being rich. After a long time of mining, his sixth grade martial artist body could not carry it. Looking at the few remaining Inferno Dragon Crystals, he wanted to rest for a while, and continue mining when his physical strength recovered a bit. Just as his but sat down, Sunny and the others arrived. I go, what a big Jiao Long. The first time the crowd saw the corpse of the Jiao Dragon, they were all shocked. They had never seen such a terrifying creature before. And even though this Jiao Long was already dead, the sense of intimidation it brought was still sufficient. The always calm Sunny was also startled by the scene before him. He impatiently said, Let's go. Take a look inside. This auger's corpse was as tattered as it could be, and the magic cores inside had also been removed, so there was no use for it. Now he could only hope that there were still some good things inside the cave, and he wouldn't make a trip for nothing. Lin Wan Air disliked the dirty bloodstains in the cave and did not follow Sunny in. Before a few people entered the cave, Chen Yu had already noticed. He stood up from the ground, his eyes vigilantly looking at the few people who came in. Sunny saw that there was a person inside the cave and guessed that everything that happened outside was related to this person. He just wanted to pay a few compliments. Having the ability to kill a Jiao Long, his strength could be imagined. However, when he realized that Chun Yu was only a 6th grade martial artist, his arching hand was quietly withdrawn and his eyes became slightly slack. In order to ascertain what was in his mind, Sunny asked, Hello classmate, I'm Sunny from class 1, may I ask if you killed that Jiao Long outside? So what if it was? So what if it wasn't? Chen Yu did not have the good sense to say. He was clear that the visitors were not good. There was no need to be fake polite with these people. Sunny froze there for a moment. What was his status? What was his position? Someone actually dared to talk to him like that. A flash of cold light flashed through his clear eyes, and his tone toughened up. Since classmates are not willing to make friends, then I won't force myself. He paused for a moment and then continued. As the saying goes, those who see it have a share. This classmate can't eat so many Inferno Dragon Crystals all by himself, right? This latter sentence clearly carried a threatening meaning. If Chen Yu was insensitive, then don't blame him for being impolite. Sunny had just entered the cave when he saw the sparse Inferno Dragon Crystals on the rock wall, as well as an endless number of grooves. Without even thinking about it, he knew that these grooves were originally all Inferno Dragon Crystals, which were all mined by Chen Yu. More than 90% of the Inferno Dragon Crystals were pocketed by an unknown kid. Sunny was not happy. Chun Yu, on the contrary, appeared indifferent, shrugged his shoulders and said carelessly, Fine, the rest of these are for you, I still have things to do, so I won't accompany you. Chen Yu said and took a step towards the outside of the cave, letting you go? Kid, hand over half of the Inferno Dragon Crystals or you won't be able to leave today. These words, Sunny definitely couldn't say them, and his noble status wouldn't allow this, but his followers were different. How could these followers not know what Sunny wanted? But they just weren't willing to lower their status and say such words in person. They didn't have this concern as mouth replacements. A 7th grade martial artist and two 6th grade martial artists. Chen Yu had not yet placed them in his eyes. Chen Yu's footsteps did not stop as he continued to walk out. Don't give your face away. The two followers were enraged and attacked in unison. Wanting to take down Chen Yu. Chen Yu, how come it's you? A sudden voice from outside the cave interrupted the actions of the two followers. They paused in place. A little confused. Could it be that Lin Wanner knew this person? Lin Wan Air was the object of Sun E. They didn't dare to offend. Sun E then walked out and came to Lin Wanner's side. Puzzled. Wanner, do you know this classmate? 
if it was one of their own, then there was no need to make a big deal out of it, everything was fine, Lin Wanner's face was constricted as she nodded and shook her head, then it's an average relationship, Sunny could see Lin Wanner's mind, Lin Wanner did not retort, this was no longer a concern, so she could feel free to make her move, Chen Yu looked at the girl in front of him with an extremely high face value and searched for information about her, Lin Wanner, his fiance, more than 10 years ago, the Chen family was in its prime, its wealth and power were quite impressive, and it was somewhat famous in Kyoto, at that time, quite a few families wanted to tie the knot, with the Lin family being the most prevalent, and the Lin family's head of the family appointed Lin Wanner, who had not yet been born, as his betrothed to Chen Yu, the Chen family was struck by a blow, and their power became weaker and weaker, the marriage between the two families was not settled, the funny thing is, Chen Yu, this dead licking dog actually fell in love with Lin Wanner, pestering the other party all day long, pleasing Lin Wanner by constantly squeezing her parents for money, but this woman's current behavior was so revolting, how was this kind of person worthy of being his fiance, in order not to be misunderstood by Sun E, she didn't even dare to recognize herself as her fiance, she really didn't even want her face, no wonder she had been chasing after her before, she didn't agree or refuse, just hanging on to herself like this, it turns out that she has found a golden son-in-law, Chen Yu's feeling towards Lin Wan Air changed from not caring to disdain. This kind of person was not worthy of being his woman. Young master's son, you probably don't know my relationship with this girl. These words caused Sun Yi to frown, feeling slightly bad in his heart. He forced himself to be calm and asked, what is the relationship? Chen Yu cleared his throat and said, Lin Wan Er is my fingered fiancé. When these words came out, the whole room was quiet. Sun Yi was dumbfounded. How could he not expect his girlfriend to have a fiancé? then he's no longer a mistress, he turned his head and questioned Lin Wan Air, is what he said true? No, no, Lin Wan Air hurriedly brushed off her relationship with Chen Yu and explained, I wasn't even born yet at that time, it was my father who casually said it when he was drunk, and I didn't agree to this marriage contract from beginning to end, Lin Wan Air was afraid that Sunny would misunderstand, she glared fiercely at Chen Yu and rebuked, you dead licking dog, I've rejected you many times and you're still chasing after me, I'll tell you again, I don't have any feelings for you, it's impossible for the two of us, and don't expect the marriage contract to count, you should die of this heart earlier, a series of explanations, line of clouds and water, all in one go, unlike a lie, Chen Yu really felt unworthy of his previous self, actually liking this kind of person, hearing Lin Wanner's explanation, Sunny breathed a sigh of relief and was glad that his identity as a mistress had not been realized, he raised his eyes to look at Chen Yu with a victorious look and said, you heard it, Stay away from Wan Air in the future. If you dare to harass her again, I will not be polite. Looking at the dog man and woman who were singing in unison, Chen Yu couldn't help but laugh out loud. Fine, fine. You two can play as much as you like. I won't get involved. He turned around and wanted to leave. Letting you go well. Hand over all the Inferno Dragon Crystals. The one who opened his mouth this time was Sun E, who actually wanted Chen Yu to hand over all the Inferno Dragon Crystals, with a huge appetite. Of course, a large part of the reason was that Chen Yu's relationship with Lin Wanner made him jealous. Chen Yu was not a soft persimmon, the other party ordering himself over and over again. He really thought he was easy to bully. Young master's son is really a lion's den. It depends on whether you have the skills to take it. Chen Yu was not going to leave. His eyes became playful as he looked straight at the several people. Sun Yi's eyes signaled the two sixth grade martial artists to take Chen Yu. The two followers instantly understood and stopped Chen Yu in the middle in a flanking position. Both sides were 6th grade martial artists, but they were superior in numbers and thought they were on the side that held the victory. Kid, I'll give you one last chance, kneel down and apologize to our brothery, then hand over all of the Inferno Dragon Crystals, and brothery might let you off the hook if he's in a good mood. Shun Yu's ears were getting calloused, he had heard countless sentences of this kind of self-righteous trash talk in the past few days, and all of these people ended up the same, being ruthlessly crushed by him, at all times, the fist was the first word, alas. Since you guys have to make a move, then don't blame me for not being polite. Chen Yu shook his head in what appeared to be disappointment, feeling silent sorrow for the two. You seek death. The two rushed up with one on the left and one on the right. Without any intention of holding back, they came up and used all their skills, vowing to take Chen Yu down. Looking at the two men who were constantly approaching, Chen Yu's eyes flashed with anger. Suddenly, he moved, extremely fast, disappearing in place. When his figure reappeared, he held a ball of purple black lightning in each of his hands and threw it out to both sides, hitting the two men precisely. Both of them didn't react before their bodies turned upside down and their minds became sluggish. Then, explosive pain came from all over their bodies. Bang! Bang! 
In less than three breaths, two people of the same realm were killed in seconds. Quite terrifying. Lin Wanner and Sun E, who were standing on the side, were both confused. They hadn't even seen what happened before their own people fell straight down. Their limbs twitching and smoke coming out of the corners of their mouths. So miserable. Lin Wanner covered her mouth and looked at Chun Yu, saying in horror, Aren't you a fourth grade martial artist? Why have you become so strong? The reason she couldn't look at Chen Yu in the past, besides the fact that his family had fallen into poverty, was that Chen Yu's strength was too low to be worthy of herself, and only someone like Sun Yi, who was a 7th grade martial artist and had a powerful family, would be worthy of her. This time, Chen Yu brought her a deep shock. Sun Yi did not expect Chen Yu's actual combat ability to be so strong, instantly seconding two of his own men. It would have been difficult for him to do the same in his place. S-Rank Body Technique Secret Art S-Rank Thunder Technique Secret Art You've got something. Sunny was someone who had seen great scenes, and at the first moment, he guessed the rank of the secret arts that Chen Yu was using. S-Rank Secret Arts That was the most precious existence of every super family. Only the most core members of the family were qualified to cultivate them. Ordinary families and ordinary people did not even have the opportunity to come into contact with it. Even for a person of Sun Yi's status, he had only received one S-Rank Secret Art. However, he was a 7th grade martial artist. Even if he had one less S grade secret art than Chen Yu, he still had the confidence to fight with him, resolving two people. Chen Yu turned his body. Countless heavenly thunders came out of his body and attacked towards Sun Yi. Sun Yi was not afraid of the danger and pressed his finger on his chest a few times. Soon, a golden light spread from his chest to the rest of his body, covering his entire body in no time. Obviously, he was wearing a defensive weapon with him and from the sense of intimidation emanating from this defensive weapon, one could tell that its grade was not low. Kid, this is my S-grade Big Dipper clothes, it can defend against the attacks of a ninth grade martial artist, you won't be able to touch a single hair on my head today even if you die of exhaustion. The moment the Big Dipper clothes took effect, Chen Yu was slightly shocked in his heart, worthy of being the young master of a great family, his foundation was really strong, he knew it was likely that he would not be able to break Sun Yi's defense, then the situation would be passive. Sunny could ignore his attacks and be invincible. This was still a fart. Chen Yu was not a rash person. An idea instantly flashed in his mind. He recalled the heavenly thunder, continuously concentrating and squeezing it. The purple-black color became deeper and deeper, the crackling sound of thunder strands colliding, as well as the sense of distortion in the surrounding space, all hinted at how strong the destructive power of this attack was. Seeing the appallingly powerful lightning, Sunny thought that Chen Yu was going to fight for his life. Although he was clear about how strong the defense of the Big Dipper clothes was, he was still a bit terrified in his heart when faced with the extremely destructive and penetrating Thunderbolt. And then his body did not move, stood still, and turned on the Big Dipper clothes at maximum power. One side attacking, one side defending. Let's see who is better. The Thunderbolt in Chen Yu's hand had already reached its strongest state, ready to explode at any time, just when everyone thought that he would throw it out. Hard against the defense of the Big Dipper clothes, Chen Yu made a false move, suddenly withdrew the thunderbolt, and turned his body to run away in the distance, extremely fast, and disappeared in the forest in the blink of an eye. Sunny people are stupid. How he did not expect this kid does not follow the rules. His own pants are off. You say do not play? This is not to him as a monkey. He froze in place for a while before coming back to his senses, and then an angry roar resounded in all directions. UTM dare to play with me. Hearing the incompetent roar coming from behind him, Chen Yu could not help but laugh out loud. A good man should not be forced to do anything beforehand. This was something he understood. He had no time to play with these people. There were more important things to do. In the next three days, one must hunt as many high-level magical beasts as possible to gain a large number of points to enter the top 10 of the hunting tournament. Of course, the matter of plundering lifespans could not be delayed. After running wildly for a long time, and determining that Sunny and the others would not catch up, Chen Yu stopped and continued his hunting action. He first glanced at the scoreboard. He had only obtained a ninth ranked demon core from the beginning until now, with 5,000 points and a points ranking of 14. Fingers flipped down and came to the 10th position. 6,650. 1650 points more than him. A 6th rank magic beast's magic core was 150 points, and one would have to hunt more than 11 heads to surpass him. Of course, it was a net 11. The magic core of a 7th order magic beast was 500 points, and one only needed to hunt 4 heads. The difficulty of hunting a 7th order magical beast could be much more difficult than hunting a 6th order magical beast. With Chen Yu's current strength, it would be best to target the 6th order magical beasts and make up for quality with quantity. His fingers continued to flip, wanting to see the points of the first place. Su Ruler Jing, 12, 600. 
Holy shit. What a beast. The second place only had over 8. 000, 000 points. And he had over 4. 000, 000 points more than the second place. This was too much. This person named Su Ruler Jing should be the strongest person in the first year of Tianyun University. With at least an 8th grade strength. Even Shen Yu was a bit ashamed of himself. Eyes don't look. Heart doesn't bother. As long as the top 10 is enough. This is Chun Yu's goal. No longer inking, he wandered up in area A. As long as it was a suitable hunting target, it could not escape Chen Yu's grasp. His points ranking was also increasing. 13th, 12th, 11th, 10th. After three days of frantic hunting regardless of day and night, Chen Yu's points came to 12, 300, and his points finally reached 10th place. In these three days, he had hunted and killed a total of 32 6th stage magical beasts and 5 7th stage magical beasts. With the help of the shouting Thunder Heavenly Fairy, the hunting and killing efficiency was extremely high, and many of the sixth stage magical beasts were paralyzed on the ground before they even saw Chen Yu, leaving them to be slaughtered. Today is the morning of the seventh day of the hunting tournament. There is only half a day left. The hunting tournament will end. At that time everyone will be transported back to the school. Chen Yu only needed to stabilize this ranking. Hunting so many high level magical beasts, his lifespan once again came to a very exaggerated value. 3829, subclass, plus 412 years, void origin class. With so many sublevel lifespans, one could advance to a 7th grade martial artist. Sacrifice 2, 000 years of secondary lifespan and use it to ascend the realm. In order to become a 7th grade martial artist, Chen Yu sacrificed most of the lifespans he had plundered over the past 2 days. A 6th grade martial artist was still too weak. And even if he possessed 2 major S rank secret arts, when he encountered a young master of a family like Sun E, there was nothing he could do to him. Realm was the foundation of strength. The only way to become stronger was to raise his realm. And with the strength of a 7th grade martial artist paired with S rank secret arts, his combat power would go even further. Receiving the host's command, the system quickly executed it. Life sacrifice begins. 100 years. 200 years. 500 years. 1000 years. 2000 years. Sacrifice complete. Remaining lifespan, 1. 829 years, secondary, plus 412 years, void source level. Host realm, 6th grade martial artist promoted 7th grade martial artist, once again feeling the abstruse power erupt from his body. Chen Yu officially stepped into the ranks of a 7th grade martial artist. 6 days, to advance from a 4th grade martial artist to a 7th grade martial artist. It was hard to come by two in the world. Chen Yu spread his arms wide and stretched his body, enjoying himself. Next, his target was the 7th rank magical beasts. The 6th rank magical beasts were no longer challenging for him. Rumble. Before Chen Yu could act, a strong vibration came from not far away. Like the sound caused by a large group of creatures migrating. With a tremor of such intensity, coupled with the running frequency, it was not difficult to guess that a group of magical beasts were coming this way. What's the situation? Chen Yu was uncertain. Soon, the expression on his face changed. Looking far ahead, dozens of extremely large magical beasts were coming towards him. With everything running on the ground, flying in the sky, and just short of swimming in the water. Wherever the beasts passed by, no grass was left, directly destroying everything in their path with a crushing force. Trees were broken, rivers were blocked, and ordinary magical beasts were crushed into meat slag. Among them are all high-level magical beasts. As far as the eye can see, 7th Order Red Blood Thunder Rock, 8th Order Golden Griffin, 8th Order Extreme Tyrannosaurus. At the very center, there was also a 9th Order Dark Dread Claw Bear that was more than 40 meters tall. A magical beast riot. Chen Yu associated it with the introduction in a book he had read before. Under special circumstances, the high-level magical beasts in the magic domain will have a collective riot. This riot is untraceable. Even the experts can't explain it. In the face of this kind of battle, Chen Yu which still has a trace of desire to fight. These high-level magical beasts can step on him, but also play a fart. Gathering up his mood, he ran towards the depths of the forest at full speed. First get away from these high-level magical beasts and then make plans. It was just that he didn't distinguish the direction he was running in, which was the most terrifying s forbidden area of the Red Rainbow Demon region. When the hunting tournament opened, one of the things that the school explicitly prohibited was unauthorized entry into the s prohibited area. All students can only hunt in the ABC3 areas. If they accidentally enter the s forbidden area, they must return at the first time or crush the space jade to avoid dying in the s forbidden area, because this was the most terrifying place in the Red Rainbow Demon region. Not only did high-level magical beasts exist inside, there were also some unknown things that belonged to the secrets of the demon race. It was a pity that Skycloud University had sent many batches of teachers in to explore. 
but none of them had found the secrets left behind by the demon race. In Blue Star, besides the human race, there were also some creatures of bizarre origins, known as devils, whose strength was extremely terrifying and were rejected and attacked by all humans. If a demon was found, it would definitely suffer a group siege that would not end in death. These devils are powerful, but their numbers are extremely small, and together they are no match for humans, so they can only hide in the dark and hard to find places of the blue star. In the past thousand years, there has been very little news of them. Unconsciously, Chen Yu stepped into the S forbidden area, even he did not know. I'm a grass mud horse. You beasts are specializing in chasing me, aren't you? I'm running that way, you're chasing me that way. Chen Yu turned back to look at the group of magical beasts following closely behind him and couldn't help but burst out foul mouthed. From the moment he saw this group of magical beasts, they were like maggots attached to his bones. He couldn't shake them off. He had already been running for more than two hours, and his body was so exhausted that it was difficult to continue maintaining. But if he stopped, he would soon be drowned by the magical beasts. His forehead was densely covered with sweat drops, and he was really anxious now, from the time he entered the demon region until now. This was the most dangerous thing he had encountered. He had two choices. The first was to crush the spatial jade and teleport back to the school to save his little life. But his points had just come to 10th, and if he teleported back now, he definitely wouldn't be able to keep this ranking. This was not the result he wanted. The top 10 of the hunting tournament, he had to enter. The second method was to hurry and find a safe place to hide and wait for these magical beasts to leave to be safe. However, if the place he searched for was not safe and was discovered by the group of magical beasts, he would be dead. Chun Yu was incomparably torn, not knowing what to do. Firefire fire untimely drilled out from his body, seemingly knowing the situation of his old man. It shook its flaming body and flew towards the left side. Chen Yu instantly grabbed the straw that saved his life and followed closely behind Firefire. Fire. The little guy ran out at this time. Surely he had a way to bring himself out of danger. Just like this. After holding on for another half an hour, Chen Yu was about to run out of strength. After he saw the place where Firefire Fire had brought himself to, he was dumbfounded. In front of him, a deep, bottomless cliff stood in the way. Chen Yu probed his head and looked down. There was nothing but darkness. A gust of gloomy wind blew from the bottom up. Chen Yu involuntarily shivered as his body went cold. This rift was like the mouth of an abyssal beast that could devour everything. Isn't this a cliff? What did you bring me here for? Chen Yu was filled with doubt and questioned Firefire. Fire. Firefire called out, Daddy, jump, you're asking me to jump? Chen Yu's forehead was covered in black lines of disbelief. Firefire did not respond to him and took the lead and flew towards the bottom of the cliff. Hey, slow down. Chen Yu had never thought of such an unexpected situation. The hissing of the magical beasts behind him became more and more obvious. There was no time to hesitate. Okay, I trust you. An inexplicable trust surged to his heart. Chen Yu took a few steps back, followed by a sprint came into free flight and jumped off the cliff. The sound of whistling winds reached his ears. The descending speed was getting faster and faster. The surroundings were getting darker and darker. The light couldn't even shine in. So one could imagine how terrifying the depth was. He was only a 7th grade martial artist. He didn't have the ability to fly yet. At this speed of falling to the ground, absolutely no crumbs were left. Firefire Fire flew in front of Chen Yu at an unknown time. With the light from Firefire's Fire's body, Chen Yu could barely make out the blurred environment. The rock wall was full of bones, both human and magical beasts. The bones were so old that they were mottled and cracked, but the intimidation brought by these bones was so strong that Chen Yu, a 7th grade martial artist, was shivering a little. From this, it could be seen how terrifying the strength of these bones was. One by one, the skulls protruded out of the rock wall, and their hollow eyes looked like they were gazing at Chen Yu. Chen Yu had no bottom in his heart, but now he was even more creeped out. What the hell is this place? The only thing that responded to him was the whistling sound of the wind. It was unknown how long had passed. Chen Yu was still falling. This abyss seemed to be never-ending. As time passed, his senses were disappearing and his body became stiff. At any moment, he would fall into a permanent slumber. Just how much longer is it going to take? Like the sound of flies spewing was drowned out by the sound of the wind. The only thing left in the entire world was the light emanating from the fire, which was also the last hope in Chen Yu's heart. His eyelids seemed to have 10,000 pounds of weight constantly applying pressure. Chen Yu is sleepy. He wants to have a good sleep. About to close his eyes at the last moment, vaguely saw a bizarre scene. Without warning, the fire fire from the mouth spit out a flame. Flames like hanging sun, hot and blinding. The world's darkness completely dispelled. The surrounding space began to distort under the scorching flames, forming a small, swirling wormhole with Chen Yu at the center. Without any resistance, Chen Yu was sucked into it by the powerful gravitational force and disappeared. When he opened his eyes, 
He found himself lying in an unfamiliar place. He got up with his hands on the ground and rubbed his eyes. Where is this? Raising his eyes to the front, he froze in place. There was only one road ahead, a road paved with countless corpses and bones, and at the end of the road was a slightly dull throne. On top of the throne sat a tall wreck with his head hanging down, and in his right hand was a rusty heavy sword that was about two meters long and half a meter wide. The wreckage had probably been there for thousands of years, or tens of thousands of years, and had just been sitting there, gazing at the bleak scene below. He had succeeded and seemed to have failed, and endless sadness enveloped him. One will succeed and ten thousand bones withered. It could not be more appropriate to describe this scene. Chun Yu was deeply touched as he unconsciously walked towards the throne. Every step was so pious and sincere, having never met him before, but admiring him. Coming under the throne, Chen Yu appeared so small. He bowed respectfully three times to show his inner respect. In that instant, the wreckage seemed to come to life as an extremely faint thought traveled out, covering the millions of withered bones. A phrase appeared in Chen Yu's mind. He's coming. He did not understand what this meant. Millions of withered bones in the entire field resonated simultaneously, and a mournful chorus of tremors swirled, surrounding Chen Yu. The wailing soon subsided and there was no response. Chen Yu was bewildered, and as he scanned the dead bones again, countless different and consistent emotions entered his mind. Help us. This was the meaning that Chen Yu himself sensed. At this moment, he did not understand the reason for this, nor did he have the ability to help, but he still nodded solemnly. The remains of the throne seemed to be relieved, gradually turning into pieces in front of Chen Yu, dissipating a little bit into the world. And along with him was that endless apology. The heavy sword in his hand had no support and tumbled down, landing at Chen Yu's feet. This was a weapon that belonged to the king and did not leave with him. Chen Yu crouched down and held the hilt of the sword. It was not as heavy as he had imagined, and was lifted with ease, just like an old companion of many years. At the same time his hand made contact with the hilt. The rust around the heavy sword began to dissipate, revealing its original appearance. The black and red hilt, the ancient and deep sword body, mesmerized people, swinging the heavy sword. Each sword had the power to split the sky and the earth. The millions of withered bones echoed with the sound of the sword. They were rejoicing, frenzied, and laughing. Looking at the heavy sword in his hand, Chen Yu decided that this was his weapon. At the same time, he knew the name of this heavy sword. Heavenly Slaughter. Holding heavenly slaughter in his hand in order to slaughter the heavens. Such a domineering name was only worthy of this sword. Somewhere on the blue star, a majestic man with a height of three meters and a head of blonde hair was taking a nap with his eyes closed. Suddenly, he opened his eyes and said in shock, the devil sword has appeared. To his left, stood a stooped old man, whose furrowed face revealed a long lost smile. Congratulations, my lord, the rise of our heavenly demon race is expected. The devil sword was the supreme belief of their heavenly demon clan and it was the exclusive weapon of that godfather, who disappeared many years ago along with that godfather. Since then, the heavenly demon race had fallen apart, and the strength of their offspring was getting worse and worse, even planetary level powerhouses had become a luxury, and they were trapped in the blue planet for eternity without a day to turn around. Now, the devil sword reappeared again, that meant that it had found a new master, and a new king of their heavenly demon race was born. Wait, the blonde man frowned and said in a cold voice, the hunched old man hurriedly asked, My lord, what's wrong? Our new king seems to be a human. What? How could the devil sword choose a human? Such a humble creature. It's impossible. The hope that had just been raised was mercilessly trampled at this moment. In a trance, Chen Yu opened his eyes again and was no longer in the land of dry bones. He stood at the edge of the cliff, pondering, and if it wasn't for the heavy sword in his hand, he truly felt that what had just happened was a dream. Firefire Fire looked like it was a bit tired and entered Chen Yu's body in a puff of smoke. The magical beasts behind him pulled Chen Yu back to reality from his confusion. He had to deal with these magical beasts first. This time, he held Tian Tu in his hand and would not take half a step back. He was the new king of the demon race and the only lord of the demonic beasts. All of these demonic beasts that had offended him would have to accept the judgment of death. Chen Yu dragged his heavy sword and cut a deep and long trail on the ground, charging into the group of demonic beasts alone. These beasts were usually ferocious and would kill mercilessly when they encountered humans. At this moment, they stood still, motionless, heads hanging down, not daring to gaze at Chen Yu. This was the absolute crushing of the superior over the inferior. This was the complete submission of a vassal to a king. They were all waiting for the king's verdict. Chen Yu was trapped in the battlefield. In front of these magical beasts, he was so small and so tall. The bodies of the 7th, 8th, and ninth rank magical beasts trembled slightly. It was not fear, but excitement. It was their honor to die under the new king's sword. One sword, two swords, three swords. 
Each sword took away the life of a high-ranked magical beast, and one terrifying magical beast fell in a pool of blood. The blood floated in the sky, as if flowers were in full bloom, greeting the new king's ascension to the throne. Dozens of high-ranked magical beasts died under the heavenly slaughter. The blood saturated the sword's body and completely activated Tian Tu's murderous nature. It was born out of the desire to kill, and lived for the desire to kill. Only blood was the proof of its existence. Shen Yu stood in the middle of the corpses and looked around the circle as if it was a king's parade. It was a pity that all the spectators were slaughtered by him. The system's voice rang out. Lifespan plundering begins. Seventh-ranked blue blood monstrous python has a remaining lifespan of 149 years. Secondary. Plundered. Eighth order extreme tyrannosaurus remaining lifespan 202 years. Secondary. Plundered. Eighth-ranked golden griffin with a remaining lifespan of 195 years. Plundered. Ninth rank dark dreadbear with 305 years of life left, secondary. Plundered. Countless lifespans were transferred into Chen Yu's body, and his lifespan increased at an extremely fast rate. 1000 years. 2000 years. 3000 years. 5000 years. Explain ha. In this article, 1 to 9 orders of magical beast strength corresponds to 1 to 9 grade martial artists, is not particularly strong, so their life expectancy will not be particularly much. Don't be biased by other novels. Nine orders of magical beasts in my place is just a miscellaneous. There will be stronger creatures in the back. Dozens of high-ranked magical beasts all died under Ching Yu's sword. The weakest of them were seventh ranked. And there were quite a few eighth ranked as well. The scene was so gruesome, as if Shura had descended. The system's voice rang for a minute before stopping. Checking remaining lifespan. Hosts remaining lifespan, 14. 164 years, secondary, plus 412 years, void source level. Crap. Shen Yu looked at the 5-digit lifespan and was a little confused. Looting more than 10, 000 lifespans in one go. This was too much. It couldn't be used up. It simply couldn't be used up. Before he could be happy, a tone suddenly came from his identity card. Attention all students. The hunting tournament will end in an hour. At that time, everyone will be teleported back to Tian Yun University. So please arrange your time wisely. This was just like when you were taking an exam and the teacher reminded you to hand in your paper while you were taking the exam. Chen Yu's current state was that he had done all the questions inside the paper and got them all right, but he hadn't applied the answer card yet. F asterisk CK, F asterisk CK, F asterisk CK. It was too late to complain. He had to take out all the magic cores in a hurry, or else it would be for nothing. He hoofed it back and forth, dissecting the magical beasts and taking out the magic cores. He didn't even have time to enter the points. Let's finish collecting the magic cores first. He started with the highest ranked Dark Dreadclaw Bear and pocketed one magic core after another as the match countdown continued. All of these magical beasts were not low ranked, with large body sizes and thick leather armor, causing the speed of acquiring magic cores to not be fast. One hour, barely able to collect all the magic cores. Chen Yu just wanted to enter the information of the magic cores and get the points. The hunting tournament and tone then rang out. This hunting tournament has come to a successful end. All students are in teleportation. Shit. With a foul-mouthed outburst, Chen Yu's figure flickered and disappeared in place. One by one, the students appeared in the teleportation square in turn. After this practical training, everyone was very excited, discussing with each other what had happened in the demon domain and their point rankings. Chen Yu was not so calm, holding a large bag of magic cores, not knowing the measures. He didn't know if entering information now still counted, holding the mindset of giving it a try. He took out a 7th order magic core and gently placed it on top of his identity card. A drop sounded, prompting a successful points entry, but there were only 250 points. It turned out that the school had previously experienced this kind of incident, where a classmate hunted and killed a magical beast moments before the end of the hunting tournament and took out the magical core, but did not enter the information in time. This is a bit unfair to the students, so a new rule was made. After the hunting tournament is over, if there is still a magic core that has not been entered into the information, the points of that magic core will be counted in half. This is why this kind of situation occurred. For Chen Yu, this was a blessing amongst misfortunes. He quickly took out the bag of various colors of magic cores and entered the information. His current ranking was 12th, more than 1, 000 points short of 10th place. And with the entry of the information of the magic cores, his points continued to rise from 12, 300. The thick aura of magic cores attracted the surrounding students, and people kept coming over. When they saw that there was a student who had brightly entered his magic core information into his identity card, they were instantly nonplussed. The hunting tournament is over. Isn't he cheating? This is unfair. A line of questioning sounds rang out. More and more people were attracted over, and they all became indignant at the sight of the scene. At the same time, 
Everyone noticed that there was a person on the scoreboard whose points were rapidly increasing. This person's name was Chen Yu. There was no need to think. It must be the person in front of them. In no time, it had risen from 12th to 10th place. Only then did Chen Yu slow down his hand movements and took a big breath. He was so oblivious just now that he didn't even pay attention to these people beside him. It almost startled him. What are you guys doing surrounding me? You kid cheated, didn't you? One of the students stood out and chided. Chen Yu couldn't help but cry and laugh. He didn't think of cheating. It was all according to the rules. These magical beasts are all hunted by himself and not brought in. Besides, he can't afford to buy so many magical cores. This behavior of Chun Yu quickly spread. Most of the students belonged to the drama and came over to watch the fun. However, there was one person who, after glancing at the scoreboard, had anger welling up in his eyes and walked straight towards this side. He was none other than the 11th in the hunting tournament standings, Li Chi Yuan. He was 10th just now, and was still showing off his ranking with his friends. Now, the top 10 hadn't even been warmed up before he was overtaken. Who could stand it? He could be said to be the biggest victim. Although there was only a difference of one place between the 10th and 11th, the result was a world of difference, and he would lose the opportunity to enter the dragon sacrifice domain. Li Chi Yuan couldn't stand it. Get out of my way. He yelled towards the pile of people, wanting to enter inside to find the person who cheated. The students he chided wanted to talk back, but when they saw the person who was yelling, they instantly wimped out, and one by one obediently made way for Li Chi Yuan to enter. You kid is so bold. Dare to cheat in front of so many people. Aren't you afraid of being expelled from school? Li Chi Yuan saw the person in the center of the crowd and guessed that he was the 10th Chen Yu. I didn't cheat. These are all magical beasts that I just hunted and killed. It's just that the information of the magical cores hasn't been entered yet. According to the school's regulations, the points for these magic cores will be halved. Most of the students present were aware of this rule, but no one had ever thought that someone would come out of the magic domain carrying a large bag of magic cores Ah. These magic cores were of a very high grade, and it was impossible for one person to hunt them all down in such a short period of time. You're pulling the wool over your eyes. Just by virtue of you being able to hunt and kill so many high-ranked magical beasts, Li Chi Yuan had just roughly felt the magic cores in the bag. All of them were above the 7th rank, and there were even 8th and 9th rank magic cores, not to mention a 7th rank martial artist. Even an 8th rank martial artist could not do so to such an extent, so he decided that Chen Yu had cheated. Since you don't believe me, then I don't want to explain. Chen Yu shrugged his shoulders, indicating that it didn't matter. He was already 10th anyway, so do what you like. Soon, friends who were close to Li Chi Yuan gathered over, and many of them were in the top 10. These people all stood beside Li Chi Yuan and pressurized Chen Yu. The matter got bigger and bigger and soon attracted the attention of the teachers involved. In order to ensure the safety of the students and that there were no incidents of conflict, he quickly walked over and reprimanded. One little brat wants to rebel. Right. Under the teacher's majesty, the crowd instantly quieted down. The teacher walked into the inner circle and swept a circle with cold eyes, giving a warning. What happened? Teacher Wang Lin. He cheated. Li Chi Yuan pointed at Chen Yu and said. He then recounted what had just happened in general. And in his words, he despised Chen Yu's cheating tactics. After hearing this, Wang Lin's face was somber as he looked at Chen Yu. Tell me, how was it? He also did not believe that Chen Yu's seventh grade strength could hunt so many magical beasts. Facing these people's questioning, Chen Yu's face was expressionless as he swept his eyes coldly, then said word for word, Firstly, all these magical beasts were hunted by me. As for whether you guys believe it or not has nothing to do with me anymore. Secondly, you guys should know that after the magical cores are removed from the magical beasts, they only have a validity period of two hours. After this time, no information can be entered. If these magical cores in my hands are self-contained, they cannot be counted in the scoreboard. The entire room was dumbfounded at Chen Yu's explanation, as he was correct. Everyone couldn't point out a fault. Even Wang Lin couldn't refute it. After all, all of Chen Yu's actions were in accordance with the rules. Li Chi Yuan was not happy. There was no way he could give the 10th place away. Then he gave a wink to a few friends next to him. These people were all in the top 10 of the points ranking, and had a lot of influence regardless of their strength or status. Kid, do you know who he is? I advise you that you'd better be sensible. Give up your 10th place and honestly be your 12th place so that nothing will happen. A person to the left of Li Chi Yuan spoke in a strong tone and threatened in a low voice. Wang Lin listened in but didn't dare to interrupt because Li Chi Yuan's background couldn't even afford to mess with him, and he didn't want to lose his job because of it. He chose to turn a blind eye. As long as Chen Yu voluntarily gave up the 10th place, this matter would be well resolved. Almost everyone present was on Li Chi Yuan's side, just because of his illustrious status and Chen Yu being a nobody. Fine, fine. Since all of you are forcing me like this, 
then I will have to do as you wish. Chen Yu was never a cowardly and incompetent person, and could never submit to the powerful. He continued to take out magic cores from the bag in front of everyone and entered them into his identity card one by one. His points grew rapidly. 14,000, 15,000, 21,000, 22,000, 23,000. He didn't stop until his points surpassed the first place. First in the points list, Shin Yu, 23500. Second in the points list, Su Shikijing, 23000. His original goal was 10th and he didn't want to be too ostentatious. But these people were aggressive. So don't blame him for being unforgiving. I'll be the first in this hunting tournament. Anyone not convinced? Chen Yu looked at everyone in the room and snapped. This time, not only was Li Chi Yuan confused, but his few friends also cracked in place. This was because they all retreated one place in the rankings. Don't look at it as only going back one place. The rewards they would receive in the end would most likely be very different, directly harming their interests. Kid, you have guts. Now, Chen Yu had offended all of these people and became a target. These people formed a circle, making it clear that they would not let him leave easily. I'll see how you can leave today, Li Chi Yuan taunted. Chen Yu knew that he had incurred the wrath of the crowd, and it was a bit difficult to leave here peacefully. Outside the crowd, Zhao Huilin squeezed his way inside with an anxious face. Coming through, please come through. Zhao Huilin actually came out yesterday. His luck was a bit bad. He encountered a sixth rank magical beast in his solo hunt, and was simply no match for this magical beast, so he could only crush the spatial jade and teleport back in advance. With Chun Yu's help, his points stabilized in the top 100. His mood can be described as great. He also wanted to wait for Chen Yu to come out and treat him to dinner. But just this afternoon, the Chen family had a sudden situation and was surrounded by people clamoring for Chen Yu to come out. Zhao Huilin felt bad, so he anxiously ran towards the teleportation square. He managed to squeeze in and saw Chen Yu being blamed by a crowd of people. Too late to ask why. He shouted, Chen Yu, something happened to your house. It's surrounded by a large group of people. Go back quickly. Chen Yu's original mood which was still quite calm, suddenly panicked. His parents were the only relatives he had in this world. Moving him was fine, but whoever dared to move his family would make the other party pay the most painful price. Anger surged in his eyes as he glanced at the people around him and stormed out. Get the hell out of my way. Subsequently, a trace of black purple thunderbolt surrounded his body. The sound of it exploding was so intimidating that if a sixth grade martial artist accidentally touched the thunderbolt, he would probably be electrocuted on the spot. Coupled with Chun Yu's expression that did not look like a joke, the crowd was frightened and all retreated back for fear of being targeted. Even the always arrogant Li Chi Yuan was cowed and slowly stepped back. The crowd thus released a pathway. Chen Yu took an arrow step and rushed out, followed closely by Zhao Huai Lin. Wang Lin on the side was shocked in his heart and muttered, a bit strong. The two came to the entrance of Tian Yun University. Chen Yu wanted to take a taxi back. Zhao Hualin hurriedly said, take my car, in order to prevent delays on the road. He had driven directly to the school. Chen Yu jumped inside Zhao Hailin's convertible sports car with a single stride, his face grim as he urged, hurry up. Zhao Hailin fastened his seatbelt and drove towards Chen's house with a kick of the gas. On the road, Chen Yu asked, what exactly happened? He was very worried about his parents' well-being. Although they hadn't met each other yet, it was a genuine concern that originated from blood. The Chen family's power was weak. There weren't even a few martial artists above the sixth grade. Chen Wei Ran still had good strength but he couldn't carry the other side's large number of people. I don't know what's going on. This afternoon I just wanted to go to your house to wait for you to come back and have a meal together. Then suddenly a lot of people came and surrounded your house. And there were also people who were constantly clamoring for you to go out. Then I slipped out first, wanting to take you back in a hurry. For this kindness of Zhao Huilin, Chen Yu was very touched. If he was an ordinary friend, he might have just made a phone call to inform him. But Zhao Huilin personally drove to take him back. This brotherly love he deeply remembered. What is the origin of these people? I looked at them at the time, and a few of them looked familiar. They seemed to be. Zhao Huilin gazed at his eyebrows as he recalled. Who was it? It seems like people from the Chu family. People from the Chu family? Yes. I was confused at the time. The Chu family's status in Kyoto isn't low. It's reasonable to say that they wouldn't be involved with your family. Ah, your parents haven't made much of an appearance in the past few years. Zhao Huilin was surprised. With Chen Yu's parents' character, they shouldn't provoke people awe. After hearing what Zhao Huilin said, Chen Yu's face instantly pulled down. He understood. It must be that Chu Yun had found his family and, relying on his family's power, brought people to his door to seek revenge. The trouble was not as bad as his family. Anything could come at him. Chen Yu secretly swore in his heart that if his parents were missing a hair, he would make Chu Yun regret his decision today. Zhao Huilin, who was next to him, 
saw this reaction of Chun Yu and probably guessed that the two sides had a conflict in the devil's domain, and it was obvious that Chu Yun had suffered a loss, which led to today's events. Young Master Chu Yun, has my son offended you in some way? Don't be a generalist with this brat if you're an adult. When he comes back, I'll give him a good lesson. Chen Wei Ran looked at the towering Chu family young master in front of him, his face full of accompanying smiles. If it was more than 10 years ago, the Chen family would still have the ability to level the playing field with the Chu family. It was a pity that things had changed, and the Chun family had long since fallen into obscurity. On the side of Chun Yu's mother, Mu Linyan's face was white. Due to excessive worry, her body was trembling. She didn't know what her son had done. She only hoped that Chun Yu wouldn't come back. Within an hour, if Chun Yu doesn't come back, you too will atone for his sins. Looking at Chun Yu's humble to the core parents, Chu Yun's heart was infinitely refreshed. Fine, fine, as long as you spare my son, we will do as you please. Mu Lin Yun was like she had grabbed a life-saving straw. Chen Yu was her only son, her hope to live. She must not let her son meet an untimely end. Her legs went soft and she was close to kneeling down for Chu Yun. Chen Wei Ren looked at his pearly wife. The anger in his heart instantly flared up. The corners of his mouth trembled. He forcefully resisted the outburst a hand to pull Mu Lin Yun behind him. No matter what happened, there was him. Even if he was retaliated by the Chu family, he had to step over him first. I know that my son is rather naughty and may have accidentally messed with young master Chu Yun. I am here to say sorry to you. I deserve to be punished as his father. When had Chen Wei Ren ever been this humble? But in order to protect his family, he had to be submissive. Looking at Chun Yu's parents being so meddlesome, he couldn't help but laugh out loud. Good. It's reasonable for the son to make a mistake and the old man to be punished. As long as you fulfill my demands, I will let Chen Yu off the hook. A smile of triumph surfaced at the corner of Chu Yun's mouth. Chen Wei Ran gritted his teeth and asked, Please clarify, young master Chu. Chu Yun had a smug look on his face as he walked slowly towards Chen Wei Ran, then stepped forward with his right leg while leaving his left leg untouched. Kneel down and drill through my crotch, and I'll take the people out of your Chen family. Chen Wei Ran's slightly aged face was incomparably embarrassed in an instant. A man born in heaven and earth has gold under his knees. How could he kneel down others, especially a milky boy? If he knelt down and drilled through Chu Yun's crotch, then this old face of his would not be needed. Young Master Chu, I, Chen Wei Ran, am somewhat famous in Kyoto, although not as good as before, but you are truly too bullying. Due to his extreme anger, the martial artist aura within Chen Wei Ran's body unconsciously overflowed. Eighth grade martial artist, Chu Yun was shocked in his heart. He did not expect such a downtrodden family to still have an 8th grade martial artist, which was out of his expectation. For martial artists, only those who entered the realm of the 8th rank could be called strong. He only had 7th grade strength and was definitely not Chen Weiron's opponent, but it did not mean that there was no way to take the other party. He had brought helpers with him this time just to make sure everything was fine. Zhongli, Su Hu, take him down for me. As soon as the words fell, two burly middle-aged men behind Chu Yun stepped out and held him back. Two powerful martial artist auras erupted, steadily suppressing Chen Weiran. Two eighth grade martial artists, a pre eighth grade and a mid eighth grade, any one of them would be difficult to deal with, let alone two. Chen Weiran's forehead was dripping with sweat. He did not know what to do. Chu Yun had suffered a loss from Chen Yu last time. This time, he had grown a long memory and transferred two guards with good strength from within the family. Since the Chun family master is unwilling to kneel on his own accord, let my men help you out a bit. Receiving their master's order, Zhang Li and Su who stepped out in unison and surrounded Chen Weiran, one against two, there was no chance of winning. As Chen Weiran was beaten back and forth, Mu Lin Yun wanted to step forward to help, but was pulled back by Chu Yun. He looked at the charming young woman. His eyes were filled with lust. You're quite pretty. Accompany this young master to have some fun. Chu Yun began to move his hands and feet. Mu Lin Yun struggled desperately. Bastard. Let go of me. Chen Weiran who was already at a disadvantage, saw his wife being bullied and was furious. He didn't pay attention and was hit in the chest by Su Hu's palm and flew straight backwards. His body hit the wall before stopping. Put. A mouthful of blood spurted out from his mouth. Severely injured, he forced himself to endure the pain, covering his chest with one hand and supporting the ground with the other. Getting up with difficulty, he took one stumbling step towards Mu Lin Yun. Let go of her. Su Hu and Zhang Li walked in front of Chen Wei Ran, blocking his idea of going over. Let him come over. Chu Yun's voice rang out, and the two of them moved out of the way, allowing Chen Wei Ran to limp over. Chen Wei Ran had just arrived at Mu Lin Yun's side and before he could touch it, he was kicked in the face and fell again. I'll let you kneel. Chu Yun condescended with an unrivaled expression. Let go of her. Chen Wei Ran's feeble hissing voice was useless. Chu Yun held Mu Lin Yun's delicate neck with one hand and slowly exerted force, 
his face grim as he said, Are you kneeling or not? Mu Linyun's hands were powerless, without any means of resistance, her breathing became more and more difficult, and she began to turn red above her neck, which was a symptom of oxygen deprivation. If it continued, it was likely that she would suffocate and die. Chen Wei Ran was afraid. He hadn't been afraid of facing two eighth grade martial artists just now, but now he was afraid. He was afraid of losing Mu Lin Yun, losing the person he loved most in his life. He braced his hands on the ground and tremblingly supported his body. His upright look began to dishevel. His legs that were as firm as a pine began to bend. Wei Ran. No. Don't. Mu Lin Yun let out a weak supplication. She didn't want her lover to kneel to someone else because of her. It was worse than killing her. Quickly kneel down and drill through Laozi's crotch. Otherwise I'll strangle her to death. Xu Yun laughed viciously. Don't. Chen Wei Rant's last shred of mind collapsed. Faster. Faster. Chen Yu kept urging from the co-pilot. Zhao Hualin stepped on the gas to the bottom. The speed limit was 60 yards. And he was driving up to 100 yards. Breaking several red lights in a row. Don't be anxious. It's definitely fine. Zhao Hualin comforted. All the way to Sparks with Lightning. Originally an hour's journey. 25 minutes to the Chen family. Before the car stopped, Chen Yu unbuckled his seatbelt, flipped over and jumped down from the sports car, running towards his home. Looking from afar, outside the Chen home stood a clear line of men in black suits, and these people surrounded the mansion to the hilt. Idle people do not enter. A tall man reached out and tried to stop Chen Yu outside the door. Get lost. Chen Yu's face was very ugly. Fourth grade trash still dared to stop him. His five fingers clenched into a fist and swung out. Bang! The man was blown out unconscious. The unstoppable punch shocked the others, forgetting to come forward to stop him. Chen Yu pushed the door and took a big stride towards the inner courtyard. Into his eyes, he saw his mother being strangled by Chu Yun with one hand, and his own father's body was slightly bowed, his legs bent, about to kneel. Dog, let go of my mother. Everyone was attracted by the angry roar. When Chu Yun saw that Chen Yu had returned, the corner of his mouth twitched as he smiled evilly. I've been waiting for you for a long time. You're finally willing to come back. Chen Wei Ren looked at his son who was not letting people worry about him and sighed deeply. Could it be that my Chen family is bound to have this calamity? Mu Lin Yun's eyes were tearful as she cried. You were. Quickly go. Even though she was in danger. What Mu Lin Yun was still hanging on to in her heart was Chen Yu. Chen Yu's nose twitched and his heart was deeply touched. This was the first time he felt such genuine affection. And this time he wanted to have it properly. After a brief moment of disorientation. He then looked at Chu Yun angrily and said through clenched teeth, I'll say it again, take away your dirty hands, what did you say, I can't hear you, Chu Yun sidled his ears and pretended not to hear, with Chun Yu's father and mother in his hands, the initiative was in his hands, so naturally he had to be arrogant, Chen Yu just wanted to go forward to rescue his parents when Su Hu and Zhang Li stood out and blocked the center, the two 8th grade martial artists must be dealt with first, Chun Yu only had 7th grade strength, if he fully utilized the two S rank secret arts, he could at most deal with one eighth grade martial artist. It was difficult to resolve two at once. Seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade. Every time he raised a realm, his strength would gain a qualitative leap. He couldn't easily accomplish a level crossing challenge like before. And the challenge was still against two strong eighth grade martial artists. Son, go quickly. I'll help you stall them. Chen Wei Ran got up with great difficulty. His heart was already in despair. Chen Yu only had the strength of the fourth rank. He was simply no match for these people. But for the sake of the last bloodline of the family, and for the sake of his only son, even if he sacrificed himself, he had to seek a sliver of life for Chun Yu. However, he was over injured, and just after taking two steps, he spat out another mouthful of blood and staggered to the ground. Chu Yun cozily walked to Chun Wei Ran's side and stomped on his back, making it impossible for him to get up. Chu Yun looked at Chun Yu with provocative eyes and said, Aren't you a very capable fighter? I'd like to see if you can survive from two eighth grade martial artists today. Don't kill him. Leave me a breath. These words were addressed to Zhang Li and Su Hu. The two guards answered. Yes, young master. Chen Yu's anger peaked as he watched his parents being mercilessly toyed with by Chu Yun. The S rank secret art thousand shadow silence opened. And the S rank secret art shouting thunder heavenly fairy opened. Under the two S class secret arts. Chen Yu was like a bullet carrying thunder and lightning as he swept in. Chu Yun was shocked in his heart. He realized that Chen Yu had become stronger again. This familiar aura was clearly something that only a 7th grade martial artist could release. This is only a few days ah. Chun Yu has been promoted from a 6th grade martial artist to a 7th grade martial artist. This talent, coupled with this kind of strength, this person must not be retained. Today he must be cut down. If he is given the chance to run away, in time it will be a great danger to the Chu family. Chen Wei Ran didn't realize that something was wrong until now. 
the martial artist aura emanating from his own son. So strong. This is something that only a 7th grade martial artist possesses. 10,000 doubts surged to his mind. Chen Yu was clearly only a 4th grade martial artist 7 days ago, and now he had risen 3 great realms in a row. This kind of thing was unheard of and unheard of for him. Even the number 1 strongest person in the world would not be able to raise his strength from the 4th rank to the 7th rank in only 7 days. Chen Wei ran gazed and observed. The martial aura on Chen Yu was very majestic, without a single sign of weakness. This was by no means a realm that had been forcibly elevated through secret methods or evil arts. Chen Weiran guessed that his son had encountered a great chance in the demonic domain and obtained some kind of supreme inheritance. Only this possibility could explain the change in Chen Yu's body. While the two were shocked, the battle had already started. Although Chen Yu possessed two major S-rank secret arts, Zhang Li and Su Hu did not take it to heart. Although the secret arts were strong, their strength was even stronger, and the secret arts were unable to make up for the gap in strength between the two sides. The previously unbeatable body secret arts did not have a surprising effect in front of the two 8th grade powerhouses. The greatest characteristic of an 8th grade martial artist was that they could feel the chi of the heavens and earth. Their senses and physical strength were far from what a 7th grade martial artist could compare to. Even if they could not see Chen Yu's path of action, they could still approximately feel where Chen Yu was. And with their strong perception they could still execute means to fight with him. Quick battle. Don't play with this kid. Su Hu's several attacks grazed the edges and did not attack the main body which infuriated him to no end. Two 8th grade powerhouses being teased by a 7th grade was unbearable. Chen Yu threw out a ball of thunderbolt from time to time, which was extremely penetrating, and it was not easy for as strong as an 8th grade martial artist to be hit. Therefore, he reminded Zhang Li to join himself in using his skills to take down Chen Yu. Zhang Li stopped his attack and understood. The two 8th grade martial artists were going to get real. Su Hu took out a huge ruler-like weapon from his spatial ring, the giant ruler was red in color and had a rather domineering appearance. This was his strongest weapon, the Great A Flame Heavy Ruler. Afterward, Su Hu let out a low roar. Spectral Flame. Ignite. This was an A-rank secret art, the Spectral Flame, which could burn everything it touched, and if flesh accidentally touched it, the bones would be burned to slag. Instantly, a light blue Spectral Flame ignited from the surface of his body, and these blue flames surged down his hand into the giant ruler. This secret art of his was actually adapted to the weapon. And with the spectral flame added to it, the power of the flame heavy ruler would be greatly enhanced. If Chen Yu was struck by the heavy ruler, he would surely die. Zhang Li on the side also roared. Vudra Fury. Enlighten. After using the A-rank secret art Vudra Fury, Zhang Li's body began to flash with a golden light, and his body doubled in size to more than 3 meters tall. In the state of Vudra Rage, the body defense would reach a terrifying value, and even heavenly lightning would not be able to exert one third of its effect. In addition to that, Strength, speed, senses, and agility were all significantly improved. Two 8th grade martial artists used their full strength to take down a 7th grade martial artist. This alone, if it was spread, Chen Yu's reputation would be greatly enhanced. There he is. Zhang Li suddenly pointed towards a shadowy figure. In his Vudra rage state, he could barely keep up with Chen Yu's speed. In an instant, Zhang Li and Su Hu moved. Zhang Li jumped in front of Chen Yu. His golden colored fist aimed at his head and violently swung out. Su Hu held a heavy ruler and aimed behind Chen Yu, slashing fiercely, one in front and one behind, both blocked and both fatal strikes. Chen Yu was unable to dodge these two attacks with his speed. The corner of Chu Yun's mouth on the side began to slowly raise, imagining the scene of Chen Yu being knocked to the ground. Chen Wei Rant's liver and guts cracked as he hissed, Spare my son, Mu Lin Yun, on the other hand, was so shocked that she directly fainted. Everyone thought that Chen Yu would be hit hard. Even Su Hu and Zhang Li in the middle of the battlefield revealed victorious smiles. Jumping clowns, die for me. The two of them had been teased for a long time. Their hearts had long been unhappy, and their two attacks arrived both before and after, sealing Chen Yu to death and preventing him from escaping. Only Chen Yu was leisurely and calm. His expression did not have the slightest ripple. The heavy fist and heavy ruler hit at the same time. Hit, Su Hu said excitedly, but he soon realized that something was wrong. His heavy ruler had slashed through thin air and did not attack the entity. Zhang Li was the same as him, his fist hit the virtual shadow without any sense of physical touch. Chen Yu had just disappeared right under their noses. It was too bizarre. An ability like instantaneous movement was only possessed by a strong martial Zun realm practitioner. How could a 7th grade martial artist master such a powerful ability? The crowd was puzzled. Boom! The end result was that the Vudra fist and the flame heavy ruler clashed together, and a powerful wave of energy sent the two flying out. Zhang Li and Su Hu failed to surround them and were themselves attacked by each other. But fortunately, they were so strong that their arms were only numb and they were not injured. Where did he go? 
The two still hadn't gotten over the shock they had just experienced. I'm here. Chen Yu appeared out of thin air in another place under everyone's astonished gazes, more than 10 meters away from his original position. Such a long distance, such a short period of time, and disappearing and appearing without warning. This was definitely an instantaneous transfer. Only Chen Yu knew that this was the additional ability of Thousand Shadow Silence Fall. After he had opened Thousand Shadow Silence, he had chosen several markers to facilitate his change of position. The effect was very good and helped him dodge the fatal blow. After the battle just now, Chen Yu realized that the strength of an 8th grade martial artist was far beyond imagination. Both of them also used their strongest skills. Although they were unable to capture Chen Yu for a short period of time, the other party's realm was higher. Their strength was even stronger. The longer the time dragged on, the more unfavorable it would be for Chen Yu. It must be a quick battle. Two wasteful things, a 7th grade martial artist can't even clean up. The most anxious person in the whole scene was instead Chu Yun. The performance of the two guards just now made him very unhappy. Two 8th grade martial artists dealing with a 7th grade martial artist, wasting so much time. What are you waiting for? Get on me. Under Chu Yun's chiding, Su Hu and Zhang Li's faces were a little embarrassed. Being fooled by a 7th grade martial artist was too humiliating. The two looked at each other and once again encircled over. I don't believe it. You can keep hiding. Su Hu swung his heavy ruler, and the underworld fire on the surface of the flaming heavy ruler suddenly erupted. A blazing flame coming out of the ruler and pointing straight at Chen Yu. This heavy ruler of his actually had a long range attack. Chen Yu quickly dodged to avoid the flame. The flame landed on the ground not far away and continued to burn, showing no signs of extinguishing. If one were to be contaminated with this fire, one would likely be unable to get rid of it and must be extremely careful. One strike failed. Su Hu was not discouraged. He kept waving his heavy ruler. A light blue flame flew out. These flames formed a dense net, covering the vast majority of the area in front of him. Zhang Li then came to the other side. This was the only place where the flames could not attack. Chen Yu could only dodge to this place if he wanted to avoid the flame attack. Zhang Li believed that Chen Yu's instantaneous movement ability had a time interval and could not be used continuously. As long as he caught him once, he would not be able to run away. Now, Chen Yu was in a predicament. Just as Zhang Li thought, there was a time limit for him to retrace his mark. He could only use it once every two seconds. If he shifted outside the range of the flame attack, he would definitely encounter Zhang Li, and he would definitely not be able to dodge the attack at that time. However, if he did not use his backtracking ability, he would be attacked by the flames, and either way, it was not something he could resist. It was as if he was in a situation of certain defeat. Chen Wei Ran, who had originally sparked some hope, once again fell into despair. The gap in realm as well as the gap in numbers was difficult to make up. Chen Yu being able to hold out until now was already beyond his imagination. Xu Yun clamored. Kid, aren't you quite good at jumping around? Keep jumping. The corner of Chen Yu's eye suddenly shrunk. Just now he should have left a mark near Chu Yun and went up to waste him first. But Su Hu and Zhang Li both protected Chu Yun very well. In a horn's position. Not giving him a chance to get close at all. Since he couldn't escape. Then he didn't escape. Chen Yu stood still and looked at the approaching flames and everyone else thought that he had given up. Of course, no one could think of a way to deal with it. In the hands of an ordinary martial artist, he could only obediently wait for death. But Chen Yu was not an ordinary martial artist, nor would he obediently wait for death. The flames were about to arrive, and his figure was still. Quietly, a heavy sword appeared in his hand. Chen Yu had taken out the Heavenly Slaughter. This predicament could only force him to use this magic sword. Heavenly Slaughter had slaughtered hundreds of magical beasts before and the blood of those magical beasts was absorbed by it, getting nourished by the blood and regaining a new life. At this time, not only did its appearance become more creepy, the slightest hint of terror overflowed, killing, bloodthirsty, brutality, lingering all around. It was hard to imagine that so much terrifying aura would come from a heavy sword, an aura that all weapons did not possess. The flame heavy ruler was like a child's toy when compared to it. It was not in the same class at all. Shen Yu gripped the hilt of the sword with one hand, raised it, and dropped it. In just one movement, a sword chi was swung out. All the flames dispersed in the air before they even touched the sword chi. The momentum of the sword chi did not decrease and headed towards Su Hu. Su Hu's heart trembled. This was the sixth sense that originated from the threat to his life. He knew clearly that if he was hit by this sword chi, he would not survive. The heavenly slaughter was different from ordinary weapons. It did not require any secret techniques to be enchanted. Each sword was the most powerful sword technique in the world. Every chop and slash contained an incomparably powerful offense. Su Hu hurriedly raised the flame heavy ruler in his hand, trying to block the sword chi. The sword chi arrived instantly and collided with the flame heavy ruler. Clang! A crisp sound rang out. 
and the incredibly hard flame heavy ruler snapped in response, not holding on for a second. This was an A-class weapon. Its hardness was several times stronger than pure steel. Even if it was hit by a missile, it could still be blocked. Now it couldn't block a sword chi. It was just too outrageous. It took the cost of breaking the flame heavy ruler to stop a sword chi of heavenly slaughter. Holding the heavenly slaughter in his hand, Chen Yu's aura rose steeply. His body exuded a look down upon the world's majesty. Su Hu didn't even have the courage to look at him. No matter whether it was physically or mentally, he had lost, lost very thoroughly. In Chen Yu's eyes, the eighth rank was like a dog or pig, slaughtered at will. Su Hu was abashed, his legs unconsciously moved backward. Chen Yu with a heavy sword in his hand was like a descending lord in his eyes. He could ravage his life at will. The seventh and eighth grade realms were meaningless to both parties. Another sword was swung out. Sword Chi swept towards Su Hu. This sword, no strength was left behind. This sword, with the power of heavenly descent, was as powerful as a bamboo, cutting straight through Su Hu. Su Hu's body trembled, not even having the courage to resist. Me so, the sword Chi cut through Su Hu's body. It was so natural. A crack appeared from his waist, followed by blood spilling, gushing, and spurting from the crack. Su Hu's vitality was completely severed at this moment, and his eyes, filled with fear, stared dead ahead in death. Under everyone's horrified gazes, Su Hu snapped into two and fell to the ground. An eighth grade martial artist fell with this, a sword destroying an eighth rank. This was Chen Yu's true strength. Everyone in the room forgot to even breathe as they watched the horrifying scene. If one were to say who was the most scared, it was naturally Zhang Li. He had seen his brother being killed by a sword with his own eyes. He was definitely next. He didn't know if Vajra Fury could resist a sword. Of course, he didn't want to try. The consequence of a failed attempt would be death. As Zhang Li thought, Chen Yu slowly turned around and looked at him. There was not a single ripple of emotion in those eyes. Only the king's gaze. The last line of defense within Zhang Li was broken. His legs went limp and he fell to his knees, pleading, I was wrong. Don't kill me. I'll do whatever you want me to do. I'll do anything. I'll do anything as an ox or a horse. Before a person died, he would unconditionally obey the orders of others, just to beg for a sliver of life. Next to him, Chu Yun's mouth was slightly open, his pupils vibrating, he couldn't believe what was happening in front of him. Even more so, he could not believe that Chen Yu could kill an 8th grade martial artist with a single sword. He shook his head, trying to clear his head. This was definitely an illusion. No matter how incredulous he was, he could not change the reality. You punk, get up and kill him. Chu Yun was impotent and furious still trying to order Zhang Li. How could Zhang Li, who had been scared out of his wits, still have the courage to stand up? He only prayed to live on. Chen Yu walked in front of Zhang Li, waved the heavenly slaughter, and a glittering golden head flew out. Your turn. Chen Yu turned around with a creepy gaze and looked at Chu Yun. Chu Yun was scared out of his wits as he watched the two major guards he had brought with him get decapitated by Chen Yu, the titular young master of the Chu clan, the most talented person of the Chu clan's younger generation a late 7th grade martial artist at only 18 years of age, with an unlimited future. At this moment, his eyes were lost in thought, his face was pale, and he almost fell down with a stumble. Chen Wei Ran leapt up violently, taking advantage of Chu Yun's lack of reaction, pulled Mu Lin Yun into his arms and ran to Chen Yu's side with his wife in his arms. He was impressed by the fighting prowess that Chen Yu had just displayed. This was completely a genius that was only born in a super family. The Chen family would surely rise with this son. Chen Wei Ran looked at Chen Yu in a daze. He had countless doubts he wanted to ask, but still held back. Let's wait for Chen Yu to resolve these people from the Chu family first, and then inquire afterwards. How is mom doing? Chen Yu looked at the injured man, the woman who was in a coma. His heart was vaguely aching. If it wasn't for him, his own parents wouldn't have been injured. He swore that he must become stronger, become stronger than anyone, so that no one would mess with him. No one would dare to hurt his loved ones. Chen Wei Ran checked, took a long breath and said, your mom was overly shocked. She temporarily fainted. No big deal. Chen Yu let go of his heart. Next, he had to solve the culprit of this incident. He sheltered Chen Wei Ran and Mu Lin Yun in front of him and faced a group of enemies alone. Chen Wei Ran looked at Chen Yu, who was almost as tall as him, and looked relieved that his son had finally grown up. Xu Yun, you dare to harm my family? This time, stay here forever. Holding a heavy sword in his hand, he approached step by step with an extraordinary aura. Xu Yun swallowed hard and with a voice that was almost frantic, he drank, what are you guys still standing there for, give me a go, although he had the strength of a late 7th grade, and was even higher than Chen Yu in terms of realm, he had no desire to fight, and only wanted to escape from here and go to the clan to find more powerful elders to help him, the dozens of followers that Chu Yun had brought with him, 
Most of their strengths were from the fourth to the sixth grade. They were just propping up the scene and showing off the prestige of the Chu family. Completely unanticipated, they would be asked to deal with Chun Yu, which was no different from sending them to their deaths. These followers didn't dare to disobey their young master's orders. They stood in place, you looking at me and I looking at you, not knowing what to do. You bunch of losers get on. What's the use of raising you? Xu Yun staggered behind the crowd, pushing, shoving and kicking. One more second of stalling would give him one more second of hope of survival. These people had no choice but to charge up. They fantasized about relying on their strength and numbers to drag Chen Yu down and buy time for Chu Yun to escape. Dozens of people roared angrily and rushed over. The formation was somewhat bluff. Chen Yu smiled disdainfully and casually swung out a sword. Me so. The sword chi swept through the crowd, and those who passed through were broken into two. It was effortless to settle these trash. Only Chu Yun was left in the Chu clan, and before he could run out a few steps, he turned back to see the situation, only to see a half-broken corpse scattered on the ground, blood flowing into a river, horrible to the extreme. Chu Yun had never seen such a hellish scene in his long life. His state of mind completely collapsed. His legs were like lead. It was difficult to take a step. No, you can't kill me. I'm the Chu family's first genius. My father is the Chu family's lord. If you dare to kill me, you will surely be subjected to the Chu family's endless retaliation. Chu Yun wanted to rely on his family's background to suppress Chen Yu and make him retreat. Unfortunately, he had met the wrong person. Today, even if the king of heaven comes, you must die. Chen Yu stepped over the wreckage and walked towards Chu Yun, each step causing Chu Yun's body to tremble once. He wimped out and directly knelt down, his previous flaunting appearance gone. Tears and snot flowed down his face as he continuously cowed out on the ground. The threatening words turned into humble supplication. As long as you spare me, I can give you anything you want. Seeing that Chen Yu was unmoved, he continued, Is an S-Class weapon okay? As long as you nod your head, I'll let my dad send it over now. The S-Class weapons were indeed appealing, but Chen Yu knew that he had the life to ask for them, but not the life to receive them. By the time Chu Yun's father sent the item over, his own little life would be gone. I don't want anything, just your life. Chen Yu's words were like a life-snatching soul-locking hook, causing Chu Yun to fall into endless despair. Glancing down, Chen Yu then raised his heavy sword, aimed it at his neck, and slashed down. Dab. Clang. As the sharp edge of the heavy sword was about to touch the neck, a strong force came, and the force collided with the sidewall of the heavy sword. Under the influence of the powerful force, the heavy sword deviated from its original position and did not cut down the head, only cutting off a bunch of hair. Kid, you dare to kill a member of my Chu family. Before the person appeared, a deep and thick voice arrived first. Not a moment later, a silhouette fell from midair. Surprisingly, it was a ninth grade grandmaster. Only a ninth grade grandmaster possessed the ability to fly for a short period of time. Now, the situation on the battlefield was once again reversed, and with the addition of the ninth grade grandmaster, the balance of victory was once again in favor of Chu Yun. Chu Yun twisted his head to look at the incoming person, a touch of exhilaration enlarging in his eyes. Fourth uncle, save me. The person who came was none other than Chu Yun's fourth uncle, Chu Hongxing a genuine ninth grade grandmaster. Chu Hongxing usually loved Chu Yun the most and had always treated him as his own child. Today, Chu Hongxing had just returned to the Chu family when he heard his subordinates say that Chu Yun had gone out with a large group of people, and among them, there were also two eighth grade family guards. This caused him to take it seriously, and in order to ensure that Chu Yun would not be in danger, he asked where the people were heading to, and then rushed over without stopping. It was a good thing that he was in time. If he had been a second behind, Chu Yun would have been dead. That would have been the Chu family's greatest loss. Chen Yu merely glanced at Chu Hongxing and did not change his mind as he once again raised his heavy sword and swung it down in front of Chu Hongxing. Chu Hong did not expect the son to be so bold as to dare to decapitate Chu Yun in front of him, completely disregarding him as a ninth grade grandmaster. Kid, you seek death. A short blade exploded towards Chen Yu's head. If he continued to swing his sword, his head would definitely not be saved. Chu Hongxing expected that he would not exchange one life for another. Of course Chen Yu would not. This rotten life of Chu Yun was not worth exchanging for. His sword swinging action was forced to abort. He raised his heavy sword and blocked it horizontally in front of his body. At the same time, lightning flashed in his left hand. Very fast speed will accumulate to complete. Aimed at Chu Yun heart vein blast. This lightning attack, even if it could not kill Chu Yun, it could still break his heart vein and he would never be able to cultivate again. Chu Yun, be careful. Before the thunderbolt in Chun Yu's hand was even thrown. Chu Hongxing sensed it and warned in a loud voice. Seeing the familiar thunderbolt, Chu Yun did not dare to be careless, and then crossed his hands in front of him to defend with all his might, protecting the location of his heart vein. 
Boom! The lightning struck smoothly, but did not break the heart vein. With Chu Yun's late seventh grade strength, although he could not counteract all the lightning attacks, he could still protect his heart vein. One strike failed, and Shen Yu lost his best chance. Chu Hengxing flashed to Chu Yun's side, protecting him behind him. Chu Yun was not dead from the catastrophe, wiping away the blood from the corner of his mouth. He laughed loudly and said, You still can't kill me. Next, you will meet the Chu family's most horrifying retaliation. Your Chen family will definitely be removed from Kyoto. You, as well as your father and mother will all die in my hands. Properly villainous. A moment ago, he was kneeling like a dog, but now he was high and mighty. Fourth uncle, there is something wrong with his weapon. Let's go back and gather our men first and step on the Chun family. Chu Yun was deeply attracted by Qin Yu's weapon and began to covet the heavy sword. Chu Hongxing inspected and found that many of the meridians in Chu Yun's body were broken and his internal organs were shifted. The injuries he received were far more than just the surface. He then promised Chu Yun that he would send him back first, and then come back later to destroy the Chen family. Chu Hongxing wrapped his arm around Chu Yun and took off in a single step, flying towards the outside of the courtyard. In mid-air, Chu Yun laughed fiercely. Be good and wait here. Your family's lives are all mine. Want to leave? Did I promise? Chun Yu put away his heavy sword and said heatedly. With the help of his fourth uncle, Chu Yun was about to fly out of the Chen family, hundreds of meters away from where Chen Yu was, and he was still in the air, so he wasn't worried about being hit at all. Furthermore, Chen Yu had put away that strange heavy sword. It was even more unlikely that he would have the ability to leave him behind. His face was full of mockery, his mind imagining the next scene of retaliation. Only unfortunately, Chen Yu would not give him this opportunity. His eyes gazing at the two in the air as he whispered, Fire fire, it's your turn to strike. Fire flame was his strongest killing move and would not use it easily. But in order to decapitate Chu Yun, it had to be summoned out. Hearing his dad's voice, Fire flame was very happy and was happy to help. It quietly spat out a sliver of red flame and fired it out from Chun Yu's body, aiming at Chu Yun in midair. This trace of red flame was less than the thickness of a hair, hard to spot with the naked eye, but carried the power to penetrate through everything, no matter what it was, it could not stop it from scorching hot and burning. The moment the flame was ejected, Chu Hengxing discovered its existence with his keen insight, originating from the truest fear in his heart, not to mention that he was a ninth grade grandmaster, even if he was allowed to ascend another great realm. He still didn't have the courage to carry this threat of flame attack hard. At the first moment, without hesitation, a purple and gold colored shield that was one meter and a half long, one meter wide, and ten centimeters thick appeared behind Chu Hongxing. S-class defensive weapon, purple star black gold guardian shield. This guardian shield weighed thousands of pounds and was made from a combination of purple star ore and black gold ore, making it extremely rare. Although the grade of the purple star black gold guardian shield was the same as the big dipper clothes that Sunny had used before. It was far more defensive than the Big Dipper clothes, because the Big Dipper clothes were worn close to the body. They were small, simple, and in order to achieve all-around defense, they had certain limitations in terms of defensive power, only being able to resist the attacks of a ninth grade grandmaster. The Violet Star Black Gold Guardian Shield was different. In order to pursue extreme defensiveness, it directly abandoned convenience, omnidirectionality, and had to be handheld. Therefore, the Purple Star Black Gold Guardian Shield could defend against the attacks of a Martial Spirit Realm powerhouse. When the Purple Star Black Gold Guardian Shield was blocked horizontally behind him, Chu Hengxing breathed a slight sigh of relief. Even if this flame was powerful, it would not be able to break through the defense. Chu Yun, however, was unimpressed, thinking that his fourth uncle was too careful, and that the flame used by a 7th grade martial artist could not possibly be that strong. But the next scene broke everyone's perception. The red flame was indeed blocked by the violet star black gold guardian shield. The moment the flames came into contact with the guardian shield, an appalling force traveled through the guardian shield to Chu Hengxing's hand, and the bones of his right hand that was holding the guardian shield snapped by inches. Ah, the power of the flames far exceeded Chu Hengxing's guess, and he cried out as he used the full power of a ninth grade grandmaster and applied it on top of the violet star black gold guardian shield. Now, Chu Yun's expression was not right. He could not imagine a flame forcing fourth uncle into such a situation. If he himself was attacked by the flame, absolutely no ash would remain. Fortunately, he had the defense of the purple star black gold guardian shield, as well as the fourth uncle's reinforcement, or else today would be the day of his death. Chu Yun slowed down and looked at Chu Hongxing once again, realizing that fourth uncle's expression had changed from shock to horror, and then he said in horror, impossible, before Chu Yun could understand what had happened. He only heard a crisp cracking sound coming from the purple star black gold guardian shield and a trace of cracks spread out from the center of the guardian shield. Ka Ching, 
the S-rank super strong defensive weapon shattered into several pieces just like that. This was an S-rank weapon, but it didn't even last three breaths. The flame shattered the violet star black gold guardian shield and accelerated twice, shooting towards Chu Yun's heart chakra. Chu Hongxing could not afford to feel sorry for the purple star black gold guardian shield. He hurriedly transported his strength to try to block the flame's advancing momentum. Me so. This time, the flames did not linger for a second, penetrating through Chu Hongxing's palm and arriving in front of Chu Yun's chest. Chu Yun watched as this almost negligible trace of flame passed through his clothes, skin, and muscles before exploding at his heart vein. This time, there was no way to return to the sky, and his heart vein was severed inch by inch, with no possibility of redemption. Chu Yun's eyes went black and he fainted. From this moment onwards, he would lose his qualification to cultivate, and his realm would also fall to the ground, turning him into an invalid. Chu Hongxing panicked. He quickly sealed Chu Yun's acupoints to prevent excessive blood loss. He glared angrily, looking dead at Chen Yu below. How dare the vertical sun? Chen Yu stood there quietly, looking at the two in the air with a different meaning. The reason why he only shot Chu Yun's heart vein and did not kill him was to let him feel the life of turning into a waste, which was even more cruel than killing him. Chu Hongxing held Chu Yun with one hand, his chest rising and falling violently. He was completely enraged. This was the first time that he had been enraged by a 7th grade martial artist. He wanted to go down and slaughter Chen Yu, but when he thought about the trace of flame just now, coupled with the fact that Chu Yun's life and death were unknown, he could only go back first. This time, Chen Yu did not stop him and watched the two fly off into the distance. It was only after seeing the two disappear from view with his own eyes that he breathed a sigh of relief. He turned to Chen Wei Ran who had a stunned expression and said, Father, this place is not suitable to stay for long. Let's leave quickly. Chen Yu knew that the Chen family had already formed a deadly feud with the Chu family, and would be subjected to unlimited retaliation next, without end. It did not matter to him, but he could not harm his parents, so he had to send them to a safe place. Chen Wei Ran looked at Chen Yu with an incredulous face, half unable to speak. It was only after Chen Yu's repeated urges that he reacted. Indeed, the Chen family could not stay any longer and had to change places. Father, do you have any trustworthy people and forces? Ah, uh, let's go over and join them first. Chen Wei Ran frowned and pondered for a moment, then shook his head. Since the decline of the Chen family, the previously close families had left one by one. There was no way anyone would be willing to accept them. Chen Yu's expression was gloomy. For a while he did not know what to do. Suddenly, Chen Wei Ran seemed to have thought of something. The corners of his eyebrows stretched, but soon became entangled again. Chen Yu noticed the change in his father's expression and then asked, Father, have you thought of something? Chen Wei Ran nodded and shook his head again, letting out a sigh. As long as there is a way, then there is hope. Chen Yu once again asked, Father, what exactly is the way? Maybe it is possible. There is, but we can't get in. Why? Chen Yu was puzzled. Chen Wei Ran explained. In our dragon country there exists a special and powerful organization that belongs to a third party neutral organization, with forces all over the country that can give us help. What organization? The Heavenly Criminal Bureau. Chen Yu had not heard of this organization. Chen Wei Ran continued. They are willing to take in people who are in danger, provided that these people have not broken the law or done anything immoral. As long as they enter the Heavenly Punishment Bureau, they will receive their full protection and it is impossible for them to be harmed by outsiders. Then let's go quickly. Chen Yu was impatient. Chen Wei Ran looked embarrassed and said in a low voice, If we want to enter the Heaven's Punishment Bureau, we need to pay a huge amount of protection fee. Our Chen family doesn't have that much money. The Heaven's Punishment Bureau was not some charitable organization and would definitely not help people for no reason. This was something that Chen Yu understood very well. Father, quickly pack up your things. I'll go get the car out. But, Chen Wei Ran was worried worried that the Heavenly Criminal Bureau would not take them in. Dad, don't think too much. There will definitely be a way when the time comes. If we don't leave the Chu family may bring people over. Only after hearing this did Chen Wei Ran let go of his worries. He first disbanded all the servants of the Chen family. Each of them was given a considerable amount of severance pay. Then packed all the precious items. Time was running out. There was no time to even organize the household items. So they could only go over and buy them again. After dealing with all the possessions, Chen Wei Ran came to the Chen family ancestral hall and put away the plaques of the ancestors in order, then bowed three times to express his incompetence. After doing so, he turned the dark side handle of the ancestral hall, and a dark door suddenly opened. Chen Wei Ran walked in and quickly came out. Now, without any worries, he quickly walked outside, outside the door. Chen Yu had already driven the car out, and Zhao Hailin was still beside him to help, gently placing Mu Lin Yun into the backseat of the car. Zhao Hailin wasn't sure what had happened in the inner courtyard, 
But from the commotion that had just come from inside and Chen Yu's expression, it wasn't hard to tell that things had gotten big. The family might have to go out to avoid the storm. Chen Yu, go out and hide for a while. If nothing happens, don't come back. Zhao Weilin was aware of the Chu family's power. He was not willing to have his good brother brutalized. Call me if you encounter any difficulties outside. I'll try my best to help you. Shen Yu was moved inwardly. Having this brother, he was content. Thank you for today. Saying this, Shen Yu took out a large bag of things from his spatial ring and handed it over. Zhao Hualin was unsure and took it with his hand. He opened the bag and tilted his head slightly to look inside. A reddish crystal cube was revealed, each one containing a powerful energy. Inferno Dragon Crystals. Zhao Huilin was shocked. He didn't expect that this bag was all extremely rare Inferno Dragon Crystals. On the market, each Inferno Dragon Crystal was worth millions of dollars, and there were almost 40 of them in this bag, which was worth 40 million dollars, almost the total income of their Zhao family for a year. With something worth 40 million dollars in his hand, Zhao Huilin couldn't afford it. He hurriedly tied the bag in his hand and handed it back. I can't take these Inferno Dragon Crystals. If he accepted these Inferno Dragon Crystals, he was not robbing while the fire was burning. He couldn't do such a thing. Chen Yu did not extend his hand, but only said indifferently, Take it. His tone was bland and firm, with no room for maneuver. After saying this, Chen Yu went to pick up Chen Wei Ran, not giving Zhao Huilin a chance to retort. Zhao Huilin looked at his good brother's back. His heart was incomparably touched, and then he put these Inferno Dragon Crystals into his spatial ring. He didn't say goodbye and drove straight home. He wanted to find his old man to see if he could do a favor or think of a way. Chen Yu had just entered the inner courtyard when he saw Chen Wei Ran walking out of the ancestral hall. Dad, everything is packed, right? Chen Wei Ran nodded and looked at the Chen family ancestral hall with a grim expression before looking around. This was probably the last time he would see this courtyard. Afterwards, Chen Yu drove and headed towards the headquarters of the Heavenly Criminal Bureau, which was more than 200 kilometers away. Mu Lin Yin was lying in Chen Wei Ran's arms, sleeping soundly. Chen Wei Ran stroked her hair, a faint smile on his lips. As long as the family was present, all was well. It was difficult to force the matter of the family's rise to power, the mess left to him by the previous generation. He had persisted alone for a long time, and was really tired and worn out. Now that the last shackles in his heart were broken, Chen Wei Ran felt relieved, especially since he had a son who fought for his life. This was more important than anything else. Giving Chen Yu some time to grow, he would surely create another glory and it would not be too late to thank him for his sins at that time. Along the way, neither father nor son spoke. Only 20 kilometers away from the Heavenly Criminal Bureau, Chen Weiran took out a rosewood box. Chen Yu stopped the car and looked over. Father, what is this? Chen Weiran looked at the wooden box and then at Chen Yu, handing the box over. Chen Yu took the wooden box and opened the lid. Inside was actually a secret art. He took out the secret art and when he saw the cover, seven big words came into his eyes. SS grade secret art, Jun Rath. His pupils shook, not realizing that the Chun clan still had SS ranked secret arts. Turning the first page, a short introduction. With the might of a king, the nine heavens of rage, a domineering introduction. But in Chun Yu's memory, it seemed like his father had never performed this SS grade secret art ah, otherwise he wouldn't be in such a sorry state today. As if guessing Chen Yu's doubts, Chen Wei Ran began to explain, this is an SS grade secret art that your grandfather accidentally obtained which shocked the entire family at first, thinking that our Chen family would be even more powerful. But for our Chen family, the secret art can be seen but not used, and not a single person is qualified to learn it. Why? Because if you want to learn Jun Rath, the first step is to burn energy and activate the body of Jun Rath, which can be burned from oneself or from the outside world. Either way, our Chen family cannot afford it. At that time, your grandfather was a ninth grade grandmaster. He took out all the treasures containing energy from the entire clan and even mortgaged his company and real estate to keep purchasing them, just to try to cultivate this secret art. But unfortunately, the energy in all the treasures burned out, and he was unable to activate the body of Jun Rath. Chen Yu looked at the secret art in his hand and became more and more curious. A family could not afford the introductory stage of this secret art. This was too much. That attempt led to a serious loss in the Chun family's inventory. Unable to make ends meet, and the outside companies gradually closed down. Your grandfather died of depression because of this and from then on the Chun family started to go downhill. Chen Yu finally knew the reason for the family's decline, all because of this SS grade secret art in his hands. You are, father is old. This secret art is meaningless to me. If you have the chance to activate the body of Jun Rath, that is naturally good. If you are unable to activate it, don't tell anyone about it. Chen Yu nodded his head solemnly, 
The lure of an SS grade secret art was something that no one could refuse. If it was known that a 7th grade martial artist was carrying an SS grade secret art, he would definitely be hunted down by 10,000 people. Of course, Shen Yu did not think that he was unable to activate the body of Jun Raff. He had killed hundreds of high-ranked magical beasts from the Red Rainbow Demon region and all of their magical cores were still there. The demonic cores were the most energetic places in the body of the demonic beasts, and there was an extreme amount of energy stored within them. Burning these devil cores might be able to open the body of Jun Rath and cultivate this SS grade secret art. He put Jun Rath into the wooden box and then into the space ring, waiting for time later to take it out and explore a bit more. He continued to drive. The distance of 20 kilometers took more than 30 minutes, and smoothly arrived at the headquarters of the Heavenly Criminal Bureau. Chen Yu looked through the car window and saw the large three characters of the Heavenly Criminal Bureau in front of him. There were no other buildings in the nearby kilometers. The perimeter of the Heavenly Criminal Bureau was full of alert patrols. The worst of these patrols were 7th grade martial artists. The surrounding walls were more than 10 meters high. With all sorts of monitoring and defense systems, not even a mosquito could fly in. Looking further inside, a glance couldn't be seen. The internal architecture of the Heavenly Criminal Bureau was simply too spectacular. This was by no means an area that could be built by ordinary forces. If he could place his parents here, Shen Yu would feel much more at ease. Chu family. Quickly call the family head over. Chu Hongxing hissed in a near collapsed tone as he hugged the dying Chu Yun. The subordinates didn't dare to breathe, and hurriedly went to inform the Chu family's family head, Chu Chuan Hai. After a while, a man with a majestic face hurriedly arrived. Before he even entered, he inquired, Old Fourth, what are you looking for me for? Yuner is dying. What? Hearing that his son was in danger, Chu Chuan Hai took an instantaneous step to Chu Hongxing's side. He picked up Chu Yun, who was still unconscious with one hand. Who is it? Who beat Yuner up like this? Chu Chuan Hai was furious, his terrifying aura overflowing like substance, enveloping the entire hall. And even Chu Hongxing felt somewhat breathless. This was the suppressive power of a martial spirit realm powerhouse. A ninth grade grandmaster could be crushed with their hands in front of their eyes. Chu Chuan Hai's eyes were scarlet as he looked at his son, whose blood was still bubbling from the corner of his mouth, his heart aching beyond measure. Chu Hongxing recounted what had happened earlier listening to Chu Chuan Hai's brows furrowed. When he learned that his son was painfully killed by a 7th grade martial artist, his anger was hard to suppress. He did not care about the reason or process of what happened. He only cared about the result. Dare to touch my son. I will let everyone in the Chun family die without a burial place. Go find the best doctor in all of Kyoto. Make sure to cure Yuner's injuries. In fact, Chu Chuan Hai was clear in his heart. Chu Yun's heart vein had been shattered inch by inch. It was roughly ruined, even if he recovered. His realm would be difficult to advance by the slightest bit. Now the only way to eliminate the hatred in his heart was to find everyone in the Chen family and abuse them to death. Go gather people and capture everyone from the Chun family. Alright, big brother. Chu Hongxing ignored his own injuries and went to gather people. The anger of a martial spirit realm powerhouse was something that Chen Yu could not withstand. The two of them, Chen Yu and Chen Wei Ran, got down from the car and walked towards the gate of the Heavenly Criminal Bureau. Before they reached the gate, they were stopped by a patrol officer who said in a warning tone, Idle people, please do not approach. The patrol officer had a serious demeanor and was poised to attack as long as the two took another step forward. Chun Yu was very sensible and stood still, not daring to continue to approach. Trouble brother to inform. We are here to seek help. His meaning was already obvious. Wanting to be guarded by the Heavenly Punishment Bureau, which was also equivalent to being their gold master. The patrolling officer's attitude eased, but he definitely wouldn't let the two in easily. He had to verify the other party's identity and background. Please show your identity cards. Chen Yu and Chen Weiran pulled out their ID cards and handed them over, including Mu Lin Yun's. The patrol officer used a special machine to scan the ID cards of the three and determined that there was nothing suspicious about their identities, and then dialed a phone number, briefly recounted it, and hung up. I've already notified the supervisor. You guys wait for a while. Chen Yu and Chen Weiran nodded and waited quietly. Here, no matter how noble an individual's identity was, they had to follow the rules of others. Because the Heavenly Criminal Bureau was one of the most powerful forces in the Dragon Kingdom, even the royal family had to give him a few moments of respect. After the two waited for more than 20 minutes, a middle-aged man in formal attire walked out from inside the Heavenly Criminal Bureau. His gaze traveled around. Then he walked towards this side. Good day, Supervisor Fong. The patrol officer saluted. Fong Kuan nodded and looked towards the two of them. Chun Yu, just the two of you? No, there's also my mom. Chen Yu pointed towards Mu Lin Yun in the car. All right, you guys come in with me. Chen Yu drove into the Heavenly Criminal Bureau and followed Feng Kuan to an office. 
Are you guys looking for help from our Heavenly Criminal Bureau? Phone Cohen opened the door. He was an old hand at this, and was not surprised to see situations like Chen Yu's. It was just that a lot of people were so sick and desperate that they thought that the Heavenly Criminal Bureau was a charitable organization, when in fact, they simply did not have enough funds to obtain asylum. He hoped that these people had sufficient property today, or else it would be in vain again. Chen Wei Ran nodded his head somewhat sheepishly. He had already brought all the valuable things of the Chun family, totaling about five million dollars. This money was previously prepared for Chen Yu's marriage, but now he had no choice but to take it out. All right then, I'll introduce some guardian packages to you guys. You buy them according to your own situation. All right, thanks. Phone Cohen began to introduce the guarding packages that were unique to the Heavenly Criminal Bureau. Our guarding packages are categorized into three grades, which are grade B, grade A and grade S. Chen Yu asked, is there any difference between the three packages? That there definitely is. The highest guardian of the B grade package is a ninth grade grandmaster, always observing the personal safety of the protected person, and the price is slightly cheaper at 5 million per person per year. Of course, the person being protected lives inside our heavenly criminal bureau. Ordinary people can't get in, so the ninth grade grandmaster can't be used most of the time. Chen Weiron's back broke out in cold sweat when he heard this. His entire assets could only purchase a one-year guardian package for one person. Chen Yu, however, shook his head. Chen Weiran looked at his son in shame, not knowing what to say. Too expensive? Indeed, this price is too much for the average family. Phone Cohen could see the change in Chen Weiran's expression and guessed that the family didn't have much money, sighing slightly in his heart. No. This package is too trashy. Chen Yu's words startled Chen Wei Ran and Feng Kuan. Someone actually said that a ninth grade grandmaster was too trashy. And this was still coming from a seventh grade martial artist. Unbelievable. Feng Kuan was so aroused that he forced himself to spit and began to introduce the second package. The highest guardian of the A class package is a martial spirit realm powerhouse. Price wise, it's much more expensive. 15 million per person per year. Most rich people will choose this package. Feng Kuan added a special sentence. Chen Wei Ran sucked in a mouthful of cold air. The price of the second package had directly quadrupled. That is, he couldn't come up with it even if he was sold. He had a feeling of withdrawal, wanting to go out and think of another way. It didn't have to be to enter the Heaven's Punishment Bureau. Is this package okay? Feng Kuan looked at Chen Yu with a different meaning. Chen Yu still shook his head. Introduce the S-rank package. Feng Kuan's face pulled. Instantly blackened. Thinking that your kid is here to pick a fight. Right. Martial spirit realm powerhouses don't want to look on, but as a supervisor, did not dare to show it. The tone of indifference introduced the last kind of package. The highest guardians of the S-level package are three martial spirit realm powerhouses. As for the price, he gave a slight beat, then said, 50 million per person per year. Chen Wei Ran's eyes went black and he almost fainted. 50 million a year for one person. 150 million a year for three people. Even when the Chen family was at its peak, they couldn't get that much money. To him, it was simply a pipe dream. Chen Yu rippled and asked, Is it three martial spirit realm guardians for each person? Feng Kuan skimmed his lips and returned without any goodwill. Yes. Good. It's going to be the S-class guardian package. For a moment, the entire room suddenly quieted down. Really? Feng Kuan got up in shock and looked at the slightly younger teenager in front of him in surprise. His original uninterested appearance instantly turned enthusiastic, and the smile at the corner of his mouth could not be suppressed. If he was able to negotiate this order, According to the 5% commission, he would be able to earn several millions. Chen Yu did not care about the amount. He only cared about the safety of his parents. You can ensure that my parents get the best protection? That's of course. Our Heaven's Punishment Bureau can absolutely guarantee your parents' safety. Unless a Martial Saint Realm powerhouse comes in person, they won't be able to touch a single hair on your parents' head. Martial Saint Realm, that was the strongest fighting force in the Dragon Kingdom. How could they come after Chen Wei Ran and Mu Lin Yun? Even if the Chu family's power was not bad, it was impossible to invite such a strong person. Regarding this point, Chen Yu was still relatively assured. Feng Kuan was afraid that Chen Yu was not assured and followed up with a sentence. If anything untoward happens to your parents in our Heaven's Punishment Bureau, we will give up to 100 times the amount of compensation. Up to more than 10 billion dollars in compensation. This point was enough to prove the confidence and strength of the Heavenly Criminal Bureau. I don't care how much compensation. You must promise me to guarantee the absolute safety of my parents. Phone Cohen's face was solemn as he said, absolutely guaranteed. Good. Then I will purchase this S-class package. Phone Cohen excitedly said, okay, okay, you wait a moment. I'll have to notify the general manager to come over and sign the contract with you for the S-class guard package. He was only a supervisor and could only sign contracts for A and B grade packages. 
He did not have the authority to sign S grade packages. He walked out the door and dialed the phone. You are, are you crazy? Cheating the Heavenly Criminal Bureau will get you permanently added to the blacklist. You're taking too much of a risk by doing this. In Chen Wei Ran's opinion, it was impossible for Chen Yu to come up with more than 100 million in cash. If you go and talk to people now, you might even give us a chance to repent. Looking at his anxious father, Chen Yu smiled faintly and said, Dad, don't be anxious, I'm here. Chen Wei Ran still did not believe that his son had such wealth. The two of them waited inside the house for about 10 minutes or so before Feng Kuan pushed open the door. This time, he brought another person in. The visitor was about 60 years old, a head of white hair, but did not show old age, a look of vitality, walking with the wind, especially his pair of deep eyes, elite incomparable. Feng Kuan in front of this person, no longer the previous strong, groveling to accompany the smile. Manager Yang, that's him. Feng Kuan pointed his finger at Chen Yu. Yang Kong was slightly shocked and looked Chen Yu up and down. Young and honorable. The first time Chen Yu saw this old man, he was overwhelmed by the other party's aura. This was an absolute powerhouse, most likely a martial Zun realm powerhouse. The Heavenly Criminal Bureau had crouching tigers and hidden dragons. Ah, hello Manager Yang. Chen Yu greeted politely after a brief shock. You wish to purchase the S-Class Guard package? Yes. Purchase for how many people? How many years to purchase? Yang Kong directly inquired. Purchase for two people for two years. A total of 200 million. Please tell me if it's cash or credit card. Such a large amount of money was trivialized in Yang Kang's mouth. Very unconcerned. At his realm, money was already something outside of his body. It was just the reason of his duty that he needed to help the Heavenly Punishment Bureau collect the money. Chen Weiron's heart was racing and he was breathing heavily. The one standing in front of them was a martial Zun realm powerhouse. If they messed with someone, they could crush them with their hands. I'm sorry. I don't have that much cash and my bank card doesn't have a balance. Now, Chen Weiron's heart completely died. The corner of Yang Kang's eyes shrunk. What do you mean? The steep aura caused the entire room to gulp. Chen Yu slowly said, Can I pay with something of equal value? Yes, bring it out. Let me see if it's worth that much. At this moment, a ripple appeared on Yang Kang's face. For money he did not care at all. But if it was a treasure, he came to be interested. Without any nonsense. Chen Yu took out a piece of Inferno Dragon Crystal from his spatial ring and handed it over. The first time when the Inferno Dragon Crystal appeared, Yang Kang's pupils shrunk and he hurriedly took it and held it in his hands to check it out. It's actually an extreme grade Inferno Dragon Crystal. Not bad, not bad. Yang Kong loved it. Chen Yu was a little puzzled. Yang Kong was of such a status that he wasn't surprised by a piece of Inferno Dragon Crystal. Soon, Yang Kong solved his doubts. This piece of Inferno Dragon Crystal of yours is very rare. The energy and structure within it seems to be different from ordinary Inferno Dragon Crystals. Now, Chen Yu suddenly realized that these Inflammation Dragon Crystals must have been influenced by the breath emitted by the fire fire. And with the accumulation of time, there was an internal mutation, resulting in its material being enhanced and rarer. This is what made Yang Kong come to be interested. How many more are there? Take them all out. I'll take them all. Yang Kong guessed that Chen Yu still had this kind of Yenlong Crystal. Chen Yu was not in a hurry and first asked. May I ask how much an Inferno Dragon Crystal is worth? Yang Kong gazed at his brows and pondered for a while. Ordinary Inferno Dragon Crystals are worth one million dollars per kilogram. But this Inferno Dragon Crystal of yours is of extremely high quality and rare material. Almost close to S-Class quality. So one kilogram is worth three million dollars. The price Yang Kong quoted could only be considered medium. If he placed it on the auction house, the price would only be higher. Alright, let's go with the price manager Yang said. Chen Yu continuously took out Yan Long crystals from his spatial ring, and in no time, the ground was covered with crystals of the same quality. This made Yang Kong happy. He was lacking this kind of fire attribute material for forging a large batch of high-level weapons. It was really a great success. Manager Yang, here is a total of 67 Inferno Dragon crystals. It can be used to purchase the S-Rank Guard package, right? That's natural. Yang Kong was all smiles as he pocketed all the Inferno Dragon crystals on the ground with a wave of his hand. As for the 200 million dollars, he would make up for it himself. He was clear that Chun Yu must still have extra Inferno Dragon Crystals in his hands, but if people were not willing to take them out, he wouldn't force them. 67 Inferno Dragon Crystals were also enough. Little Cohen, go and bring the contract over. Phone Cohen went to fetch the contract upside down, earning 10 million in half a day. His big teeth were about to fall out laughing. Chen Wei ran walked to Chen Yu's side. You were, where did you get so many precious materials from? acquired them by chance in the demon domain. Now, Chen Wei Ran was convinced that his son had obtained a great chance in the demon domain, and he was very joyful. However, 
He soon noticed that something was wrong. Chen Yu had just purchased the Guardian package for only two people, and there were three of them in total. He thought Chen Yu didn't have enough money. Son, I'm much more relieved to have you and your mom here. You don't have to worry about me. Too much. Chen Yu directly interrupted. Dad, these two S-rank guard packages are for you and mom. Chen Wei ran froze in place for a moment. No, I can't let you be out there alone. It's too dangerous. I'm already old and useless. You are your mom's hope to live, and also the last hope of our Chen family. You must not have an accident. Chen Wei Ran was resolute. Chen Yu instead had a calm face. Dad, listen to me. You've seen my strength. It's still a bit difficult for ordinary people to deal with me. Besides I'll stay inside the school all the time. Who dares to trespass into Tianyun University ah? But, Chen Wei Ran was momentarily speechless. Dad, you take care of mom here. I'll call you guys often. Trust me. I'll pick you guys up in less than two years. Chen Yu's eyes were like torches. Valiant. Chen Wei Ran hesitated for a long time. If he tied Chen Yu to his side, it would affect his growth too much. When a young eagle's wings were full, he should be able to fly in the sky. All right then, you must take care of yourself. Don't be too feisty, and don't leave the school if you don't have enough strength. Tianyun University's protective measures for students. Chen Wei Ran was very relieved. The Chu family's power was not bad, but in front of Tianyun University, it was shit. After all, the president of Tianyun University was one of the top 10 martial arts saints in the Dragon Kingdom, and no one dared to be wild in his place. The Chen family was surrounded. Where are the people? Chu Chuanhai stormed out. The others lowered their heads, not daring to make a single sound. Chu Hengshu walked up. Big brother, I just inquired. A few people from the Chun family drove off in the afternoon and left in a great hurry. Find them for me, no matter where they are hiding. Find them for me. Chu Chuanhai's eyes that were overflowing with rage made people fearful. Is the Chen family boy in the same school as Yuner? Yes, big brother. Good. Arrange for someone to go to Tianyun University to monitor. And once you discover that brat's whereabouts, notify me immediately. Chu Chuanhai specifically instructed. Remember, do not make any noise. Although he was a noble martial spirit realm powerhouse, he wasn't qualified enough to act recklessly in Tianyun University. If that big shot knew about it, he wouldn't be able to eat it. All right, big brother. The Chu family's group then withdrew. The night was deepening. Chen Yu bent down to sign his name on the contract and pressed his fingerprints, representing the guardian package coming into effect. Yang Kong enthusiastically extended his hand. Happy cooperation. Chen Yu reached out to shake his hand with it and said sincerely, My parents' safety will be a problem for manager Yang. Don't worry, as long as old man I haven't fallen, it's impossible for anyone to harm a single bit of your parents. With the assurance of a strong martial Zun realm practitioner, Chen Yu's heart was much more at ease. Which school are you from? From Yang Kang's tone, it was not difficult to tell that he greatly appreciated Chen Yu, otherwise he would not have said more useless words. I'm from Tianyun University. Yang Kong nodded, same as my guess. With Chen Yu's current age and realm, as well as his style of handling things, it made Yang Kong quite appreciative. If you have the opportunity, you can come to our Heaven's Punishment Bureau for graduation in the future ah. I'm very optimistic about you. Chen Yu was flattered and said repeatedly, Manager Yang is too polite. Don't call me some bullshit manager. Call me Yang Lao in the future. This sounds a bit more comfortable. Okay, Elder Yang. Feng Kuan's face beside him shook. This was the first time he had seen Manager Yang treating a young man so politely. This is my contact information. If there is anything you can find me, I will leave first. Chen Yu took the business card handed over by Yang Kan and carefully put it away. Subsequently, Feng Kuan also left to go prepare a place to stay for Chen Wei Ran and Mu Lin Yun. You were, it's getting late. You can rest here tonight and leave tomorrow. Chen Wei Ran advised. Chen Yu shook his head. He was clear about his mom's character. If she woke up she would definitely not let herself leave. Dad, you take care of mom. I'll leave first. Chen Wei Ran looked at Chen Yu with heavy eyes. You've grown up. Father and son looked at each other and smiled. All the feelings were in the unspoken words. Chen Yu took another look at the sleeping Mu Lin Yun on the sofa smiled gratefully, then got into the car and left without looking back. Chen Wei Ran stood in place, looking at the direction Chen Yu left for a long time cannot let go. On the sofa, the sleeping Mu Lin Yun quietly shed a tear. The next day, the atmosphere of class 15 was great. Class teacher Shen Huan was smiling. Firstly, their class was ranked high in the hunting tournament. And secondly, the first place in this hunting tournament belonged to their class 15. This was something unprecedented. Nothing so outrageous had ever happened in any class. The students of class 15 took first place and rubbed class 1 and class 2's faces on the ground. And Shen Huan, as the class teacher, was naturally happy.
He even went to the teaching office yesterday to ask if the first place in the hunting race was true. Although Chen Yu was in a special situation, everything was in line with the rules and regulations, so his first place was recognized by the school. When this news came out, the entire grade was sensationalized. Everyone exploded, all discussing this name of Chen Yu. The festive atmosphere around him did not affect Zhao Huai Lin, who sat there fuming as if he had something on his mind. Yesterday, he went home and looked for his old man, wanting him to help Chen Yu's family, but his old man couldn't help. Their Zhao family wasn't enough to level the playing field with the Chu family, and if he angered the Chu family, he would surely be sanctioned on all fronts when the time came. He was deeply ashamed, and his heart was depressed for the day today. In the future, he might not be able to see his good brother, and the previous days of playing together might never return. Zhao Huilin hung his head in despair. Suddenly, everyone's cheering stopped, and everyone's eyes looked out of the classroom door. Zhao Huilin was a bit puzzled and looked up. Chen Yu actually appeared at the door of class 15, and his fellow classmates all scrutinized him with almost astonished eyes. They couldn't imagine that the unassuming Chen Yu could take the first place in the hunting tournament. Holy shit, Chen Yu why are you back? Zhao Huilin got up violently and ran over in an arrow step. He put his hands on Chen Yu's shoulders in disbelief. See how excited you are. I'm a student. I definitely have to come back to school. But, there's no buts. I'm fine. Zhao Huilin asked again. What about your parents? They were sent to a very safe place by me. That's good. Zhao Huilin was very happy as he watched his good brother return once again. He came to Chen Yu's ear and whispered. The Chu family mobilized everyone to go to your house last night and they were extremely angry after they didn't find you, so it's best for you not to go out of school during this period of time. This was the same as what Shen Yu thought. I know. When Shen Yu appeared for the first time, a person in the crowd quietly backed up to an empty and silent place and took out his cell phone. Hello? Shen Yu has appeared. Okay, keep an eye on him, don't let him slip away. Inside the classroom, Shen Huan came to Chen Yu's side and said with a smile, I really didn't expect it. Your strength is so well hidden, even I didn't see it. Chen Yu's realm at this time was pre-7th grade, and could be said to stand out from the rest in class 15. Xin Huan could only think that Chen Yu had intentionally hidden his strength before, just to make a splash in the hunting tournament. Chen Yu smiled sarcastically and did not explain too much. Zhao Huai Lin on the side was not calm anymore. Crap, your realm has risen again? It's only been a few days ah. Chen Yu has raised his major realms in a row. It's really hell. Just a fluke, Chen Yu said modestly. Zhao Huilin guessed in his heart that Chen Yu had gotten a great chance in the demon domain, otherwise it would be impossible for his realm to rise so fast, and he would not have messed with an existence like Chu Yun. In the beginning, he should have been ruthless and entered the A area with him, maybe he could even get a piece of the pie. Now, his intestines were green with remorse. While the two were laughing and joking, a noise came from the periphery of the crowd. Get out of the way, get out of the way. The one called Chen Yu is in class 15, right? Hearing this voice, he knew that the visitor was not good. Chen Yu are used to this kind of life, being picked on every day. He is also very depressed. Since crossing over, there has not been a single day of peace. Basically a day can mess with several people. These people's status are not low. Could it be that he was innately a troublemaking saint body? He let out a helpless bitter smile and looked over. The one leading the way was an acquaintance. The very same Li Chi Yuan who questioned himself yesterday. It seemed that he had robbed him of the 10th place in the hunting tournament and had come to ask for punishment. At the teaching office, a group of teachers were discussing this hunting tournament. Even they were encountering such a thing for the first time as a class 15 student taking first place. Han Su Ren was leisurely, unscrewing the tea box, taking out a ball of top quality tea leaves and brewing it for himself. One of the teachers came up. Director Han, do you know who won first place in this hunting competition? It's just like that every year. What do you care? Han Su Rin finished brewing the tea, not caring. The strongest person in this session of Tianyun University is Su Ruling Jing. His strength is quite strong, and the first place in the hunting tournament should be him if there are no surprises. At least Han Su Run thought so. Although the Su Shujijing was very strong, it wasn't enough to catch his eye. Over the past few decades, there was only one person who had amazed him. Xia Qingling. Xia Qingling's hunting tournament had shocked everyone. As she had entered the Red Rainbow Demon region's S Forbidden Area alone and nearly killed all the demonic beasts inside. Even the overlord in the Red Rainbow Demon region, the 10th rank heavenly meteor green-eyed tiger, was slaughtered by her. Her points reached a terrifying 100. 000. And since then, no one had surpassed that. That year, Han Su Ren's heart was moved for the first time, wanting to take Xia Qingling as his disciple, and would be his first disciple. But halfway through, the principal screwed it up. The principal of Tianyun University, 
The heavily enlightenment Marshal Saint took Xia Jingling as his disciple and taught him personally. With his arm twisted, Han Su Ren could only compromise, and from then on he didn't care about the hunting tournament results. The teacher beside Han Su Ren said to himself, The first in this year's hunting tournament is a student from class 15 Ah. He seems to be called Chen Yu. This Chen Yu's registered realm before he entered the demonic domain in the first place was 4th grade. After he came out, he became 7th grade. No one knows what he encountered in the demonic domain. Maybe he discovered the secrets of the demon race that we've been searching for. Han Su Ren's hand holding the teacup paused. 15th class? 4th class? First in the hunting tournament? Xiao Su, you're joking with me. Even if it's not Su Ruler Jing taking first place, at least it's a class 1 or class 2 student. How can it be a class 15? Don't be too outrageous. Director Han, lying to you for what? I'm telling the truth. Saying this, he found Chen Yu's information in his cell phone and flipped it over to Han Su Ren. Han Su Ren held his curiosity and glanced at it with his afterglow. After a glance, no, this person was a bit familiar. Han Su Ren raised his head to take a closer look, and the more he looked, the more familiar he became. Isn't this that rash man? Han Su Ren said in shock. On the day of the mobilization meeting, Chen Yu had left a deep impression on him, and it was a pity that this person's realm was too low, otherwise the future could be promising. How could he not expect this kid to take the first place in the hunting competition? A touch of a different color flashed from the depths of his eyes. Hey, where are you going? Director Han? Han Su Ren didn't answer him, carrying his cup of water and heading out. Outside the classroom of the 15th class, the corners of Zhao Hui Lin's mouth twitched as he looked at Chen Yu woodenly. Big brother, he wouldn't be here to find trouble with you as well, right? Chen Yu shrugged his shoulders and said indifferently, It should be. What do you mean it should be? Do you know who he is? How would I know? Zhao Hui Lin whispered. He's Li Qi Yuan Ah. Haven't you heard of this name? Chen Yu shook his head. Zhao Hui Lin was speechless for a while. You haven't heard of the name Li Qi Yuan. Then you should know what the royal family name of the Dragon Kingdom is. Until this time, Chen Yu realized. No wonder yesterday everyone stood on Li Qi Yuan's side. Even the teacher did not dare to offend him. The original this kid is the royal family Ah. The card is really big. What is this kid's specific origin? Chen Yu still want to ask clearly. The people of the royal family also has a high and low noble difference. If it is a core member of the royal family, but also a little power. If it is a bullshit side relatives, afraid of his eggs. His father is the current third level official, belonging to the clan of the lord of the country. Although the bloodline with the lord of the country is farther away, but it is also a person of the royal clan ah, you cannot afford to mess with it. The royal clan officials are divided into one to nine levels. One level is the biggest, nine levels are the least. The third level officials are equivalent to a hand of a province, a very high status. Not only that, Li Qi Yuan is closer to a few royals. Almost no one dares to mess with him in Tianyun University. Chen Yu frowned slightly. This Li Qi Yuan's identity was not simple ah, really kicked on the steel plate. However, he did not intend to concede. The hunting tournament results were his own efforts. His heart was not guilty. He did not believe that Li Qi Yuan was able to turn black and white upside down. While the two were talking, Li Qi Yuan and the others came into view. Chen Yu right, finally found you. Li Qi Yuan's eyes were filled with hostility. You're really a shadowy soul, not just squeezing you out of the top 10. Is it necessary to chase after me? If you want to enter the top 10 so badly, you should have made it clear with me yesterday afternoon ah, I might have shared a bit of your magic core. Chen Yu did not shy away from the stage. Li Qi Yuan's breath almost didn't come up. You kid. Yesterday, even if Chen Yu had given him magic cores, there was no way he would have asked for them in front of so many people. Li Qi Yuan slowed down his breath and said viciously, I don't want to waste time with you. I came today with one request. You give me the initiative to withdraw from the top 10 of the hunting tournament. Otherwise, his words were interrupted by Qin Yu before he could finish. Or else what? You can still expel me? If the school was run by your family, I would have no problem giving you first place. Chen Yu's consistent output of disliking his face made Li Qi Yuan whole won't be able to do so. And for the first time, he realized that his identity didn't seem to work. In the past, the other party would have bent over and bowed his head to apologize. Why was this Chen Yu so hard? Good. You're bullish. I'll wait and see if it's your mouth or bones that are hard. He slowly backed up and greeted the others to go up and teach Chen Yu a lesson. The people he brought with him this time were not only the best of the first class, but also upperclassmen. Within the six people, there were four seventh grades and two eighth grades. It was more than enough to deal with a seventh grade Chen Yu. Chen Huan immediately stood out. What does one want? As the class teacher of class 15, how could he stand by and watch his students being bullied? Those six people did not stop because of Xin Huan's obstruction. 
Li Qi Yuan had given them a promise before he came that he would be responsible for anything that happened, so they could just do it. Teacher Shen Wright, if you don't want to promote your title this year, feel free to strike. With Li Qi Yuan's family background, he did have the strength to suppress Xin Huan. Xin Huan was instantly in a tangle. He had worked hard for several years, and this year, he would be able to rise another level and become a senior teacher at Tianyun University, doubling his treatment and resources. He did not want to lose this opportunity. Chen Yu knew the class teacher's difficulty, and then said to Xin Huan, Old class, I don't need your help, I can handle it alone. Xin Huan looked puzzled, not knowing what to do. While both sides were at a standstill, a roar rang out from the air. Chen Yu, finally found you, come with me. Everyone's eyes were instantly attracted to the air. A man stood with his feet in the void, standing in awe. Martial spirit realm, Xin Huan was slightly shocked. Only a strong person of the martial spirit realm could stand so blandly in the air and emit such majesty. Who are you, daring to come to our heavenly cloud university to act recklessly? For Li Qi Yuan, Xin Huan was still a little bit scornful. So what if this person in midair was at the martial spirit realm? In heavenly cloud university, even the martial zun realm had to abide by the rules. So the ninth grade strength of Xin Huan had no fear against a strong person of the martial spirit realm. The man in the air said respectfully, Excuse me teacher. I'm Chu Chuanhai of the Chu family. I don't want to cause any trouble today. I just want to find Chen Yu to understand some things. Just let me take him away. No way. No way. No way. Three identical words came out at the same time. One from Xin Huan, one from Li Qi Yuan, and one from Zhao Huai Lin. Xin Huan, as the class teacher, naturally wouldn't let someone from outside the school take his students away. Li Qi Yuan was already angry. And when a martial spirit realm powerhouse suddenly appeared and wanted to take Chen Yu away, he would not agree. Zhao Huai Lin, on the other hand, said this from the bottom of his heart. The three of them rejected their request at the same time. Chen Yu hadn't even said a word yet, which made Chu Chuanhai's old face pull. A few juniors were not polite with him at all. Ah. He took a deep breath, slowing down his anger, and looked at Chen Yu. Your name is Chen Yu, right? Yes. Chen Yu knew why Chu Chuanhai had come, and also knew that he would come one day. So he simply dealt with this matter today. That's good. Chu Chuanhai's complexion turned gloomy and said indignantly, Why did you kill my son? You are all classmates. Shouldn't you understand each other? Even if there is a conflict, you should inform the teacher or parents first. My son Chu Yun's life and death is unknown right now. Even if he wakes up, he is still an invalid. What explanation do you give? Chu Chuanhai's imposing voice traveled across the room, and everyone could hear it clearly. They were aware of Chu Yun's reputation. His strength could be ranked in the top three of the first class. His future was boundless. Li Qi Yuan's expression shook. He and Chu Yun were still relatively familiar, both in the same class. Plus Chu Yun's strength is powerful, and he got closer. A few days not seen actually beaten by Qin Yu into a waste. Li Qi Yuan only has the strength of pre-seventh grade. If he recklessly had a substantial conflict with Chen Yu yesterday, then he might also become a waste person. Coupled with the contact with Chen Yu in the past two days, he has reason to believe that this goods is a hard stump, disobedience to do that kind of. Thinking this way, he felt fear in his heart. Li Qi Yuan pulled back his man without a trace. He didn't want to go down Chu Yun's back road. Brother Yuan, what are you pulling me for? I'm going to go up and fuck him to death. A second year 8th grade martial artist still wants to show strength in front of Li Qi Yuan. In his cognition, a 7th grade pre-martial artist does not casually pinch it. He alone is enough. Fuck your sister. Give me over. Li Qi Yuan is not stupid. If the people he brought really beat up Chen Yu, afterward will definitely have to find their revenge ah, bitter or him. Under contemplation, he decided not to continue to get involved. Watching the show from the sidelines is best. If Chu Chuan Hai can waste Chen Yu, that would be the best. In the face of Chu Chuan Hai's questioning, Chen Yu's heart has no ripples. Chu Yin does not provoke his family. Everything is good. However, if someone wanted to put his parents in danger, they would be killed. The surrounding people's emotions were driven by Chu Chuan Hai. In their thinking thoughts, even if there is a conflict between classmates should not beat people to death ah. The eyes of most people looking at Chen Yu began to look out of place. A pair of questioning eyes staring at him. The image of the number one in the hunting tournament collapsed in an instant. And the sound of pointing fingers was silky smooth. Chen Yu let out a light snort. As expected, those who watch the show will always only care about the teller's side of the story. They didn't even get to the bottom of the matter before standing on the moral high ground and exercising the right of inquisition that they had given themselves. Zhao Huilin was somewhat disbelieving. Chen Yu, did you really disable Chu Yun? In the face of other people's skepticism, he could ignore it. Zhao Huilin was his good brother. He shouldn't be like this ah. But then a sentence almost amused him. 
It's good to be scrapped. I've long seen this pussy thing I'm not happy with him. Every day he bullies people. Besides, he was the one who broke into your house first yesterday. This is what a good brother is. The two of them will smile. Today, you must come with me. Chu Chuan Hai noticed the change in the atmosphere around him. Many people began to help him accuse Chun Yu of his behavior. He knew that he wasn't far from success. As long as he exerted a little pressure, Chun Yu would definitely not be able to withstand it, and it would be difficult for the school administration to even preserve him. What if I don't leave? Chu Chuan Hai was in midair, pointing his finger at Chun Yu as he said morosely, You are the least bit unrepentant. Heavenly Cloud University would actually have scum like you. You don't deserve to be a student here at all. The entire room's emotions were brought to a climax by him. Drop out. Get out of Tian Yun University. I'm telling you guys, he cheated to get first place in the hunting tournament. His character is really a piece of shit. Yes, yes, I was there yesterday. The hunting tournament is over and he's still there entering his points. How shameless. Now, Chen Yu was in a dilemma and didn't even have a chance to explain. Everyone started to heckle mindlessly. Zhao Huai Lin was unwilling. He loudly defended Chen Yu. But unfortunately, his voice alone was quickly drowned out and could not change the situation. If this continued, Chen Yu would be finished. Why don't you tell us what happened yesterday? He wronged you like this, it's really too detestable. Zhao Huai Lin was in a hurry. But on the contrary, Chen Yu stood still, his gaze calmly looking towards Chu Chuan Hai who had a wry smile on his face. Chen Yu opened his mouth and faintly said, Chu Yun was wasted by me. The moment these words came out, the entire room erupted, which was equivalent to him admitting his crime. Disdain, anger, and self-proclaimed righteousness came from all directions, but the next sentence silenced the entire room. He deserved what he got. If I were given another chance, I probably wouldn't waste him, but just slaughter him. In this way, you can go home and arrange for the aftermath. Chen Yu had a susu smile on his face as he just looked at Chu Chuan Hai. He didn't want to recount the original story, and he was also too lazy to do so because these people beside him, he didn't even place them in his eyes. It was a waste of time to explain with a waste, and it was an even bigger waste of time to explain with a group of wastes. So what if the world is full of enemies? History is written by the strong. As long as your fist is hard enough, others will change their words. You scold me. I will give you a slap. Very fair. Right. On the roof of a building in the distance, a silhouette stood there, picking up a cup of tea and taking a sip. Good boy. Has the demeanor I had back then. Everyone did not expect Chen Yu to be this strong. Not even defending himself with a single word. Adjust to the end. They didn't know what to do for a moment and looked at each other to check the attitudes of the others. Chu Chuan Hai was confused. Just now it was fine. Everything was going well. Just because of this sentence from Chun Yu, the situation was not right. He cannot be given another chance. He must take Chin Yu away while everyone's emotions are still present. Chu Chuan Hai ignored the school authorities. His figure swept violently, coming towards Chen Yu. Quite a tough mouth. Let me remove the pests for Tian Yun University. A strong surprise attack from a martial spirit realm powerhouse. There was not a single person in the entire room who could deal with it. Chen Yu knew that this was a battle that was almost impossible to win, and he prepared to fight without any hesitation. Chu Chuan Hai's face grew crazier and crazier as if he had gotten his revenge. Give thanks to my son. A terrifying pressure swept over. Even the strongest Chen Huan was confined in place, unable to move. Martial spirit realm powerhouses had long since transcended ordinary people. They could draw power from nature. Their strength was not comparable to ordinary martial artists. The distance between Chu Chuan Hai and Chen Yu was getting closer and closer, and the excitement in his eyes was getting thicker and thicker. The moment before his right hand made contact with his neck, this space seemed to be bound. The original pressure of the martial spirit realm disappeared into thin air, and Chu Chuan Hai suddenly realized that he could not move. What's going on? Chu Chuan Hai was unwilling, only the last few centimeters away from avenging his son. He was unwilling. He used the full strength of the martial spirit realm, wanting to go one step further. Little devil, do you really think that our heavenly cloud university is so easy to enter? A martial spirit realm also dares to fly in the air. Get down here. An explosive rebuke resounded in all directions, and all the students only felt their heads spinning. The most painful among them was Chu Chuan Hai. His entire body was like a piece of torn sack, falling from midair at great speed and ruthlessly falling to the ground. With all four limbs on the ground, he couldn't even get up. Afterward, the crowd regained their mobility, shocked by what had just happened. A martial spirit realm powerhouse had actually been crushed, worthy of being Tian Yun University. Ah, the brand name of Kyoto. Director Han is here. I don't know who shouted, and everyone's gazes looked in another direction. Han Shiren had arrived with several flashes. Chen Yu muttered, This is a martial honor. As strong as this, 
Han Su Ren slowly approached under the gazes of admiration from all the students. You could not recognize other teachers in Tianyun University, but you could not not recognize Han Su Ren. Director Han, as the Iron Face Director of Tianyun University, he had more than just a gimmick. His strength was even more terrifying. Reaching the Martial Zun Realm. This is a realm that everyone is afraid of. Lifting their hands can mix the sky and destroy the earth. Those rockets, missiles in front of the Wu Zun is toys. Han Su Ren appeared in a row that could be described as pulling out all the stops. He is quite leisurely, holding a cup of tea and walking idly. A martial spirit realm goods, not worthy of his eyes. The reason why he made his move was that he had his eyes on Chen Yu. This kid was too much to his liking. This time, he wanted to strike first and never let what happened two years ago happen again. When had Chu Chuan Hai ever been so humiliated? To be seconded by someone in a single shot, and in front of so many people, a great loss of face. He was on the ground for a long time, hard to get up. If not Han Su Ren withdraw pressure, he could not get up. After Chu Chuan Hai got up, did not show a trace of anger, even the dust on his body did not shoot, arched his hand into the air and said, Director Han's lesson is, because of his son's matter, under a moment of stupefaction to do this kind of thing, please forgive me. He didn't dare to make a fool of himself in front of this great power, or else the entire Chu family would have to play through, not to mention him. Han Su Ren didn't even cast an afterglow, saying in a cold voice, I'll give you ten breaths of time to get out of Tianyin University. If not, you will fall here today. For Han Su Ren, a martial spirit realm was just a dispensable existence. Chu Chuanhai had trespassed into Tianyun University today, wanting to behead Chen Yu in front of many teachers and students, simply not putting him, the director of instruction, in his eyes. Therefore, he was completely qualified to behead Chen Yu first. It was only that he was in a good mood today and did not want to see blood. Chu Chuanhai had infinite resentment in his heart, but he could not vent it out and could only bite his teeth and swallow it inside his stomach. The way he looked at Chen Yu, seemed to say, Kid you wait, sooner or later one day I will kill you. Chen Yu did not care, at most give him two years and he would definitely surpass Chu Chuanhai. Five breaths left, Han Su Ren reminded. Chu Chuanhai's body trembled, he did not want to die here, then wanted to take off and fly towards the outside of the school. Suddenly remembered that Han Su Run was still next to him, gave up the idea of taking off and hurriedly ran towards the outside, disappearing in a puff of smoke. Han Xu Ren's strike caused a wave of inexplicable pride to well up in the hearts of those present. Chu Chuan Hai was gone, but Han Su Ren didn't feel that it was over. He took the lead and came next to Xin Huan. This scared Xin Huan. The scene of him fearing Li Chi Yuan just now must have been seen by Director Han, and that alone could get him expelled from Tianyun University. Xin Huan. As the homeroom teacher of class 15 you're actually frightened by a student. Did he hold a knife to your neck? Han Su Ren glanced at Li Chi Yuan who wanted to flee the scene. Li Chi Yuan suddenly felt a chill on his back and stopped in his tracks, not daring to flee. He turned to look at Han Su Ren and smiled nervously. Hello, Uncle Han. Everyone else shouted Director Han. But in his case, it became Uncle Han, and the two had an unusual relationship. Han Su Ren's eyes stared, and Li Chi Yuan immediately recognized the mistake and changed his words. Director Han, I was wrong. The scene came back to Xin Huan. At this moment, his head buzzed as he lowered his head and admitted his mistake. Director Han, I feel shameful about my behavior just now, and I will never make this kind of low-level mistake in the future. Han Xiren coldly glanced at Xin Huan and said, If I send the footage from just now to the Academic Affairs Review Center, you won't have to come tomorrow. Xin Huan was so scared that his legs went limp and he almost fell to his knees as he begged. Director Han, I definitely won't dare next time. The students are everything to me. I'll swear to protect their safety. Humph. Count on you to be quick to admit your mistake. I'll give you a chance. As for the promotion wait for another year. Xin Huan knew that he had escaped. It was a good thing that he had blocked Chu Chuanhai just now. Otherwise he would have been finished. He thanked him repeatedly. Thank you Director Han for being merciful. After teaching Xin Huan, it was Li Chi Yuan's turn. Haven't seen you for a few days. You kid has grown capable ah. You dare to bring people to cause trouble? I don't dare. I don't dare. I have a bit of a misunderstanding with Mr. Chen. I want to come over and reconcile with him. Han Su Ren tilted his head to look at the few helpers hiding behind. Then why did you bring so many people over? Those people were terrified and hurriedly said, Director Han, we just came over to hang out. We didn't do anything. Han Su Ren wrinkled his eyebrows and nodded slightly. Since you few are so idle, go run 200 laps in the playground. Don't go back if you don't finish. Ah, they people were dumbfounded. 200 laps, that's 80, 000, 000 meters, 80 kilometers. Even if they were advanced martial artists, they couldn't afford to run like that. Ha, huh? 
you guys don't want to run? Then call your parents over. I'll talk to your parents. Now. The six panicked and ran towards the playground without looking back. Director Han. We're going to run now. Li Chi Yuan stood in place, which still had the same momentum from earlier. Foolishly looking at Han Shiren, afraid of letting him go running as well. It just so happens that in a couple days to find your father a little something. I'll talk to him about your great deeds in school. I want to see what your father's reaction is. Is it the father of the tiger? Or will the belt see the real thing? The corners of Li Chi Yuan's mouth twitched as he wimped out. Don't. My dad shall not beat me to death. Han Su Rin didn't care about that. He swept his gaze across the room and said in a loud voice, Do you all want me to send you back? In less than three seconds, the corridors and halls were empty, all returning to their classes. Chen Yu just wanted to turn around and go back inside his class, but was stopped by Han Su Ren. You come with me. Chen Yu didn't dare to retort, followed behind, not knowing where to go. But don't expel him ah, otherwise there is no place to go. All the way to the heart trembling. Go in. The two came to Han Su Ren's private office. Han Su Ren opened the door to the room and signaled Chen Yu to go in. Chen Yu obediently walked in. Han Su Ren brought the door to the room and said, Have a seat. I'll just stand. Chen Yu didn't dare to sit. Whatever. Han Su Ren sat himself down. Do you know what I called you over for? Chen Yu shook his head. Teacher, please show me. Looking at the nervous looking teenager, Han Su Ren said, Don't worry. I won't let you recognize the wrong person. Chen Yu let out a long breath of relief in his heart. We've met before. You should still remember. I remember. I didn't have time to thank teacher for helping out at that time. If it wasn't for Han Su Ren's hand on the day of the mobilization meeting, Chen Yu would probably have been beaten up so badly that it was hard to say whether he could participate in the hunting tournament or not. Han Su Ren nodded his head in satisfaction. This kid was quite clear about love and hate. I really didn't expect you to take first place in the hunting tournament. I'm curious about what you experienced inside the Red Rainbow Demon Domain? How could Chen Yu explain this? No matter if it was points or realm it did not make sense. He was too embarrassed to speak. Calm down. I'm just curious. It's not like I'm forcing you to tell me. Let's get down to business with you. Han Su Rin circled around in a big circle and finally said what he was thinking. You should know that after the hunting tournament is over, the top-ranked students are eligible to select a private tutor. Chen Yu knew that the school authority wanted to accelerate the growth of outstanding students in this way. Suddenly, Chen Yu raised his head to look at Han Su Rin and said in surprise, Are you thinking? A flash of light flashed in Han Su Ren's eyes as he praised, I quite admire you. Are you interested in being my disciple? He was talking about a disciple, not a student. The relationship between master and disciple could be much more intimate than a teacher-student relationship. Chen Yu couldn't wait to have a martial Zoom powerhouse as a master. He wouldn't even dare to think about it. I'm willing, he didn't even hesitate and directly agreed. It was Chen Yu's honor to be able to worship under a martial Zoom realm powerhouse. He immediately performed the master kowtow. Master is above. Please accept my disciple's bow. He was afraid that Han Su Ren would back out. The smile at the corner of Han Su Ren's mouth was hard to suppress. This time, he could count on being quick. Otherwise it would be too late to regret. Quickly get up. His hand gently lifted. And Chen Yu was lifted up by a force in the air. A martial honor powerhouse was beyond his cognizance with his hands. Han Su Ren's gaze never left Chen Yu. His newly accepted disciple although his strength is a little worse. Only seven products of the realm. Xia Cheng Ling in the freshman year is more than nine products. Half a step of the martial spirit realm. The gap between the two sides is like a world of difference. But Han Su Ren is confident that Chen Yu under his teaching. Absolutely can soar. In time even exceeds Xia Cheng Ling is also possible. As for this thought. Chen Yu was completely unaware of it. It was impossible to think that his teacher was comparing him to Xia Qingling, the first genius of the Dragon Kingdom. I read today. It seems like you messed with the Chu family, right? Yes. Teacher. Chu Yin he brought a whole bunch of people to my house last night and held my parents hostage wanting to take advantage of the opportunity to waste me. Naturally I wouldn't fold my arms and fought with him. Finally wasting him. Han Su Ren's expression was grave as he nodded slightly. Your approach is fine. If someone dares to threaten my loved ones, I will make his entire family completely disappear in Kyoto. Chen Yu was stunned. Originally thought that his teacher would admonish him for striking too hard. He did not expect to be even more ruthless than himself. No wonder he would look at himself. It's not a family that doesn't enter a family. By the way, you are the first in this year's hunting tournament, right? Yes. My disciple took first place by a fluke. Chen Yu said modestly. What fluke or not? No matter what method is used to take first place's skill. As long as it's legal and compliant, it's not a problem. After a short conversation, Chen Yu realized that his teacher and his character were too similar. Both were the kind of people who did not stick to small matters. He felt more and more affectionate towards Han Su Run. 
Since you took first place in the hunting tournament, I'll give you a reward. Chen Yu was puzzled. Ah, ah, what ah? Every year the reward for first place in the hunting tournament is awarded by me, and you are no exception. So that's how it was, Chen Yu realized. Subsequently, a flash of exhilaration flashed from the bottom of his eyes. The rewards that his own teacher had issued to him were definitely much better than previous years, and he was curious as to what treasures he would be able to get. Seeing as you're nervous like that, I can't treat you badly. Saying that, Han Su Rin flipped his right hand and a strangely shaped treasure appeared in his hand. It was a small flag about 20 centimeters long. On the flag was tattooed with a strange creature, somewhat like a rhinoceros, but much more majestic than a rhinoceros. Chen Yu was shocked by the beast just by looking at it. This is an SS grade defensive treasure, the bull sky flag. SS grade treasure. Chen Yu was shocked. The reward for the first place in the previous session was nothing more than an S rank secret art. Nothing compared to this one of his. Teacher what is this bull sky flag? An ancient creature. The bull is known for its defensive power. This bull heavenly flag is a copy of its strongest characteristic. After using it your defense will be infinitely increased, counteracting all attacks. And during this time, all attacks will be taken by the bull heavenly flag instead. As for the duration is related to your strength and the strength of your opponent. The stronger your opponent is, the shorter the duration is. If your opponent is far stronger than you, the ancient heavenly flag will probably not be able to withstand it and burst open. So be careful when you use it. Don't mess it up. After Han Su Ren finished explaining, he handed over the bull heavenly flag with great reluctance. Chen Yu was ecstatic and received it with both hands. This bull heavenly flag was too fierce, allowing him to briefly gain invincibility. Thank you teacher. Disciple will definitely cultivate hard and not let you down. Han Shuren was also happy. This ancient heavenly flag was useless when placed in his place. It was better to give it to Chen Yu for defense. The feeling of being favored is really good. Chen Yu put away the ancient heavenly flag. His heart was happy. According to the school's rules, you are qualified to enter the dragon sacrifice domain after taking first place in the hunting tournament. Yes, teacher. This was the reason why Chen Yu was pursuing the top 10 so much. The dragon sacrifice domain was the forbidden land of Tianyun University and the only one in Kyoto. People from outside squeezed their heads to enter and cultivate a bit. But unfortunately, the dragon sacrifice domain was not open to the public, and no amount of money could buy a spot. It was a place dedicated to the best students of Heavenly Cloud University to cultivate. Those could be the top 100 students of the Heavenly Ranking. Do you know what the Dragon Sacrifice Domain is like? Chen Yu did not know. He had always heard that the Dragon Sacrifice Domain was very mysterious and extremely attractive. And after going in once, he could not forget to come back. And after the first time, he would want to go back a second time. As for what exactly was going on inside, he wasn't sure. Hansu Ren naturally guessed that students who entered the Dragon Sacrifice Domain had to promise not to divulge any information to the outside world, and if they violated it they would be stripped of their heavenly ranking qualifications and would never be able to enter the Dragon Sacrifice Domain to cultivate. There are still two weeks left. This time the Dragon Sacrifice Domain will be opened. It should be no problem for me to talk to you about the situation inside now. After all, you have already obtained the qualification to enter it. Chen Yu nodded his head repeatedly. Hansu Ren was the director of instruction. He had absolute say inside the school, so there was definitely no influence. Hansu Ren said in a different tone, I'm not abusing my power. It wasn't hard for the discerning to see that he was warning Chen Yu not to go out and talk nonsense. Teacher, you're giving me a warning. I'm all ears. Looking at his very resourceful disciple, Hansu Ren smiled heartily. He then said, The reason why I'm so anxious to tell you about the situation inside is because I'm afraid you'll waste your first chance to enter the dragon sacrifice domain. Teacher, why is that? Logically speaking, before entering the dragon sacrifice domain, there must have been someone informing the relevant rules. But what the teacher meant, wasn't it that a lot of people didn't even find the right method of cultivation the first time they entered the dragon sacrifice domain? Chen Yu's spirit quickly focused and listened intently. Han Su Ren did not directly say the reason, but introduced, you should know about the origin of the dragon sacrifice domain. Chen Yu nodded. Others say that it was the first principal who beheaded a purebred dragon race and sealed its soul inside. Hence the dragon sacrifice domain. Bullshit. Chen Yu froze. Ha, huh? isn't it like that? Of course not. That's just a saying to fool you guys. How can a purebred dragon be so good to kill? Although the first principal was an extremely powerful martial saint, it's not very realistic to kill a purebred dragon. What's the situation then? Chen Yu became more and more curious. This he had heard was actually wild history. And he was curious to know what the official history was. Han Su Ren lowered his voice and said, it's true that a purebred dragon was sealed inside the dragon sacrifice domain, 
But it wasn't the first principal who decapitated it, it was the dragon that volunteered. Now, Shen Yu was confused. That was the legendary dragon race Ah, one of the strongest creatures. The augur dragon he encountered before was only possessing a hint of dragon bloodline. It was that powerful. He did not understand why this dragon wanted to seal itself. Han Su Ren quickly gave an answer. Because that dragon's great limit is approaching. The only way to survive for a long time is to seal its own soul and look for an opportunity to resurrect again in the future. You should know about the Phoenix Nirvana rebirth, right? I know. The purebred Phoenix possesses a chance to be reborn in Nirvana once, and after rebirth, its body will evolve in all directions, and its strength will be even more powerful. In fact, the dragons of the purebred Supreme Bloodline also have this ability, only that the limitations of their rebirth are too high, even if they wait until their souls completely dissipate, they may not necessarily be able to be reborn. The dragon that was sealed inside the school just happened to have this ability, so it condescended to come here and cooperate with the first principal to seal itself. As a price, it is to assist the students in their cultivation. Shen Yu listened with fascination. So this was how the dragon sacrifice domain came about. He asked curiously, then why did everyone say that it was the first principal who decapitated it? It doesn't seem like it's impossible to tell the reason for the self-sealing. Han Su Ren's voice lowered once again and said in a voice that only Chen Yu could hear, because he wanted to act tough. Ha, huh? Chen Yu's expression twitched. How is this positive history even wilder than wild history? Beheading a purebred dragon race, how dignified to say it. Teacher, how did you know about this rumor? The first principle was more than a thousand years ago. Is it possible that this event was recorded? It shouldn't be, since the first principal made this decision. He definitely wouldn't leave a record to slap his own face. It was the current principal who told me. Han Su Rin said with a bad smile. Shen Yu cried and laughed. So it was passed down from generation to generation. Far from it. Han Su Ren's demeanor turned and continued his previous question. The dragon in the dragon sacrifice domain is very peculiar. It will give different cultivation aids depending on the person. Which is why I reminded you to pay attention to the dragon sacrifice domain the first time you enter it. Everyone who has just entered the dragon sacrifice domain. It will all be sensed by that dragon. And it will give a corresponding share of cultivation based on that person's overall strength and state of mind. The stronger the strength the more cultivation resources they get. And the better it is for their own growth. Back then, when Xia Qingling entered for the first time, she gained great appreciation from that dragon, giving a large amount of cultivation resources, more than 10 times that of an average person. I'll go. There's still this kind of argument. No wonder the teacher had to inform himself in advance even if he broke the rules. This information was too crucial. At the same time, he was curious as to why the school didn't inform him of this news in advance. It would be beneficial to all students. Ah, teacher. Why didn't the school inform in advance? I feel like it's a bit bad for the students ah, entering for the first time with absolutely no experience. It's definitely easy to go wrong. You think the school doesn't want to? There was a stupid bird who knew about this before and took a pill before entering the dragon sacrifice domain to increase his realm and strength, trying to attract the dragon's attention. And then, Chen Yu asked. It did attract attention and got tons of resources, but it was almost burst. Eh? Chen Yu did not know what to say. That big brother was so pissy. From now on, advance notice will not be allowed, and everything will depend on clinical play. You kid give me a good memory, don't get me into any trouble. Good teacher. Shen Yu's attitude was correct. Han Su Rin continued, when you enter the dragon sacrifice domain, make sure to show your best side, this will likely be favored by it, and I won't say much about the benefits to you. Remember, after entering, don't look around like a curious baby, such dilettantes are the first to be excluded. Apprentice Sun keeps this in mind. Shen Yu firmly remembered this point and was mentally prepared to enter the dragon sacrifice domain in two weeks. Then when will I look for you to learn? This was the point that Shen Yu was most concerned about. It was still unknown what level of enhancement he could get from entering the dragon sacrifice domain. But the guidance of a strong martial exalted was something that everyone could only dream of. A random bit of experience from a martial exalt would be enough for Chen Yu to learn for a long time. Han Su Rin shook his head and said, I'm quite busy this time. Running back and forth from various provinces. In a few months it will be the Dragon Kingdom's college tourney. I'm one of the people in charge of that project. I don't have much time to guide you this semester. Anyway, you've just started college. Grasp the rhythm of cultivation yourself first. If you don't understand something, contact me on my cell phone. Shen Yu was a bit embarrassed. He had just worshipped his master and was dispersed. Teacher, what is this college touring competition? You attach so much importance to it? It's a college tournament held every three years in the Dragon Kingdom. All colleges and universities across the country will participate. Oh oh, it's a college tournament, Chen Yu thought to himself. 
Ha, Han Shuren lightly chortled. What era is it? But also college tournament. That kind of retarded tournament let our school go. Are lazy to go. It's not a college tournament. Then what is it? It has nothing to do with you. You the seventh grade strength in the past purely beaten. Honestly stay in the school inside the cultivation. Next semester if you can't break through the eighth grade, you'll wait and see. Chen Yu's heart that a little bit of a small plan. Han Su Rin is very clear. All right then. Chen Yu scratched his head to ease the embarrassment. He did have this idea. Teacher, if there's nothing else I'll go back first ha. Hmm, don't go out of the school recently. Chu Chuan Hai's hatred towards you is not shallow. He will most likely ambush you secretly outside the school. Tian Yun University is the safest place. I've already notified the security office. As long as Chu Chuan Hai dares to enter privately again, he will be directly executed in situ. So ruthless. This was the iron-faced director of Tian Yun University, living up to his name. When Chen Yu was about to go out, Han Su Ren's reminder voice came again. Go to the Void Pavilion more often to exercise your real-world combat abilities when you have nothing to do. Okay, teacher. Chen Yu responded and then left. The Void Pavilion was just built by Tian Yun University in the past two years, and inside it had the latest technology of the Dragon Kingdom, the Void Instrument, which was a real combat simulator that combined reality and virtualization and could project a person 100% into a virtual battlefield for real combat. Everything inside is built in equal proportions. Even the human body sensation can be 100% restored, except that it won't really die. There is almost no difference between the other and reality. He had wanted to go there for a long time, only that he had to participate in the hunting tournament before and hadn't had the time to go over there yet, and he could go over there in the past few days when he was free. He hurriedly returned to his class. Zhao Huilin stood at the door, eagerly waiting. When he saw Chen Yu safely return, he let out a huge sigh of relief. Director Han didn't give you a hard time, did he? No ah, uh, the teacher is quite nice. That's good. Although Director Han's temper is quite strange and people are quite fierce. But he pays a lot of attention to our school's students. Zhao Huilin saw Han Su Ren's strong methods today and grew more and more respectful. Going to the Void Pavilion after class later? Chen Yu asked Zhao Huilin. Yes, I've long wanted to go over there to see the world. I've been hearing people say how awesome and real the Void Pavilion is, and I want to go over there and experience it myself. The two of them hit it off and agreed to go over after school in the afternoon. Void Pavilion. The two were a bit confused. There are too many people here. Not only did Chen Yu and the two men come over after class, many students did not even eat their meals and all came over to line up to enter the Void Pavilion. Chen Yu thought that they were already fast, but they were still standing outside the door of the Void Pavilion more than 300 meters away and in front of them were the crow's feet. These people's addiction is also too big. They have to come over without eating. Zhao Huai Lin spat. Chen Yu sighed. Take your time lining up. Today, one must go in and see what is inside this void pavilion. The temptation is so great. The two people queued for more than an hour and finally arrived at the door. My legs are breaking. It's finally our turn. Zhao Huai Lin realized that the classmate standing in front of him didn't move. He said with a slight anger, Brothers, move forward. What are you standing still for? Walk a hammer. The void pavilion is full. Fuck. Still came late. The people in the back heard this and left with curses in their mouths. And the long line roared apart. Chen Yu and Zhao Hui Lin were directly petrified in place. After lining up for more than an hour. You tell me that it's full and you can't get in? WTF? They then realized why so many people. Just after class. Came over to line up. The two stood in the wind. What should I do? Zhao Hui Lin looked at Chen Yu as if he was crying. Chen Yu was also speechless. When he came over to line up, he should have read the guide inside the school forum, and it wouldn't be like he lined up for more than an hour for nothing. What else can be done? Go back and come over to queue again tomorrow. Zhao Huilin's stiff body couldn't help but tremble. If he didn't get in line tomorrow, he would absolutely collapse. The two of them had sad faces and hung their heads as they prepared to go back to the dormitory. A slim boy passed by the two of them and walked towards the void pavilion. The man had just taken a few steps when he stopped. He cocked his head to look at Chen Yu and asked with a smile on his face, Are you Chen Yu? Chen Yu looked up at the past with some bemusement. He thought to himself that it was really annoying. Why did these people come to trouble him day after day with their shadowy souls? He was already in a bad mood right now, and this person was still trying to mess with him. Just as he was about to get angry, Zhao Huilin next to him looked like he had seen a ghost. His mouth opened and trembled trying to say something, but he couldn't because he was too excited. Su, Su, Chen Yu was puzzled. Su what Su ah? Have you stuttered? Su, Su ruler king. Zhao Hui Lin's words finally came out in full. That was the first year's number one ah. This year's most talented person. The second in the hunting tournament ah. If it wasn't for Chen Yu sticking his foot in the door halfway through, 
the first place in the hunting tournament would definitely be his. There is no one in the first year who doesn't know him, except Xin Yu of course. Zhao Huai Lin panicked. His good brother stole the first place from others. He must have come to take revenge. Su Ruler Jing's strength, there was no doubt. An absolute powerhouse. Even a late 7th grade martial artist like Chu Yun didn't last around. He pulled Chun Yu and wanted to leave this place. Chun Yu was calm. His eyes slightly gathered. Sizing up Su Ruler Jing. Quite a handsome appearance. Coupled with that melancholic temperament. It was hard not to let people look at him a few more times. Something wrong? He had always held a fearless attitude. It was the same for anyone who came. Chu Chuan Hai hadn't even made him take half a step back. So what about this Su Ruler Jing? Nothing. I just want to get to know you. Hunting tournament first that thing. It's not the same for whoever takes it. Su Ruler Jing politely extended his hand. With a smile at the corner of his mouth. Not like he was faking it. The first in the hunting tournament had become a dispensable thing in his mouth. His mind was quite broad ah. Shen Yu politely smiled back and reached out to shake his hand. I've heard a lot about you. We are all classmates. No need to be polite. Besides, your current reputation is much greater than mine. Are you guys going into the void pavilion? Su Ruler Jing asked. Shen Yu nodded and shrugged again. There are too many people. Didn't line up. Su Ruler Jing was very generous. I'll open the box. You guys go in with me. Is this also okay? Then thanks a lot. The two were like good brothers for many years. Walking in side by side. This made Zhao Huai Lin look dumbfounded. How was it different from what he thought? He then followed. Have you two registered your personal accounts? What's that? Chen Yu was puzzled. Su Ruler Jing explained. You have to get a personal account in order to enter the virtual space. So that's how it is. Not bad for high technology. Chen Yu and Zhao Huai Lin first came to the front desk of the Void Pavilion. A young lady at the front desk received them politely. May I ask what services you two need? Chen Yu and Zhao Huai Lin took out their ID cards and placed them on the counter. Help us register an account. Okay, the two of you please wait. The young lady was familiar with the process. Picking up the ID card and walking to a machine. Stuffing the ID card in turn. And then pressing her fingers on the screen. An operation was performed. And the account registration was completed. The whole process was less than 10 minutes. Your account has been registered. The account number is your school number. The password is the last 6 digits of your ID card. The first time you log in you can change the password by yourself. Okay. Thanks. Chen Yu and Zhao Hui Lin received their ID cards and were in an excited mood. The two were as curious as an old earth turtle entering the city, eager to enter the void instrument and try it out right now. Let's go. The box I reserved is on the second floor. Su Ruler Jing led the way in front, and the two Chen Yu followed behind. The three of them went up to the second floor and came to a luxuriously decorated box, which had everything inside. Food and drinks. There were also four strange devices inside the box, much like a life pod, but it was upright. Su Ruler Jing walked over to the apparatus and said, This is the void instrument. When we enter it later, it will actively connect with our brain nerves after recognizing our identities, completing a one-to-one -one restoration of the characters, as well as transmitting the battlefield, data analysis, and other matters. The time needed to enter the void instrument for the first time may be a bit longer. You guys don't have to worry too much. If discomfort arises you can exit at any time. Chen Yu and Zhao Hui Lin looked at the lofty instrument and nodded their heads continuously. Then you guys log into your accounts first. I'll add your friends later and pull the room. As for the specific rules I'll talk to you guys when I go in. Okay. Chen Yu couldn't wait to open the hatch of the void meter and walked in. There was still quite a lot of space inside this void instrument. It was more than enough to fit a person. And there was also a seat inside to prevent long periods of standing from causing physical fatigue. He had just sat down when a mechanical female voice came. Is it logging into the account? Logging in. Chen Yu followed the other party's instructions and slowly fumbled around. Soon, a pop-up window appeared in front of him with an account number field and a user password field. Chun Yu completed entering the information. Authentication successful. Dear player, please enter your personal ID. Okay. Chen Yu entered very casually, windblown. The nickname is already taken. The beep came. He didn't care and changed his ID to, the wind blows through. The nickname is occupied. It was the same prompt again. Chen Yu frowned slightly and changed his ID again to, the wind blows through. The nickname has been taken. Holy shit, playing with me. The wind blows through. In a fit of rage, he added 11 exclamation points after it. The nickname exceeded the word limit. Chen Yu's expression twitched a little. He then entered a series of IDs, such as happy every day, going up the mountain to fight tigers, bored to death, getting a name it's so hard, and so on. All of them prompted that they were occupied. Chen Yu felt that he was being teased, and all of his IDs were occupied. In a fit of rage, he changed his ID to, I am bean pie. 
he did not believe that this ID was all occupied. This time, a different tone came. ID registration successful. Have a good time. I'm TM. Count on it. He had no choice but to enter the void world with this ID on top. After entering, he realized that his self in this was exactly the same as reality. Just like a second self, feeling not a single trace of dissonance. It was just that all the props and treasures couldn't be brought in. Only individuals could enter. So that it could avoid someone bringing a strong fire weapon to affect the balance. It was easy for Zhao Weilin to take the ID. And it was done in one go. Of course, there wouldn't be anyone to grab the nickname Peakless Invincible Handsome Scum from him. The two people who were a bit out of their minds finally finished registering their IDs. And soon an invitation pop-up window popped up. Su Ruler Jingya, you are invited to enter the room. It's still this ID of someone else's that's good. After the three entered the room, Su Ruler Jing glanced at the two people's IDs and almost didn't laugh out loud. He stifled his laughter and said, You guys are quite the personalities. Making Chen Yu embarrassed. He covered his face and laughed bitterly. It can't be helped. Dozens of IDs were taken up. As for Zhao Huilin, he had a smug look on his face, seemingly satisfied with his ID. He took another look at Chun Yu's ID, didn't hold back and directly laughed out loud. Ha 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 ha. Old me is a bean batch. Chun Yu, what were you thinking? Such a retarded ID. Your shit is no better than me. Chun Yu directly disliked him back. He didn't want to talk nonsense with Zhao Huilin and looked at Su Ruling Jing, saying, Hurry up and open it. Su Ruler Jing nodded. I also registered not long ago and just figured out the rules of the void world. My level isn't high enough to play with you guys. This thing still has levels. Zhao Huilin was busy checking his rank, Black Iron 3. Eh? Chen Yu did the same. It seemed like they were all at this level when they first entered it. Let's choose a map first, said Su Ruler Jing as he pulled up the different copies of the void world, each with a different map. This one this one, Zhao Huilin said as he pointed at one of the wilderness manors. He usually loved playing wilderness games already. This would be so cool to enter it personally. Chun Yu, you don't have an opinion, do you? Chun Yu frowned and did not answer him, as if he was thinking about something. Zhao Hui Lin didn't care. Just this one. Let's quickly go in. Su Ruler Jing nodded, then pressed the copy of Wilderness Manor. Is the location of the drop point bound? The system reminded. Binding. Su Shijijing confirmed. The three person drop point location is bound successfully. Matching in progress. The top column displayed the number of people entering this copy of Wilderness Manor, 10153246788919100, matching complete, have fun with the three of you. The trio's figures disappeared from the room and began to teleport into the Wilderness Manor. In a trance, the place the three were in changed, the location they teleported to happened to be inside a small manor, the surroundings fitting the name Wilderness Manor. This was the first time Chen Yu and Zhao Huilin had come to this kind of completely unreal copy world. Zhao Huilin was so excited that his gaze never stopped, constantly looking around like a curious baby. He walked to a large tree and touched the trunk with his hand. There was no mental disconnect at all in terms of touch. It's so real. Exactly the same as the real world. He was still a bit unconvinced. Then he gave himself a slap with a clench of his teeth. Slap. A crisp slap sounded. And Zhao Huilin covered his slightly sore cheeks and excitedly said, This is too awesome. No wonder so many students didn't even eat. Just to line up to enter the void pavilion. Zhao Huilin completely fell in love with this place and couldn't wait to do something big right now, except that he didn't even know the most basic rules and didn't dare to act without authorization, so he could only slowly grope his way through it under Su Ruling's leadership. In order for Su Ruler Jing to give the two of them more time to understand this place, he purposely chose a more remote place as a landing point, where there were fewer people and no conflicts would break out for the time being. Zhao Huilin's reaction was within his expectations, because when he first came to this world, he was also in an excited mood and was curious about everything. But Chun Yu's expression was hard to figure out. He didn't seem particularly excited, and was even a bit confused. He stood frozen in place, frowning and frozen for a long time, worried that he had problems during the teleportation process. Su Ruler Jing hurriedly walked over and asked with concern, Are you alright? If you're not feeling well, just quit first, and it's fine to team up together next time. Under Su Ruling Jing's reminder, Chen Yu finally came back to his senses and the corner of his mouth raised a wry smile. It startled Su Ruling Jing and Zhao Huilin. Chen Yu, don't scare us. They thought that Chen Yu's brain nerves had been damaged and this weird expression appeared. The two of them hurriedly prepared to abort the match and take Chen Yu out first. If they were late it was likely that they would permanently damage the brain nerves and that would be the end of it. Just when Su Ruler Jing was ready to dissolve the room and force the three to take them back, Chen Yu spoke. Calm down. I'm fine. Only just thought of something and froze for a while. His astonishment had transformed into excitement. He wanted to explore and see if this void world was the same as he had imagined. If it was the same, 
then it would be too interesting. The two saw that Chen Yu was fine, and then they put their hearts down. I thought you went down just now. Scared me to death. Zhao Huilin patted his chest and breathed a sigh of relief. No, no, I was too excited to come in for the first time. Chen Yu made an excuse. That's good. Let me introduce the specific rules to you guys first. Su Ruler Jing was not in a hurry to bring the two of them into action, but first introduced the relevant rules and survival techniques of this void world. You guys can start by opening the menu, which contains the individual's current status, equipment, additional attributes, the number of people remaining in the entire field, and map details. Zhao Huilin opened the menu as stated, then clicked on each item bar in turn. Thunderbolt Invincible Handsome Drop, 5th Grade Martial Artist, Life Value 100, Endurance Value 100, Equipment Column, Empty, Additional Attributes, None, Number of People Remaining in the Field, 89. As for the map of this wilderness manor, it was too big to remember for a while, but fortunately, there was a personal punctuation on it to know where he was currently located. How interesting. Zhao Hui's face was full of surprise. This was too similar to the games he usually played, except that he was there in person this time to experience a different game process. Chen Yu also tapped the various item columns, except for the realm being higher than Zhao Huilin, everything else was the same. This void world was fairer to a certain extent. He was convinced that this void world was very similar to that game mode he played in his previous life. As for the content he would have to explore it slowly. You've all finished reading it, right? Chen Yu and Zhao Huilin nodded in response. Then let me talk to you guys about the rules. Okay. Although Chen Yu was excited, he still listened carefully to Su Shakyo introduce the rules. It's actually simple. You guys just treat the void world as a real game. Just remember three things, picking up equipment, killing people, escaping from the plague zone, and living as long as you can. Because the further back we go, the more leveling points and reward points we get. Of course, if strength allows, it's best to kill more people and map bosses so that you can not only scavenge his equipment and accelerate your own growth and development, but also gain more points. Zhao Huilin nodded as if he understood it well, but there was one thing he wasn't clear about. What is this bonus points? Su Ruler Jing patiently explained. Reward points can be taken outside of the void world. They also exist all the time. You can use the reward points to go to the void pavilion to exchange for some treasures and weapons. It's still very tempting. I'll go. You can still exchange real treasures. This can be ah. Uh, yes. The void world is nationally networked. The people you meet in here aren't necessarily from our Tianyun University. You might meet students from other schools. And remember. Here. Realm doesn't mean everything. If your equipment doesn't work and your attributes don't work, it's likely that you'll be counter-killed by lower-level martial artists. After listening to the introduction, Chen Yu could already ascertain that the mode setting of this void world was basically the same as that game in his previous life. However, he was puzzled as to why there was also an attribute column. Let's get moving. I can't wait. Zhao Huilin acted very eager after knowing the basic rules. Okay, let's first scour this small manor and pick up some basic equipment. Su Ruler Jing and Zhao Huilin walked towards the two rooms. Whatever. Play a few games and get familiar with it. He walked towards the other room. Pushing open the door of the room with his hand. The slightly cluttered house had some things scattered on the floor and bed. Chen Yu first picked up a small bottle that resembled a drug. A prompt message popped up. Class C Recovery Potion. Can restore 20% of your life value in one go? The time required is 5 seconds. It will be interrupted if you are attacked during use. Yes. Exactly the same. Chen Yu put it away. He picked up another ordinary looking iron sword. And the prompt followed closely behind. Iron sword, increase attack power by 10%. Is it assembled? Chen Yu clicked yes. And then an iron sword was added to his equipment bar. And at the same time, he felt a small increase in his power. This seems a bit different from that game. Shouldn't it be a gun? With doubts, he went to another room and saw an armor on the floor. Which he picked up again. Iron armor, increase defense by 10%. Is it fitted? Not right. Something is not right. Chen Yu felt very wrong. This thing was a bit strange. Like the chicken mode. But the content was not the same at all. Iron swords and armor? If there was another shoe, it would be a hell of a thing. What comes to the mind? Comes to the heart. Chen Yu's eyes scanned and he really found a shoe in the corner. He walked over and picked it up. Level 1 shoes, increase movement speed by 10%. Is it fitted? Holy shit. Isn't this a pesticide? He finally reacted to the fact that this void world fused the two games he played in his previous life, combining the essence of both games together. He stood in place, crying and laughing. He really admired the person who developed the void instrument. This brain hole was too big. Chen Yu suddenly remembered the attribute bar that confused him just now. There shouldn't be any of these attributes in here such as berserk, weakness, sprint, right? 
These chapters are just a small episode. Ease the rhythm of the plot. If you do not like me later on a pass, if you like it can write a little more. The plot in the world of the void is mainly to happy. Funny. As for the settings do not take it too seriously. I think of what to write what. Three people are in the manor is not big. A total of six or seven houses. Did not use much time will be scavenging finished. Good equipment it did not pick up. Rags are a lot of things. Chen you only assembled an iron sword. An iron armor and a shoe. As for the other garbage he really lazy to pick up. Healing medicines were picked up. Four bottles of C-rank recovery potions and one B-rank sustaining potion. He took the lead and walked out of the manor. Waiting outside for Su Ruling Jing and Zhao Huai Lin. Su Ruling Jing came out in no time. He didn't have a problem with what was inside. And the two of them chatted without a word outside as they waited for Zhao Wei Lin to come out. After waiting like this for more than 10 minutes, a clanging sound came from behind. Look guys, I picked up a whole bunch of equipment. My equipment bar can't fit anymore. You guys come and share it ah. Chen Yu and Su Ruler Jing turned to look. And instantly froze in place. The corners of their mouths twitching as they looked towards Zhao Huai Lin who was carrying a broken piece of copper and iron. This kid was smiling happily. Carrying more than a dozen pieces of low-grade equipment. A sword. A knife. An axe. A cloak. Armor. It's really convincing. One person can only equip six weapons and props. Otherwise you guys wouldn't have a share of these things. Zhao Huai Lin looked at the things in his hands with a look of pity. You're sick. We've been waiting for you for ten minutes. The plague zone is about to cover over. And you picked up such a bunch of trashy stuff. Chen Yu did not hold back his curses. What trash stuff? These things are awesome. They can increase strength, defense and speed. Chen Yu covered his face with his hands and shook his head straight. How did he get into this mess? He wants everything. I was kind enough to bring it out for you guys. Do you want it or not? Zhao Huai Lin was still urging. Chen Yu and Su Ruler Jing both directly chose to ignore him and walked in the opposite direction of the plague area. Don't go ah. Uh. What a pity to lose these. Seeing the two ignoring him, Zhao Huai Lin could only throw away all the equipment on his body. Hey, wait for me. This plague zone is still far away from us. I really don't understand why you two are in such a hurry. Zhao Hualin complained as he walked, still thinking about those equipments in his heart. On the way, Chen Yu asked the doubt in his heart. Classmate Su, there should be more than just these low-level equipment in here, right? Su Ruler Jing nodded. Yes, it's hard to search for good equipment in a remote place like ours. We usually have to go to busier places, the city center or the square, where the chances of picking up high-level equipment are greater, but more dangerous. Zhao Huilin came over from the side and asked, Then is there another way to obtain high-level equipment? There are three other ways. The first is killing wild monsters or bosses. Killing wild monsters has a certain chance of dropping equipment, and killing area bosses can definitely obtain high-level equipment. The second is to kill other people, and then grab what's inside their equipment bar. The third is to grab airdrops. In the void world, from time to time and from point to point, high-level supplies will be dropped with high-level equipment inside. But the drop points of the airdrops are public and everyone can go and fight for them. The risk factor is relatively high. Zhao Huilin was quite excited after hearing this. Then let's go find the others. Robbing others is much faster than us picking them up. Su Ruler Jing was very agreeable. Instead of picking up rags here it would be better to do something big. Chen Yu also agreed. His previous life playing this game is head iron, where there are more people to go. The big deal is three minutes to do it again. The three of them opened the map, looking for the more prosperous places nearby. These places have a higher probability of other people appearing. In the end, the location determined was the Sky Tower Manor three kilometers away. They found a car on the side of the road. Zhao Huilin had to say that he had the best driving skills. He directly sat in the driver's seat and drove towards Tianlu Manor. Chen Yu and Su Ruler Jing had no choice but to agree. The car was traveling at high speed. It wouldn't take long to arrive. Zhao Hualin turned the car music on and bobbed his head to the rhythm. The vast end of the sky is my love. Flowers are blooming at the foot of the sheer green mountains. What kind of rhythm is the most almost swinging? Chen Yu sat in the back seat, always observing the situation around him. He was not once or twice killed by old Inbi in his previous life. Those old Inbi can always pop up in places you would not expect to scare you a jump. On the way is quite safe. Did not be ambushed. Ahead, a prosperous manor area came into view, and the three of them would soon arrive at the Sky Tower Manor. Zhao Hualin was quite excited and stepped on the gas pedal to the end. He couldn't wait to do something big. It was just that he didn't pay attention to a row of inconspicuous bumps on the road in front of him. Chen Yu's eyes were sharp and he was the first to notice the abnormality of the road ahead. With his experience of thousands of games in his previous life, there must be a demon when things go wrong. He immediately tapped Zhao Hualin's shoulder and said loudly, Stop the car. Zhao Hailin was still immersed in the belting music and didn't care. Shaking his leg, 
He said, what's the rush? There's still a few hundred meters to go. The high-speed car rolled over the bumps on the road. I'm driving and you still don't put it on. Zhao Huilin didn't finish a sentence before he heard a loud bang. Bang! A strong explosion came from underneath the car. The car couldn't withstand the shockwave and took off in place. The three instantly felt dizzy, and they didn't know how many times they flipped in the air before falling heavily to the ground. Intense pain came, and the life value of the three people decreased at a speed visible to the naked eye. Finally, with only 10 points of life value left, the system began to flash a red alert box. Dangerous. Please treat promptly. Chen Yu shook his dizzy head to clear his head a bit. The good thing was that injuries in the void world would only feel pain and would not affect his actions. He rolled over and quickly hid behind a large tree, taking out a recovery potion and taking it. Su Ruler Jing was also not lightly blown up, but he only reacted a little slower than Chen Yu and quickly found a safer place to recover his life value. Zhao Huai Lin didn't have this realization. He got up with great difficulty, circled around angrily, and roared. Which dog put the landmine? Want to blow up old me? As soon as the words fell, four people rushed out from inside a small room not far away and attacked Zhao Huilin. Zhao Huilin didn't react at all. He thought this was the real world and wanted to go forward and theorize. It's you four stupid birds who put the mines. Right. The four didn't answer him and took out their slightly higher ranked weapons and slashed at Zhao Huilin's body. The only ten life points left instantly bottomed out. A tone rang out in Zhao Weilin's head. You have been temporarily defeated. Please find a teammate to revive. A tone appeared in Shen Yu and Su Ruler Jing's heads at the same time. Your teammate is in an endangered state. Please rescue him in time. The two of them were still in a state of danger. So how could they have the time to save Zhao Huilin? This was entirely his own fault. And he said he had the best driving skills. Bullshit. Zhao Huilin, who was in a state of danger, was quickly hacked to death by a random knife. This was the end of his trip to the void. Two options appeared in front of Zhao Huilin. 1. Exit early. 2. Observe his teammates. He didn't hesitate to choose to watch his teammates. Zhao Huilin wasn't particularly familiar with Su Ruler Jing and was too embarrassed to watch him battle. An illusory figure then appeared above Chen Yu's head, which startled him. Zhao Huilin gritted his teeth and said, Chen Yu, quickly help me take revenge and slaughter these ungrateful things. They're robbing my equipment now. Go quickly. I'm recovering my life value. Chen Yu said impatiently. If it wasn't for this bastard grabbing the car and rolling over the mines just now, they wouldn't have been so passive. That's enough. That's enough. You've recovered 50 points. Go chop up those four pussies. Zhao Weilin was so angry that his teeth itched and kept urging. Chun Yu glared at him fiercely. Why are you exactly the same as my previous teammate? A vegetable and talkative. Ha, huh? Zhao Hui Lin didn't react. I'm a vegetable? How is that possible? If it wasn't for these few pussies ambushing me, I would have slaughtered them. Chen Yu didn't want to talk to him and quietly recovered his life value. On the road, those four people checked Zhao Hui Lin's equipment bar and their faces were drawn. He too a spitting at the corpse. Poor bastard. These four people were also freshmen, but they weren't from Tianyun University. They were from a university in Qiyun province that wasn't very famous. They had started using the void instrument a few days earlier than Chen Yu and the others, so they were more familiar with the rules of it, which led to the scene of ambushing with a landmine. They had thought that they could catch a big fish, but they hadn't expected Zhao Weilin to be so poor and covered in rags, and had wasted a few mines for nothing. Brother Lin, I clearly saw three people inside the car just now, how come there's only one left? Su Lin touched his head and guessed, maybe they were blown away, he then said in a bad mood, anyway, they're all a few poor bastards, no use, let's go. Several people prepared to leave, Chen Yu drank three bottles of recovery potion, his life value had already recovered to 70 basically no effect. Zhao Huilin was so anxious that he was about to rush over. These few dogs dare to spit on me. I can't stand it. Chun Yu, help me take revenge. I'll treat you to a barbecue at night. There was nothing he could do. He could only hope for his good brother. Deal. Holy shit. You kid, said Zhao Huilin, speechless. Chen Yu drank the sustained potion, which could automatically restore his life value, and he walked out from behind the big tree, yelling, what's the hurry to leave? Being underhanded definitely had to be avenged, and one must not easily let the four go. Su Ruler Jing and Shen Yu walked out at about the same time. The two of them converged and walked towards the four people. Su Lin stopped and turned to look. So you two didn't die. Even if Chen Yu and the two of them didn't have any equipment on them, killing them would still earn them a certain amount of points, so they couldn't let go of the meat in their mouths. The four of them once again took out their weapons in an encircling position and slowly walked towards them. Let me do it. Su Ruler Jing's face was gloomy. Stopping Chen Yu, he had not suffered such a big loss, although it was in the virtual world, but he could not endure it, 
he had to personally slaughter these four people to vent his anger. Chen Yu chose to wait and see, he could just see the strength of this first year number one. Su Lin saw only one person coming towards them and snorted. One against four, unconscionable things. There were four of them, three of them were fifth grade and one was sixth grade. With the addition of their equipment, even if they encountered a seventh grade martial artist, they would have a chance of winning. After observing them, Su Lin could ascertain that these three people were freshmen, and presumed that Su Ruling Jing would be lucky to have a sixth product strength. If he wanted to pick four of them one by one, unless he had the six divine armor to add to his strength, he would only get beaten. Remember grandpa's name, Su Lin, when you meet me in reality in the future, avoid walking away okay? This Su Lin didn't even know what kind of existence he had messed with until now, and he was still clamoring. Brothers, let him learn a lesson. The four of them moved in unison, attacking from four directions, all aiming at Su Ruler Jing's vitals. Su Ruler Jing stood there, his melancholic eyes flashed with a touch of haze, he didn't even look at a few people. Absolute confidence. The four hissed and rushed over, still wanting to act like a bully when you're dead. Su Lin took the lead, aiming at Su Ruler Jing's neck and stabbing hard. The other three did as they did. The four attacks arrived instantly, and they were about to hit. Kneel down for me. Steeply, the gravity in a 10 meter radius skyrocketed. The surrounding air was like a viscous non-Newtonian body. The harder you exerted, the more you were caught up in it and unable to move. If you didn't exert yourself you could only stand in place and be slaughtered. Even Shen Yu's body sank so violently that he almost failed to stabilize himself. At least 10 times more gravity is added. Is this the ability of Su Ruler Jing? It is really too horrible. Su Lin several people were the closest and most affected. Their bodies instantly lost control. Under an inexplicable force, their legs were hardened and broken in the opposite direction, and their bodies assumed a kneeling position. The screams were endless. Su Lin couldn't believe what was happening. He had clearly assembled quite a few defensive props, and even the rare props such as the bursting spiked armor had gotten them. Explosive thorn armor, increased defense by 50% plus increase attack power by 20%. Even a 7th grade martial artist wouldn't be able to break his defense for a short period of time. What realm was this person in front of him? And in a single glance, he held him down and rubbed him on the ground. Remember, my name is Su, Shaku, Jing. For a moment, Su ruler Jing's expression was as crazy as a devil. Su Lin felt his heart stop just by looking at him. This person was too terrifying. Su Ruler Jing's eyes suddenly condensed, and the gravity exerted on Su Lin's four people increased once again. Bang! The four turned into blood mist, skipping the endangered stage and directly forcing their way out of the void instrument. It was a good thing that it was a virtual world. Otherwise there would be no dregs left of the four. Zhao Huai Lin, who originally had a lot of words, closed his mouth at this moment, not daring to say one more word. He was also frightened. Su Ruler Jing's melancholic, slim temperament was too disorienting, making him forget that this was the first year's number one. It was truly terrifying. After resolving the four, Su Ruling Jing withdrew the gravity and said to Chen Yu with some embarrassment, I'm sorry, this boundary meteor force field of mine is ranged, and I didn't take into account that you were in it. Chen Yu smiled faintly, I'm fine, but this ability of yours is a bit strong. Not bad for our first year's card. It's just luck. Let's not talk about this. Let's continue. Su Ruler Jing walked towards the Sky Tower Manor. With his strength he couldn't even look at ordinary equipment. It felt like he had come over to play. Zhao Huai Lin whispered. He's so strong. Even stronger than the rumors. Regarding this point, Chun Yu agreed. Luckily, he has a pretty big pattern and doesn't see us as enemies. Otherwise it would have been dangerous. Zhao Huai Lin celebrated. Chen Yu also felt the pressure. He was unsure of his chances of winning against Su Ruler Jing. Or if he could survive. The two of them scavenged through the Sky Tower Manor and did not find any higher level equipment. The best was something like the Storm Giant Sword, which increased attack power by 25%. It seemed that all the good stuff had been searched by Su Lin and the others, but their bodies were gone, and those equipments disappeared with them. After searching around, there really wasn't anything left. Shen Yu just happened to look over the map and saw that there would be an airdrop landing not far from them in 5 minutes. Let's go check out the airdrop. Yeah, Su Ruler Jing did not refuse. At this moment, he was completely different from just now, becoming amiable again. Classmate Su, can I ask you a question? Floating in midair, Zhao Huilin looked like he had been tangled up for a long time. Yes, feel free to ask, as long as I know I'll definitely tell you. Su Ruler Jing wore a smile on his face. Zhao Huilin hesitated for a moment and asked, Are you the son of the Lin Yuan Martial Saint? When Su Ruling Jing heard the words Lin Yuan Martial Saint, he suddenly stood in place. His expression went from gentle and elegant to suddenly cold. He then said indifferently, sort of, after saying these words, without looking back, 
He went to the side of the highway to look for a car. Hiss, Zhao Huilin sucked in a mouthful of cold air. Chen Yu was unsure. Who is the Lin Yuan Martial Saint? There were a total of ten great martial saints in the Dragon Kingdom, and each one of them was the core of the country. For example, the current president of Tianyun University, the Heavenly Enlightenment Martial Saints, the director of the Heavenly Penalty Bureau, the interdictional Heavenly Martial Saints. With them around, no one would dare to infringe on the Dragon Kingdom. Big brother, can you usually read the news ah? Even the Lin Yuan Martial Saint doesn't know who he is. Do you have the nerve to say that you are from the Dragon Kingdom? Chen Yu smiled awkwardly, a little embarrassed. The story of the Lin Yuan Martial Saint has to start from 15 years ago. At that time he was really the hero in the hearts of the whole country. Zhao Hui Lin recounted the Lin Yuan Martial Saint's deeds with an expression of worship. You still have an idol. Ha, huh? can you not interrupt me? Zhao Hui Lin skimmed his mouth. Fine, fine, you continue. Chen Yu shrugged. Fifteen years ago, the demon race didn't know where they opened up a simple wormhole that went straight to the border of our dragon kingdom. Tens of thousands of demons and more than a hundred thousand demonic beasts poured into our borders. Chen Yu was startled. Holy shit, didn't I say that the devils have all disappeared into obscurity? Why are there still so many devils suddenly appearing? Indeed, in the last thousand years, the demon race has been very quiet, not making any big moves. That time was one of the few riots they had. Why? Chen Yu was puzzled. He did not understand why these demon race came out to make things happen when they were hiding well. Because they lost their heavenly Nirvana Starfield disc. Heavenly Nirvana Starfield disc. What is this thing? Even if it's lost what does it have to do with our dragon kingdom? Chen Yu couldn't figure it out at all. How am I supposed to know what that thing is? Anyway, it's extremely important to the demon race. As for why they raided the dragon kingdom. It's because they said that they found the aura emanating from the heavenly Nirvana Astral Domain Disc in the Dragon Kingdom's territory. I heard that if it wasn't for the wormhole not being big enough to withstand it, all of the demon race's demon saint powerhouses would have descended. In the end, only one demon saint powerhouse came, and that was an existence comparable to a human martial saint. Under the leadership of that demon saint, an attack was launched against our Dragon Kingdom border guards. Chen Yu eagerly asked, and then, our Dragon Kingdom is no softy. Besides, the chief grand marshal stationed at the border at that time was none other than the Lin Yuan Marshal Saint. In fact, when the demons rioted, the grand marshal didn't have this title yet. He made a name for himself through that battle. And since then the Dragon Kingdom has had an additional Lin Yuan Marshal Saint with the most terrifying battle intent, as well as the one who has killed the most demons and demonic beasts. How was the battle? This was what Chen Yu was more concerned about. The devil race had sent out so many people and demonic beasts. The battle at that time must have been incomparably tragic. At least that was what he thought. One person from our side was not killed or injured. The other side was more than 90% dead or injured. And that demon saint powerhouse had all his limbs broken and was dragged back. I'll go. Is the Lin Yuan martial saint that strong? Zhao Hui Lin proudly said. That's natural. The strongest killing move of the Lin Yuan martial saint is the realm meteor force field. This was also the reason why Zhao Hui Lin recognized the identity of Su Ruler Jing. Is that the ability that Su exerted just now? Shen Yu couldn't help but feel furious in his heart as he associated it with the oppressive force just now. Yes, but the Lin Yuan Martial Saint's boundary meteor force field is not something you can imagine. I heard that at that time. This boundary meteor force field directly covered the entire battlefield, spanning a full 10 kilometers. Shen Yu's pupils shrank, his expression horrified. 10 kilometers, such a large range? Just now, the range covered by Su Ruler Jing was only more than 10 meters. When compared to the two, they were truly not on the same level. Yeah, within the boundary meteor force field, creatures below the 8th grade died on the spot, and the remaining ones were dying. That battle was fought for 5 days. Four and a half of those days were the progenitor martial saint and the demon race's demon saint powerhouses fighting against each other. In the end, the demon saint powerhouse almost fell, and all the demons and demonic beasts of the ninth grade and below died in battle. Those mongrels were all scared shitless and retreated with their entire army never daring to invade our dragon kingdom again. Zhao Hualin spoke with a dragon's breath. So excited. That battle was known as the Battle of Lin Yuan, and the Grand Marshal also gained the prestigious name of Lin Yuan Marshal Saint. The name was truly deserved. One man fighting 10,000 devils, genuinely terrifying, worthy of being the strongest battle force in the dragon kingdom. At the same time, he wondered, why was Su Ruler Jing's attitude so cold just now? If I had such a father, I wouldn't even be able to show off. Zhao Huilin shook his head. This is his family matter. I don't understand. All right then. It's best not to mention this in front of Su in the future. Chen Yu admonished. Okay. During the time the two were talking, Su ruler Jing had already driven over. Come on up. Chen Yu opened the car door and sat in. 
He marked the place where the airdrop landed on the map, and Su Ruling Jing turned the car around and drove in the direction where the airdrop was. A few minutes later, Su Ruling Jing parked the car behind a bush. He and Chen Yu walked down, observing the surroundings and waiting for the airdrop to land. Since the location of the airdrop was public, other students in the neighborhood would take the initiative to rush this way. Within a short time, there were three small groups of people as far as the eye could see, all eyeing them intently. However, these people could not yet catch Chen Yu's eye. Basically they were all freshmen, with strengths ranging from 4th to 6th grade, not even a single 7th grade, which could reflect the difference between ordinary schools and Tianyun University in terms of source of students. These people could not change the battle even if they had better equipment. This made Chen Yu think of his previous life when he went to a low enduro to fry fish and was able to kill more than 20 people in a handful of hands, with no pressure at all. He did not rush and waited patiently. The airdrops are coming, Zhao Huai Lin reminded. Chen Yu looked up and saw that there was one more thing in the air that was slowly descending. At this moment, there were at least a dozen people around. Their targets were all about this airdrop, and they could not avoid scrambling. The airdrop hadn't even landed yet. One team couldn't wait and took the lead in driving over. This behavior triggered a chain reaction, and the others rushed over in a swarm. The next rule is much simpler. Who can stand at the end? The airdrop is whose. The crowd fought together despite the danger. In the void world, there was no real danger to their lives, so everyone was desperate, picking up their weapons and killing others indiscriminately without a care in the world. Hurry up and go. The equipment will be snatched by them soon. Zhao Huai Lin was impatient. Chen Yu shook his head. No hurry. Wait for them to play for a while. He leaned against a tree and leisurely watched the game. Su Ruler Jing did the same. In the midst of the melee, Chen Yu discovered some strange phenomena. These people who were not in a high realm had their strength qualitatively increased when they were empowered by certain specific equipment, and could even accomplish level crossing battles just like him. A few minutes later, only a small group of three remained in the empty field. Everyone else had been killed by them. These three had slightly higher strength, and it was normal for them to survive to the end. They excitedly walked towards the airdrops, and before they could open them, a voice came from not far away. Put it down. These things don't belong to you. Chen Yu ordered gently. The three of them grimaced, there's actually another team, slaughter them. Next, it was Chen Yu's personal showtime, quickly slaying them, the trio did not even last a minute. Su Ruler Jing in the back was also surprised by Chen Yu's fighting prowess, although he only had the strength of the 7th rank, his real world combat ability could definitely accomplish cross level battles. To be able to take first place in the hunting tournament was truly not simple. Chen Yu, quickly open the airdrop and see what's inside. Zhao Huilin was all but eliminated yet he became the most anxious one. Chen Yu opened the airdrop and checked it out. There were a total of six pieces of equipment inside, all of which were of the highest level. Lightning Flying Blade, increase attack speed by 40% plus increase movement speed by 15% plus chain lightning attack, can deal ranged damage. Flaming Mad Blade, increase attack power by 50% plus increase critical strike by 20%, critical strike damage is doubled, plus sustain true wound scorch. He shared three of them with Su Ruling Jing and kept three for himself. Chen Yu and Su Ruling Jing's strength was already the strongest inside the entire map, and now that they had high-level equipment to add to it, none of them could fight. Along the way, like the autumn wind sweeping down the leaves, killing all the opponents along the way, the segment was so low that Chen Yu couldn't even bring himself to be interested. Unsurprisingly, their group survived to the end and took first place. We're number one. Cool. The three of them returned to their room. Zhao Huai Lin was very excited. Does it have anything to do with you? It's only been a few minutes since the opening ah, and you're the spring commander. Chen Yu mocked. Zhao Huilin shamelessly said, Holy shit, if it wasn't for me being in command, could you have taken first place? I'll go. I'm silver 3. Zhao Huilin checked the settlement page and suddenly realized that his level had risen by one big level. Chen Yu also checked a bit. I'm gold 1. In the void world, the first hand would be graded based on the individual's performance. And the better the performance and the stronger the strength, the higher the grading would be. This greatly saved the time it took to raise the segment. Zhao Hualin's original still excited mood vanished. On what grounds? Chen Yu showed no mercy and scoffed. If you're a vegetable, practice more. Lousy isn't a dish. I'm just being shaded. Su Ruler Jing watched the two of them bicker, somewhat unable to help himself, bringing a little bit of different color to his uninteresting life. Thank you. I had quite a good time today. We'll have the chance to play together in the future. The two of us haven't had dinner yet. Coming out of the void instrument, Chen Yu politely thanked. You're welcome. We're all classmates. Su Ruler Jing's tone was still as soft as ever. Bye. Next time we'll play again. Chen Yu. How do you feel about Su Ruling Jing as a person? On the way back, 
Zhao Huilin suddenly opened his mouth and inquired. Quite good ah, the person is quite polite. Regarding this point, Zhao Huilin expressed his approval. Su Shizijin gave off a feeling of being greatly generous, but I always feel that he's a bit strange. There seems to be something hidden deep inside. Chen Yu did not retort. It's someone else's business, so we'll mind too much. Indeed. Say, which barbecue do you want to go eat tonight? Zhao Huilin had given his promise earlier and hadn't forgotten it. Go to the one on the east campus. His is delicious. Okay. The two of them hit it off. On the way, Chen Yu took out his cell phone to check if his mom and dad had sent him messages. There were indeed several unread messages. Not only from Chen Wei Ran, but there was also one person that Chen Yu did not expect. He first replied to Chen Wei Ran and asked about his mom. He then opened the chat interface with Lin Wanner. Lin Wanner's first message was, Eh? Chen Yu was inside the void instrument at the time and simply did not have the time to reply back to her. After 10 minutes, Lin Wanner sent another message. Can we meet? Chen Yu did not understand what this Lin Wanner was up to. The relationship between the two of them and the demon realm had clearly broken down before. What else was there to talk about? Chen Yu clicked his finger on Lin Wanner's avatar, then clicked on the upper right corner and pressed the red font without hesitation. He and Lin Wanner have already drawn a clear line. There is no need to stay friends. This barbecue. Chen Yu put Zhao Huilin a good meal slaughter. Two people ordered a whole lot of things. The belly is almost burst. Eat and drink enough almost 10 o'clock. Each back to the dormitory. Lying on the bed. Chen Yu looked at the ceiling dazed. He was shocked today by the strength of Su Ruler Jing. He realized that the gap between himself and the other party was a bit large. Su Ruler Jing's strength was definitely more than the 8th rank. Chen Yu tossed and turned and could not sleep. Always feeling that he was still not strong enough. With a hardened heart. He silently recited in his mind. Check remaining lifespan. Remaining lifespan, 15. 231 years, secondary, plus 412 years, void source level. When Chen Yu came out from inside the demonic domain, his secondary lifespan was 14, 164 years, which had not yet reached the requirements for promotion to the 8th rank. He had killed quite a few people from the Chu family yesterday, and these people's lifespans had also completed their plundering, adding up to over 15, 000 years, enough to advance to the 8th grade realm. Sacrifice 15, 000 years of lifespan to advance to the realm of the 8th grade. Chu Yu did not hesitate. He only wanted to quickly raise his strength now. The system was instructed to begin the sacrifice process. Lifespan sacrifice begins. 1000 years, 2000 years, 3000 years, 10,000 years, 15,000 years. Sacrifice complete. Remaining lifespan, 231 years, secondary, plus 412 years, void source level. Host realm, 7th grade martial artist evolution 8th grade martial artist, host realm, 7th grade martial artist evolution 8th grade martial artist. A steady stream of power surged within his body, and Chen Yu tightly covered his fists to feel this powerful force. Not enough. Eighth grade was still not enough. Not a match for Su Ruler Jing. He must cultivate the SS grade secret art left to him by his father, the Jun Rath. Only then would he have the confidence to face Su Ruler Jing. Chen Yu thought about it. There were more than 50 high grade magic cores stored in his spatial ring and more than 170 fire dragon crystals. The energy contained in these treasures should be enough to activate the body of Jun Rath. Should he cultivate now or wait a while longer to accumulate more treasures? If he tries to activate it now, once he fails, all these treasures will be wasted. These are all his possessions. The two thoughts lingered in his mind, causing Chen Yu to lose his sleepiness. He gave a jerk and got up from the bed. Starve the timid. Sustain the bold. I don't believe that so many treasures can activate a June wrathful body. Putting on his clothes, he walked towards the sparsely populated back mountain of the school. Chen Yu guessed that burning the energy later on might cause quite a commotion and he did not want to disturb the other students. On top of the mountain, the breeze was gentle, quite cool. Chen Yu chose a flatter rock and sat down. He took out all the magic cores as well as the inferno dragon crystals. Then he took out the SS grade secret art, Jun Rath. He flipped through the secret art and browsed through it to check the exact method of activating the body of Jun Rath. So simple. It didn't take two minutes to finish reading it. In fact, the method to activate the body of Jun Rath was very simple. According to the special method recorded in the secret art, burning the treasures and releasing the energy, along with the secret technique of the gongfu to constantly stimulate the body. If the energy was enough, then the body of Jun Rath could be activated. In terms of cultivation difficulty, it was simpler than some of the B-grade secret arts, but the hard requirements for cultivation were extremely high. Even if you were very enlightened you could not make up for it. Chen Yu glanced at the floor full of goodies. He was still a bit reluctant to part with them. All the magic cores and inferno dragon crystals together were worth at least a billion dollars. Alas, if the old doesn't go, the new doesn't come.
There was no use in keeping these things on his body anyway. Shen Yu took a deep breath, clenched his teeth, and began to draw a formation on the ground according to the method recorded in the secret art. This formation was drawn for a full hour, but he was exhausted. The good thing was that there were details of every step of the formation in it. Even Shen Yu could handle it. After the formation was drawn, he sat in it, adjusting his breathing. He first picked up a seventh order demon core and placed it in the eye of the formation, where it was used to burn treasures. These treasures would produce energy after burning, and the energy would follow the formation into Chen Yu's body and then try to activate the body of Jun Rath. The seventh ranked demonic nucleus had just been placed in the formation eye, and there was a reaction. The XI's seventh order demon core became smaller at a speed visible to the naked eye, and the energy generated by its burning did not even light up the formation. From this, one could see how terrifying the energy required for the process was. Chen Yu was not discouraged. He first placed the other 7th order magic cores into the formation eye in turn. A full 10 of them were placed before the entire formation was lit up. Suddenly, a stream of pure energy entered his body. Chen Yu did not dare to stop and continued to put in. These energies followed the meridians to converge in one place. There was the location right in the center of the chest cavity, also known as the Eye of Jun Wrath. The only way to activate the body of Jun Wrath was to let this eye open. The seventh ranked demon core was placed into the eye of the formation and turned into ashes in less than five seconds. This is too fast. Chen Yu did not dare to be slow and began to put in the eighth ranked demon core. After the energy from the eighth order demon core entered his body, the eye of Jun Wrath moved a little, but only a little. This energy was far from enough. Chen Yu was a bit flustered and personally burned half of the magic cores, still unable to open the eye of Jun Wrath. He didn't know if he had enough of these reserves. The eighth rank magic core lasted a little longer. The energy in it was more pure and majestic, and these energies constantly stimulated the eye of the monarch's wrath, trying to make it open. But the eye of monarch's wrath was unmoved. This amount of energy was not enough. Chun Yu swallowed his saliva. His heart is getting more and more bottomless. Looking at the last remaining ninth order magic core, if there is no reaction, then only to burn the inflammatory dragon crystal. Not that he can't spare it, but he is afraid that even after burning the dragon crystal, he can't make the eye of the king's wrath open so he can only try next time, and all these precious treasures will be in vain. He adjusted his mindset and placed the ninth order demon core, which was significantly larger, into the formation eye. As the ninth ranked demonic core was placed in, the formation was abruptly lit up for a few moments, and the energy flowed through each and every line with the naked eye, before entering Chen Yu's body and pooling in one place. What pure energy! Chen Yu could not help but exclaim in astonishment. The purer and more majestic the energy, the more it could stimulate the eye of Jun Wrath. Under the stimulation of this more powerful energy, the eye within his chest shook fiercely. Something's up. Chun Yu held back his excitement and stared intently at the eye. The eye of Jun Wrath trembled several times and the eyelid began to move upwards. As long as the eyelid moved away from the eye of Jun Wrath, it would be considered successful. Quickly, hurry up. The eyelid moved just one point, barely revealing a slit, and then stopped. Far from being fully open, at least the beginning was completed. Then there was hope. Sweat drops on Chen Yu's forehead became a gathering. He was nervous, fearing that his previous efforts would be wasted. There was no time for him to dwell on it. There was no turning back. The first time the Ninth Order Magic Core disappeared, Chen Yu put an inflammatory dragon crystal on it. This is close to the S-level treasure, not worse than the Ninth Order Magic Core. And there is also the Fire God Dragon Breath support. There may be a miraculous effect, just as Chen Yu expected. The energy generated by the inflammable dragon crystal was also majestic charging straight into the eye of monarch's wrath. The reaction of the eye of Jun wrath was even stronger than before, and the eyelids moved up another half a point. As expected, once the beginning was made, the rest would be much simpler. An inferno dragon crystal could only last for 30 seconds. Chen Yu had a total of 173 of them, if all of them were burned. The entire process would take more than an hour. One had to be patient and not make a single mistake. Every process, Chen Yu was careful, putting in the inflammatory dragon crystal, burning energy, absorbing energy, stimulating the eye of the monarch's wrath. Every step was fearful. Without realizing it, Chen Yu's back was already soaked. When the 56th Inferno Dragon Crystal burned out, the eyelids barely opened by a third. At this rate, it was very promising. He didn't dare to slack off, putting in one after the other. Time passed by one minute. Chen Yu was so focused that he didn't even notice that the surroundings had changed. The entire back of the mountain was shrouded by a strange atmosphere. The moon in the sky had been covered by dark clouds and the air had become stuffy and dry, like a sign before a thunderstorm. It was just unknown if this rain would fall. At the very center of Tianyun University, an office was still lit. 
and an old man with a head full of white hair sat there flipping through documents. His doorway was labeled as the principal's office. Suddenly, the old man raised his head to look at where Chen Yu was and muttered, These little guys are still restless in the middle of the night. They can really toss and turn. Alas, getting old. He shook his head and sighed. The last ten. Success or failure is here. Chen Yu's breathing became rapid. His entire body did not know how much energy had been infiltrated. It was definitely a terrifying value. A strong person of the martial spirit realm would have been burst long ago. All of this energy was used to stimulate the eye of Jun Rath. Just to make it open. Luckily, the emperor's heaven was not to be denied. The eye of Jun Nu had already opened more than 90% of the way, and there was only the last trace of the eyelid left to show outside. Without any surprises, these 10 inferno dragon crystals were enough. Next, every time an inferno dragon crystal was put in, Chen Yu's mood became a few points heavier. In the sky, dark clouds churned and torrential rain poured down at any time. One, two, three, almost there, almost there. Chen Yu began to leap inwardly. Victory was just around the corner. As the last Inferno Dragon Crystal was placed in, the Eye of June Wrath finally opened completely. A fierce light that shook the ancient world blossomed from this eye, as if the long sleeping monarch had awakened once again. Monarch's landing, all beings kneeled. The disdainful aura was unreserved. Chen Yu felt a monarch descending in front of him, and this terrifying pressure made him unable to breathe. In the air, a thunderbolt that illuminated the darkness of the night fell, waking up the entire school. The clouds stormed, but the rain still did not fall. The student dormitory was noisy. Damn it, didn't I say it would be sunny tomorrow? The clothes I just washed have to be put away again. Get up and put away the clothes. Inside the principal's office, the old man put down the documents in his hands and stood in front of the window with his hands behind his back looking into the distance. Chen Yu excitedly said, It's finally opened. Ha ha ha, I've activated the body of Jun Rath. He couldn't help but stand up and raise his voice to the sky. However, soon after, he noticed that something was wrong. The eyes of Jun Rath had indeed opened, and by all rights, the body of Jun Rath should have become ah, yet Chen Yu could not feel any changes within his body, there seems to be a gap between them, something is missing, the body of Jun Rath has not become, he froze in place, feeling the situation in his body over and over again, in the end, he surmised a possibility, after the eye of the monarch's wrath was opened, there was still a final wave of energy needed to activate the body of monarch's wrath. The level of this energy determined the level of the body of Jun Rath. He had just read the records at the back of the secret art, and the body of Jun Rath was divided into a total of nine heavens, each of which was extremely different. That meant that the final energy was what determined the level of prosperity of this feast. He was dumbfounded, and no one had explained this to him. His old man hadn't even mentioned this aspect before, so Chen Yu naturally couldn't consider it. In fact, cannot blame Chen Weiran. When Chen Yu grandfather simply did not go to this step, even the eyes of Jun Rath did not open. How would know this point? It is definitely too late to find treasures now. And Chen Yu does not want to just find a treasure to cope with. This is his entire heart and soul ah. The magic cores are all used up. The inferno dragon crystals are also used up. And there is not a single high level treasure that contains energy left. He checked his spatial ring and found that the highest grade treasure was only a B grade purple star grass. Which he really couldn't hold. He couldn't just burn the bull heavenly flag in the heavenly slaughter. Chen Yu stood dumbfounded at a loss for words. Obviously, he was only one final step away from success, but he was unable to pass it. The breath of the monarch in his body was slowly fading, and if he could not renew his energy within three minutes, this time it would be a waste of time. Even the dark clouds in the sky were receding. He was not willing to stop there, but there was nothing he could do. Chen Yu's mood fell a thousand feet, depressed to the core. Inside the principal's office, the old man laughed and shook his head. This little guy is going to work for nothing. It's good to give him a lesson. Doing things impulsively and recklessly. He turned from the window and slowly walked towards the chair. Continuing to check the documents. On top of the mountain. The breeze brushed against his face and the dry heat dissipated. Along with it was Chen Yu's cool heart. Fate sometimes must have. Life is not the time do not force. Chen Yu let out a bitter smile. He admitted that he had been reckless this time. In order to quickly increase his strength. He had started cultivating June wrath without regard to the prerequisites resulting in a lost cause. Dozens of high-grade magic cores and more than a hundred inferno dragon crystals. With his current strength he didn't know how long it would take to save them. He wouldn't be able to cultivate Jun Rath for at least a short period of time. This matter gave him a wake-up call. In the future, things must be done calmly and then calmly, and he must not be disorganized because of a moment of haste. This time, he would at most lose resources. But in the future, if he was still like this, what he would lose would probably be his life. Chun Yu looked gloomy. 
looked up to the sky, the dark clouds were almost dispersed, bright moonlight shone on him, he was ready to go back, let's get a good night's sleep first, to calm down, Chen Yu's right foot stepped up, wanting to leave the spell, stunned, his right leg stopped in midair quite abruptly, as if he had remembered something, his mouth began to mutter, wait, 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 a seemingly impossible solution flashed through his mind, but it was like an enlightenment, causing Chen Yu to instantly wake up, the corners of his mouth could not restrain themselves from rising, his expression gradually going from depressed to crazy, isn't there still fire fire, this was something he had been ignoring, but it certainly wouldn't burn fire fire, of course, he didn't have the ability to do so, fire fire itself was in flame form, it didn't even have a solid body, burn a hammer, but the fire fire is not from the blazing auger cave inside with a puddle of red liquid, that thing is absolutely fierce, the level is absolutely high, the energy is absolutely enough, Chen Yu is like a drowning man, when he is about to die, he grabbed a straw to save his life, I don't know if the fire is willing to spit out the liquid, time was running out, it was too late to dwell on it, he was busy calling out, good boy, come out quickly, fire fire heard the shout and burrowed out, it hadn't come out for air in a long time and circled around Chen Yu continuously to express its joy, quickly stop spinning, there are serious matters to discuss with you, Chen Yu's heart was burning with anxiety, he could feel that the monarch's breath was rapidly escaping from his body, it wouldn't take more than half a minute for it to completely disappear, and at that time, it would really be hopeless, fire fire stopped in front of Chen Yu, tilting its little head, like a curious baby, very cute, its expression seemed to be asking, what's doing, Chen Yu pursed his slightly dry lips and said with a bit of embarrassment, good boy, can you give me that puddle of red liquid, he inquired in an extremely gentle tone, afraid of upsetting the little guy, that puddle of liquid was where fire flame was born and grew up, and now that it was parasitized in Chen Yu's body, it didn't need the liquid anymore, although losing that puddle of liquid wouldn't cause much of an impact, it might cause it to be uncomfortable in its heart, but dad needs it so much, it skimmed its mouth and fell into a tangle like a small child, Chen Yu's heart fluttered, he couldn't spend time like this, if he waited for fire to figure it out, time would have long passed, he clenched his teeth and said, good boy treasure, I won't let you suffer, if you give me that puddle of liquid, I'll give you 200 years of void origin level lifespan, Chen Yu had a total of 412 years of void origin level lifespan on him, which he was preparing to use for evolving SS level secret arts in the future, so he couldn't wait now and could only exchange these lifespans, plus, fire flame was parasitized in his body and was already part of Chen Yu, so it was considered to be used for evolution, as soon as fire fire heard that it could absorb life force again, it was in a great mood, it shook its body and nodded fiercely, Little children were like this, as long as you gave him something he liked, he would be obedient. Moreover, this was still a void source level life force. What Firefire Fire had absorbed last time was nothing more than a secondary life force. It could only manage to fill it up. It wasn't very attractive. Fire Flame opened his mouth and spat out all the red liquid in his body. This puddle of liquid floated in midair. This space could not withstand it. The ripples were constant and would collapse at any time. Chen Yu looked at this puddle of liquid was difficult with his strength did not dare to touch, and how to convert it into energy into the body, the formation under his feet certainly cannot withstand, there was no other way, Shen Yu could only look at fire fire with a supplicating gaze and said, good boy, help me convert it into energy, only this little guy in the entire scene had this ability, fire fire nodded and once again inhaled the liquid into its belly, and after a few breaths, it opened its little mouth and a beam of pure red energy shot towards Chen Yu, I'll go, so pure, Chen Yu's head swam under the infusion of highly pure energy, and he almost collapsed, he forcefully stabilized his body and silently absorbed the extremely high level of energy, the dark clouds in the sky were stacked on top of each other, almost reaching the top of the mountain, and a terrifying pressure covered the entire heavenly cloud university, for the students, it wasn't clear what was happening, they only knew to hurry and collect their clothes, teachers above the martial spirit realm were all startled by the inexplicable pressure, and one by one, they took to the air and gathered together, looking towards the center of the pressure, they didn't know what was happening there and were prepared to go over to find out, Han Shuren was not in the school, otherwise he would have detected Chen Yu's aura and would have definitely stopped these teachers, if they were forcibly interrupted by an external force, it was likely that all their efforts would be wasted, as all the teachers gathered together and prepared to fly over, a figure appeared at the very front, greetings, headmaster, the crowd stopped in their tracks and said respectfully, just watch from here, the old man's eyes, which were like deep pools, flashed with a flash of light, Chen Yu had brought him a surprise, and he did not hesitate to personally show up, alright, headmaster, 
All the teachers above the martial spirit realm and the entire school stood in the air, enjoying Chang Yu's performance. This side of the mountaintop, the majestic energy did not flow towards the chest this time, but instead converged at the heart, where the starting point of the June Wrath body was. More and more red energy gathered here. From the outside, one could clearly see Chen Yu's heart turning red, like a hot lava heart, clanging and beating. Chen Yu was a little unable to stand it. This thing was too pure, surpassing all the treasures in his cognizance. The Inferno Dragon Crystal was nothing in front of it. In fact, his June Wrath body had already been molded at the heart location. As long as he moved his mind, the June Wrath body would cover his entire body, completing the activation in the true sense of the word. However, Chen Yu had been holding on. He had to absorb all the energy and never waste a bit of it. He wanted to see how many heavens of June Wrath he could reach. The first, second and third heavens broke through easily, without any hindrance. Immediately followed by the fourth and fifth heavens, the water was flowing. This was the benefit of advanced energy. He didn't need to worry about the first few levels. After the fifth level, there is the sixth level, which is already the limit for most people. Even if they burn SSS grade treasures, they can only reach this level. Chen Yu would not stop here. Let the energy come harder. He roared violently, venting his suppressed feelings. Fiery flame froze, thinking that he was outputting energy too slowly. Then his small mouth puffed out and doubled the energy and started outputting it. Holy shit, I'm just getting high on my mouth. You're really coming. Chen Yu felt that the atmosphere had come to this. Surely he had to shout a few words ah. He didn't realize that Fire Fire had misunderstood and gave him an increased dose. This time can be harmful to him. All parts of the body are coming from the tearing sound. This explosion of pain makes Chen Yu's body trembling. The death he made himself must be borne by himself. Silk of blood began to ooze out of his skin. In no time he became a bloody man. It was terrifying. No breakthrough. Under the inhuman torture, he finally broke through the sixth level of June Wrath and advanced towards the seventh level. Thunder and lightning began to flicker in the sky, adding a bit of oppression to the tense atmosphere. It's actually a thunder tribulation, a teacher exclaimed. Thunder Tribulation. This was something that only arose from advancing to the martial spirit realm. Strong people in the martial spirit realm had already surpassed the human realm in a certain sense, and could utilize the forces of nature, so their advancement would be intercepted. And if they were unable to resist the lightning tribulation, they would die. Chen Yu was only at the eighth rank, and attracting a thunder tribulation was truly outrageous. He was a bit flustered. It was difficult to break through the seventh heaven, and now there was another thunder tribulation, wanting to play with him. Hey, come on, just help me out. Chen Yu's eyes glazed over as an almost crazy idea appeared in his mind. Principal, this kid's life is in danger. Should we step in and help? A teacher could not bear the fall of such a talented student. The apocalypse martial saint did not say anything and just watched silently. The other teachers didn't dare to make a move either. Those who crossed the lightning tribulation must suffer themselves. Otherwise, it would be difficult to go further in the future. The clouds were dense. The thunder and lightning were raging. A thunder snake gathered from all directions, and the thunder tribulation was about to take shape. As the person closest to the thunder tribulation and the one to endure it, the pressure in Chen Yu's heart skyrocketed. Since he chose to put up a fight, there was no turning back. His eyes became more and more determined, and at some point, there was an additional aura around his body, an aura that did not originally belong to him. When he made that decision in his heart, it was born out of it. This was the aura that belonged to a king, while the lightning tribulation had yet to take shape. He quickly absorbed the energy, and as more and more energy was injected, his heart beat faster and faster. Chen Yu's entire body was under great pressure and could collapse at any time. His back teeth were clenching yada 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 as his facial expression began to distort. The pain that was difficult for normal people to endure was stimulating every nerve. The seven heavens was almost at the end, and it was still close. Chen Yu disregarded his condition and was like a monster that had lost its mind, absorbing energy crazily and greedily. This caused Flame to become a little afraid. Don't lower the energy, Chen Yu yelled. Fire Fire trembled and stabilized its energy output. At the same time, Chen Yu began to unleash the shouting thunder heavenly fairy, purple thunderbolts ringing his body, paired with that his unrivaled aura, like a thunder god descending into the world. You have a thunderbolt. I also have. Hard to see who is stronger. In the sky, a terrifying thunderbolt had finished accumulating, and the dark clouds in the lower layers began to move to the sides, giving way to this thunderbolt. On top of the mountain, Chen Yu entered the game with his body, and with the addition of the majestic energy, the thunder tribulation he cast was also terrifying. One up, one down, downward, upward, let's see who is stronger or weaker. Chen Yu looked towards the sky with a fierce expression, whispering like a madman, come on, in an instant, and at the same time, 
two thunderbolts shot out and came in opposite directions. Z, yikes. Several kilometers in a radius were filled with this kind of sound that made one's eardrums paralyze. They were not far apart and could arrive in an instant. Bang. The two thunderbolts came one after the other and collided together. It could be clearly seen that the thunder tribulation released by Qin Yu was weaker. After all, it was a man-made product and not at a high level. The heavenly thunder tribulation moved downwards with a crushing momentum. The lightning tribulation released by Qin Yu was constantly being devoured and obliterated. However, it was not meaningless. At least 40% of the power of the skyfall thunder tribulation was eliminated. For Chen Yu, it was already enough. He spread his arms wide and bared his chest, aiming the position of his heart towards the thunder tribulation. This was the crazy idea in his mind, using the thunder tribulation to help him compress his energy, and in the process, impact the seventh and eighth heavens. He's simply insane. The group of teachers watching were stunned by Chen Yu's behavior. They had never seen such a bold way of crossing the thunder tribulation. What was the difference between this and seeking death? Chen Yu had already weakened a portion of the lightning tribulation just now. Plus he himself was surrounded by lightning, which was equivalent to giving both sides a bridge to transition. It shouldn't be life-threatening. This was all personal speculation. The specifics would have to be said after being struck by lightning. Rumble. Carrying a might that could sweep away everything in the world. It split straight at Chun Yu's heart. As he expected, this thunderbolt in the sky and the thunderbolt on his body were originally from the same source, and could play a good buffering role. Although the body was still split by the thunderbolt and exploded in pain, and his hair stood up, but not so much as to let him perish, the strong lightning converged at the heart, and the originally ordered energy became disordered. It was the perfect time for a breakthrough. The barrier of the seventh heaven was successfully broken, and the barrier of the eighth didn't last long before opening up with a bang. Chen Yu successfully entered the eighth heaven of June Wrath. There wasn't much energy left in Flame's body, making it difficult to advance to the ninth level, basically stopping there. June Wrath eighth heaven, only one heaven short of the peak, slightly regrettable, but still acceptable. At least it wasn't a waste of effort. Chen Yu breathed a long sigh of relief, and the teachers watching also breathed a sigh of relief. This kid really doesn't want to die, but it's also counted as his life. This lightning tribulation was carried over for him. Everyone was happy for Chen Yu, except for the heavenly enlightenment martial saint who stood there quietly. His eyes slightly narrowed as he looked at the sky. Chen Yu was just about to release the June Wrath body from his heart when an even more explosive sound rang out from the sky. What the hell? Chen Yu jerked his head up as all the thunder snakes around him gathered once again. This time, the gathered thunder snakes were more numerous and stronger. The thunder tribulation was not yet over. The thunder tribulation that was accumulating was at least dozens of times more powerful than just now. Playing with me? Why is it that others have one and I have two? Just because I'm handsome? Chen Yu pointed his finger at the sky and cursed. He was completely flustered this time, not knowing how to respond. The first thunder tribulation was lucky to pass through. How should he face the second one? Chen Yu now had two paths to take. First, activate the body of June Wrath and use the eight heavens of June Wrath to fight the second thunder tribulation. Second, continue to head iron and impact the ninth heaven with the help of the second thunder tribulation, but it was likely to be life-threatening. Lean, lean, shit, I'll fight you. Chen Yu had already made his decision. Sacrifice 230 years of secondary lifespan and 212 years of void origin level lifespan, all of which will be used to consolidate the strength of my body. This was the only way for him to let go of the fight. Lifespan sacrifice begins. 230 years of secondary lifespan has been sacrificed. 212 years of void origin level lifespan has been sacrificed. Without a means of defense, he chose to fight hard. Let's see if the second thunderbolt can break through his body. The surrounding teachers also noticed the abnormality, and a look of horror expanded rampantly on their faces. How is this possible? Why is there a second thunder tribulation? Headmaster, go save him. It's impossible for him to survive this thunder tribulation. The apocalypse martial saint's expression was inscrutable, and he was just about to step forward when he suddenly settled in place again. This was because he realized that Chen Yu's physical strength had skyrocketed in a straight line, elevating to a strength only possessed by martial artists of the ninth grade and above. He stabilized his stance and continued to watch. With his body strength drawn up, Chen Yu had no other choice, and his originally panicked eyes became calm as he looked coldly at the sky. Suddenly, a kingly might spread in all directions. Those at the martial spirit realm and below had their chests tightened and a slight fear inexplicably arose. This was the kind of psychological pressure that would only arise when they saw the dragon kingdom's current king. The energy in Fiery Fire's mouth had finished spitting and floated to the side, looking at Chen Yu with great concern. In the sky, a thunderbolt dozens of times larger than just now took shape, like a dragon of thunder, overturning the clouds, the divine dragon swinging its tail, 
coming towards Chen Yu. This time, it was determined to win or lose, and also to decide on life and death. Chen Yu stomped on the ground and rose into the air, pointing directly at the Thunder Dragon, less than one ten thousandth of the Thunder Dragon, but has the ambition to swallow the sky. Chen Yu's tiny body and the horrifying Thunder Dragon collide together. No external help, no means of preserving life, only an undying heart. Boom! Explosions raged throughout Kyoto, and many powerful people looked towards Heavenly Cloud University. All the teachers were tense, looking at the center of the explosion with their eyes, wanting to know the outcome urgently. After the aftermath, a figure fell from the air and ruthlessly smashed into the ground. Shen Yu had failed. His body strength was indeed enough, but his realm was too poor to withstand the bombardment of the second lightning tribulation. Silk of lightning was still roaming around his body, but he was hanging by a thread of breath. His clothes were tattered. His skin was cracked, and his eyes were dull. He was already about to die. It was a good thing that he had consolidated his body's strength just now, or else there would be no ashes left now. I am not willing. Shen Yu lay on the ground, looking at the sky, muttering. Heavy rain poured down. This rain had finally fallen. The rain continuously dripped onto his face. It was very sad. That sizzling heart gradually stopped beating, and the body of June Wrath began to dissipate. A lot of effort. And in the end, empty sorrow. Firefire was in a hurry. Of course it knew that dad was going to die. It felt sad but didn't know what to do. The apocalypse marshal saint sighed with a gloomy face. Heaven's destiny is hard to disobey. The other teachers all felt sorry for Chen Yu. This matter is confidential and must not be divulged to the public. The heavenly enlightenment marshal saint paused for a moment before adding, deal with that student's aftermath. After saying this, he turned around and left. The heavenly enlightenment marshal saint's figure flickered and disappeared in place. The other teachers looked at each other in sadness and left one by one with sadness in their hearts. Before the people finished dispersing, a silhouette flashed back. It was still the apocalypse marshal saint. His eyes widened as he looked at the mountaintop with an incredulous expression. Impossible. 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 He said three impossibilities in a row. The other teachers had yet to see the apocalypse marshal saint this nervous about what was going on. Chen Yu was lying on the ground, his eyes wandering, his pupils lax, and his eyelids slowly pressing down. Firefire was still accompanying him. I'm sorry for letting you down. Chen Yu's life breath was dissipating and would soon die completely. Fire's small eyes were filled with worry as it made a bold decision, separating a strand of fire from its own body. This strand of fire was a part of it. In order for Chen Yu to live, it did not hesitate to deplete its own essence. This wisp of fire was like the fire of life, the fire of the origin of all things, which could dispel all darkness. The flame landed on Chen Yu's left chest at the location of his heart, and then hid into it. The heart that had stopped beating seemed to be injected with a new source of life, beating again. The originally dull and lightless body of the monarch's wrath re-emitted its light, even more so than before. The nine heavens of monarch's wrath had arrived. At this moment, Chen Yu was the king of this world. It has arrived but has not stopped. The small flame burned bigger and bigger, wrapping the entire heart around it and carrying the body of the monarch's wrath towards an unprecedented height. The nine heavens was only the apex of the SS grade secret art of June Wrath, not the pinnacle of Chen Yu. Above the shackles, there was still splendor. This splendor would follow Chun Yu as he carried it forward. Drop, drop, drip. Rain dripped onto his face and he subconsciously wiped it away. The blurred consciousness began to awaken. I'm not dead? Chen Yu sat up, drenched in rainwater, and allowed the torrential rain to pour into his body. He looked incredulously at his pitch black body, yet he couldn't feel a trace of pain. It's done. I've made it. Ha 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 ha. Maniacal laughter rippled through the dark night. Unobstructed. The fire beside him was also happy for him only it was now very weak, lying on Chen Yu's lap, raising its little head to look at him happily. Chen Yu understood. It must have been Firefire fire that saved him, otherwise he would have died long ago. He hurriedly cupped the little guy. Good boy. This still has 200 years of Void Origin level life left, so quickly absorb it. He had purposely left 200 years of Void Origin level lifespan just now. This was a promise to flame. The little guy wasn't polite either, and absorbed 200 years of Void Origin level lifespan in one breath before its situation improved a little. Afterward, it drilled back in a puff of smoke and curled up inside Chen Yu, slowly recovering. Next, it was time to examine the results of tonight's battle. The body of Monarch's Wrath did not just allow one to possess the aura of a monarch. Its practical combat abilities were extremely terrifying. The body of Monarch's Wrath came with its own suppression field, in which everyone's strength would be suppressed, no matter how much higher your realm was than mine. Even if a martial saint came, there would be a suppression effect. Although this effect was minimal, it was a deterrent. So what if a martial saint, 
he would have to kowtow when he saw a monarch. The specific effect of suppression corresponded to the number of heavens, with Chun Yu, an existence that exceeded nine heavens, all below the eighth rank were ants. Secondly, the body of the monarch's wrath was originally activated using energy, so it could continuously draw on the battlefield energy during the battle, allowing Chen Yu to fight more and more fiercely without the argument of physical exhaustion. As long as he was not killed instantly, then he would be transformed into a perpetual motion machine of combat, harvesting the entire field. Chen Yu slowly got up, he wanted to try out the effects of the body of Jun Wrath. Closing his eyes for a moment, he adjusted his breath, opening his eyes. King's Landing, a kingly aura began to spread. Ah, Chen Yu roared. The sound wave spread and swept over the teachers in midair. Aside from the Apocalypse Martial Saint and the Martial Zun Realm teachers, the rest of them had their legs go limp and actually flop down on their knees as if they were meeting the Lord of the Land. They looked at each other incredulously. This kind of bizarre thing had never happened before. Fortunately, the suppression lasted for a short time, and these teachers hurriedly got up with embarrassed faces. They wanted to know who was on top of the mountain with such a terrifying pressure. The Apocalypse Martial Saint looked at the mountaintop, his mood calming down for a long time. Disperse. I still say the same thing. Don't say a single word about what happened today. Leaving behind these words, he then flashed away. The other teachers held back their curiosity and did not go to the top of the mountain to find out what was going on. Going back individually. In numerous places in Kyoto, one anonymous world powerhouse had a shocked expression. There's going to be another Xia Qingling. That old boy Tianqi is so lucky. Chen Yu tried out the body of Jun Rath and was very satisfied. His efforts were not in vain. It was just that his appearance was a bit ugly. Exploding erect hair, ragged clothes, and his butt cheeks were exposed. There was also skin so dark it was blending in with the night. If someone accidentally saw him, they'd think a savage had run out somewhere. He ran all the way back to the dormitory. The first thing he did was to take a shower and change his clothes. It took five times to wash his body, blackening the bathroom. After the bath, lying on the bed, so cozy. Now, Chen Yu had absolute confidence that this Jun Rath body of his was no worse than Su Shikijing's realm meteor force field. It was just that after he had tossed it around so much, not only had all the treasures of his body been used up, his lifespan was only left for the last year. It all had to start all over again. He was now located in the Heavenly Cloud University, so it wasn't really good to plunder his lifespan. It was a headache. Alas, it's useless to think about it more. Let's talk about it when the time comes. Sleep, sleep. After he tossed and turned like this, it was almost past three in the morning. Closing his eyes, he fell asleep in no time. The next day, ten o'clock in the morning, Chen Yu opened his eyes, he glanced at his cell phone and instantly woke up. I'm going, late. He put on his clothes in three tries and ran towards the classroom after a simple wash. He scrambled to the back door of class 15, somewhat embarrassed to bend over and sneak into the classroom. The teacher did not reprimand him when he saw that it was him. Chen Yu was the number one person in class 15 the teacher would still give him face. Who? He took out his books and pretended to read them. When one class ended, Zhao Huilin immediately scurried over. Chen Yu, did you hear the thunder outside last night? Chen Yu nodded. I don't know which stupid bird is ferrying robberies in the middle of the night and won't let anyone sleep. Chen Yu smiled awkwardly. How did you know that someone was ferrying ah? You still don't know ah. Inside the forums are spreading like crazy. Last night the kid who was ferrying was almost killed by lightning. At night, he kept chanting I become. He was struck by lightning and was stupid. Look, Zhao Huilin looked for a photo inside his cell phone and handed it over. Shen Yu's face was shocked. He didn't know who had taken a photo when he was crossing the lightning tribulation, which just happened to be the image of him being struck by lightning. Luckily, his appearance at the time was quite embarrassing and no one recognized him. Shen Yu forced himself to be calm and nodded. It is indeed a bit lacking. Zhao Huilin still wanted to mock a few sentences. When a classmate came next to him, tapped Shen Yu's shoulder and said, Shen Yu, there are people outside looking for you. Chen Yu looked up and a familiar figure stood there. Lin Wan Air. Chen Yu wondered. Didn't he delete her? Why did he still come to find himself? Ha, huh? isn't that Lin Wan Air? She actually took the initiative to come to you. Zhao Hualin was surprised. Before it was Chen Yu chasing people and licking them. Lin Wan Air never took the initiative once. It must be because you've gotten stronger during this period of time. And you even took first place in the hunting tournament. So you've impressed people. You better pay attention. Don't get mesmerized by her again. Regarding Zhao Hui Lin's reminder, Shen Yu did not take it to heart. He did not have any interest in this woman anyway and would not become entangled. Since Lin Wanner had personally come over, Shen Yu was also too embarrassed to leave her hanging there. He got up and walked out. Lin Wan Er's expression was constricted. Her lips pursed slightly, somewhat unnatural. 
She had come over today with great determination. There were some things she wanted to make clear with Chen Yu face to face. Is something wrong? Chen Yu walked to Lin Wanner's side and asked. There are a lot of people here. Can we go to a quieter place? I want to have a good chat with you. Chen Yu shook his head. I'm quite busy. If there's something you want to say directly. Lin Wanner looked at the familiar yet strange man in front of her. She was in a daze. In the old days as long as she gave an order Chen Yu would go through fire and satisfy her every request. Now it was like a stranger. Not a single touch to her. Nothing I will go back first ah. Chen Yu looked at Lin Wanner, who hadn't opened her mouth in half a day, and turned around to leave. Lin Wanner was anxious and hurriedly said, I want to say sorry to you for what happened inside the Red Rainbow Demon region that day. She lowered her head, her face faintly scarlet, not daring to look directly at Chen Yu. Chen Yu indifferently skimmed his mouth, you don't need to say sorry to me. Everyone's stance and outlook are different, and their behavior will be different as well. What you did was definitely beneficial to yourself, and I don't have the power to criticize you. This sentence of his directly showed that he and Lin Wanner did not belong to the same world, with different stances and different three views. This messed up Lin Wanner who didn't know what to do. She was ready to accept Chen Yu's accusations and scorn, but she didn't expect that people would be so atmospheric and not bother with her at all. But it also showed that Chen Yu did not care about her at all. Her heart was empty. This was a feeling she had never had before. She had some regrets. She shouldn't have been so heartless to Chen Yu in the first place. Go back when you've made it clear. The Sun family's third young master is quite good. With a superior family background and strength, he can still match you. Chen Yu gave his expulsion order. Lin Wan Air's eyes trembled and said in a very small voice, I broke up with him. A layer of watery mist surfaced in front of her eyes as she just stared at Chen Yu, wanting to see Chen Yu's reaction. Chen Yu's expression did not ripple. Faintly said, Hmm. He then said no more and turned around to go back. Lin Wan Air guessed this ending, but she was still heartbroken. She seemed to have made the wrong decision from the start. Looking at the resolute back, her lips slightly opened, still wanting to say something to retain, but when she reached the edge of her mouth, she couldn't say it. She then left behind a sentence. Chun Yu, be careful when you enter the dragon sacrifice domain. Sunny seems to be looking for someone to target you. Chen Yu did not turn around and only said thank you. Lin Wanner left with her head hanging like a sunflower that had lost the sunlight. Yo ho, you kid has impressed me. That's the class flower of our entire first year. You actually drove someone away directly. Ambitious. Zhao Huilin couldn't help but give a thumbs up. Didn't I tell you? I only want to do great things now. I don't want to get involved in this kind of childish love at all. You are the first in the hunting tournament. The most prestigious in the first year. Still not satisfied ah? This is just where to wear. Chen Yu's goal is far more than that. Forget it. Forget it. Don't talk to you about this. I'm a bit ashamed. The gap between my strength and yours is getting wider and wider. Zhao Huilin laughed to himself. Before entering the Red Rainbow Demon Domain, he was a bit stronger than Chen Yu. Now he couldn't even look at someone else's back. He had to catch up on his cultivation as well. Two weeks rushed by, Chen Yu usually concentrated on his studies, and when he had nothing else to do, he went to the Void Pavilion with Zhao Huilin and Su Shikijing to have a few actual battles. As the segment level increased, Zhao Huilin was a bit unable to keep up. He was the most novice and the first to die in every game, but he enlivened the team's atmosphere like a comedian. He had to be the spring commander when he died, laying out tactics, arranging Chen Yu and Su Shijijing's course of action, often bringing the team towards the gutter, bringing a lot of fun to the boring life of the three. Chen Yu and Su ruling Jing's relationship was getting better and better. Today, it was time to enter the dragon sacrifice domain. Chen Yu, as the first in the hunting competition, and Su ruler Jing, the second in the hunting competition, were both qualified to enter it to cultivate. Both of them held a strong curiosity about this forbidden land, and although Han Su Ren had roughly spoken to Chen Yu before, he still wanted to enter to find out what was going on, to see if this forbidden land had the same unrivaled attraction that everyone said it did. The ten first-year students gathered at the agreed-upon location, preparing to meet up with the large group of the top 100 on the heavenly ranking and then enter the dragon sacrifice domain together. Sun Yi was among them. The moment Chen Yu appeared, Sun Yi's eyes were out of place and he kept staring at him with very unfriendly eyes. Chen Yu naturally discovered this. It seemed that Lin Wanner's previous reminder was not an empty threat. This Sunny really wanted to cause trouble inside the dragon sacrifice domain. Chen Yu would never concede. As long as you dare to mess things up, then I will accompany you and see who can't afford to play in the end. You have a grudge against that kid from the Sun family? Su Ruler Jing twisted his head and asked. His voice was so loud that he didn't care if the others heard him or not. Nor did he care about Sun Yi's opinion. With his strength and family background, not to mention Sun Yi. Even someone of Li Qi Yuan's level would have to shout brother when they saw him. Chen Yu responded. 
I fooled him inside the red rainbow demon domain before. I didn't expect him to hold a grudge now. Su ruler Jing knew that Chen Yu's family was average. Not much backing, and then added, if you need help, just say so, any time. Okay, Chen Yu was also not polite. Under the teacher's leadership, the ten first graders managed to converge with the larger group. Oh ho, this year's rookies are reporting for duty. Wait and let me see how strong this year's batch of rookies are. In the distance, 100 people from the heavenly ranking had already reached and were waiting for the new students. These people could be the strongest fighting force and the hope of Tianyun University. Among the 100 people, the worst was an 8th grade martial artist, and the strongest was Xia Qingling, who was at the martial spirit realm and stood proudly among the group. Most of their gazes were directed towards the approaching first year students, sighing and mocking. The old students mocking the new students was a necessary part of every year. They wanted to let the strongest first year know that even if they won the top 10 of the hunting tournament, they were nothing in front of them. This was what they gave the new students. Shen Yu was not affected by these people's belittling and walked by himself. When the two sides converged, the older students began to size up the 10 people, and with a single glance, they realized that Su Ruler Jing was different, a far stronger martial aura than the others, even a few points stronger than some of the top 100 of the heavenly ranking that were present. This year's batch of rookies actually has a ninth grade martial artist within them. There's something this term. He should be the number one in this year's hunting tournament. Many people liked Su Ruler Jing and speculated. Su Ruler Jing's strength was far ahead of the others, and it was reasonable for the crowd to treat him as number one. The mocking sounds from earlier gradually diminished with Su Ruler Jing's arrival. In the past, the strongest first in the hunting tournament was only the eighth rank. Facing these seniors and sisters in the top 100 of the heavenly ranking, they really didn't have the confidence to fight against them, but Su Ruling Jing had the ability to hit them in the mouth. Both sides pooled to complete. The first year lead teacher glanced at his team and said, Arranged in order according to the hunting tournament rankings, wait a while to enter the dragon sacrifice domain with the seniors and sisters. Keep quiet, don't fall behind, and don't run around. The teacher leading the team left after his instructions. The next step would be given to the relevant teacher in charge of the dragon sacrifice domain, who would personally take everyone into it. Chen Yu stood first as a matter of course, Su Ruler Jing followed closely behind, and the rest of the people lined up according to their rankings. In between the queues, Sunny used his eyes to communicate with a few of the heavenly ranking people next to him, signaling that the target of this operation was Chen Yu. A few people nodded at the same time and glanced at Chen Yu who was standing at the very front, identifying the target and then hiding into the crowd. Sunny stood at the back and looked towards Chen Yu, the corner of his mouth raised in a smug arc. These veterans of the heavenly ranking quickly realized that the first in this hunting tournament was not Su Ruler Jing, was shocked, and then came to a realization. First this kid must have used the bill ability, otherwise with his strength of the early 8th grade how could he take the championship? Despicable gazes were cast. Chen Yu was indifferent, standing there quietly waiting for the teacher's arrangement. He kept in mind Han Su Ren's admonition to show his best side and never mess up. These people on the heavenly ranking list were only a few years ahead of him in the school. Sooner or later they would be stepped on by him one by one, so let them be arrogant for a while first. The crowd stood in place and waited for more than an hour. Still no teacher came over to meet them, and many people got upset. They were the proud sons of Tianyun University, and to be left out here like this was too suffocating. A voice of complaint and impatience came out, and the scene was somewhat chaotic. Quiet. Suddenly, a female voice rang out from the front of the crowd. Daring to say this in front of so many high-level martial artists, one could imagine how confident she was. These proud sons of heaven were rebuked, but none of them dared to retort, closing their mouths and standing in place to wait obediently. This voice was somewhat familiar. Chen Yu seemed to have heard it somewhere. He looked sideways. There was a silhouette standing at the very front of the group. He searched in his mind. Not long after, he remembered. It was Xia Qingling who had appeared in the grand finale on the day of the mobilization meeting, the person with the strongest talent in Tianyun University and could even be said to be the number one person with talent in the Dragon Kingdom. On the day of the mobilization meeting, Xia Qingling had left a deep impression on him, with an aura and strength that far exceeded that of her peers. No wonder she could order everyone. This was the strength of the number one in the heavenly ranking. No one dared to refute it. Chen Yu looked towards the confident and proud back in front of him. The crowd waited for another ten minutes or so before an old man with a poor image wandered over. While walking, he muttered to himself, Alas! I drank too much last night and almost forgot that today is the day to enter the dragon sacrifice domain. More than a hundred people were waiting for him alone just because they drank too much, a reason that made the corners of many people's mouths twitch, but they didn't dare to complain to his face. Elder Yang, you're here. Xia Qingling politely greeted. Elder Yang touched his messy hair and said in embarrassment, 
Qingling ah, I've kept you waiting. Let's go in first. Elder Yang only chatted with Xia Qingling and did not care about what the others thought. Elder Yang walked in front, and the crowd honestly followed behind. Passing through the waiting square, ahead was a one-way passageway from which one must enter the dragon sacrifice domain. At the end of the passage, was a forbidden spell formation that completely separated the dragon sacrifice domain from the outside world, and only Elder Yang could open it. The crowd needed to enter the dragon sacrifice domain from here. After Elder Yang opened the spell formation, he spoke behind him, Senior grades go in first, first years stay where they are, I have a few words to say. The senior years, led by Xia Qingling, were the first to enter the dragon sacrifice domain, they had long been familiar with it and knew what to do after entering. Time was precious, more than an hour had been wasted just now, so they had to hurry up. After the seniors had finished walking, Chen Yu came to Elder Yang's side. The unkempt old man in front of him gave off a scruffy impression, but no one dared to take him lightly. Elder Yang's narrowed eyes glanced at Chen Yu as a flash of color flashed through his eyes. He had also sensed what happened last night at the back of the school's mountain, and that aura vaguely matched the teenager in front of him. I'll give you the process after entering the dragon sacrifice domain, you'll follow the process when the time comes. Don't break the rules. If you upset Lord Divine Dragon, he paused for a moment. None of you will have a chance to come in later. Elder Yang's tone was serious. The sealed dragon soul in the dragon sacrifice domain was referred to by him as Lord Divine Dragon. So one could imagine how powerful this dragon soul was. The ten people nodded their heads in unison in response. They were all entering the dragon sacrifice domain for the first time and were indeed excited. But the most basic rules still had to be followed. Elder Yang swept his gaze once and continued. You are newcomers. And after entering the Dragon Sacrifice Domain, you will be sensed by Lord Divine Dragon. Lord Divine Dragon will check your talents and grade you according to your comprehensive strength. There are nine levels in total, corresponding to the nine levels of the Dragon Sacrifice Domain, and the higher the level you enter, the more resources you will have. Of course, if certain aspects of you match Lord Divine Dragon's favorites, you might receive additional benefits. Chen Yu probably understood that the Dragon Sacrifice Domain was equivalent to a tower and the higher the level one entered the tower, the better. It was just that he didn't know how many floors Xia Qingling was on. All right, that's all I have to say. You all go in together. Lord Divine Dragon's divine sense is powerful and will complete the grading very quickly. Elder Yang finished speaking and started urging the crowd to enter it. All ten people entered the dragon sacrifice domain. Chen Yu passed through the forbidden spell formation and came to a sealed space. His expression was bland and his heart was calm as he faintly surveyed the place. At the same time, an ancient voice resounded in the air, and the divine sense of the crowd was shaken, as they didn't even know where this divine dragon lord was. Zhao Yunhai, level 3. Gong Yushuan, level 3. Zhang Yi, level 4. Sun Yi, level 5. Lord Shenlong's light sentence represented a person's potential. Most of the people were level 3 to level 4, and only Sun Yi reached level 5, which was slightly higher. The corners of Sun Yi's mouth couldn't even be suppressed as he tilted his head and gave Chen Yu a hard look tilting his head and striding towards the fifth level. He did not know which floor Chen Yu would be assigned to, but he had long since bought off his classmates on the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth floors, and as long as Chen Yu appeared on these floors, he would teach him a good lesson. Unless Chen Yu enters below the third floor, then Sun Yi won't even be in the mood to teach him a lesson, and he will be a waste in the future, or enter above six floors to avoid conflict. Sun Yi did not believe that Chen Yu had the strength to enter more than six floors. It was Su Ruler Jing's turn. He stood there expressionless, completely unconcerned about which layer he would be assigned to, with a look of love. Lord Divine Dragon paused for a moment this time, his voice a few points heavier, and said, Su Ruler Jing, level 7. The others instantly cast envious looks. I'll go up first ha. Huh? Su Ruler Jing bid farewell to Chen Yu and walked towards the inside with slow steps. It was Chen Yu's turn. In the depths of the void, the Divine Dragon Lord casually surveyed the area and blurted out, Chen Yu, level 6. Sun Yi who was about to enter the tower, almost couldn't hold back his laughter when he heard this information. There were also his people inside level 6, and they were also a ruthless character. Chen Yu was going to be finished. Chen Yu frowned inside as he prepared to enter it. Right at this moment, Fire Fire poked his head out from his collar and stared viciously into the void, commanding in a childlike tone, Rascal Snake, re-giving you a chance to organize your words. Fire Fire was very angry. There was actually a dragon that dared to boast of being a divine dragon in front of it. Not only that, this bastard was looking down on Chen Yu. That was looking down on it. It couldn't bear it. It had to give him some color. Chen Yu was also confused. Hurriedly tucked Fire Fire inside his clothes. This little guy stayed with himself for a while. From the beginning he could only say a few words. Now he had learned to taunt. 
open his mouth ah, he couldn't even stop it. He worriedly looked into the void, hoping that Lord Divine Dragon wouldn't bother with a small child. Although Flame's life level was very high, this was someone else's territory ah, as the saying goes, a strong dragon does not suppress a snake. If he angered the Divine Dragon, being sent out by force would be a small matter, but not being able to get out would be troublesome. Fire did not spoil the Divine Dragon, drilled out again and spoke into the void. Speak, mute ah. Firefire had a high and mighty look, raising his little head with an arrogant expression. Bad. Completely brought down. One didn't need to think to know that Fireflame was brought down by Zhao Huilin. Chun Yu was going to collapse. He shouldn't have played with that Zhao Huilin kid every day. That bastard was dish in the void world. But his mouth was hard. His mouth was dirty. And when he couldn't beat him, he sprayed. Firefire didn't know when he had become like this as well. After mocking, Firefire happily looked at Chen Yu with an expectant expression, seemingly wanting to be praised. Chen Yu covered his face with his left hand and gave it a thumbs up with his right hand, raising a child. It was still necessary to encourage education. It was just miserable for himself. He was probably not going to be able to enter the dragon sacrifice domain, and he would not be able to enter it in the future. In fact, he does not matter. Anyway, to improve his strength and realm is not bad for this cultivation resources. Deep in the void, a tall figure leaned back on the dragon chair, enjoying himself. When he heard the mocking voice, his half-closed eyes snapped open, and those vertical pupils were filled with rage. He was the most noble divine dragon, and someone actually dared to call him a rascal snake. Even if the current president of Tianyin University saw him, he would have to respectfully shout senior. This son, cannot leave today. He stood up and his gaze was directed towards Chen Yu. This person was none other than the kid he had just designated as level 6. Level 6 wasn't satisfied. It was just too arrogant. If he let this person go today, he wouldn't even have to mix inside the dragon sacrifice domain in the future. Just as the divine dragon was about to cast his ability to bring Chen Yu under control, he suddenly saw a flame form creature burrowing out of his collar. This time, the taunt directly disliked the face output. Only, divine dragon did not get angry. His expression was wooden and his body stiff, frozen in place, his gaze fixed dead center on the fire. His lips trembled as he said word by word, fire, god, dragon. Through his tone of voice, the status of both sides was immediately differentiated. Fire was still in its infancy, its mind was incomplete and its strength was not strong, no different from a small child, yet it made the divine dragon feel trembling in its innermost heart. This was the suppression that originated from its bloodline. Even if its strength was more than 10,000 times stronger, it would still have to bow down and submit to it. The original anger is gone. He now only want to see the fire fire. Maybe the opportunity he had been waiting for thousands of years was coming. He had long been tired of the boring life of the dragon sacrifice domain, and with the weakening of his soul power in recent years, he knew that time was running out. If he couldn't be reborn, he would have no choice but to completely dissipate in this world. The towering divine dragon. His expression was so excited that it was somewhat difficult to suppress. Today, no matter what method he used, he had to please the fire fire. And after serving it comfortably, maybe his own thing would come true. He originally wanted to imprison Chen Yu in the dragon sacrifice domain for 10 years as punishment. But now how dare he have this idea. As long as one's eyes weren't blind, one could see that Fireflame and Chen Yu's relationship was intimate and extraordinary. If he messed with Chen Yu, it would all be over. Seeing that old guy in the void still pretending to be dead, Firefire was instantly displeased and once again increased his voice, speak, words. It was a good thing that all the other students had gone into the tower, otherwise Firefire would have definitely been discovered. This little guy was really too arrogant. This scared Chen Yu to the point that his legs were soft. A hand covered the mouth of the little guy. My little ancestor ah, you quickly say no more. Say it again I really cannot get out. Fire made such a big commotion. The divine dragon lord must have long discovered. Just do not know why not angry. Chen Yu did not dare to ask Ah. He now felt that staying here for one more second would be one more second of danger. He arched his hand into the void and bowed, respectfully saying, I'm sorry senior. This little thing it's not very bright. You mustn't bother with it. I'll take it out now. Firefire turned its head and looked at Chen Yu with a puzzled look. Its little eyes seemed to be asking, Who are you calling brainless? How could Chen Yu still dare to enter the sixth level of cultivation? He could not wait to turn around and run. Wait. Chen Yu had just turned around when the voice that originated from the depths of the void resounded once again. Goosebumps instantly rose all over his body. This is the end. The divine dragon lord must not hold him down and rub him on the ground. Chen Yu retracted his footsteps and said resentfully, What are lord divine dragon's orders? I was distracted just now, and my evaluation of you was a bit random. So let me re-evaluate once more. Ah, 
Shen Yu was puzzled, not understanding what Lord Divine Dragon was up to, he did not have the courage to retort, then arched his hand and said, I'm sorry to trouble Lord Divine Dragon, don't call me Lord Divine Dragon, it's too outgoing, I am of the Red Sky True Dragon Clan, my name is Red Luan, just call me Senior Red, even the Heavenly Enlightenment Martial Saint did not know his name, but informed Chen Yu, then, then I will trouble Senior Red, the more the other party was like this, the more panic Chen Yu felt in his heart, the essence of that great power in the void was an existence that surpassed a martial saint and could destroy him with a single glance, and it was very wrong to be this polite now, Chen Yu probably guessed in his heart that this was related to Firefire, Fireflame was a fire god dragon, which also belonged to the dragon race, and also came from other high ranking star realms, with an extremely high status, he was worried that this senior red coveted fire flame, and that would be a big problem, red luan examined for a long time this time and spoke violently, how is it possible, there is such a wizard in the world, forgive me for my poor eyesight just now, junior, with your talent, it's enough to crown the world, you are at least level 9, no, level 10, I want to personally receive you, chen yu's mouth twitched, and in his heart, he couldn't help but spit out, act like it too, you're too pompous, not credible at all, but he didn't dare to say it himself to hit Chiluan's face, little friend, come up quickly, I want to talk freely with you for a day and a night, oh no, two days and two nights, Chen Yu was in an extreme tangle, he didn't dare to take the risk ah, he didn't dare to take firefire's safety to try, if something went wrong, it would be too late to regret, he stood in place, not knowing what to do, dad, go, firefire couldn't resist, drill through Chen Yu's collar and flew towards the void, disappearing in the blink of an eye, this was great, it was impossible not to go, fire fire, wait for me for a while, I'll be right there, Chen Yu quickly ran towards the entrance of the tower, wanting to enter where senior Chi Luan was, Chen Yu hurriedly walked into the tower, he still didn't know how to get to the 10th floor, looking around, he only found a floating teleportation platform directly in front of him, he guessed that it was likely to stand on it and bring himself up, with that, he walked over and stood on this teleportation platform, the teleportation platform was like it had automatic sensing, and when Chen Yu stood on it, it began to move upwards, taking him towards the upper levels. This teleportation platform was located in the very center of the tower, and every time one went up a level, one could see the specifics of that level, as well as who was cultivating on that level. Of course, the people practicing could also see the ascending Chen Yu. The first and second floors were both empty, not a single person in sight. As the most talented group of people from Tian Yun University, they would definitely not appear on this layer. From the third layer onwards, there were people, basically freshmen, who were considered average in talent amongst the hundred or so people. The fourth layer had more people, and many students in the top 100 of the heavenly ranking could be seen. Among them, there were a few who looked at Chun Yu differently, obviously with a murderous aura, and it didn't take much thought to realize that they were the people Sun Yi had arranged. However, as Chen Yu continued to rise upwards, their thoughts were then dashed. There were even more people on the fifth level, at least more than 50 people, each occupying a spot and concentrating on cultivation. From this level onwards, the resources that were gifted by the Red Sky True Dragon were much more. A thousand years ago, the Red Sky True Dragon sealed his soul in the tower, and his terrifying body was then buried underground. The core of the existence of the dragon sacrifice domain, and the aura emitted by the Red Sky True Dragon's body would be absorbed by this tower, and the higher the location, the more intense the aura would be. Absorbing the breath emitted by the Red Heavenly True Dragon would not only enhance one's strength, but also refine one's body, allowing one to gain a hint of True Dragon Breath to add to one's strength and significantly increase one's combat power. This was also the reason why so many people wanted to enter it to cultivate. When Sunny saw Chen Yu coming up, his eyes were ruthless as he muttered to himself, Let's see if you can walk out today. The person arranged inside the sixth floor was his own brother, the second youngest master of the Sun family, Sun Chang Yun, the fourteenth on the Heavenly Ranking. Not only was this person powerful, reaching a midnight grade grandmaster, his temper was even more fiery. When he heard that his own brother was being bullied, he immediately decided to waste Chen Yu inside the dragon sacrifice domain. Lord Dragon only cares about grading, he doesn't care if there are people fighting or stealing territory, even if they are injured or maimed. Lord Dragon won't even blink, so Sun Cheng Yang doesn't have any worries. As long as Chen Yu dares to come up, he'll let him get down. Seeing Chen Yu go up, Sun Yi could not hide his excitement. Imagining the picture of the other party being violently beaten by his second brother. On the sixth floor, there were obviously a lot less people. Those who could enter here were the most powerful in the heavenly ranking. The worst were the top 20 or so. An unusually stout youth was already standing at the edge waiting for Chen Yu to come up. Just now, 
Sun Yi had informed him on his cell phone that Chen Yu was on this floor. Sun Xingyun's gaze was fierce and poised. As long as Chen Yu entered this lair, he would be mercilessly attacked. A downtrodden son without any background also dared to bully their son family members. Really don't want to die. Not long after, Chen Yu arrived at the sixth floor. Sun Cheng Yang spotted his target and let out a roar. Kid, today grandpa will let you know. Oi, AI, AI, you do not go ah. Sun Cheng Yang confused. Not that Chen Yu is on this level. How the teleportation platform still send him up ah? He was like a fool. His fists were raised and his target was gone. Chen Yu's gaze sank, looking at him like a retard. This made Sun Cheng Yang so angry that he stomped his feet. Kid, if you have the guts, don't come out of the dragon sacrifice domain. When the time comes, See if I don't beat you to death. Sun Chang Yang stood below in impotent rage. Chen Yu looked at Sun Chang Yang at the top and couldn't help but smile. Coming to the seventh floor, there were only a handful of people. All of these people were in the top ten of the heavenly ranking. The worst was a late ninth grade grandmaster, which was stronger than even Chen Yu's homeroom teacher. This layer was quiet. Everyone was cultivating seriously. Chen Yu looked around and quickly spotted Su Ruling Jing, who greeted him. Su Ruler Jing opened his eyes and saw Chen Yu who came up. He was puzzled but did not care too much. He gave an okay gesture and continued his cultivation. On the eighth floor, there were only four people. The aura emanating from these people was very thick, very close to the martial spirit realm. There was even one who had already reached the martial spirit realm. But it wasn't Xia Qingling, it was a rather handsome young man, his eyebrows revealing that he wasn't bad. The first layer did not find Xia Qingling's figure, so it must be on the ninth layer. Worthy of being the first in the heavenly ranking, this treatment is different. On the ninth floor, the area was not large, and at first glance, one could see a figure that could be described as perfect was meditating and cultivating. Xia Qingling, she closed her eyes, without any distractions, concentrating on absorbing the rich breath around her, consolidating and improving her strength. This was the first time Chen Yu had gotten so close to Xia Qingling, and the first time he had felt the incomparable charm of the other party, no matter whether it was her temperament or appearance. It could be said that it was hard to come by in the world. Simply sitting there was a scenery that could not be ignored. Chen Yu's arrival caused Xia Qingling's heart and mind to flutter. This was the first time someone had entered the ninth floor with her to cultivate. However, her beautiful eyes did not open as she continued to cultivate, not hearing about external matters. The calm, relaxed temperament was in her eyes, putting Chen Yu on the verge of being mesmerized. There was a reason why this senior sister was so famous. Even he couldn't help but look at her a few more times. The teleportation platform stopped after reaching the ninth floor. Unable to ascend, Chen Yu walked down from the teleportation platform. He looked back and forth, searching for the entrance to the tenth floor, and after searching for half a day, he could not find it. He had no choice but to ask Xia Qingling, who was practicing, in a low voice, Eh, senior sister, do you know where the entrance to the tenth floor is? Xia Qingling's willow eyebrows arched slightly as she opened her eyes and looked at Chen Yu. There is only the ninth layer here. There is no tenth layer. Ah, Lord Divine Dragon told me to go up to the tenth floor ah. Chen Yu was on the verge of pretending to be in heaven with this pussy, only he himself hadn't realized it yet. Xia Qingling took him for a joke, no longer paying attention, closing her eyes to cultivate. This can put Chen Yu anxious. Firefire Fire is still above. He does not know what is found inside. Just when he was clueless, a figure appeared in front of him out of nowhere. With that, the breath that makes every nerve feel trembling spreads. The pressure of the purebred dragon race is too strong. Even if Chi Luan did not deliberately release his breath, the air around him is still compressed by a few points, making it difficult for people to breathe. If Red Luan's real body, the Red Sky True Dragon, appeared, it would definitely be even more shocking. Fortunately, Red Luan was not hostile. Xia Qingling hurriedly got up and bowed. Lord Divine Dragon, you've come. Even Xia Qingling had to greet respectfully. There is no need to be polite. You can just cultivate at ease. Qi Luan's gaze did not rest on Xia Qingling and kept sizing up Qing Yu. Little friend. You really are this extraordinary. It is truly a blessing in this life for me to meet you while I am dying. Quickly go up with me. Let's have a drink. Chiluan was like a self-made acquaintance, holding onto Chen Yu's shoulders without being formal, being flattered by such a great power. Chen Yu was flattered and hurriedly said, Elder Red is overstating the case. Xia Qingling, who had been left out in the cold, was startled in her heart. This was the first time she had known Lord Divine Dragon's surname. She fell into confusion and began to pay attention to Chen Yu's appearance demeanor, and aura. What was this boy's origin that he was so close to Lord Divine Dragon? One must know that even she had only met Lord Divine Dragon a few times, and each time, she was addressed as senior and junior. Divine Dragon Lord had never been this polite. Let's go up quickly. 
Lord Fire God is still waiting for you, Chiloan urged, without Chen Yu's order. Fire was too lazy to say a word to him, and had been staring at himself with a very contemptuous look. Chiloan could not stand it a bit and hurried over to pick up Chen Yu himself. Xia Qingling, who had not yet slowed down, was once again shocked. The Divine Dragon Lord actually called someone else a Fire God. How terrifying the other party must be. Can't it be that that person has reached the martial god realm, transcending the boundaries of this heaven and earth? She couldn't believe it, nor could she imagine it. Chen Yu was similarly shocked. He originally thought that Chiluan was coveting Fireflame's high-level dragon bloodline. It was well known that the dragon race was the most valued of all creatures in terms of bloodline. He didn't expect that Chiluan's respect for Fireflame had reached such a level that he personally called it Lord Fire God. It seemed that he had overthought it. However, if Chiluan was so attentive and had been pleasing himself by forcibly raising his level from 6 to 10, he must have something to ask for. And with Han Su Ren's earlier statement and the existence of the Fire Flame, the probability was that it had something to do with the rebirth of the Dragon Clan. It was likely that Chiluan wanted to be reborn with the help of Firefire. However, Chen Yu did not pick it out. It was better to hold the chips in one's own hands and let others bid first. The tension in Chen Yu's heart slowly disappeared as he said, Then please lead the way. Senior. Good. Chiluan was very excited and grabbed Chen Yu's shoulder. With a flash the two of them came to another space. This was the tenth floor and where he lived. Even Xia Qingling was not qualified to enter. The two came and went in a hurry. And Xia Qingling stood there alone. Still not slowed down. Her mind was full of Chen Yu's appearance at this moment. This was the first time she was interested and confused about a man. The place where Chiluan lived was very luxurious. Even the floor tiles laid on the ground were all as great or above oars. A casual glance made Chen Yu's heart stop. It was full of good stuff. No wonder others said that the dragons loved to collect treasures. Shiluan could see Chen Yu's thoughts and immediately said, These are all trinkets. If you like them, feel free to pick them out. Anyway, putting them here in my place is also eating dust. Chen Yu waved his hand repeatedly, rejecting Chiluan's good intentions. Taking a man's hand is short. Eating a man's mouth is soft. He still understands this principle. Alright then, let's go find Lord Fire God first. After walking for a while, he arrived at Chiluan's chambers. A wide dragon chair was placed in the center, quite luxurious. On the dragon chair, fire was leisurely lying down, its little tail wagging, and if it wasn't for its legs not being long enough, it would have definitely crossed its legs, properly treating this place as its own home. When Fire Fire saw Chen Yu coming, it instantly got up and flew over, circling around Chen Yu, smiling, stay away from me. It didn't forget to angrily look at Chiluan next to it. Red Luan had lived for thousands of years, and no one had ever dared to talk to him like that. He immediately panned a few meters and pulled away. Fine, fine, Lord Fire God is teaching me a lesson. What Chiluan said was completely from the bottom of his heart. There was no displeasure whatsoever. All he wanted to do now was to satisfy Firefire's request as much as possible, and coax it to be happy. He still had to ask for help later on, and without its help, the odds were that Chiluan would have to fall in this dragon's sacrifice domain. Can you have some manners? Chen Yu reprimanded. This little fellow was in the middle of his rebellious stage, and was becoming more and more disobedient. Flame's neck shrank, not daring to talk back. Elder Red, this little guy is naughty. Don't be general with it. Chi Luan smiled and waved his hand. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not qualified to stand next to Lord Fire God. It wasn't hard to feel the admiration in his words. Quickly take a seat. Chen Yu did not refuse. Holding Fire Fire in his arms as he took his seat, he firmly grasped this little fellow not allowing him to run around and make things happen. May I ask what senior asked me to come here for? Shen Yu opened the door. If it jeopardized Fire Flame's safety, he would definitely not agree. Shiluan laughed. There's no rush. Let's talk about something else first. This made Shen Yu feel a little uneasy, but he did not dare to say no. Little friend should have happened to meet Lord Fire God. Shiluan asked tentatively. Shen Yu nodded. It was completely unexpected for him to have encountered Fire Fire. If anyone else had encountered it that day, it would have been difficult for them to escape death, and it was only he who had lived long enough to survive, and was also parasitized by this little guy. Chiluan nodded his head gently, because he could see that Chen Yu's strength and talent was not particularly strong. It must have been an accident that he was able to obtain the Fire God Dragon. Then do you want to know relevant information about Lord Fire God? Chiluan seemed to have some knowledge about Fire's life. Chen Yu immediately became interested and said, Please also tell me, Senior. He only knew that the Fire God Dragon was a high-level creature from other star realms, and did not know anything about its specifics. It's normal that you don't know. In fact, I have also read a description of the Fire God Lord in an ancient book. The Lord Fire God doesn't belong to our blue star. 
It comes from other high-level star realms, so high-level that you can't imagine it. This was the same as Chen Yu's guess. Please tell us in detail. Senior, Chi Luan continued. According to the hierarchical division, the blue star is nothing more than a planet, less than a grain of fine sand in the vast universe, and the highest point of our blue star creatures is the planetary level, which is also known as the martial god realm in your human tongue. When we reach the planetary level, we can completely get rid of the blue star's gravitational constraints, get rid of the limitations of oxygen and food, and enter the boundless universe to explore, and planetary level creatures are less than ants to the entire universe. Shen Yu sucked in a mouthful of cold air. The supreme creatures on the blue star would be so inferior compared to the creatures of other star realms. He was truly a frog in the bottom of a well. What level of creature is that fire god dragon? Shiloh fell into thought, then shook his head. I'm not sure. It's beyond my perception anyway. What level is the limit of your cognition? Chen Yu was curious. Using the rules of the universe to divide strength, the worst is the planetary level, followed by the stellar level, black hole level, super light level, and dark matter level. Dark matter level creatures are the highest level creatures that I know of. They are also known as cosmic heavenly exalted ones, and to a certain extent, they can be free from the constraints of the basic rules of the universe, appearing everywhere in the universe at will. Fire's level is even higher than dark matter level creatures? Shiloh nodded. Back then, that book recorded that Lord Fire God was one of the universe basic rules, the origin of fire. As for Lord Fire God's level, I am not sure but it is definitely higher than the dark matter level and stronger than a cosmic heavenly sovereign. Chen Yu's scalp tingled as he looked towards the giggling little guy on his lap. He couldn't believe that it came from such a terrifying place. Then why do I feel like it's not that strong? Although Firefire's strength was strong, it wasn't as exaggerated as Chiluan said. Seeing Chen Yu's confusion, Chiluan explained, because this is not the full-bodied Lord Fire God, it should be the reborn form of Lord Fire God. I don't know why it descended on the blue planet. But I would venture to guess that Lord Fire God encountered a life-threatening situation at that time, and could only retain the origin fire to leave a glimmer of life. Indeed, Fire Fire was only a flame form now, not even an origin body. After making a big detour, Chiluan took a deep breath and said, I have an unkind request. Chen Yu was quickly alert. Senior, please speak. Red Luan paused for a few seconds. I wish to offer my own body, the Red Sky True Dragon Clan's most powerful, quasi-martial god realm body to Lord Fire God. To help Lord Fire God recast the first entity, Red Luan was talking about recasting the entity, not his own body, he didn't have the ability to help the Fire God Dragon recast his own body, even if he sacrificed the entire galaxy where Blue Star was located, he wouldn't be able to accomplish even one in a million, the entity was merely a way for Fire Fire to temporarily have a carrier that it could cling to, to break away from this flame form and help it grow better, which was only good and not bad for Fire Fire, if there was a better carrier in the future. It could take the initiative to remove the body of the Red Sky True Dragon and recast the second entity, a process that could be repeated in a cycle. Shiluan's eyes looked expectantly towards Chen Yu and Fire Flame. Wanting to recast the entity for the Fire God Dragon would definitely require the consent of the two of them. The Fire God Dragon was now in a parasitic state and was unable to complete the process on its own. It had to have Chen Yu's consent and cooperation, otherwise it would all be for naught. Chen Yu frowned, wondering if he should follow what Senior Chiluan had said and recast an entity for fire. This little guy was parasitized within himself, and he was able to clearly feel that the little guy was missing something, somewhat incomplete. Because of this, it caused Firefire Fire to need to maintain its vitality by absorbing the life force of other creatures, otherwise it would fall into an endless slumber. If he fused the Red Sky True Dragon's body, not only would he be able to increase his strength, he would also be able to consolidate Fire Flame's current state, allowing it to better survive and grow on, killing two birds with one stone. He looked towards the little guy lying on his lap and asked, Do you want Elder Chiluan's body? Regardless of how he thought about it, he definitely had to go through the little guy's consent. Chiluan stared at Fireflame with a nervous expression, not daring to breathe. Firefire shook its head without hesitation, like a rattle drum. He even looked down on Chiluan himself. How could he possibly look at the so-called Red Heavenly True Dragon's body, although it didn't know why itself? Deep down it despised this level of life forms. Eh? Shen Yu did not expect the little guy to refuse so decisively. This was a quasi-martial god realm body ah, the strongest existence in the world. Even he was moved. If it was senior Chiluan gifting it to himself, he probably wouldn't even hesitate and would directly agree. On the contrary, Chiluan's face was ashen, his heart half cold. He looked at Chen Yu with a supplicating gaze. Why don't you persuade Lord Fire God again? It's almost impossible to obtain a second quasi-martial god realm body on the blue planet. Chen Yu did not persuade but instead looked at Chiluan and said, Senior, 
I would like to ask you a question, and I would ask you to answer it truthfully. Please speak. What is the reason why you are so passionate about wanting to offer your own essence to the Fire God Dragon? Although Chiluan belonged to the Dragon Clan and his status was far lower than the Fire God Dragon, it was impossible to give away his most precious essence just because of the admiration in his heart. There must be a reason for it. And if Chiluan was unable to explain it reasonably, Chen Yu would not continue. Being asked this question, Chiluan was a little embarrassed and his old face flushed. After a moment of urgency, he said, There are two reasons why I offered my Red Sky True Dragon Essence. First, because I am affiliated with the Dragon Clan and hold great respect for Lord Fire God, the supreme being of the Dragon Clan. These words were powerful, mapping out a piece of sincerity within Chiluan's heart. Secondly, Chiluan paused for a moment. I have a selfish wish. Chen Yu's spirit focused. This was the answer he wanted. Not that he didn't believe in the first reason, but the second reason was more convincing. He listened attentively as Chiluan continued. Secondly, it is that I want to be resurrected with the power of Lord Fire God. Chiluan's voice was not loud and slightly ashamed. More than a thousand years ago, he attempted to make an impact on the martial god realm, the planetary level, to break through the bonds of this heaven and earth to pursue a higher level. But unfortunately, the impact failed. He suffered great injuries during that breakthrough, and his life force rapidly weakened, and he would not live long. It was absolutely impossible to break through the martial god realm in this life. He could only find the first president of Heavenly Cloud University and wanted him to seal his soul and wait for an opportune moment. This was what led to the dragon sacrifice domain. Senior, can you tell us about the exact process of resurrection? If that process would harm Fireflame, he would definitely not agree. Chiluan immediately became excited. The difficulty of resurrecting our dragon race is far higher than that of the Phoenix Clan, and only a very few purebred dragons have the ability to resurrect, such as me. The dragon race needs to have two necessary conditions for resurrection. Firstly, the soul must be complete. As for the main body just remake one when the time comes, secondly, it needs a great chance that is enough to reverse the laws of nature, such as the feedback from Lord Fire God. Feedback from fire. What is this? Shiloh immediately explained. Fearing that Chun Yu would misunderstand that he had some covetousness for the Fire God Dragon, this feedback won't affect the Fire God Lord. Even the Fire God Lord can't feel it, and it won't affect you, little friend. The more he said, the more confused he became. Can you be more specific? Chi Luan pondered, trying to explain in terms that Chen Yu could understand. He spoke again. After I dedicate my essence to the Lord Fire God, I will enter a period of friction. And during this time, if I am more fortunate and receive the approval of the Lord Fire God, then my soul may receive positive feedback. And with the help of this positive feedback I can be resurrected once again. I see. Chun Yu understood. But this was a completely unfair deal for Chi Luan. While he and Fireflame must earn a body of the quasi martial god realm, what Chiluan got was an unknown, not even knowing if he could obtain positive feedback. And as for resurrection, it was more like a forlorn hope. If the fire god dragon and his body cannot be completely compatible, then the basket is empty. Losing the body of the Red Luan can only wait for death. From this, it could be seen that Chiluan had made a great determination to try even at the risk of death. Chen Yu's heart admired this senior's courage even more. After explaining, Chiluan's state of mind was much calmer as he quietly waited for Chen Yu's reply. Chen Yu thought deeply and felt that this deal was a sure thing and could be carried out. He lifted up Fire Flame, who was still rolling around in his lap, and patiently persuaded. Good treasure. Just say yes. Although this body may not necessarily satisfy you, but by rejecting this body, I may not be able to find a second equivalent replacement for a long, long time. It's for your own good. Don't get carried away. Just promise Elder Chiluan. Fire pouted as her clever little brain began to run at high speed. Chen Yu was nervous, Shiluan was even more so, and both of their gazes were fixed on the little guy. If it still wanted to refuse, then there was really nothing that could be done. After all, it was Firefire who was going to fuse the body of the Red Sky True Dragon, not Chen Yu, who did not have the right to decide. Okay, just listen to daddy. Fireflame thought for a moment and nodded in agreement, but some dislike could still be seen in its expression. Great. Shiluan stood up excitedly, his body unable to stop trembling. The opportunity he had been waiting for over a thousand years had finally come. Even if it might fail in the end, at least there was hope and motivation to live. Chen Yu was also very happy as he cupped the little one and stroked its head, dotingly saying, so good, then let's get started. Shiluan could hardly wait. Over a thousand years of waiting just for this moment, it was all worth it. Ha, huh? is it convenient now? There are still many people cultivating in here. Chen Yu did not expect Elder Chiluan to be in such a hurry. It's fine. It doesn't affect. They cultivate theirs and we do ours. That's good. Trouble Senior. Chen Yu. 
as Fire Flame's guardian, had a sincere attitude and expressed great respect for Chiloan. Let's go out first. My main body is still below the dragon sacrifice domain. Okay. Red Luan gripped Chen Yu's shoulders and dashed outside, the two of them standing in the air, with Fire Fire floating beside them. Next was the time to summon the Red Sky True Dragon's original body, more than a thousand years ago, before Red Luan's soul was sealed. He detached himself from his main body and hid it underneath the dragon sacrifice domain, so that he would summon it out whenever the time was right. Red Luan's pair of vertical pupils looked downwards and suddenly coalesced as a terrifying dragon aura descended, wrapping up the dragon sacrifice domain. Yang Lao, who was sitting outside, holding a bottle of wine and savoring it comfortably, suddenly noticed the abnormality of the dragon sacrifice domain. He immediately put down the wine bottle and dashed to the forbidden spell formation, but was unable to view the internal scene. Yang Lao had never encountered such a situation before, and he wanted to open the forbidden spell formation and enter it to find out what was going on. What's going on? He realized that the taboo spell formation couldn't be opened. Some sort of power had been attached to the taboo spell formation, far beyond his strength. Elder Yang instantly woke up and panicked a bit. Inside the dragon sacrifice domain were the future of Tianyun University. There must not be any accidents. He hurriedly went to inform the principal. Inside the dragon sacrifice domain, all possibilities of disturbing the next fusion process were eliminated by Chiluan. No one could enter it, and no one could go out. Inside the tower, more than a hundred students sensed something strange and got up to go out and check things out, only to find that a barrier had been set up on each floor, making it impossible to leave where they were. I'm starting. Chiluan looked towards Chen Yu and then said. Chen Yu did not speak and quietly observed. Rise, Red Luan said with a huff as the strong and domineering aura of the Supreme Dragon race overflowed, and the space of the Dragon's sacrifice domain began to tremble with instability. A quasi-martial god realm powerhouse could affect space with a single strike. It was truly terrifying. Chen Yu felt fear in his heart. This was the strength of a quasi-martial god realm powerhouse. I wonder how long it will take for him to reach this level. Not long after, a violent and horrifying vibration came from the ground. The Red Sky True Dragon's main body was coming out. Before the True Dragon came out, the dragons might arrive first. This overwhelming dragon might cause Chen Yu's heart to palpitate, not daring to imagine how powerful this True Dragon body would be after it fused with Chiluan's soul. A dragon head of hundreds of meters was revealed. Every part of the dragon head exuded the word powerful. The eyes were still closed but one could not look directly at them. The pure gold-colored dragon head had a disdainful and intimidating aura. Chen Yu could not help but swallow his saliva. Chi Luan, on the other hand, had a proud face. In the blue star, there was not yet any creature that could rival his own body. It was only fire that had a disdainful face. As time passed, a true dragon body spanning thousands of meters floated in midair. Visual deterrence, mental deterrence, and physical deterrence were directly pulled full circle. Chen Yu's mouth forgot to close as he looked towards this ancient beast. Chi Luan proudly said, This is my original body. Can you be satisfied, little friend? Chen Yu nodded his head hurriedly. Satisfied. Satisfied. Really too strong. He could not imagine how strong fire would become after fusing this body. Then let Lord Fire God go over. Chi Luan looked towards the indifferent Fire Flame and said in a pleading tone. Fire Flame ignored him. Chen Yu coughed lightly. Be obedient and quickly go over. Only after receiving Chen Yu's instructions did Fire Fire obediently fly towards the Red Sky True Dragon's body in front of it. It arrived at the Red Sky True Dragon's dragon head position, sat on its butt on the dragon head, and said in a milky voice, Let's begin. Chen Yu laughed bitterly with a bitter expression, covering his face in disbelief. Chi Luan was indifferent and kept a happy smile on his face. Little friend, during the fusion process later on, you may develop a sense of resistance. Don't feel strange. Aha, uh -huh, okay, then I'll begin. Without further ado, he began casting the first entity for the fire god dragon. Chi Luan closed his eyes. His hands began to rapidly pinch and chant, and gradually, an illusory runic link appeared between him and the red sky true dragon's body. Chen Yu could not read or understand it at all, so he could only watch and wait patiently. Condense for me. The red sky true dragon's torso began to shrink continuously until it shrunk to a size like fire fire. Lord fire god, please don't resist, Chi Luan reminded before the final fusion. Fire fire didn't reply back to him. The body of the red sky true dragon which was about the same size as Firefire, Fire, began to attach, and the two bodies began to rejoin. The entire process took quite a while. Outside the dragon sacrifice domain, the apocalyptic martial saint had arrived, and despite his divine ability, he was still unable to enter it. Suddenly he found a familiar aura, the same as the Daechin you had crossed the threshold. He had seen Fire Flame on the Daechin you had transited, and with his strength and insight he hadn't even recognized what kind of creature Fire Flame was. 
The fact that Fireflame had saved the dying Chen Yu from death later on had shocked him even more. That night, the apocalyptic martial saint had instructed everyone to stay away from Chen Yu and keep the secret. That is, he didn't want people with bad intentions to know about Fireflame's existence, or else it would likely bring danger to Chen Yu. Lord Divine Dragon has a sense of propriety. There shouldn't be any accidents. The apocalyptic martial saint could only speculate in this manner, and he chose to believe in Lord Divine Dragon. Several hours passed, and Fiery Flame's flaming body finally fused with the Red Sky True Dragon body. Since then, Fire Flame possessed the first entity that originated from the Red Sky True Dragon. It's done. Chiluan was ecstatic, not even caring about the feeling of weakness in his soul, spending so much to finally succeed. So joyful. Chen Yu's face was joyful. It's finally done. After waiting for several hours, Fire was a bit impatient, and he flew to Chen Yu's side at the first opportunity, showing off his new body. At this time, it was no longer in pure flame form. A patch of golden scales grew on the surface of the skin. It was very beautiful, and one could clearly feel that this little guy's breath was more solid, and his vitality was more vigorous. The way Fire looked at Chiluan was also much better. Quickly say thank you to Elder Chiluan. Fire Fire hesitated for a moment and said, Thank you. Chiluan happily let out a loud laugh. Lord Fire God is polite. This is what I should do. The system's voice sounded at this time. Fire God Dragon. The first Fire Origin tattoo has been activated. Fire Origin tattoo? What is this? Chen Yu silently asked in his mind. This is the exclusive mark belonging to the Fire God Dragon. There are a total of nine. And each activated source pattern can restore a portion of its strength. When all nine Fire Origin marks are activated, the Fire God Dragon will return to its place. Chen Yu did not understand what the system meant by reverting to the throne. It might have something to do with Fire's identity. Chen Yu was also curious about what the little guy's specific role in awakening the origin of Fire pattern was. It couldn't just be stronger. There must be some additional attributes or talents or something like that. As he thought, the system gave an explanation. Fire Divine Dragon activates the first origin line. Restoring the first origin talent, Heaven's Wrath. Heavenly Wrath? What kind of ability is this? It sounded a bit similar to the Thunder Tribulation that Shouting Thunder Sky crossed, but the word Heavenly Wrath was clearly more advanced. Heaven's Wrath belongs to one of the First Order Laws of the Universe, belonging to the same level as Light, Darkness, Force, and Energy, and is mainly applicable to the major planets. Heaven's Wrath is actually a law of the Universe. This compulsion can be much higher, much stronger than the Thunderjack. The Thunderjack may belong to the natural rules of the Blue Planet. Put in the Universe, what but not? What is the specific role of that heavenly condemnation? After using the heavenly condemnation, it can pull the planetary origin and adjudicate the specific creatures on that planet. The judgment cannot be escaped. It cannot be counteracted. It's permanently marked. It's hard to avoid. The one who is judged will die. Chen Yu was dumbfounded. This thing was also fierce. It was worthy of being an ability possessed by the fire god dragon. Of course, Chen Yu knows that using the ruling will likely be a great burden on fire fire. Firefire is still too weak now. Only just recast the first entity. Can be used sparingly do not use. Chen Yu looked towards the frail Chiluan on the side and once again expressed his heartfelt gratitude. He originally only wanted to enter the dragon sacrifice domain to cultivate a bit. And had no other intentions. But senior Chiluan had given such a great opportunity. And didn't know how to return the favor. At the same time. He also felt a little embarrassed. Senior. The red sky true dragon's original body was taken away by me. What should I do with the dragon sacrifice domain in the future? It's fine. The aura that survives inside the dragon sacrifice domain can still be retained for at least a hundred years. It's no problem for these students to cultivate. As for a hundred years later, whether I will live or die is still an unknown. Chiluan laughed at himself. This explanation made Chen use inner pressure much smaller. Senior, this favor, I will never forget it. Chiluan waved his hand and spoke. Little friend need not take it to heart. The old man does not need you to return anything. Everything depends on the fate of heaven. The old man I have also lived for so long have looked away. If I can't be resurrected then it is destiny. Can't be forced. If I can be resurrected, I will definitely thank Lord Fire God and little friend again at that time. Red Luan's face was slightly disheveled, but his eyes soared. As long as he survived this calamity, he would definitely break through the planetary level and enter the universe to explore a new chapter, to seek what he wanted. After saying this, Shiluan looked outside the dragon sacrifice domain and said in a loud voice, don't worry about it. These precious students of yours are fine. When the heavenly enlightenment martial saint heard these words, the stone in his heart could be counted on to fall. And then he arched his hand and said, I'm sorry that Lord Divine Dragon has taken the trouble to do so. Then I'll take my leave first. Getting the answer he wanted. 
The heavenly enlightenment marshal saint no longer lingered and then left, leaving Elder Yang alone. He was somewhat confused. Alas, I'd better continue drinking. After the students in the tower were sure that there was no danger, they all returned to their original positions and continued their cultivation. The dragon sacrifice domain was only opened once every three months, and only for three days each time. Time was too precious to waste a bit of it. Little friend, come with me. Red Luan seemed to have something else to say as he pulled Chen Yu back to the 10th floor once again. Chi Luan sat on the dragon chair, slightly old, without his previous aura. This time recasting Fire Flame's entity had consumed an extreme amount of soul power, speeding up the process of his death, but he had no complaints. Willingly doing so, Chen Yu did not take a seat, respectfully looking at Senior Chi Luan. Senior has other matters? Chi Luan nodded. Since I said you were level 10 before, surely I have to come up with a corresponding reward ah, or else the old man won't become a man of his word. Just like what old man Yang had said earlier. If the divine dragon lord had his eye on someone, he would give additional rewards. And this was true. This caused Chun Yu to be embarrassed. Senior, you have gifted the red sky true dragon body to fire fire, so I don't need it. You can just let me cultivate here for two days, just so that I can consolidate my body with the help of the surrounding dragon aura. Chi Luan smiled and shook his head. It's different. Lord Fire God is a special case, not directly related to you. I'll grant my little friend two chances, as if I'm paving the way for Lord Fire God a little more. You must not refuse. Chi Luan's attitude was resolute, not giving Chen Yu a chance to refuse. All right then, thank you senior. The first chance I'm going to give you is the Red Dragon True Physique of our Red Sky True Dragon Clan. Cultivating this type of physique will allow you to obtain the defense and recovery attributes of the Dragon Clan greatly enhancing the power of survival for little friend. The dragon race's greatest pride was their defense and vitality. As long as they were not killed on the spot, they were able to recover. If Chen Yu was able to cultivate this type of physique, paired with the body of the king's wrath, which was able to resist and recover blood, he would be invincible on the battlefield. He was beginning to look forward to it. There is no rush. Little friend you can slowly cultivate the red dragon true body here. Senior, how long does it take to cultivate this red dragon true body roughly? Chen Yu only had one year of life expectancy now. If the cultivation time was too long, then he might lose his little life during the cultivation process. For a human with excellent talent, it would normally take 10 years of cultivation to become a minor success. Eh, senior, why don't you forget about it? I think I might not be able to wait for that day. 10 years, this was not killing him. Young friend don't be anxious. What I said is that it takes 10 years under normal circumstances. Old me still has a quick way to achieve success. It only takes seven days. Chen Yu's eyes lit up and asked, What method? To help you change your blood. To change it to our dragon clan's bloodline. The dragon clan's supreme bloodline. Ah, uh, that's okay? Shi Luan nodded. It all depends on little friend's wishes. If you feel it's not right you cannot change it. This was the supreme bloodline of the dragon race. How could Chen Yu not change it? Then I will listen to senior. Change the blood. Good good good. Wait a little while. Then I will help you change your blood. I will give you a second chance first. Chen Yu's sense of anticipation pulled full, wanting to know what the second chance was. He watched with his own eyes as Chi Luan took out an object from the void. Fist-sized, oval-shaped, with a slightly raised surface, much like some sort of fruit. This is the greatest treasure of our Red Sky True Dragon Clan, the Red Heart Reincarnation Fruit. The Red Heart Reincarnation Fruit blossoms every 1,000 years, bears fruit for 1,000 years, and matures for 3,000 years, making it very rare. Chiluan looked at the fruit in his hand with pride, a fruit that took a total of 5,000 years to pick. This was too much. Chun Yu couldn't believe it. At the same time, he was curious about the efficacy of this red heart reincarnation fruit, believing that it was absolutely heaven defying. Red Luan slowly explained, the red heart reincarnation fruit is not easy to grow. Even I only have this one. As long as one consumes it, it is equivalent to having a second life. Chen Yu's expression shook. What? A second life? then why don't you consume it? It was strange that he did not consume the red heart reincarnation fruit when Chi Luan was about to die. Chi Luan shook his head. It's useless even if I eat it. I'm dying due to my lifespan coming to an end. And the red heart reincarnation fruit can only work in the case of a sudden death, or a direct decapitation by an opponent. There aren't really many creatures in the blue star that want to decapitate me. Chi Luan smiled with a confident expression. That's why giving it to little friend was the best decision. Chen Yu received the Red Heart Reincarnation Fruit handed over by Chi Luan with an excited mood. Eat it now. It's not safe to keep it on your body. Okay. Senior. Chen Yu ate the Red Heart Reincarnation Fruit one bite at a time in front of Chi Luan. The flavor was similar to an apple. It was quite sweet. And there was nothing abnormal after eating it. As if he hadn't eaten it. 
Then I'll help my little friend change his blood. I said I just accidentally uploaded it with a shaky hand. Do you believe me? Ah, I have to work overtime again tomorrow. I'm sorry for your trouble. Senior, let me tell you first. I will replace your blood with the purest essence blood of my own body later. Wasn't your own essence used to cast the first entity for the fire god dragon? Why is there still essence blood? Sheila Wen explained. It is true that my essence was offered to Lord Fire God, but Lord Fire God does not need the power of my bloodline. And even if this bloodline were to enter Lord Fire God's body, it would be vaporized instantly. Somewhat ashamed, he continued, the level of my bloodline is too low, and the essence blood in it has already been extracted from me. So that's how it was, Chen Yu realized. The process of replacing the blood later will be very painful. Little friend must hold on, never give up halfway, otherwise it is likely to be life-threatening. Chun Yu nodded solemnly. He had experienced excruciating pain before when he practiced Jun Wrath. Could it be that this blood exchange was even more painful than a lightning strike? Senior, I am ready. You can start any time. Chen Yu meditated in place to adjust his physical state. Ready to receive the injection of fresh blood and obtain the purebred dragon bloodline. Good. I really did not look at the wrong person. There was no lack of praise in Chi Luan's eyes. He originally had no choice but to speak against his will and praise Chen Yu in order to make Lord Fire God happy. But after a short period of contact, he found that this young man was far beyond his imagination and was by no means a pool animal. It seemed that Lord Fire God's vision was excellent, and choosing Chen Yu as a parasitic object was the most correct decision. Chi Luan watched Chen Yu enter his state and reminded, Little friend hold back, I'm starting, Firefire Fire accompanied at the side. Looking nervous, it looked at Chi Luan with an almost commanding look. If it dared to harm Chen Yu, it would definitely not spare him. Chi Luan nodded at it, acting confidently. Afterward, he first extracted the blood from Chun Yu's body, and when about half of it was extracted, he began to infuse the Red Sky True Dragon's Essence blood into it. The two steps of extracting ordinary blood and infusing the True Dragon's Essence blood were carried out at the same time. Chen Yu was like a reservoir, being extracted and injected at the same time. Not only that, the cells of his entire body had to endure the baptism of the True Dragon's Essence blood in order to achieve the effect of cleansing the bones and removing the marrow. Rewashing his entire body in order to achieve the strength of the Red Sky True Dragon Clan. The pain of the process could be imagined. Even more painful than the previous Thunder Tribulation. While the Thunder Tribulation could not withstand it and could still be forced into a coma. The blood exchange process could not be comatose. One had to maintain a high level of concentration at all times. And Shen Yu also had to personally guide and receive the True Dragon's Essence blood into all parts of his body to ensure that every part of his body had completed the baptism. Skin. Muscles. Meridians, bones, nerves and other tissues are new under the action of the true dragon blood. As the blood exchange continued, Chen Yu's body gradually exuded an aura that only the dragon race possessed. Chi Luan's face showed joy. He knew it was going to be a success. Five hours later, Chen Yu's entire body was drenched in sweat. He clenched his teeth and struggled to support himself. His face was somewhat deformed under the stimulation of the continuous pain. With the last drop of essence blood being injected and the last drop of ordinary blood being withdrawn. The blood exchange process was finally completed. What flowed through Chen Yu's body from this moment onwards was the supreme bloodline of the Red Sky True Dragon Clan. He breathed a long sigh of relief and slowly opened his eyes, his nervousness gradually calming down and his tired body being relieved. Chen Yu examined all parts of his body and could deeply feel that his skin, muscles, bones, meridians, etc. had been greatly strengthened, and this was not the effect he had gotten from sacrificing his lifespan. With his current physical strength, even if he stood here and let a 7th grade martial artist attack at will, he would not be in any danger. This was the strength of the Red Sky True Dragon Bloodline. Since you have obtained our Dragon Clan's Supreme Bloodline, then start cultivating the Red Dragon True Body. With the added power of the Bloodline, and the fact that Chen Yu was still located in the 10th layer where the True Dragon's aura was the richest, it was only a matter of time before he could cultivate the Red Dragon True Body. Subsequently, he began to cultivate the Red Dragon True Body as described and taught by Chi Luan. Without realizing it, three days had passed. All the other students had completed this cultivation and gained a lot, with their strength improving significantly. Cultivating in the dragon sacrifice domain for three days could be worth three months of cultivation outside. And this was the terror of the dragon sacrifice domain. The reason why everyone fought to get in. Of course, for Chen Yu, it would be more than three months. Under the reception of Elder Yang, everyone began to evacuate. When Yang Lao counted the number of people, he found that one was missing. He was just about to enter it to check. When Shi Luan's voice sounded in his mind, there is another one here with me. He won't be going out until a few days later. Yang Lao's eyes with drunkenness snapped to life. 
This was the first time Lord Divine Dragon had left someone extra inside. He counted the number of people again and realized that the missing person was none other than Chen Yu. This son is unlimited. He couldn't help but sigh. Afterward, Elder Yang brought over a hundred people out of the Dragon Sacrifice Domain and resealed the forbidden restrictions. And the Dragon Sacrifice Domain was once again sealed and reopened three months later. Outside the Dragon Sacrifice Domain, Sunny hummed a little song as he walked over to Sun Shangyong and asked, Second brother, how was it? Has that Chen Yu been defeated by you? Sun Shangyong was an intermediate ninth grade grandmaster. Chen Yu was only at the early eighth grade, not a level at all. It wasn't easy for him to be defeated by Chen Yu. It was fine if he didn't say it. As soon as he said it, Sun Shangyong's temper came up and he started to look around for Chen Yu's traces. He wanted to avenge the humiliation. This newborn rookie actually dared to despise himself in the dragon sacrifice domain. He was the 14th on the heavenly ranking. Except for those perverts in front of him, he had never been afraid of anyone. Looking around, he did not find Chen Yu's figure. Where is Chen Yu? Sun Shenyang turned to question Sun Yi. Previously, due to cultivation being more important, he hadn't had the time to inform Sun Yi that Chen Yu wasn't on the sixth floor, and Sun Yi didn't know about it yet. Ah, uh, aren't you with him? If I remember correctly, he should be on the sixth floor. He's not on the sixth layer. Teleported above the sixth layer. As for the exact number of layers, Sun Chang would never know, and he couldn't guess that it would be at the tenth layer. How could that be? Lord Divine Dragon clearly said at that time that this brat was on the sixth layer. Why would he continue to rise? The two were puzzled. Whatever. From now on, I'm going to eat this kid. As soon as you discover his location, tell me immediately. Sun Chengyong angrily left the Dragon Sacrifice Domain. Although he did not give Chen Yu a good lesson in the Dragon Sacrifice Domain, this brat had completely angered Sun Yi's second brother. He knew best what kind of temper Sun Chengyong had. Chen Yu was going to be finished. Fifth day. The quiet tenth layer suddenly shook as all of the red sky true dragon breath surged towards Chen Yu's body, which was like an endless vortex, constantly devouring the surrounding true dragon breath. In an instant, horrifying might erupted from Chen Yu's body. Chen Yu opened his eyes, and for a moment, his eyes took on a vertical pupil, which quickly recovered as before. The corner of his mouth raised a smile. The red dragon true body had become a reality. Chi Luan, who was leaning on the dragon chair to protect Chen Yu, instantly opened his eyes and rejoiced. It's done. He did not expect Chen Yu to use only five days to complete the cultivation of the red dragon true body, exceeding his expectations. It seemed that Chen Yu had fused the essence blood very well. How does little friend feel? Chi Luan looked forward to Chen Yu's feedback. Chen Yu gazed and felt the red dragon true body. It's very strong. I now feel that my entire body is filled with power. It's worthy of the power of the bloodline of the former clan. The only one in the world. That's good. I really didn't expect young friend to be able to fuse so perfectly with my clan's essence blood and cultivate the red dragon true body so quickly. It seems that Lord Fire God's vision is correct. Chen Yu's heart was filled with gratitude for Senior Red Luan's unstinting gift, and he very much hoped that Senior Red Luan would be able to regain his life as he wished. At the same time, he also understood the bitterness of Senior Chi Luan. The two chances given to him were both to help him improve his personal survivability, so that even if he encountered Force Majeure in the future, he would not directly perish. These past few days have been very good with my little friend. There is no such thing as an unbroken feast under the sky. It is time for you to leave and go do your own thing. Many thanks senior. Then I won't disturb your rest. I'll take my leave first. Chen Yu brought along fire flame and walked towards the outside of the dragon sacrifice domain. After such a torment, the extent of Chi Luan's weakness far exceeded Chen Yu's imagination, and his previous reluctant state was all forcefully feigned. In order to not allow Chen Yu and Lord Fire God to have a psychological burden, the Chi Luan in this state did not have much time remaining. After Chen Yu left, he leaned on the dragon chair, like a dying old man. When the world's great powers, at the moment all the sadness. This day was five days. Chen Yu walked out of the dragon sacrifice domain in a relaxed mood. He first replied to Chen Wei Ran on his cell phone, letting him not worry. He was in closed door cultivation, and then prepared to go back to get a good night's sleep. The past few days had exhausted him. Walking on the way back, from time to time, People threw strange gazes at him. He didn't pay attention to it. At the corner, a person took out his cell phone and dialed a number. Hey, big brother. I found Chun Yu. He's over here in dormitory building number 9. On the other side of the phone, Sun Sheng Yong instantly stopped what he was doing and led a group of people towards dormitory building number 9. Returning to the dormitory, he didn't even take off his clothes and directly lay on the bed, closing his eyes for not a moment before entering dreamland. Less than half an hour. Chun Yu. Get your ass down here. A strong voice resounded under the dormitory building, obviously with hostility. 
The people passing by all stayed far away for fear of being affected themselves. Isn't this the junior senior, Sun Chang Yun, the 14th on the heavenly ranking? Why did he come to our freshman dormitory side? Some people recognized Sun Chang Yun and could not help but speculate. Chen Yu had just entered dreamland when he was woken up. He was in an irritable mood. What's the dog barking at? Can you let me sleep for a while? He chose to ignore it and covered his head with a pillow, trying to isolate the sound. Seeing that no one answered him back upstairs, Sun Chengyang's forehead was covered in black lines. Are you sure Chen Yu walked into this dormitory building? A junior brother next to him nodded repeatedly. Brother Yong, I saw him walk in with my own eyes. After Sun Chengyang left the dragon sacrifice domain, he had specifically instructed in the group that as long as someone saw Chen Yu at the school, they would immediately inform him. After waiting for two days with no news at all, he thought Chen Yu had died inside the dragon sacrifice domain. Today's sudden news excited him. However, he was ignored, and the anger in his heart grew. First mocking, and now ignoring him as the 14th on the heavenly ranking, it could never be tolerated. The few of you take turns shouting for me. Shout until he comes out. A few junior brothers immediately came into the spirit and began to constantly provoke and yell under the dormitory building just to force Chen Yu to come out. Such a big battle attracted many people over to watch. The name Chen Yu was quite famous in the first year, and most people recognized it. Chen Yu has messed with a student from this school this time, and he's also the 14th big brother on the heavenly ranking. No one will help him now. Some people began to gloat. Chen Yu had escaped several dangers before. This time he couldn't avoid it. Who let him be so arrogant every day? It's good to be beaten up by the senior, so that he knows how much he weighs and be more peaceful. Yes, I heard that he's from class 15. Before entering the demonic domain he was just a 4th grade waste. After coming out he's 7th grade. He must have found the demonic ruins in there and gotten something good. Shit luck is so good. If this were me, I'd be even fiercer than him. When the crowd heard Chen Yu's opportunities, they were envious inwardly, but their expressions were jealous, thinking why it was not their turn. Chen Yu, who was lying on the bed, had already rolled over several times and was sleepy. He sat up violently from the bed. Furious, a few dogs have no end in sight. You have to be taught a lesson before you feel comfortable right. Chen Yu's tolerance was limited. He put on his shoes and opened the door to his room, walked outside and stood on the fourth floor, looking down at the few yelling people below. What are you few barking at? Still letting people rest? Seeing Chen Yu show his head, a few people stopped shouting. Sun Shanyang walked out and looked towards the fourth floor with scornful eyes. Roll down. Chen Yu's eyes narrowed slightly as he looked downstairs at this somewhat familiar figure. Aren't you the fool from that day? He remembered. This one was the beanbatch from the sixth floor of the dragon sacrifice domain. Something wrong? Sun Chengyang was already holding his breath. And now that he was also called a fool in public, his violent temper instantly went to his head. Kid, if you can walk out of this dormitory building today, I'll take your last name. The people watching from the side were stunned. A first year freshman dared to call the 14th fool of the heavenly ranking. Don't want to die? Chen Yu knew that if he didn't beat this bastard into submission, he wouldn't stop today. With a sigh, he directly jumped down from the fourth floor, with his physical strength, not to mention the fourth floor, even if he jumped down from the tenth floor, he would not die, he landed firmly, splashing a piece of dust, is it a single fight or a group fight, if it's a group fight you guys will hurry up, I'm still in a hurry to go back to sleep, arrogant, extremely arrogant, a freshman dared to speak out so provocatively, those who didn't know would think that he had lived long enough, Sun Chengyang was a mid-ninth grade grandmaster ah, a little stronger than Chu Hongxing from earlier. There really weren't many people who dared to mess with him in Tianyun University. Sun Chengyong was amused. Well well well, your tone is exactly like what my third brother described. We'll see if you can still speak when you're lying on the ground later. You're talking about Sun Yi, right? That bastard's IQ is about the same as yours. No wonder he's not a blood brother. Chen Yu now knew the reason why Sun Chengyong was looking for trouble for himself. The crowd was silent. He was really daring to say it. Sun Chengyang never wanted to continue with the nonsense. His eyes were shadowy as he walked towards Chen Yu. He wanted to personally teach this mouthy person a lesson today, letting this kid know that the people of the Sun family were not to be messed with. Everyone next to him consciously retreated 50 meters, leaving an open space for the two, preventing them from being injured by mistake. Chen Yu has an indifferent look on his face. It's only the middle of the ninth grade. It's not the martial spirit realm. Of course, even if he was at the martial spirit realm, he still didn't care. He could just try out the results of this period of time to see how effective the stacking of the June Wrathful Body and the Red Dragon True Body was. And by the way, he had collected Sun Chengyang's 14th in the Heavenly Ranking. This Heavenly Ranking qualification was related to his later plans and was extremely important. Sun Chengyang did not place Chen Yu in his heart. 
An early 8th grade martial artist was not something to be taken casually, he did not even cast a secret technique, wanting to crush him with pure strength to let everyone know that he was not to be messed with. Ninth grade was already the pinnacle for most martial artists, a realm that regular people worshipped. When a martial artist reaches the ninth rank, the way of cultivation will undergo some transformation. Before the ninth rank it is the most ordinary way of cultivation, through the accumulation of strength over time to enhance strength and complete the realm breakthrough. Of course, Chen Yu was the exception. He had never experienced the troubles of realm enhancement since the fourth grade. As long as he lived long enough to make a direct sacrifice, there would not be any of the various problems that plagued other people and it was even more unlikely that he would experience a stagnant realm. Once a martial artist reached the ninth rank, they could draw trace amounts of source chi from nature. This source chi was a special natural attribute that could change a creature's own attributes from the root. For humans, these source chi was a necessary prerequisite for breaking through the martial spirit realm, and only by absorbing a sufficient amount of heaven and earth source chi could one accomplish an essential breakthrough and break away from the realm of ordinary people and ordinary martial artists. Sun Chung Yang was at the middle of the ninth grade and had started to come into contact with this source chi a year ago. That was why his fighting strength was so strong that even three eighth grade martial artists together were no match for him. Come on, let me see what you're capable of? Sun Chung Yang held his head high with a confident expression. He wanted Chen Yu to make the first move before completely crushing him. It would be most enjoyable to crush the other party physically and psychologically. You really let me strike first? Chen Yu's otherworldly expression caused Sun Chang Yang to mutter in his heart but his powerful strength gave him confidence. Looking at this Dusha bag's confident face, Chun Yu smiled and said, This is what you said oh, don't back out later. Ha, if I go back on my word, I am your grandson. Sun Cheng Yong directly put his words here. He did not believe that Chun Yu could make any waves. Then I will not be polite. Chen Yu's eyes condensed as a pair of vertical pupils appeared. This was the most obvious outward feature after using the red dragon true body. At the same time, a powerful aura that only belonged to the dragon race began to escape from him in all directions. The first to bear the brunt was Sun Cheng Yong. Unable to withstand the onslaught of aura that hit him, he took a step backward out of his body's instinct. His eyes were horrified as he stared at Chen Yu in disbelief. This, isn't this the true dragon aura from the dragon sacrifice domain? Why is it so strong on you? Sun Cheng Yong was quite familiar with this aura. He had entered the dragon sacrifice domain many times, and each time, he could only manage to absorb some of the aura for realm enhancement and flesh consolidation, and had not at all reached the level of Chun Yu's outward release of dragon aura. What did you do in the dragon sacrifice domain? Sun Chun Yang was filled with questions. You were afraid? How could I be? It's just some muddled breath. Do you really think you can defeat me? Sun Chun Yang was indeed surprised inside, but was even more confident in his own strength. Even if this kid had gotten some favors inside the dragon sacrifice domain, there was no way he could be his opponent. What about this? As soon as Chen Yu's words fell, another majestic might erupted from him. The Jun Wrath had been opened. The Red Dragon True Body coupled with the body of Jun Wrath. This was Chen Yu's current strongest state. The Red Dragon True Body mainly favored personal increase, boosting all aspects of the body's attributes, and did not have a suppressive effect on others, adding a bit of intimidation at most. The body of the King's Wrath was different. The King's Might would first create invisible pressure in the hearts of all those around him. And then there was the realm suppression. Under the double suppression, the opponent's strength would be greatly reduced, and even lose the idea of resistance. When Chen Yu turned the body of the monarch's wrath on, the suppression realm then unfolded, covering a radius of 200 meters. Everyone within that range would be forced to accept the effects of the suppression field, and even if they immediately ran out of it, the effect would last for several minutes, which could be said to be quite terrifying. 200 meters, no more and no less. All those watching the show were enveloped within it. Within that field, the highest realm was Sun Cheng Yong, whose realm had been hardened from the middle of the ninth rank to the late eighth rank, and had such an effect thanks to the extremely large amount of energy burned that day, coupled with the help of the fire fire. Otherwise, even if one broke through to the nine heavens of June Wrath, it would be impossible to have such an effect. Sun Cheng Yong man was dumbfounded. In just an instant, he inexplicably felt that his realm had returned to the late eighth grade which was more terrifying than seeing a ghost. Late 8th grade to mid 9th grade he had been cultivating for 3 whole years. 3 years of hard work turned into bubbles in an instant. He couldn't accept it. What have you done? Sun Cheng Yong looked flustered and angrily questioned Chen Yu. A mid 9th grade powerhouse was suppressed like this, and the suppression effect was even more pronounced for the others, especially the martial artists below the 6th grade. A 5th grade martial artist suddenly could not feel the martial aura in his body anymore, just like an ordinary person. He checked over and over again in horror, not sensing anything. Mom, I've seen a ghost. He cried out. 
The other's reactions were no less than his, and ghostly cries rang out from the crowd. Crap, what's wrong with me? Why can't I sense the martial artist aura in my body anymore? I'm clearly a sixth grade martial artist. How come I'm only at second grade cultivation? Sixth grade turning into second grade, fifth grade and below turning into an ordinary person. Anyone else would have to collapse. Chen Yu looked at the reactions of the people around him and was quite satisfied. With a shameful smile on the corner of his mouth, he said to Sun Shengyang, Weren't you quite calm just now? Why are you panicking now? Sun Shengyang glared angrily and roared once again. What the hell have you done to us? Chen Yu did not reply back to him, but approached step by step. As the distance between the two sides approached, the might of the monarch became more and more powerful. Sun Shengyang had difficulty in resisting, his heart was in fear, and he kept retreating backward, until there was no way to retreat. He was ruthless and began to cast his strongest skill, S-rank secret art, heavenly desire rage. This was similar to Zhao Huilin's Stormblood, both of which rapidly increased strength, but the effect of the S-rank secret art was much stronger. Under the heavenly desire rage's boost, Sun Xingyang's realm was barely back to the midnight rank. Under normal circumstances, it could be raised to the half-step martial spirit realm, but it was a pity that he had the effect of suppressing the realm on him, and even the effects of the secret arts were suppressed. Even if your strength is suppressed, I can still waste you. Sun Chang never knew the exact reason for the lowering of the realm, but he knew that it must be related to Chen Yu. As long as this brat was taken care of, the realm could definitely be restored. Hey, didn't you say to let me make the first move? I haven't even made a move yet. What's your hurry? I seem to remember someone saying just now that they would be my grandson if they reneged. Did I hear you right? Chen Yu laughed and taunted, not caring that the other party was still at ninth rank strength. Die for me. Sun Shengyang became infuriated and rushed over. Just let me try the strength of this new body. Chen Yu's body was already comparable to a purebred dragon race to a certain extent, but he did not know exactly how strong it was, so he wanted to test the waters with Sun Shengyang. Sun Shengyang carried the suppression field and vowed to waste Chen Yu. He hissed, adding to his aura, even if that's the case, I can still kill you in seconds. What he had seen since he was a child made him feel that it was impossible to win against a ninth rank at the beginning of the eighth rank. It was only a pity that today's opponent was Chen Yu, which would completely change his perception. The two were about to approach, and the S-rank secret technique Heavenly Desire Rage that Sun Shengyang had performed had already been drawn out to its fullest, his strength infinitely approaching that of before he was suppressed. Sun Shengyang, in order to be foolproof, his right hand instantly lit up with dazzling red flames. This was his second S-rank secret art, Stormy Flame Lava Fist. As the second youngest master of the Sun family, not only was he stronger than Sun Yi, he had received better family resources and possessed two major S-rank secret arts. The flames released by the storm flame lava fist came from the core of a volcano. Even steel could be melted instantly, not to mention the flesh of an ordinary martial artist, which could be easily penetrated. Normally, Sun Chang would never use the secret art because the killing power was too strong. The opponent would be crippled without dying, and the punch would surely kill and injure. Today, he was overwhelmed by anger and wanted to waste Chen Yu despite everything and then he violently swung his fist towards Chen Yu's head, completely unconcerned about the consequences. Chen Yu's pupils shrank. This kid was going to play with him. In that case, he was not going to be polite. Steeply, he also moved. Not to run away, but to meet him head on. He wanted to know if this body could resist this appallingly powerful punch. He didn't use any secret technique enhancements, and only confronted it through physical strength. Fist to fist, the most primitive way of attacking and also the most painful channel of victory. Using his fists to hold his opponent down and rub him on the ground, this was the most enjoyable. Boom! The two fists collided together. The vibration ripples continued to spread out in all directions. The powerful shockwave shook both of them back five steps, evenly split in terms of power. The flames in Sun Chengyong's hands unexpectedly dimmed a tiny bit after the first collision. His eyes quickly locked onto the hand that Chen Yu had clashed with his and found it intact. Not even the skin was broken. Impossible. In his heart, he was clear about the power and penetration of the violent flame lava fist, an ordinary martial artist would see bones even if they were contaminated with a little bit of it, but Chen Yu was not in the least bothered, could it be that his flesh was made of super alloy material? This guess is definitely not reasonable. In addition to this, what shocked Sun Shengyang even more was that his opponent's strength was equal to his own, he was a ninth grade, the other party was only an 8th grade, and he also had the addition of two major S-rank secret arts, so how could this happen? He was a bit unable to understand this new student in front of him. Everything displayed on his body was out of his imagination. However, he did not feel that he would lose. Even if he consumed today, he would consume this kid to death. On the contrary, Chen Yu had a flash of excitement in his eyes. 
Not only because of the result of the confrontation just now, there was also a detail that even Sun Sheng Yang himself had not noticed. The energy released from his earlier violent flame lava fist had been absorbed by Qing Yu, and the body of Jun Rath had begun to function, actively absorbing the energy released from the battlefield. That punch was like a stimulant injected into Chun Yu's body, causing his state to rise to another level. If Sun Chen Yang knew about this, he would have been so angry that he would have spat out blood. A little bit of the effect of the attack didn't come out, and he even added attributes for someone else. Come on, continue. This time, it was Chen Yu who took the lead in launching the attack. He wanted to see what the final result would be. Both sides were moving at breakneck speeds, constantly launching attacks. Sun Chen Yang fought impatiently. Every punch and kick was at full strength, heading towards the opponent's lifeblood. Violent energy fluctuated all over the field. Chen Yu was calm. He didn't want it to end so quickly. Most of the time he was on the defensive, defending while constantly absorbing energy. With the extra energy, he was getting more and more comfortable. Every response was so calm. Sun Chen Yang gradually feel wrong. This kid how to fight more and more fierce. Not a little sign of exhaustion. And even a little tease their own meaning. Even if you are stupid enough to fight for so long, you will also find a clue. He took a backward step and disengaged from the battlefield. His chest began to rise and fall rapidly, and his breathing was a little short. After more than 10 minutes of intense fighting, his hands were slightly numb. You're absorbing the energy I released. Sun Chang Yong uttered a sentence he couldn't believe. He had never seen this kind of bizarre secret technique before. Sucking it in while fighting, who would be able to withstand this? Can suck can fight even if, he can also resist. He simply cannot break the defense. This also play a hair awe. You kid really elm brain ah, only now reacted. But it's already too late. Chen Yu had sucked in energy for 10 minutes. At this time, he was frighteningly strong. He was like a nuclear bomb that was about to explode and had to be released. The object of release was of course Sun Chen Yong. Come on, let me release the fire. Chen Yu was no longer playing around. His purpose had been accomplished. The body of Jun Rath's absorption of battlefield energy was very effective. Not only did it allow him to continue fighting, but it also allowed him to build up a wave of energy and then release it all at once, achieving the effect of surprise. Sun Xingyang's eyes suddenly changed and began to produce fear. This was the first time he was afraid of an 8th ranked martial artist, completely and utterly convincing him. But for the sake of his 14th name on the heavenly ranking, he could not retreat. He clenched his teeth and charged forward once again. Bang! This time, the winner came out instantly. A figure flew out backwards and ruthlessly smashed into the wall. Yes. Chen Yu released the energy in his body and felt a burst of violent joy. Sun Chen Yang was not so happy. He was spitting blood from his mouth and lay on the ground, unable to even get up. You, you, he fainted after saying two words. From this moment onwards, Chen Yu replaced Sun Chen Yang's position and became the 14th in the heavenly ranking. He withdrew his Jun Wrath body and Red Dragon True body, and the suppression field disappeared with it. The pressure on the crowd suddenly decreased, but it would take a while for their own realms to recover. There were hundreds of people present, and many of these people had appeared on the day Chu Chuanhai had entered the school, and they had gathered around to watch the scene of Chun Yu being threatened. At that time, they were not clear about Chun Yu's strength, thinking that this kid was just purely tough talking and pretentious, relying on himself to be the first in the hunting competition and not putting other people in his eyes. And if not for director Han's timely intervention, he would have probably been killed on the spot. Today's battle completely changed their views. An 8th grade strength crushing a mid 9th grade grandmaster had complete arrogant capital. They did not dare to look directly at Chen Yu. And emotions such as jealousy and hatred gradually disappeared, being convinced by his terrifying strength. So, no matter where the fist is the first word, as long as your fist is hard enough, others will change their words. Sleep. Sleep. Chen Yu finished dealing with his troubles and went upstairs with a yawn. Chen Yu slept from 2 in the afternoon to 9 in the evening, got up and simply washed up and walked towards the outside of the school. It was time to get down to business. Chu family. This period of time was surrounded by a mournful atmosphere. First of all, the Chu family's most talented Chu Yun of this generation was scrapped. And in just two weeks time, his realm had fallen from the late seventh grade to the fifth grade, which could be considered very tragic. Without a year, he was basically an ordinary person. For Chu Yun, what was the difference between this and death? From a genius that everyone admired to a waste, this was even harder to accept than killing him but he had an obsession in his heart. Even if he died, he would have to kill Chun Yu before he died. Secondly, Chu Chuanhai failed to achieve his goal. As the head of the Chu family, the strongest person, Chu Yun's father, even he did not take down Chen Yu. Other people are even more hopeless. Chu Chuanhai through many inquiries, know the hiding place of Chen Yu's parents, but he cannot do anything. 
The terrifying giant that was the Heavenly Criminal Bureau was not at all inferior to the Heavenly Cloud University, and they belonged to a neutral organization that was not under the jurisdiction of any force, and to a certain extent had autonomy within the Dragon Kingdom. Anyone who dares to trespass will be directly executed on the spot, and it will not be like Han Shuren giving you a chance and letting you off the hook. Chen you this kid to his parents to buy or the highest level of S-Class Guard package. A total of 6 Martial Spirit Realm Strong Protection Security. Even if not in the Tianjing Bureau inside there can not have the opportunity to start. So he could only bite his teeth and swallow inside his stomach. Taking Chen Yu's family without any help. On a building directly opposite the Chu family. Chen Yu sat on the rooftop looking at the night view of Kyoto. Which was beautifully illuminated. From time to time. His eyes glanced at the door of the Chu family. After waiting for about half an hour. Two people walked out from inside. Old four. Our Chu family is almost in chaos. Big brother doesn't care about anything every day. He just wants to avenge his nephew. Going on like this isn't a solution ah. Chu Hong Xing sighed and shook his head. Alas, I have always treated Yuner as my own son. Yuner is the hope of our Chu family. Being ruined by that kid from the Chen family. If I have the chance I must break him into pieces. He glanced at his palm again. After being penetrated by the weird flame that day, it had not healed until now and was vaguely painful. This made his hatred for Chen Yu a few points deeper. Chu Baishan's face was slightly disheveled. As Chu Yun's second uncle, he was naturally heartbroken. That brat Chen Yu has been hiding in Tianyun University and not coming out. Or else I would be the first one to chop off his hands and feet. So you guys can continue to vent your anger. No more talk. Drink and go. I hope that the big man that big brother is looking for this time can help Yuner. The conversation between the two was clearly heard by Chen Yu. That boy Chu Yun is still saved? That would be interesting. The corner of his mouth lifted as a playful smile appeared. He landed from the roof of the building with a few borrowed leaps, hiding in the shadows and following closely behind the two. Chu Hongxing and Chu Batian arrived at a large stall not far from their home, ordered a lot of barbecue and beer, and began to eat and drink. Chen Yu was hiding in the corner of the alley not far away, silently watching the two. After three rounds of drinking, Chu Hongxing drank almost ten bottles of beer, and the urge to urinate hit him. I'm going to go for a convenience. Leave me some of the roasted waste ah, don't eat it all. Chu Hongxing staggered to his feet and walked towards a side alley. This alley was not lighted and was in a surveillance dead zone. From time to time, people came over for convenience. Chu Hongxing held onto the wall and walked inside the alley, looking for a feng shui treasure, wanting to release some. He did not notice a person standing in the darkness next to him. S-H-H-H-H-S-H-H-H-H. Chu Hongxing closed his eyes and showed a soothing expression. After peeing he shook his body and fastened his pants, ready to go back and continue eating and drinking. Turning around, a dark shadow suddenly appeared in front of him, startling him. You're fucking sick. You like watching me pee so much. I'm still more interested in your life. Chen Yu whispered. Chu Hongxing then realized that something was wrong. Drunkenness instantly lost a large part of him. He squinted his eyes to see who it was. With the help of the weak moonlight, finally saw clearly. Is not he hated Chen Yu? This kid actually sent himself to the door. Simply do not know how to die. Last time did not grasp the opportunity to let this kid ran. This kind of thing is not likely to appear a second time. Chu Hung acted to make sure to take down Xin Yu. Wanted to call on Chu Batian who was drinking beside him. Chu Batian was a midnight grade grandmaster. His strength was a little stronger than him. And the two of them could definitely capture this brat by joining forces. He opened his mouth and tried to shout. Chun Yu grabbed his neck with lightning speed. The suppression field unfolded in a small area. The red dragon true body opened. And in an instant, Chu Hongxing was caught off guard. Fingers suddenly lashed out. Snapping his neck viciously, not giving him the slightest chance to react. With Chen Yu's physical strength, killing Chu Hongxing, who was paralyzed by alcohol, was as easy as a slap in the face. Besides, the other party did not even have time to resist. Chu Hongxing did not expect Chen Yu to be so ruthless. His pupils began to lax. His consciousness gradually blurred. His body became more and more unable to use his strength. And he slowly softened. The ninth grade grandmaster of the hall died without even a chance to struggle. His body lay horizontally in the dirty alley. Very miserable. 92 years of secondary lifespan plundered. Chen Yu finished plundering his lifespan and disappeared from the alley. Chu Batian was still there drinking. He looked at the only two bunches of cashews left on his plate. Swallowed his saliva. And shouted at the alley. Old four. Taking a piss for so long ah. If you don't come back I'll eat all the cashews ah. No one responded to him. Chu Batian picked up the bottle and poured another mouthful of beer. Before the beer went down in his mouth. Suddenly. His body shook and he seemed to feel that something was wrong. He spat out the beer in his mouth and got up to walk towards the alley. According to Chu Hongxing's drinking capacity, 
It was impossible for this amount of beer to drink him down. There must be something wrong. Chubatian quickly walked to the alley, and before he could enter, he saw a pair of feet sticking out. With a horrified expression, he dodged and walked in, then bent down and carried Chu Hongxing out from inside. Old four, what's wrong with you? Chu Batian carried Chu Hongxing outside and began to check. There was no breath, no pulse, and the heart had stopped. The neck had been broken hard. Chu Hongxing was killed inside the alley. A ninth grade grandmaster was killed in the street without any signs. Chu Baishan's rage was hard to suppress. His eyes swept around and he roared violently. Who is it? I'm going to kill you. No matter how much he shouted, he couldn't change the fact that his own brother had been killed. This is just the beginning. Don't get excited. The good show has to come slowly. Chun Yu in the distance put on his hat and lightly chortled, walking towards the school without looking back. Chu Batian took out his cell phone with trembling hands and dialed Chu Chuan Hai's number. It was 12 o'clock and Chu Chuan Hai still hadn't gone to bed. He saw that it was Chu Batian calling and immediately answered. Before he could inquire, an urgent voice came from the other side of the phone. Da, big brother, fourth, fourth brother he. Chu Chuan Hai frowned. Big brother, can you speak fully? Stuttering my ass. Chu Batian took a deep breath. Fourth brother was killed. What? Chu Chuan Hai violently stood up. His expression shocked in disbelief. He stood in place for a long time, unable to accept the news. Chun Yu, I must kill your entire family. A monstrous roar emanated from the Chu family compound. Chen Yu returned to school, simply dealt with two bites and continued to sleep. The next day, Saturday, was a vacation. Chen Yu got up early and made a call to Su Ruler Jing. Are you free today? The other side of the phone had obviously just gotten up, and after a slight hesitation his voice was a bit excited. I thought you couldn't get out in the dragon sacrifice domain. Say, where to gather? Chen Yu replied back, the school cafe. I will take you to do something big. Hearing about the big event, Su Ruler Jing's sleepiness was gone and he hurriedly got up and washed up, then went out. When Chen Yu arrived at the cafe, Su Shu Jing was already waiting for him. What flavor do you drink? Whatever. It's all good. Waiter, bring the most bitter one. Don't add sugar. Su Ruler Jing said to a waiter next to him. Okay, you wait a moment. The corner of Chen Yu's mouth twitched. Good fellow. When I say casual, you are really casual. Su Ruler Jing stirred the coffee in his hands with a spoon and said carelessly, This is what I learned from the internet. As long as other people say casual, then order the toughest set meal. Make sure he won't say it later. Chen Yu burst into a bitter smile. Count your ruthlessness. Say, what are you taking me to do today? Su Ruler Jing was curious. Chen Yu called him up so early in the morning. There must be something important. You should know about the life spirit domain and the death spirit domain. Su Ruler Jing's hand holding the spoon lurched and stopped in midair. Raising his head to look at Chen Yu with a different look. You are really bold. You've only been in college for less than a month and you want to enter this. Aren't you afraid of death? Of course he knew about the spirit of life domain and spirit of death domain, which was the most mysterious outer space of blue star. Both the spirit of life domain and the spirit of death domain were relatively independent spaces that were not on blue star, but had special connecting channels with blue star. Their existence itself was something very strange, or perhaps, they were more like a kind of hub station connecting various planets, connecting different planets in series in parallel, and creatures from different planets could enter this hub station, yet could not reach the planets that did not belong to them. There were many ancient ruins in the living spirit domain and the dead spirit domain, and it was as if these ruins had been put there on purpose, and then attracted creatures from different planets to enter them and loot them. It was once speculated that the life spirit domain and death spirit domain might have been created by some kind of ultra high class life form for other creatures to enjoy for entertainment. There were as many as hundreds of thousands of known hub stations connected to the blue planet, which meant that there were at least hundreds of thousands of planets that were connected to the planet where Chen Yu was located, yet were unable to interoperate. A long time ago, some people had divided them into two main categories based on their characteristics, the living spirit domain and the dead spirit domain, of which more than 99. 999% were living spirit domains. The creatures in the living spirit domain were more normal, conforming to the creatures that humans remembered, and also conforming to the laws of nature. But the dead spirit domain was different. The creatures in it were bizarre, completely inconsistent with the laws of nature, and could not be scrutinized with normal human thinking as they wanted to be. Until now, humans have never understood how the creatures in the necromantic domain were born and how they disappeared. The creatures in the necromantic domain were disorganized chaotic, and random, like failures in the hands of the creator, thrown in there at random. Therefore, the level of danger in it was far higher than that of the living spirit domain, and those below the strength of a martial exalt would surely die if they entered it. You really want to go in? 
strong as Su ruler Jing did not dare to enter easily. Chen Yu nodded with firm eyes. This was also the reason why he wanted to take Sun Qingyang's position on the heavenly ranking. In Tianyun University, only the top 100 on the heavenly ranking were qualified to enter the living spirit domain. As for the deadly spirit domain, no students were allowed to enter. It was usually led by a martial saint powerhouse, with a national level heavy weapon unit opening the way, and would only enter the dead spirit domain once every few years. Each entry into the necromantic spirit domain would bring unimaginable opportunities to humanity, and even affect the direction of human evolutionary development. It's fine. Let's start with the lower level living spirit domain. The creatures in there aren't much stronger than the magical beasts on our blue planet, and the two of us are fully capable of handling them. Then why are you still looking for me to form a team? Su ruler Jing bristled. Uh, after all, it's the first time I'm going in, so it's more reassuring to have the two of us together. You'll be going in later anyway, might as well get used to it earlier. Just as Chun Yu said, Su Xu Jing planned to enter the spirit of life domain next semester, and since he had been invited, there was no argument for refusal. It was true that it was a bit dangerous in the living spirit domain, but there were too many opportunities to be compared to relying on one's own cultivation. Alright then, how many levels of the living spirit domain are you going to start with? This was the question that Su Ruler Jing was concerned about. The living spirit domain was divided into nine levels according to their own levels. The first level living spirit domain was the weakest. Most of the creatures inside were not as strong as third order magical beasts, and were dominated by ordinary creatures. The ninth level spiritual domain was the strongest, and the weakest creatures in it were comparable to human martial spirit realm powerhouses, making it extremely dangerous. Most importantly, not only would one encounter savage creatures with low intelligence in the birth spirit domain, one would also encounter advanced creatures that were comparable to human intelligence, and these creatures were the most dangerous. Let's start with the fifth level living spirit domain. You kid is really not afraid of death. Coming up to level 5 right away. There was no spatial jade used to save one's life in the living spirit domain. There were only specific teleportation stations inside, which were built one by one by humans using thousands of years of time to come back and teleport. One had to arrive at the teleportation station in order to return to the blue star. If one encountered danger outside of a teleportation station, that would be troublesome. Calm down. It's not the dead spirit domain. The tiny living spirit domain isn't just a matter of taking it. With the strength of the two of us, level 5 is no problem at all. Su ruler Jing sighed helplessly, but still agreed. Right. You still don't have a heavenly ranking qualification. Right. Quickly get one. With Su Shikijing's strength, he was completely capable of entering the top 50 of the heavenly ranking. It was just that he was shouted over by Chin Yu before he could challenge his senior. You're in a real hurry. I can't just find a random heaven ranking on the way and launch a challenge. Su ruler Jing said helplessly. Look at the one next to him if he looks like Tang Yuan who is the 73rd on the heaven ranking. The two of them twisted their heads to look over, then took out the updated heavenly ranking list and compared it. It was him. Deng Yuan had just sat down and ordered a cup of coffee, drinking it leisurely, completely unaware that he was being watched. Deng Yuan, you idiot. A clear voice came from the side. Deng Yuan frowned, twisted his head to look around and did not find any abnormality, and thought that he had hallucinated, so he did not pay attention to it. Deng Yuan, you look like a dusha bag. This time there was absolutely no hallucination. Deng Yuan stood up violently and looked at the source of the sound, and found two people with bad smiles on their lips, looking at themselves, it was them who were scolding themselves, anger instantly came up, do you two know who I am, are you impatient to live, Chen Yu had a provocative look on his face and said, what are you looking at, so what if I say you, completely looking for a fight with a bitchy look, making the Su ruler Jing next to him laugh, my big brother said that he can waste you with one hand, Chen Yu managed to dump the contradiction on Su ruler Jing, you brat, Su ruler Jing laughed helplessly, dare to fight with my big brother, whoever loses calls daddy, Deng Yuan managed to be enraged, good, if I don't beat you to death today, my surname is not Deng, the three of them walked out of the coffee shop and went to the school's training room, one minute later, dad, I was wrong, Tan Yuan's face was swollen like a pig's head as he knelt on the ground and begged for forgiveness, after taking down Tang Yuan's heavenly ranking 73, the two uploaded the videos of their respective battle victories into the heavenly ranking system. In less than 5 minutes, the heavenly ranking system finished updating. Shen Yu became the newly promoted 14th on the heavenly ranking, and Su Ruler Jing was the 73rd on the heavenly ranking, and both of them had the power to enter the spirit of life domain after completing the face recognition authentication. Let's go! Today Saturday just happens to be the opening time of the living spirit domain. The opening channels of the life spirit domain were rare and strictly managed. Only the larger powers would have them. 
and Tianyun University would usually only open the life spirit domain on the weekends to allow students to enter. The students who entered were strictly scrutinized, and if their strength was too low it was impossible to allow them to enter the higher level of the life spirit domain to ensure the safety of the students' lives. Life Spirit Domain Teleportation Building The two arrived at their destination and needed face recognition before they could enter it. There were nearly 5, 000 students in Tianyun University, and only 100 people were qualified to enter this. But the teleportation building was still bustling with people coming over one after another. There were a total of two teleportation devices in here, connecting the teleportation stations of more than a thousand living domains, which were all officially determined to have a lower danger factor, suitable for students to enter. Let's both find a teleportation device and line up. Okay, Su Ruler Jing nodded in agreement. The two of them chose a shorter queue and lined up at the back. This teleportation device was similar to the one used to enter the Red Rainbow Demon domain before, but it had a more stable performance and higher security, ensuring that everyone would be accurately teleported to a specific living domain. Chen Yu queued up while also observing the level of the birth spirit domains that other people entered for reference. Most of the 8th grade martial artists would choose the 4th grade spirit domain. The creatures inside were weaker than the 8th grade magical beasts. The safety factor was higher. And there would not be any accidents. 9th grade martial artists would choose the 5th grade spirit domain. After all, they had a strong strength to protect them. Soon, it was Chen Yu and Su Ruler Jing's turn. And the two stood on the teleportation platform. Which birth spirit domain are we going to? Su Ruler Jing asked. Chen Yu scratched his head, somewhat embarrassed. It's my first time teleporting as well. I'm not familiar with it. Then let the system help us pick one at random. Can do. After deciding, Chen Yu first found the general catalog of the level 5 living spirit domain, then clicked on the random filter at the bottom. After a burst of numbers scrolling, it stopped at M79. They would be teleported into this biotic domain. Teleportation is imminent. Please get ready. The beep sounded. The two focused mentally and disappeared into a trance. When consciousness returned again, the two were already standing in another place. Their location was still within a teleportation station, but a teleportation station in the M79 biotic domain. The teleportation station in the M79 biospirit domain was built from super strong alloy, which was not only incredibly hard, but was also equipped with an anti-gravity laser ray field on the periphery. This anti-gravity laser ray field would recognize the genetic sequences of humans, allowing them to enter and exit at will, while other creatures would be treated as targets of attack. Even alien creatures comparable to a strong martial zoon would have to put in some effort to break it open. So as long as one enters inside the teleportation station, they are basically safe. Before leaving the teleportation station, please wear protective clothing. Chen Yu was just about to go out when a mechanical voice came from somewhere, reminding them to put on their protective suits. He almost forgot that this was not the blue star. The air composition and radiation outside were all different. If they did not wear protective clothing they might not be able to go out. He he. This protective suit is quite advanced. After Chen Yu put the special protective suit on his body, the suit could actually automatically change and fit according to his body type, not affecting his movements at all. It seemed to be a high-tech product from the Dragon Kingdom. Something. The two of them put on the protective suit. And only then did they walk towards the outside of the teleportation station to start this M79 biological spirit domain adventure. The environment outside the teleportation station is a bit like the primitive forest of the Blue Planet and there are huge trees in the sky as far as the eye can see, as well as mountains and rivers that can't be seen. The area of this M79 spiritual domain is not small, and it is impossible for two people to finish exploring it in a short period of time. Chen Yu's main purpose for entering here is to hunt the creatures of other planets and plunder their lifespan. As for the ruins and treasures, let it be. If he could encounter them, he would go in and take a look. But if he couldn't, he would still mainly plunder their lifespan. He is now an 8th grade martial artist. Want to promote to the ninth grade martial artist needs 60, 000 years of secondary life. This is not a small amount. I do not know if this trip can not get together. Su Ruler Jing cares even less about the so-called ruins. He just wants to come over to have fun and meet the legendary living spirit domain. And what the aliens in this look like. Chen Yu took out the M79 living spirit domain guidebook and read it. The M79 living spirit domain was created by the connection of the blue star and two other planets. One of them is the yellow Waki planet. The creatures in the yellow Waki planet do not have a high level of intelligence, but they are relatively brutal and will attack all creatures within their field of vision, belonging to the more dangerous alien creatures. The other one is the Machine Cloud Star. The creatures in this planet are similar to the Blue Star, with a high degree of species difference, mainly dominated by the Mecha Race. The individual strength of the Mecha Race is not strong, not even as strong as the ordinary martial artists in the Blue Star, 
but they have extremely high intelligence, advanced technology, and are good at crafting all kinds of mechs, fleets, and high-tech equipment. The mechs made by the Mecha Clan are very well known for their practicality and power. Even the humanoid mechs developed by humans refer to their core design as well as their energy drive method. If one was lucky enough to get a few mechs in the M79 Living Spirit domain and bring them back to Blue Star, there would definitely be people who would pay a big price for them. Kind of interesting. Su Ruler Jing listened with interest from the side, especially since the mecha race piqued his curiosity. He was born into a military family and had seen the army's mechs since he was a child. Even if an ordinary person wore them, they could enhance their combat power tremendously, possessing the ability to change the battlefield. This time, if he could meet the mecha clan, he had to find them to practice, and if he could, it would be best to get a few to go back and play with them. The originally bored mood was suddenly excited. Chen Yu was the same. He hadn't touched a mech since he was a kid and was interested in this aspect. Which man didn't want to wear his favorite mech to ride the battlefield? Chen Yu was one of them anyway. The temptation to plunder life expectancy was all a few points less. And he was even more interested in mechs. The two men looked at each other and could see what the other was thinking. Let's go. Go see if we can encounter the creatures of the mecha race. After putting on the protective suit, the physical sensation was similar to that of Blue Star and they were soon able to adapt to the place. Chen Yu and Su Shujijing left the teleportation station on foot, heading deeper into the M79 Biological Spirit Domain. After Chen Yu and Su Ruler Jing arrived at the M79 Biological Spiritual Domain, people came out one after another from different teleportation stations hundreds of kilometers apart, at least four groups of people. These people came from various provinces and cities in the Dragon Kingdom, with varying powers, but all of them were above the ninth grade Grandmaster and there were even martial spirit realm powerhouses. According to normal circumstances, martial spirit realm powerhouses should not appear in a fifth level biotic domain. After these people arrived at the M79 biological spirit domain, they had a clear purpose and all headed in one direction. After casually decapitating a creature with six legs that somewhat resembled a cow, Chen Yu prepared to plunder its remaining lifespan. This creature clearly belonged to the yellow waki star and was a bit clumsy and naive, not as strong as the sixth rank magical beasts in the blue star. Chen Yu did not hold much hope for its lifespan, the rank was too low, at most it would have a lifespan of 100 years, but the system's beat made him freeze on the spot, remaining lifespan of 6-legged tyrannical bull, 542 years, secondary, is it looted, 542 years, this was too much, how could he not expect a creature this week to have a lifespan of 542 years, it seemed that the creatures of the yellow wing planet couldn't be explained by blue star's perceptions, it was possible that the overall lifespan of all the creatures in Huang Yuan star was much higher than other planets. This was great good news for Chen Yu. It would allow his lifespan to increase rapidly. And 60, 000 years didn't seem to be a distant goal. What are you doing? Such a trashy thing can scare you? Su Ruler Jing looked at Chen Yu with an incredulous expression and was puzzled. With the strength of the two of them, even if they hunted a hundred six-legged tyrannical bulls at once, it would be easy. Chen Yu slowed down and smiled awkwardly. It's nothing. I got lost in thought just now. The uncontrollable smile at the corner of his mouth caused Su Ruler Jing to be greatly puzzled. After taking the 542 years of secondary life into his possession, Chen Yu immediately began to search for the other creatures of the Huang Wan planet. According to this process, it wouldn't be long before he could raise his realm to the ninth grade, entering the M79 Living Spirit domain for most of the day. Chen Yu had been hunting all sorts of strange creatures, and the more he killed, the more energized he became. This confused Su Ruler Jing who was on the side. He was not interested in these low-level creatures at all. Watching the whole show, not even bothering to make a move. He now suspected that Chen Yu had psychological problems. Sadistic? It wasn't something that could be seen normally. The density of the creatures in here was very high, otherwise Chen Yu wouldn't be this excited. Every kill could plunder at least 4-500 years of secondary life. This was much more efficient than on the Blue Star. 10 hours had passed and he had killed a total of more than a hundred yellow walkie star creatures, averaging five minutes to kill one. The total lifespan came to 61, 389 years, which allowed him to advance to a ninth grade grandmaster. And only then did Chen Yu stop hunting and prepare to take a rest. Su Ruler Jing looked at Chen Yu with a different look and said, I think you should find a psychiatrist to take a look. Chen Yu cried and laughed. He could not explain. He could only find an excuse, my hands are itching. It's been a long time since I've killed a magical beast. I did overkill a bit. You call this overkill? It's also bad luck for the creatures of Huang Yuan Star to meet you. No more killing. No more killing. Let's start searching for the mecha race from tomorrow. Chen Yu's purpose had been accomplished, and there was no need to continue plundering for the time being. The time cycle of the M79 Living Spirit Domain was similar to that of the Blue Star. 
and there was also a difference between day and night. The two of them found a secluded location and prepared to rest for the night. Only after Su Ruler Jing entered Dreamland did Chen Yu get up, sacrifice 60, 000 years of secondary lifespan and use it to raise your realm. Lifespan sacrifice begins, 10, 000 years, 20, 000 years, 60, 000 years, sacrifice complete. Remaining lifespan, 1389 years, secondary, host realm, 8th grade martial artist advancement 9th grade grandmaster. 9th grade grandmaster was already the pinnacle of many people's lifetimes, unable to surpass this hurdle, but it was not enough for Chen Yu, his goal was far more than that. How many years of lifespan do I need to sacrifice to advance to the half-step martial spirit realm? A 9th grade grandmaster needs to sacrifice 5, 000 years of void source level lifespan to advance to the half-step martial spirit realm. HSS, difficult to get oh. Chen Yu's face was unsightly. The difficulty of obtaining void origin level lifespans and secondary lifespans was not on the same level. If one could sacrifice secondary lifespans, even a little more would be fine. And sooner or later, they could be plundered inside the M79 living spirit domain. The possessors of void origin level lifespans were half-step martial spirit realm and martial spirit realm powerhouses. Ah, these people's lifespans weren't that easy to obtain. As for the possessors of origin level lifespans who were strong at the level of martial exalted and martial saints, Chen Yu wouldn't even dare to think about it with his current strength. People could slap him to death with a single slap. Alas, just after breaking through the ninth grade grandmaster, I'm faced with an even greater dilemma. He shook his head and prepared to sleep. Just as he laid down, a noisy sound rang out not far away. It was clearly the sound of humans speaking. There are other people coming in from the M79 living spirit domain? Chen Yu was puzzled. He immediately woke up Su Ruling Jing and then made a shushing gesture to not make a sound. Su Ruling Jing understood in a second. And soon he also heard movement not far away. The resting place of Chen Yu and Su Shu Jing was relatively hidden and not easy to find. So the other group of people did not notice any abnormality and rested in place. There were six people in total. All of them were big and thick men. These people looked like ruthless characters who licked blood from the mouth of the sword. The worst in terms of strength was a pre-ninth grade grandmaster and the strongest was already at the martial spirit realm, making it a very strong squad. Why such a strong squad would appear in a fifth level living spirit domain was beyond Chen Yu's comprehension, but he was certain that these people's goal was not simple. They are from the extreme dragon bounty organization. Su Ruler Jing recognized the symbols on the clothes of several people with a single glance. Chen Yu gave him a thumbs up and whispered, it's still you who is knowledgeable. Can you introduce this organization? The headquarters of the extreme dragon bounty organization is not in Kyoto. In Dongxin province, this organization is comparable to the existence of the Heavenly Criminal Bureau, but the two correspond to completely different businesses. The business operated by the Extreme Dragon Bounty Organization mainly includes accepting bounty orders, distributing bounty orders, as well as taking over tasks on behalf of the organization and so on. It's very extensive, no matter if it's black or white. As long as you can afford to pay them they dare to take over, and their style of doing things is ferocious and unreasonable. It's very graphic to describe this organization in terms of landlubbers and hooligans. It was the first time Chen Yu understood this organization. It was a bit interesting. Then why did they appear in a fifth level living spirit domain? Su Ruler Jing shook his head. How should I know? The six people from the Extreme Dragon Bounty Organization cleaned up a clean place and prepared to rest here. Change all your clothes first. One of the martial spirit realm powerhouses snapped. Several people quickly took off their clothes with the Extreme Dragon Bounty Organization and changed into ordinary clothes. This way, no one would recognize their identities. Big brother, we're acting without authorization this time. If the people from the elder council know about it, we'll be finished. One of the junior brothers asked resentfully, and when the elder council was mentioned, a few others visibly gave a start. With a scared expression on their faces, Jiang Yen, who was the boss, had a hard gaze and lectured. If you don't say anything, if I don't say anything, who will know? As long as I finish this order, I will be able to fly solo. At that time, the elder council will still be able to control me? Wherever big brother goes, we will go. The five little brothers spoke in unison. Zhang Yan then revealed a satisfied smile. Big brother, we are not the only ones who got the news this time. There must be other forces. With our strength we may not be able to mess with them. Zhang Yan didn't care. Don't worry. This news is only known to very few forces. Even if they knew they wouldn't dare to send a martial Zun powerhouse over to snatch it. It's too much of an eye catcher. At that time even if they snatched it, whether or not they can bring it back is a question. It's still Big Brother who is considerate. Don't worry guys, as long as this order comes to fruition, I will never treat you guys poorly, and help all of you raise your realms to the half-step martial spirit realm and martial spirit realm. 
The passion within the five was completely ignited, ready to fight for Jiang Yan. Chen Yu and Su ruler Jing were shocked. Doing a single order would help all of them raise a realm. What kind of order was this? This was great. It was impossible not to insert a foot in it. The two looked at each other and smiled heartily. Big brother, what is our goal this time? A half-step martial spirit realm junior brother asked. A few others immediately came up, with a face that desperately wanted to know what they were doing by entering this rank 5 living spirit domain. To their knowledge, a rank 5 living spirit domain would have anything good, at most comparable to S-class materials or treasures, which wouldn't be such a big deal. Jiang Yan's expression immediately turned serious. It's almost time to tell you guys about the situation here. He hadn't told anyone in detail from the time he learned of this news until now, and the five men he picked were all the most trusted ones, all of them being brothers in arms. Even so, he didn't dare to inform a few people of what he knew before entering the M79 Bioshock Spirit Domain. The level of the M79 Living Spirit Domain is only level 5. Under normal circumstances it's impossible for there to be anything good. Jiang Yan gave a beat. His gaze swept over several people, and then said, I got a very reliable and gossipy news a few days ago. The Mecha Clan will send their core layer to the M79 Biological Spiritual Domain to enter a magical site. And there exists a certain kind of substance in this site that can accelerate their planet's research and development process for the Mecha. This is most likely related to the future of the Mecha race. The last sentence was like thunder, shocking the crowd. The Mecha race's technology was at least tens of thousands of years ahead of Blue Star. And what they developed casually was enough for Blue Star's highest scientific organization to study for a long time. And they could also gain a lot from it. From this, it could be seen how terrifying the mecha race's research on machinery was. This living spirit domain actually still existed substances that affected the future development of the mecha race. The temptation of this thing could be great. If one was lucky enough to get one or two of them and bring them back, then the rest of his life wouldn't have to worry about it. This was also the reason why Jiang Yan would rather take the risk of being discovered by the elder council to come here. Big brother, how did you know about this news? Jiang Yan glared and said, don't ask me how I know. Anyway, it was the Mecha clan's own words. If his own big brother had said so, then it must not be false. The five people's energy was even stronger. They must get a few and bring them back. Their future glory and wealth will depend on them. Quickly go to sleep. We still have to continue our journey tomorrow. Don't let other forces get there first. Jiang Yan reminded in a stern voice. He was determined to win this operation. It was success or failure. After Chen Yu and Su ruler Jing eavesdropped, their interest intensified. The two of them originally just wanted to find a random living soul domain to practice on, but they didn't expect a blind cat to run into a dead rat, and they hit the jackpot. There was no reason not to go over and get a piece of the pie. The two did not say anything, just rely on the eyes to know what the other thinks. No more talk, and then sleep. Tomorrow to follow closely these a few extreme dragon bounty organization of people. Before dawn, a few big men woke up. Under the leadership of Jian Yan hurriedly rushed to the road. Chen Yu's two men waited for them to go far away and followed behind. As long as they did not go out of sight, there would be no problem. In this way, have been walking for seven or eight hours, came to a huge valley depression. This valley is like a bowl. The center is deeply sunken. The surrounding convex, standing around can be very good observation of the surrounding situation. Jiang Yan finally stopped. He instructed a few of his juniors to hide their forms and observe in the dark first, so as not to be discovered by the others. Behind them, Chen Yu and Su ruler Jing found a hidden position and continued to live in secrecy. The two of them probably had the lowest overall strength, so it was better to be careful and act as the opportunity arose. As time passed, the other forces arrived one by one. It could be clearly felt that there were quite a few more strong auras belonging to humans around. There were more than five strong people in the martial spirit realm alone. Everyone rested on their own. None of them showed their faces. They wouldn't break out into conflict until the mecha race showed up. There are two batches of auras I'm quite familiar with. Su ruler Jing seemed to sense familiar sense and began to introduce them. Directly opposite us should be the people from the Su family in Shi Yin province. And without any surprises, the one leading the group should be the Su family patriarch, Su Weixin. In the middle stage of the martial spirit realm, the group of people on the left side should be the people from the division of life rising. This organization isn't to be messed with either. They're all tough opponents. As for the remaining two groups of forces, I'm not sure, but I have a feeling that one group might be from the military. Good lord. Together with Chun Yu and the two of them, there were a total of six different batches of forces. Not only that, even the military had a foot in the door. It was going to be exciting later on. I'm not sure about the others. If the people from the military are true, then they must have sneaked over here. If their superiors know about it, they will all have to be court-martialed. Chen Yu smacked his lips. These people for the treasures needed by the Mecha clan. 
even their own future are hitched, a careless the rest of their lives are likely to be spent inside the prison ah. From this, we can know that Jiang Yan said earlier is not false, this high-end bureau ah, Chen Yu dare not have the slightest carelessness, six groups of people were distributed in different places, waiting patiently, they only knew that the coordinates of the ruins were here, but did not know where the entrance was, nor did they know how to open this ruin. They could only wait for the people from the mecha race to come over and let them open the passageway of the ruins first, then take the opportunity to enter. It was another several hours of long waiting. Buzz buzz buzz. A buzzing mechanical sound rang out in the air, instantly attracting everyone's attention. The mecha race's people are here. The six groups of forces all perked up and prepared for action. More than ten mechs arrived over the valley. These mechs were not large in size and resembled the shape of a human. It seemed that the mech race's size was similar to that of a human. No wonder the humans were so fond of the mech race's technology. It could be copied completely in equal proportions. These mechs brought invisible pressure to everyone in the underworld. Each one of them was incomparably powerful. Especially the bright red mech in the very center. Even the martial spirit realm powerhouses felt their scalps tingling. Lord Otoyu, do we need to clean up these bugs down here? The mecha next to the red mecha inquired. A human martial spirit realm powerhouse became a bug in his mouth. How arrogant and condescending was this? Otto you shook his head. No need. Let them help us scout the way. Everything in this ruin belongs to our mecha race. For a mere human to want to get their hands on it. How ridiculous. He didn't put the humans in his eyes at all. Even the previous news was most likely released by him on purpose. Just to attract some cannon fodder to help them open the way. The mecha people were even more intelligent than humans. And would take advantage of human weaknesses. Alright, my lord. Open the ruins. Otto you commanded. His expression bland without a single fluctuation, as if everything was under his control. Upon receiving the order, the other mecha clansmen began to spread out, forming a hexagram formation above the valley, as wave after wave of energy shot out from these mecha, aiming at the center of the valley. Under the infusion of majestic energy, the central location of the valley changed. Space began to distort, and inexplicable fluctuations arose. The ruins are about to open. Chen Yu's spirit was highly concentrated as he stared dead on at the center of the valley. As the space continued to distort, a somewhat unstable passageway gradually appeared in the middle of the valley, and one did not need to think to know that this was the entrance to the ruins. With a wave of one hand, Otto Yu injected another stream of red energy before the passageway was completely stabilized, allowing him to enter it. But he still stood in place, did not move. The other mecha people without Otto Yu's order, do not dare to act without authorization, all in place to wait for orders. The others were not so patient. They were afraid that the treasures inside would be snatched away by others, and they would not be able to reap the benefits. The moment the passageway opened, three of the five groups of forces rushed in. These included people from the Extreme Dragon Bounty Organization, the Sioux Clan, and the Division of Life Rising. Colonel Lin, they've already gone in. Are we still not acting? The captain looked ahead to a slender and robust man with an extraordinary temperament. Looking at his face he was only 26 seven years old, yet he was already at the rank of colonel. His future was unlimited. Lin Knight shook his head. There's no rush. Going in doesn't mean those things are theirs. His soldiers were a bit worried. Colonel Lin, we're not in line with the army rules this time. If word gets out we'll probably be court-martialed. These few people just came out to do nothing, and thought that they were on a special mission. And only after entering the M79 biological spirit domain were they told about the next mission. This made a few people scared, but they didn't dare to quit. Lin Knight smiled. Don't worry. I've already asked my uncle for instructions. He specially authorized this operation. As long as I can bring back a sample, I'll be promoted to Major General. Everyone's faces were shocked. If this came to fruition, then Lin Knight would be the youngest Major General in the Dragon Kingdom. All of you will be promoted two levels in a row and your treatment will be doubled. Roger, sir, we promise to complete the mission. These latter words gave a few people a strong shot in the arm and they no longer had any worries. Shen Yu and Su Ruler Jing were not in a hurry either and continued to watch from where they were. The intelligence of these mecha races was so high, if they really had something good how would they let the others enter first? If the mecha clan did not go in, he would not go in either. Su Ruler Jing also had the same thought. The other group of unidentified people were even more calm, not even saying a word to each other, just waiting quietly. A dozen or so mecha clans floated in midair, not in a hurry, seemingly waiting for a signal. The six big men from the Extreme Dragon Bounty Organization took the lead and rushed at the front which was very much in line with their intelligence and character. The division of life and the Sioux family's people were a bit smarter. Although they entered together, they deliberately followed behind the six big men, not too close and not too far away, so that they could react in time if there was an accident. 
The first to come in has the advantage of coming in first, at least the treasure is the first they found, to grasp the initiative. These three groups of forces have a total of 17 people, their strength is not low, their goal at this time is to point directly to the interior of the ruins, want to see what good things are inside. Passing through an extremely long passageway, the crowd smoothly entered the ruins, they dispersed in a zigzag pattern. The people from the Extreme Dragon Bounty Organization were at the forefront. The people from the Sioux Clan and the Division of Life Rising stood at the back on both sides. The three parties didn't interfere with each other and wouldn't communicate. It was a very tacit understanding, and they quickly headed towards the inside of the ruins. Big brother, these people are using us as a shield ah, letting us help them scout the way. One of Jiang Yan's men said unhappily. The corner of Jiang Yan's mouth raised in a disdainful arc. A bunch of goons, give me a remembrance. When you see anything good later, one don't leave it for the people behind. Okay? Big brother, these few people once again accelerated their pace, leaving the people of the Sioux family and the division of life rising far behind, just like ghosts entering a village, running towards the inside. The few big men quickly arrived at the first inner chamber of the ruins. According to normal circumstances, a ruin was made up of many parts, and the deeper one went, the better the treasures inside. The deepest place was generally the most central existence of the entire ruins, and the probability was that the things that the Mecha clan needed were inside but the innermost part was definitely the most dangerous. Zhang Yan is talking about locusts crossing the border, sweeping away, as long as it is valuable goods, all in the bag, will not be kind to the back of those goons to stay a little. Brothers, sweep the goods. Zhang Yan gave the order. All six of them acted, searching in the first inner room of the ruins. The things in here weren't particularly good, but the vast majority of the treasures were of grade A or above. Even if they were brought back, they could be sold for quite a bit of money. Piles of A-grade ores dazzled a few people, so they couldn't even wait to identify them and stuff them into their spatial rings. There are also some A-grade materials and weapons all packed. These things alone could be sold for several hundred million dollars. In addition to the treasures, there were also some broken mechs and equipment, which seemed to have belonged to the mech race. It seemed that this ruin had a deep connection with the mecha race. After the Sioux clan and the Life Rising Division and the others arrived, the first inner chamber already had nothing good left. Not a single hair was left for them. This group of people are really bandits. Su Weixin couldn't help but curse. It was a good thing that he wasn't aiming for these things this time, or else he would have been ready to make a move with a few big men. After Jiang Yan finished sweeping, he turned to look at these people who had hurriedly come, his eyes full of teasing, mocking these people for their small guts. Brothers, continue. After getting a taste of the sweetness, a few people became even more excited, all desperately running inside. They have already gone in for more than 10 minutes ah, how come there is no movement at all? Chun Yu was waiting outside and got a little anxious, but he did not have the idea of venturing in. The enemy does not move. I do not move. Su ruler Jing shrugged. I don't know ah, maybe all died inside. Eh, it can't be. The strength of these people is not low. Chen Yu did not believe in this possibility. Inside the ruins, Zhang Yan and the others took the lead, still rushing at the front and smoothly entering the second inner chamber. They thought that they could continue sweeping as they did earlier. Unbeknownst to them, the moment they stepped in, they triggered the defense system within the ruins, and alarms rose in all directions. Verification failed. Illegal intrusion. Extermination program initiated. Zhang Yan instantly froze in place and looked upwards. The sound just now came from above. Frightened, he turned around and prepared to run. Alpha ray pre-initiation in progress. Alpha ray activation failed. Energy depletion. Gravity field pre-activation in progress. Gravity field activation failed. Gravity release device damaged. Several defensive systems in a row failed to activate. Zhang Yan breathed a long sigh of relief. Based on the current state of this site, it had existed for at least thousands of years. How could the defensive systems be good? Scaring his soul, he gave up the idea of escaping and took big steps towards the inside. Gold devouring ghost insects prepare to release. Coldly, there was another warning sound. Zhang Yan did not take it to heart, thinking that it had failed just like earlier. Is it hard for the bugs to live for thousands of years? Request successful. Gold devouring ghost bug release in progress. As this voice rang out, on top of the ruins, the sound of a dark pavilion opening was endless. One by one, golden insect-like creatures that were only the size of a grain of rice began to awaken, and they opened their wings and flew out from the dark pavilion, their countless pairs of small golden eyes flashing in the air. The dense buzzing sound made people shiver and goosebumps rise suddenly. At a glance, there were at least millions of them. Zhang Yan was dumbfounded. From now on, all updates will be around 5 to 6 p.m. The moment the gold-devouring ghost insects came out, the Mecha clan, with the exception of Otto Yu, 
all unconsciously took a step back. This was fear from the bottom of their hearts. I didn't expect this dog Salamanca to put gold devouring ghost insects inside the ruins, obviously targeting us mecha race. He still wants to shade us even after being dead for so long. If we accidentally went in just now, we'd all have to die inside. Shadows flashed in Otoyu's eyes. It was true that he had guessed. It was good that he had let the humans explore the path, or else he would probably have planted himself inside. What kind of existence was the gold devouring ghost insect? He was well aware of it. This kind of creature was specially created to restrain the mecha race. It was a natural enemy for them. The most terrifying thing about gold devouring ghost bugs was that they liked to eat metal, especially high grade metal. Of course, the flesh and blood of high level creatures was also a favorite food for them. Mets themselves are not high strength. All rely on the external attachment of the mech to enhance the combat power. Gold eating ghost bugs Tienka Mets, small size coupled with the number of pervasive, simply cannot be blocked. In their frantic nibbling and then powerful mechs will have to be wasted. So Otto you opened the ruins of the channel after the choice to wait patiently, to ensure that there is no danger before entering. However, the biggest disadvantage of the gold eating ghost bugs is that their time from awakening to death is only half an hour. Like a flash in the pan, this half hour would be a nightmare for the creatures in it. After 30 minutes all the gold devouring ghost bugs will die due to life depletion and will go back in. Okay, Lord Otoyu, what are they muttering about? Chirping. Chen Yu could not help but wonder. He couldn't understand the language of the mecha race either. Probably planning how to pit us all to death. Su Ruler Jing said casually. Can't you say something nice? Chen Yu stayed with Su Ruling Jing for a long time and realized that this kid was just stuffy. On the surface, he looked handsome and depressed. A proper image of a million people. But sometimes he said things that were tremendously poisonous and caught people off guard kind of thing. Inside the ruins, more than 10 people cannot be so easy especially Jiang Yan and his entourage by the most violent attack of the gold-devouring ghost insects. After awakening, the gold-devouring ghost bugs would launch a frantic attack on all creatures within a certain range. Jiang Yan and the other six had already entered the second inner chamber, surrounded by countless gold-devouring ghost bugs from all sides. It was impossible to escape. They could only fight to the death. Recklessness was a price to pay in blood. Su Weixin and the people from the Division of Life Rising were going to be a bit better with only a third of the gold devouring ghost insects attacking them. Let's work together and eliminate these bugs first. Su Weixing shouted to the people from the Life Rising Division next to him. The strongest person from the Life Rising Division who had come this time was a minister. Joe Patrol, late martial spirit realm. His strength was even stronger than Su Weixing. In this moment of crisis, cooperation was the most correct choice. Joe Patrol didn't hesitate and quickly rejoined Su Weixing and the others both of them standing together to defend against the attack of the gold devouring ghost insects. Jian Yan and the six of them were not so lucky. They had to deal with nearly two-thirds of the gold devouring ghost insects. The pressure pulled full. Big brother, what should we do? There are too many of these ghost things. It's impossible to kill them all. A ninth grade grandmaster could eliminate hundreds or thousands of gold devouring ghost insects with a lift of his hand. But there were still more incoming, like rain falling from the sky, one after another. There was no place to hide. Fuck, I've been punked by those beasts of the Mecha clan. Jiang Yan swung out with a palm, leaving an empty area in front of him, which was quickly replenished. He had no other way but to hold on and resist, hoping that with their strength they could eliminate all the gold devouring ghost insects, or else they would all have to die here today. With such a dense encirclement, there were always a few that broke through the defense line and climbed onto the six people's bodies. The gold devouring ghost bug's defense and vitality was not strong. The strongest thing was its destructive power. Even weapons and armor made from SSS grade materials would be chewed up by its horrible teeth. In front of them, there was no defense to speak of. Mecha could not yet defend. And flesh and blood was even more so. When a gold devouring ghost insect the size of a grain of rice landed on the shoulder of one person from the Extreme Dragon Bounty Organization, after only a few seconds, a piece of flesh was missing from his shoulder, deep enough to be seen in the bone. The big man immediately pinched this gold devouring ghost insect to death, or else when it burrowed into his body his internal organs would be eaten up. This insignificant gadget was too terrifying. After this big man was injured, a large amount of blood flowed out, and the bloody odor emitted attracted more gold-devouring ghost bugs to fly in. In just an instant, he was wrapped up in a dense mass of tiny bugs, and no matter how much he attacked and exerted himself, he couldn't shake off these gold-devouring ghost bugs. They were even more terrifying than bone-attached maggots. Maggots might still leave you some bones. It wouldn't. This time, in less than three seconds, a living person disappeared in place, not even a hair left behind. It was as if the earth had evaporated. Zhao Shui, Zhang Yan was heartbroken as he watched his lifelong brother die. This scene scared the others, all of them desperately casting ranged attacks in all directions. 
fearing that they would miss a single gold devouring ghost bug coming in. As time passed, the number of gold devouring ghost bugs could not be felt to be decreasing at all, and the buzzing sound of their flight haunted their minds. The martial spirit realm powerhouses were fine. They had plenty of reserves and could maintain their attacks for such a long time. The early and mid ninth grade grandmasters didn't have the strength, they were gradually tiring out. The frequency of their attacks began to decrease, and there was a tendency to be unable to hold back. Brothers, you must hold on for me. Zhang Yan's current state was okay, but he felt that the two ninth grade brothers next to him were dying, unable to keep up with the pace, and it was a dead end if this continued. But he was too divided to protect himself, and was incapable of taking care of the others. Not to his surprise, Several gold devouring ghost insects broke through the defenses and began to nibble on the two ninth grade grandmasters. These two people ended up in the same way as before, instantly being eaten up, not even being able to let out a scream as their tongues, vocal cords, and throats were eaten. Ah, when had Jian Yan ever suffered this kind of suffocation? Watching his brothers die one by one, the ones like him who broke into the jungle were most focused on brotherhood and righteousness. In just over ten minutes, three brothers died. He had previously promised to bring them to enjoy life after finishing this order, and before he could fulfill his promise, the people were gone. He exploded his full strength, not allowing the gold devouring ghost bug to take a step forward. The remaining two little brothers were both at the half-step martial spirit realm and could barely cope. Su Weixin and Zhou Patrol's side was in a much better situation. Only one early ninth grade grandmaster was injured, not fatally. The benefits of having a large number of people were manifested to the fullest. Outside the ruins, Otto you moved. Without any warning, he took the lead and flew towards the ruins. The other mecha clans followed closely behind. Lin Knight and another group of forces then entered. It's ready. Go in. Chun Yu greeted Su Ruler Jing and the two entered last. Zhang Yan's eyes were wide open as he looked at the corpses of the gold devouring ghost insects that were continuously falling from the air. His face still remained tense and he had yet to recover from the crisis just now. At the same time, all the gold devouring ghost insects reached the end of their life force and all of them died. These creatures had been dormant for thousands of years, and their life force was already low, just for a moment to bloom. Big brother, how did all these ghostly things die? Originally, several people had despaired, thinking that it would be hard to escape, but they didn't expect the danger to lift itself. It was really bizarre. Zhang Yan came back from the shock and was filled with anger. His three good brothers didn't even have bones left, all because he was too impatient. There was also a deliberate design by the Mecha Clan to let him attract the attacking firepower of these bugs. Daring to hit my old man, these mecha clans must be scrapped. The mecha clan is really tricky. The two junior brothers echoed. Big brother what should we do now? Should we continue deeper or wait for the others? The two junior brothers were frightened by the scene just now and worried that the next inner chamber would be the same. Zhang Yan learned wisely this time. First collect the things here. Then wait for the mecha clan and the others to come in and wait for an opportunity behind them. Okay big brother. The three of them began to scavenge again. Su Weixin clasped his fists and said. Many thanks to Minister Zhou for his help. Zhou Patrol waved his head. Help each other? No need to thank. Let's collect the good stuff here first. We can't just cheapen those few brown guys. Su Weixin agreed. He had also contributed just now. And part of the treasures here should rightfully go to him. The three groups of people began to look for it in this inner chamber. Zhang Yan had paid the biggest price. Yet he had to share a piece of the pie with the others. He was not willing to do so. But he couldn't do anything about it. And was no longer a match for these people. As the crowd searched, whooshing sounds came from the distance. In no time, a dozen or so mechs arrived. Otoyu didn't care about the trash in the second inner chamber. Nor did he care about the humans being around. He didn't delay for a second and flew straight towards the third inner chamber. Lin Knight and another group of forces followed, entering the second inner chamber. Chen Yu and Su Ruler Jing were more obscene, following at the very back and directly running away when the situation wasn't right. The two of them only had ninth grade strength and were somewhat overwhelmed by the crowd of martial spirit realm powerhouses, especially that leader of the Mecha clan, who brought the most obvious sense of intimidation. Chen Yu vaguely felt that the combined strength of the leader of the Mecha clan was above the martial spirit realm, similar to the sense of oppression that Han Su Ren had brought to him. As a last resort, he must not clash with the leader of the Mecha tribe, otherwise he will not be able to fight or run. Zhang Yan heard the commotion, the movement of his hand stopped, turned around and rushed towards Otto Yu. Son of a bitch, I'll waste you first. If it wasn't for the Mecha clan, his three brothers wouldn't have died in vain, and he had to avenge them. Now, everyone's eyes were drawn to him. Everyone was in a wait and see state, wanting to use Zhang Yan's hand to test the true strength of the Mecha race. The Mecha next to Otto Yu immediately stood out and blocked the center. Ready to block, Otto Yu crossed his arms with one hand, stopping his men's thoughts. 
The Mecca in the middle returned to its original position. Even a mere human wants to challenge the authority of our Mecca race. Let these mole crickets know what is meant by hierarchical disparity. Zhang Yan was like a maddened lion, raging. Silk of Source Qi emanated from his body, and he didn't think of leaving a backhand as soon as he came up. Heavenly meteorite starfall. His entire body rose up in the air, his hands clasped together, carrying the might of cracking mountains and shattering valleys as he hammered at Otoyu. This strike would be all that was left of a martial spirit realm powerhouse. The hearts of the onlookers were slightly shocked. Although Jiang Yan, this person's IQ was average. His actual combat ability was terrifying and should not be underestimated. The attack arrived in an instant. Otto you didn't panic in the slightest. He raised his mech's right arm, lightly, with his right palm half gripped, an opening appeared in his palm. Red light flashed, and a terrifying and appalling energy steeply molded and fired out. A dazzling red color swept past, and the eyes of the crowd couldn't help but narrow. Bomb! The energy ray collided with Zhang Yan's heavenly meteorite starfall. An explosive ringing sound erupted, shaking the eardrums of the crowd. Even if Chen Yu was still in the first inner room, he was shocked by the energy waves and sound waves. Was this a collision above the martial spirit realm? It was too powerful. The red energy came into contact with Zhang Yan's strongest attack and lasted only a second before the red energy broke through Zhang Yan's attack and carried a silhouette flying into the distance. Avalanche. The sound of flesh smashing together with the walls of the ruins came. Zhang Yan was finished. It didn't last even a second. This was the gap between the two sides. This was the true strength of the Mecha clan. Easily crushing a martial spirit realm powerhouse. Otto Yu had proved his strength to everyone. He was the strongest creature here. There was no doubt about it. As long as he wanted to, he could have struck down all of them by now. But he didn't. Killing these losers was a waste of time. He still had important things to do. Moreover, there was a very intimidating aura looming in the crowd that made him not dare to take things too far. With his purpose accomplished, Otto Yu turned around and headed towards the third inner room. The crowd took a long time to react. And in the end, greed outweighed reason and chose to take a chance and enter the third inner room. Life and death have their own destinies. Wealth and riches are in heaven. Zhang Yan's little brother rushed over to check on his boss's condition. The situation is not optimistic. The right abdomen was penetrated by the energy out of a 4 centimeter diameter mouth, and is still continuously out of blood. Fortunately, Zhang Yan had just moved his body at the last moment, avoiding the vital organs. Otherwise he could hardly escape death. As for the treasures within the ruins, it had nothing to do with him. His heart was filled with indignation and he could only bear it himself. Put away all the things here and we'll go back. Zhang Yan could only compromise. All right then. Big brother this is medication to stop bleeding and recover. You take it first. When we finish scavenging we'll take you back. The two junior brothers picked up Zhang Yan and let him lean back and rest for a while as they went to search for treasures. Shen Yu and Su ruler Jing came to the second inner room without slowing down. Zhang Yan's two junior brothers were immediately alerted, thinking that they were robbing the treasures with them. However, when they realized that the visitors were only two ninth grade martial artists, they could not help but feel contempt in their hearts. Chen Yu and Su ruler Jing continued towards the third inner room. The two could not help but taunt. Ninth grade also wants to rob the Mecha clan. Tired of living. The martial spirit realm was not even a single enemy of the Mecha clan. And the two ninth grade martial artists were not giving it to them for nothing. When Chen Yu arrived at the entrance of the third inner room, there was already a fight inside. And the battlefield was very chaotic. It wasn't the humans in Otto Yu fighting. But the autonomous defense robots in the third chamber were activated. Hundreds of robots used everyone as an object of attack and launched a fierce attack. This site has been around for at least a few thousand years. Why are these defense robots still functioning? Shun Yu wondered. Otto Yu punched through the chest of the guard robots before taking out the energy cores from them and storing them away. Collect the super polymerized energy crystals. Otoyu gave instructions to the other mecha clans. These super poly energy crystals seem to be what ensured the guard robots normal operation. Even after thousands of years, their energy hadn't dried up, so their rarity could be imagined. The humans couldn't understand what Otto Yu was saying, but seeing it, the crowd reacted when they saw the mecha race's behavior and began to grab the mysterious crystals inside the guard robots. The hundreds of guard robots were divided into white, yellow, and black according to their color, and their levels were also different. Through their combat strength and reaction speed, it could be determined that the black robots were the strongest, yellow was second, and white was the weakest. Even though the white robot was the weakest, it still possessed a strength comparable to a mid-ninth grade grandmaster and should never be taken lightly. As for the black robot's strength, it was already close to the martial spirit realm. Both its strength and reaction were palpitating, not at all like what a robot should possess. The black robot can also shoot out special energy beams from its eyes, which are extremely damaging, 
and a strong martial spirit realm practitioner may be hit hard if they are not paying attention, the higher the grade of the robot, the larger and brighter the super polymerized energy crystals in its body. Therefore, the stronger ones would choose the yellow or black robots as the target to snatch the super polymerized energy crystals in their bodies. In terms of numbers, humans clearly had the advantage. The four groups of forces together had almost 30 people, and the mecha race only had a dozen or so. However, the speed of snatching the super polymerized energy crystals was comparable between the two sides. The main reason is that Otoyu is too strong. He can crush a robot with his hands, and the black robot can't last more than a few seconds in front of him. Shen Yu looked itchy. Let's go pick up a few. Others eat meat. We drink some soup. Right. Su Ruler Jing nodded. Yes. The two walked into the third inner room which was very large in size and joined the fight. No one cared about the two ninth grade martial artists. The two of them were the smallest in number and at the lowest realm. So they did not dare to enter the core circle of the battle. So they searched for white robots to target from the side. Chen Yu was the first to select a white robot closest to him and rushed over. This white robot also treated him as an object of attack. And the battle command was immediately triggered as a 30 centimeter long sharp blade was ejected from its right arm, slashing at Chen Yu. Miso. The sharp blade brushed along the edge and Chen Yu dodged it with his agile stance. This robot can move really fast. It's no worse than a human. He could not help but marvel at the intelligence of the mecha race, actually being able to design such a weapon. Most of the mechs designed by humans required some degree of human manipulation, making it difficult to achieve complete autonomy. The white robot failed to land a single blow. Its upper body directly rotated 180 degrees, and its lower body did not move as it launched another attack. Holy shit! Chen Yu did not expect that robots could still play like this. It was a long time coming, but wanting to hit him, it was still far from it. Thousand Shadow Silence. Open. With the enhancement of the S rank secret art, Chen Yu's speed skyrocketed, and in an instant, he pulled away and dodged the fatal blow. The white robot sudden slash slashed at the stone slab, which cracked open. Its power could be imagined. The robot would not be frustrated by the attack falling short. It had only one purpose to kill the organism that had trespassed. The lower half of its body rotated 180 degrees, reversing its stance and charging over again. Chen Yu circled around for a while with the advantage of his stance and speed, probably figuring out the white robot's attack method and trajectory of action. He stopped wasting time and activated his red dragon true body, his eyes instantly turning into vertical pupils. If it wasn't for the fear of attracting other people's attention, even the June Wrath body and Shouting Thunder Heavenly Fairy were activated. The June Wrath body and the Rebuke Thunder Sky duo are indeed good, but they are too eye-catching, and when everyone's attention is on him, it will not be easy to deal with. Under the balance of pros and cons, Chen Yu did not open the body of June Wrath and Shouting Thunder Heavenly Fairy. The S-Class body technique plus the Red Dragon true body was enough. While circling around just now, there were already three white robots that took Chen Yu as a kill target and rushed over together. Chen Yu revealed a confident smile at the corner of his mouth before his figure disappeared in place. He had already set up dozens of markers in this area when he used Thousand Shadow Silence to dodge back and forth just now, and he could move back and forth between these markers. Although there was a two-second cooldown for each change of position, it was already enough for Chen Yu. It was time to start harvesting the battlefield. Coming to the first marker, it was just behind the white robot. Without any warning, even the robot with strong senses could not turn around in time. An arm ran through the robot's chest. With a firm grip, Chen Yu took out the super polymerized energy crystals from it. Without its energy supply, all of this white robot system shut down, the light in its eyes disappearing as it collapsed smoothly resolving a robot that was comparable to a midnight grade grandmaster. Chen Yu lifted his hand to look at this crystal that shone with blue light. After thousands of years, the energy in it had not even been depleted. It was a good thing, at least comparable to human treasures of S-Class or above. He put away the super polymerized energy crystal and continued clearing the battlefield. In the process of switching positions time and time again, Chen Yu was able to successfully find the right target and kill it. Even if he encountered a yellow robot, he was still able to deal with it but it would take a little more effort to plunder the ultra-poly energy crystals in its body. In just 20 minutes, Chen Yu had obtained 10 ultra-poly energy crystals, 8 of which came from white robots and 2 from yellow robots. This was more efficient than many half-step martial spirit realms. Chen Yu did not dare to make too much of a splash and withdrew as he saw fit. If he grabbed too many and was targeted by the others or the mecha clan, it would be questionable if he could get out of this ruin at that time. He withdrew from the battlefield and watched, searching for Su Ruler Jing's figure. It didn't matter if he didn't look, he was shocked when he looked. This kid was even more fierce than him, driving the boundary meteor force field in a rampage. The white robots were blocked in the realm meteor force field, their reaction greatly reduced, 
So Xu Jing quickly killed these robots and snatched the super polymer energy crystals. There were at least two dozen white and yellow robots that died in his hands. Chen Yu used skill. He relied solely on his own powerful strength. This strong behavior of his drew the attention of many people. It was strong for a midnight grade martial artist to have such strength. The most shocked among them was Lin Knight, who looked at Su Ruler Jing in disbelief. Isn't this the Grand Marshal's ability? Lin Knight probably guessed Su Ruler Jing's identity. This grand young master's identity was not simple. Chen Yu walked through the robots and came next to Su Ruler Jing, reminding him in a low voice, Big brother, don't kill it. I'm scared. Ha! Huh? Su Ruler Jing stopped the movements in his hands and looked at Chen Yu with a puzzled face. I've only just started. Why did you end it? You didn't notice that there are many pairs of eyes looking at you ah? Su Ruler Jing had a disinterested face. Just look, is it still against the law to be handsome? Eh? Chen Yu pulled him out of the battlefield with one hand. The two of them had grabbed a large amount of super polymerized energy crystals in a short period of time, and the eyes of some forces were already out of place. If not for the presence of others, they might have gone up to grab them. This looting of super poly energy crystals lasted for an hour, and all the robots were killed. Everyone had a harvest, and the stronger the strength, the more the harvest. Everyone's faces were filled with excitement. This kind of treasure, the super poly energy crystals, was not found on Blue Star, so if they brought it back, they could definitely make a fortune. Otto you crushed the head of the last black robot and slowly walked to the middle of the battlefield. He used the translation system to convert the language of the mecha race into human language. Everyone hand over five super polymerized energy crystals. At these words, the entire group was in an uproar. What was the difference between this and open robbery? Those who don't hand them over, die, we're taking a day off today, and we'll resume updating tomorrow. The ultra poly energy crystals in the hands of the crowd were all obtained by fighting for their lives. How could they possibly give them away? Not a single person was willing to voluntarily hand over the ultra poly energy crystals. All of them looked at Otto Yu with indignant eyes. If it wasn't for the absolute difference in strength, there would have been a huge fight. One of them, a short-tempered midnight grade grandmaster, was the first to open his mouth. I've managed to get a total of three of whatever super polymerization energy crystals you're talking about. Is it possible that I still have to make up for two of them for you? He stood in the crowd, relying on the large number of humans, thinking that Otto you wouldn't dare to cut him down. Rabbits still bike when they're anxious. So many people could make the mecha race lose a lot of money even if they couldn't beat them. He didn't believe that Otoyu would be that reckless. The others vaguely drew closer to the man's vicinity, with the intention of protecting him. Although we all came from different forces, we were all on the same planet and definitely had to be united. Being protected by a group of martial spirit realm powerhouses, the corners of that midnight grade grandmaster's mouth went up to the sky. He had never enjoyed this kind of treatment before. His original slightly fearful eyes all became a little haughty, raising his head and looking slightly disdainfully at Otoyu. I said, those who don't hand it over, die, ao 2 you wouldn't talk nonsense with you, he directly locked onto that midnight grade grandmaster, die for me, in an instant, the midnight grade grandmaster found himself trapped in place, the space around him seemed to be frozen and isolated, no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't break the bonds of this space, he panicked, spatial binding was an ability only possessed by a martial exalted, a martial exalted wanting to kill him was just like crushing an ant, he kept hissing and looked around with pleading eyes, save me, the crowd came up, wanting to help. Space break, with Otto Yu's low voice. A crack actually appeared in the space that bound the midnight great grandmaster. Just like glass shattering. Ka chuck. This space was like glass that had been struck. Starting from a single point and shattering into pieces of debris with a loud bang. The ninth great grandmaster among them was also affected. His entire body shattering along with the space. He didn't even have the chance to scream. Dying instantly. After this space was crushed, a short period of nothingness appeared. And through this nothingness, the outside world of the void could be vaguely seen. Breaking through space was truly terrifying. The void lasted for a very short period of time, and the space debris and the body fragments of the midnight grade grandmaster were all sucked into the void world, completely turning into void fragments. This space once again returned to normal. Otto Yu proved his strength once again. So strong, Chen Yu in the distance couldn't help but let out a gasp. I wonder who is stronger between master and him. Those who wanted to step in to help just now were very conscious of moving their feet to the side and pulling away. As if to say, who was that person just now? I don't recognize him. To hand over or not to hand over. Otto Yu's voice resounded through the third inner room. And everyone didn't dare to retort. Everyone then began to hand over the super poly energy crystals. Some people were not strong enough. The number of super poly energy crystals was less than five. And the big brother who led the way had to take a little more out. Chen Yu and Su Ruler Jing didn't want to be the ones to stand out, 
and handed over 10 super poly energy crystals. Nearly 150 super poly energy crystals came into Otto Yu's hands. The human harvest was directly halved. Otto Yu stopped threatening and turned around to walk to a giant door. The more than 100 meter high giant door revealed a thick and heavy atmosphere. It was a product from the ancient times. Tall and majestic. Even the strongest of the Wu Zun could not force their way in. This was the last line of defense of the ruins. Only by opening it could one enter the last inner chamber. He handed over a hundred or so ultra poly energy crystals to his men. Go open the gate. After the mechs received the order, they took the super poly energy crystals they had just captured and placed them at various locations of the giant gate. Each one placed lit up a ripple, which went straight to the center of the giant gate. These ripples were like conductive lines that fed the energy from the super poly energy crystals into the center. The crowd all gritted their teeth when they saw the behavior of the mecha race. The mecha clan didn't take out a single one of their own ultra poly energy crystals and use theirs to open the door. At the same time, the crowd's spirit concentrated. They knew that the rail treasure was coming out. The last inner room was the main event. What the mecha race needed was definitely inside. Otoyu seemed very confident and didn't care if the humans would snatch what he wanted. What exactly do you think is hidden inside this ruin? The two of them, Chen Yu and Su Ruler Jing, were still standing at the very back, watching from afar. How should I know? Just go in and take a look later. You really dare to go in? Chen Yu was a little worried. Su Ruling Jing was not shocked by Otto Yu's strength from beginning to end. Nor did he develop a fearful mentality. People who had seen the world were different. His dad was the strongest prosperity martial saint in the Dragon Kingdom in terms of battle intent. And Otoyu was nothing in front of the prosperity martial saint. Su Shu Jing naturally disdained. He had seen several martial arts saints. Martial arts strength is not enough to fear. Chen Yu probably guessed that Su Ruling Jing was carrying a powerful treasure. The kind that could kill a martial saint. That was what fit his identity. When the last ultra poly energy crystal was placed into the groove. The energy followed the ripples into the center of the giant door. The ancient giant door that was over a hundred meters tall activated. The giant door slowly moved to the sides, revealing the scene inside. The crowd looked up. Their moods agitated. Whether or not they could turn the tables depended on this one. Otto Yu was the first to step into the core of the ruins, with the other mecha races following behind. The crowd was still hesitant to go in, worrying about what strange and bizarre defense means would appear inside. Watching Otto Yu go deeper and deeper, the crowd could not resist the temptation and entered one by one. Chen Yu was also hesitant to go in. Su Ruler Jing took it upon himself to follow the large group and walked in. Hey, wait for me. Chen Yu was a bit terrified, always feeling that things were not that simple. The fourth inner room was much larger and more empty. Yet there was nothing. There was only a statue. Looking at the appearance of the statue, it should also belong to the mecha race. Otto Yu stood under the statue and laughed out loud. Salamanca, you have a good heart. Hiding the ruins in a rank 5 living domain, misleading the entire clan and making us search for thousands of years. We've searched for tens of thousands of ruins from a level 6 living spirit domain to a level 9 living spirit domain, and found nothing. If it wasn't for my sudden idea, I wouldn't have been able to come here in this lifetime. Otoyu was incredibly excited at this time, his mood stirring. His ancestors had been searching for this ruins for a long time, seeking bitterly but not being able to end up. The inheritance of dozens of generations was found by him but it wasn't exciting. Today, our mecha clan will rise again. Hula, the other mecha races chanted in unison, as if it was a kind of faith cheer for their community. What are they barking at? Can't understand a word. Shen Yu looked at these mecha races like they were godly men. Lord Otto Yu, it's almost time. A mecha next to him reminded. Only then did Otoyu come back to his senses from his self-touching. It was time to get down to business. He stretched out one of his mechanical arms and flipped it over to face upwards and a square cube appeared steeply in the palm of his hand. This square flashed with a piercing deep blue light, and was many times more powerful than a super polymerized energy crystal. At this moment, everyone's attention was on this square. The energy fluctuations emanating from it were too creepy. Even a nuclear bomb explosion was less than one ten thousandth of it. This level of energy reminded Chen Yu of the puddle of red liquid that Firefire was born in. Only that puddle of liquid was comparable to it in terms of level. However, the energy released by that puddle of liquid was disorganized and had not been processed in any way. The energy released by this cube was regular and had been processed. In terms of rarity, the cube was superior because it was organized and controlled. And the total energy contained in this cube was much more than the puddle of liquid. Definitely an astronomical number that could not be estimated. Enlightenment crystalline nuclei. Never run out. The mecha clan began to talk divinely again. After Otto you took out this mysterious crystal, the entire room stirred especially the strongest at the martial spirit realm and above, who looked at each other, their respective little thoughts seen through. 
when the real treasure in the ruins appeared later, everyone would strike together, all taking out their skills, even if Otuoyu could not kill them instantly. At that time, whoever was lucky, the treasure would be theirs. The Mecha clan stood in a row, poised and ready to attack the humans who were making presumptuous moves. As long as someone dared to come forward to disturb Otoyu, they would definitely suffer an attack from all the firepower. Without the treasure appearing, the crowd did not dare to act rashly. Shen Yu's emotions were stretched to the limit, his eyes were dead set on that energy cube, just what kind of existence needed to be activated with this level of energy body. Otto Yu was the most excited in the room, he had been waiting for this moment for decades, as long as it went smoothly, he would become the strongest creature of the mecha race, and would surely surpass the planetary level in the future. As for these humans, they were just witnesses to his glorious start. Of course, after witnessing it, they would have to keep the ruins forever. Under his control, the Enlightenment Crystal Core flew towards the statue. This Enlightenment Crystal Core was not simple. It was made by the Mecha race absorbing and compressing all the energy of a planet. The mining and compression process had lasted for tens of thousands of years to obtain such an Enlightenment Crystal Core. And energy had been continuously injected into it during the process. This Enlightenment Crystal Core already has certain cosmic laws. Even if the energy in it is exhausted, it will still absorb energy on its own. So it was said to never run out. Otto Yu was now handing out the Enlightenment Crystal Core. It meant that what existed in this statue was even more precious than the Enlightenment Origin Crystal Core. When the Enlightened Origin Crystal Core came to the position at the statue's brow, it stopped rising and slowly disappeared into the statue's brow. A period of time passed and there was no reaction. Otto Yu gazed at the statue with eyes full of anticipation and was in no hurry. Ten minutes passed. Very suddenly, a ripple of fluctuation radiated from the statue in all directions. There was a reaction. Everyone in the room, including Otto Yu, was too nervous to blink. Among the unidentified group of forces, there was a person whose body visibly shook, and an uncontrollable exhilaration appeared on his face. As the fluctuations became more and more intense, the eyes of the statue suddenly opened as if it had come to life. The eyes of the statue looked towards Otto Yu. You are the Otto clan? I didn't expect that your lineage hadn't finished dying. It's a pity. Otto Yu lightly chortled. My ancestor's life is hard. Salamanca. You traitor escaped with the most powerful technological crystals of our mecha clan. You are a disgrace to our mecha clan. If it wasn't for you, our mecha clan's technology wouldn't have stagnated for so long. His emotions were agitated as he hated the statue. Even if you escaped, isn't it still hard to escape death? This is also retribution. Knowing that the owner of the voice had died long ago, and that the one talking to him was nothing more than a remnant program, Otoyu relieved his breath fiercely. The statue was silent for a while and continued, Even if I die, my fruits are not your turn to enjoy. You don't deserve it. Undisguised mockery. Otto you didn't care at all and snorted. It's not your turn to decide. I will lead the mecha race to a stronger future. There was contempt in the statue's eyes. He looked down on Otoyu. Otoyu stopped talking nonsense and released a wave of interference, completely destroying the voice in the statue. He couldn't wait, wanting to enjoy the most powerful results the mecha clan had ever seen. Come out to me. Otoyu roared. Shocking pressure escaping outward from the red mecha's body as red energy wrapped around the statue. He was going to extract what was inside. Under the catalyzing and extraction of the red energy, a little bit of bright blue light peeled out of the statue and gathered into a point. Over time, the dot turned into a ball, the size of a fist. This ball shone with bright blue light, and the energy emanating from it was exactly the same as the Enlightenment Crystal Core. Obviously, the Enlightenment Origin Crystal Core had been incorporated into it. As the last of the bright light was stripped out, the statue ran out of support and collapsed into dust. This blue ball was the strongest technology of the mecha race? The crowd wondered. The blue orb began to descend from the air, and the curve of Otoyu's mouth could no longer be controlled. As long as he fused it, he would be the leader of the mecha clan. Do it! A low, hoarse voice rang out from the crowd. Afterwards, four figures rushed towards the blue ball cluster with lightning speed. Their auras were no longer hidden and majestically erupted. One martial zoon realm, three late martial spirit realm. The aura released from these people was somewhat bizarre. Differing greatly from ordinary martial spirits and martial zoons, and carried a hint of brutality. These four people were the very same group of forces that Su Ruler Jing had not recognized, they had been playing soy sauce the entire time, even grabbing the ultra polymer energy crystals earlier were paddling just for this moment. It's actually Ghost Evil Jail's Hey Lao San. Hey Rascal. No wonder I didn't recognize them just now. The corner of Su Ruler Jing's eyes shrunk. Ghost Evil Gao? Black Rascal? Shen Yu did not recognize it at all. A cult? The royal family has always wanted to eradicate this organization, but they couldn't even find their shadow. I didn't expect it to appear here. 
Su Ruler Jing did not have a good temper towards this kind of cult. These people did not do anything wrong. Everyone had to kill them. Otto Yu's face darkened. No wonder he had just sensed an aura in the crowd that made him palpitate slightly. It turned out that there was also a human martial Zun powerhouse hidden. Under the driving force of this martial honorable master, the other forces also don't care. Whoever snatches it is who. Swarming up. Otto Yu immediately gave the Mecha clan a deadly order. Stop them for me. He was the closest to the blue light cluster. So as long as there were no surprises, no one would be able to snatch it. None of the Mecha clan's strength was weak. Stopping everyone except Black Rascal. Black Rascal had martial exalted strength. It wasn't something they could deal with. The moment Otto Yu flew up and grabbed the blue light mass, Black Rascal had already arrived. Black Rascal blasted out a palm at Otto Yu's chest. This was the full force of a martial exalted strike, and it was as powerful as a sword. Otto Yu didn't dare to be careless. He grabbed the blue light mass with one hand and protected his chest with one hand as he blasted against Black Rascal. Bang! The place where the two sides came into contact was tyrannical with energy. Countless energies clashed against each other and then annihilated. Even the space was a little unstable. The sense of intimidation and suppression brought about by the simple collision of a martial exalt caused Chen Yu to feel despair. Otto Yu held the blue light mass and retreated with the help of the recoil. Human, how dare you try to get your hands on our mecha clan's things. Seek death. Black rascals dry. Evil. Blackened face revealed an excited implication. Sticking out his tongue and licking the corner of his mouth, he said grimly, hand over the thing and leave your whole body. He had been holding back for such a long time. Just for this moment, he couldn't afford to give up on his previous endeavor. In terms of comprehensive strength, both sides were more or less the same, and it would be difficult for Otto Yu to crush the black robe if he relied solely on his personal strength. But he didn't show a hint of panic. Instead, he laughed out. Good. Let you be my first stepping stone. Let you see God's technology. After Otoyu finished speaking, he slapped the blue light mass in his hand into his chest, where he was going to fuse this light mass. He said in a voice that everyone could hear. Griffins, let's show you the strongest technology of the Mecha Clan. The Ultra Nano Fusion Mecha. The code name of this mech. Kai Zero. The humanoid mechs of the Dragon Kingdom were all still in the beginning stages, and didn't even know what a nano mech was. People had already developed the super nano mechs. This was a technological crush. Only Otto Yu knew how powerful the ultra nano mech that combined the Enlightenment Crystal Core was. This mech had already broken through the limitations of traditional technology, and was the apex of the mech race's technology. It was the result of the supramolecular level, and to a certain extent, it could allow a creature to complete an instant evolution and become a legendary god. Flesh and blood are bitterly weak. Machinery soars. It couldn't be more appropriately described with these words. Black Rogue wanted to stop it, but it was too late. Spit it out for me. He attacked with an attack that carried a falling star. Never letting Otoyu fuse this mech. Otoyu was in no hurry to release a layer of absolute boundary on the periphery of his body. Even if the martial saint came, he could still last 20 seconds. This was also a part of his plan to ensure that there would be no problems with the fusion process. Black Rogue's powerful attack landed on the boundary, only triggering a ripple that could not be broken. Ha ha ha, Griffin, you still have 20 seconds to escape. Otoyu was already fantasizing about a game of cat and mouse. His hands were spread wide and his head was tilted up, waiting for God's gift with a pious gesture. A few seconds later, a beep sounded. Warning, incompatible. Touchdown program passively triggered. Otto Yu froze. What the hell? He didn't understand why he couldn't fuse Kai Zero. Soon, he guessed the reason. It must be Salamanca's trick, just to prevent the mecha race from fusing Kai Zero. Salamanca, you beast. Kai Zero's touchdown program was triggered, and it actively detached itself from Otoyu. Even Otoyu was unable to control the process, he kept grabbing at the regathered blue light mass, but he couldn't get a hold of it. The blue light mass reappeared, causing hope to flare up in Black Rogue's heart. It's my old man's. He reached out and grabbed it, but was also unable to grab it. The blue light mass passed through the crowd and flew quickly. Those who passed by scrambled for it. Mine. This is mine. Get out of my way. None of them managed to grab it. The blue light mass flew straight towards a person. It was actually Chin Yu who had started to run away. The moment the black rogue appeared, he and Su Ruler Jing wiped their feet and chose to slip away. Their strength did not allow them to participate in the scramble, so they might as well run away earlier. Otherwise, when the scramble ended later, they could only wait for death. The blue light mass arrived above Chen Yu's head, frightening him so much that he stood still, not daring to move. He raised his head to look at the light mass. Big brother, I didn't invite you to mess with you either. After the blue light mass identified its target, it flew into Chen Yu's body in front of everyone. The touchdown program has been completed. Fusion with the weakest creature is complete. 
This was the bottom-touching program set by Salamanca, which would be triggered whenever the mecha race wanted to fuse with Kai Zero. Kai Zero would actively choose the weakest creature nearby. Chen Yu, I'm the weakest? You're looking down on me? In terms of realm, he was indeed the weakest in the entire room, and no one was weaker than in early ninth grade. This was also the reason why Kai Zero chose him. This made Chen Yu feel insulted. Otto Yu was about to be infuriated when he saw this scene and roared. Why are you doing this to me? He knew that this was a deliberate act by Salamanca, just to piss off the mecha race. Even if he let a loser fuse, it wouldn't be cheap for the mecha clan. Chen Yu inwardly stated, so, I'm a waste. 3200 words big chapter, counts as two small chapters. The anger in Otto Yu's heart was hard to describe in words. In order to activate the Qi Zero mech, he had used up the Qi Yuan crystal core, and the basket had come up empty, cheapening it for a waste. Now, even if he decapitated Chen Yu and retrieved the super nano mech, he would not be able to activate it. This was Salamanca's revenge against the mecha race. No matter what, it was imperative to get back the super nano mecha and maximize the losses, or else it really was working for someone else. Not only did Otto Yu lock onto Chen Yu in the entire room, but so did everyone else. The martial zoons, martial spirits, and ninth grade grandmasters all stopped fighting, their gazes looking towards the innocent looking Chen Yu, their expressions agitated and dumbfounded. Chen Yu was merely an early ninth grade grandmaster, his realm was the lowest here. The crowd thought for granted that he had the lowest strength and was the best to bully. As long as they slaughtered this kid, the Ultra Nano Mecha would be theirs. There was no job in the world that was easier than this. After fusing the Ultra Nano Mecha, Chen Yu was still in a daze. How did he become this lucky boy in a haphazard manner? He didn't know if he was happy or sad, but he knew that he was about to be slaughtered. Six or seven martial spirit realms and two terrifying martial zoon powerhouses were staring at him. It was hard to escape with his wings off. How about I return this ultra nano mech to you guys? Chen Yu said resentfully. However, there was no way for him to take out the ultra nano mecha that had long been fused with himself. This ultra nano mecha was very strange. It was directly fused with the cells within Chen Yu's body rather than being worn on the surface of his body. This was beyond the scope of human imagination. A mech could actually reach this level. And if the outside world knew about it, it would definitely be anatomical treatment. The two sides had become one. Chen Yu did not want to die. He had not lived long enough. You still don't run away ah. Stranded here staring. Su Ruler Jing's reminder made Chen Yu come back to his senses. No matter how it ends. Run first. I'll slip away first. See you at school. Chen Yu finished speaking and ran towards the outside of the ruins. Thousand Shadow Silence opened. Red Dragon True Body Enabled. June Wrathful Body Enabled. No more preserving strength. Run as fast as you can. Enhanced by powerful secret arts and physical qualities. It exceeded the speed of sound and ran so fast that the crowd was gone in a blink of an eye. Even the martial spirit realm powerhouses didn't react. This is the speed that a ninth grade grandmaster should have? At this speed, no one below the martial spirit realm would be able to catch up with him. Chen Yu had already broken through the ninth grade grandmaster, and although he possessed the ability to fly briefly, he felt that it was not as good as his legs, so there was no choice to fly. Chase. I don't know who shouted, and everyone in the mecha clan chased after him. Su Ruler Jing watched Chen Yu walk away as he opened his realm meteor force field at the exit of the ruins, trying to block these people's footsteps. His strength was limited and he could not block them for too long. It was also a way to do his friend's part. Among them, Otto Yu and Black Rascal were the fastest, instantly rushing through the force field, and could catch up in less than a moment. For some reason, Chen Yu ran faster and faster. His body could not feel a bit of fatigue. It should have something to do with the super nano mech that he had just fused. However, he was not sure what functions the Kai Zero had, and it was too late to feel it out now. During his escape Chen Yu also kept leaving markers behind him to increase the probability of escape. The effective diameter of the Thousand Shadow Silence was 3 kilometers, which meant that the furthest punctuation point could not be more than 3 kilometers from one's location. After running for a short while, he felt two lurid auras appear behind him, rapidly approaching at several times his speed. It must be Black Rascal and Otto Yu. These two were the most difficult to deal with. It was too difficult to survive from too martial exalted. Kid, obediently hand over the treasure and I'll spare your life. The words from the black rogue's mouth were as good as a fart. How could he possibly survive being caught by him? Human, return my mech. As for Otto Yu, there was even less to say. Being caught would surely be taken back to be sliced and studied. A life worse than death. No matter who was caught, it would be a miserable end. Not what Chen Yu wanted. Seeing that Chen Yu was unmoved, the two strong men suddenly increased their speed and instantly came behind Chen Yu, simultaneously reaching out and grabbing at his shoulders. The moment he was about to touch, Chen Yu's figure flickered and disappeared in place. 
He returned to the mark three kilometers away. This time he continued his escape in another direction. Thousand Shadow Silence is truly a life-preserving divine skill. Chun Yu had just exclaimed, when he suddenly realized that there were two more familiar auras not far behind him. Otto Yu and Black Rascal had caught up again. What a shadowy soul. It was impossible to escape when one's aura was locked by a martial zoom powerhouse. Three kilometers was but an instant for Otoyu and Black Rascal. Kid, don't struggle. It's impossible for you to escape today. Obediently go with the old man. As long as you join us in the ghost evil gauntlet, we might still be able to keep you alive. Add your grandmother. Chun Yu would not join some bullshit cult. Black Rogue frowned at the dislike. Toast, then I'll waste you before bringing you back. After saying that, the Black Rogue released a ball of black gas that flew towards Chen Yu at great speed. If he was hit by this thing, he would be completely out of luck. There was no other way but to retrace the other markers again. The mass of Black Chi followed closely, faster than a martial honor. Chen Yu's thousand shadow silence had already entered its cooldown period and could not go back to the other markers. Looking at the Black Chi that was about to hit him, Chen Yu's heart went cold. This is the end. It was simply impossible to resist with his strength. Just as his heart was as good as dead. A mecha beep sounded. Is it entering absolute stealth mode? After Kai Zero fused with him, it began to function. Enter. Chen Yu didn't even think about it and directly determined it. Absolute stealth mode is on. Do not move during absolute stealth mode. Subsequently, Chen Yu's body gradually became lighter. Surprisingly becoming one with the air. And if one did not touch it with their hands, they would not be able to discover it at all. All the aura on Chen Yu's body instantly disappeared. As if it had never appeared. The black gas lost its target of attack and slowly dissipated. I'll go. So fierce. Chen Yu was stunned by the stealth ability. He just didn't know if he could escape the search of the martial exalted. Where are the others? A few breaths later, Otto Yu and Black Rascal arrived at the location where the black chi dissipated, which was next to Chen Yu. The two powerhouses were less than five meters away from him, scaring him so much that he didn't dare to breathe. How come I can't lock onto his aura anymore? Black Rogue was filled with doubt. Just now, he was still fine. Feeling that his black aura was about to hit Chen Yu, but the person had inexplicably disappeared. Could it be that this kid was saved by some martial saint? Apart from this possibility, the black rogue could not think of any other escape plan for Chen Yu. Otto Yu used the scanning system and scanned all of the more than 10 kilometers in a radius and found no trace of Chen Yu. What a hell. Looking at the two strongest people beside himself unable to do anything, the pressure in Chen Yu's heart plummeted. With the lights going dark, who would have thought that he was still here? I don't believe I can't find him. Even if I turn this place upside down today, I will find him. The black robe left and flew in another direction. Otto you didn't dare to delay and flew in a different direction. Seeing the two powerhouses fly out of sight, Chen Yu remained unmoved and did not exit the absolute stealth mode. Standing still. 3 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes. At the 16th minute, the figures of Otto Yu and Black Rascal reappeared, and they returned here. These two hadn't gone far at all, and their attention had been here the entire time. It was good that Chun Yu took this into consideration. Otherwise he would have fallen into their trap. Still nothing. How strange. This time Black Rascal and Otto Yu really flew off into the distance. Chen Yu didn't dare to be careless and stood still for several more hours until darkness fell. Determining that there was no danger before lifting his invisibility and dashing furiously towards the nearest teleportation station. As long as he returned to Tianyun University, he would be safe. As Chen Yu gazed, he saw a familiar figure waiting for him outside the teleportation station. Good boy. You really ran back. Su Ruler Jing did not leave and had been waiting. He believed that Chen Yu would not be caught so easily. It was just unimaginable how he escaped from the hands of two martial zones. Hurry back to school. Chen Yu was anxious. He felt that staying here for one more second was one more second of danger. As long as he returned to Sky Cloud University, Otto Yu would not be able to catch up. The two sides belonged to different planets, and it was impossible for him to come to the Blue Star. As for the other forces, they simply didn't recognize themselves or know where they were, and trying to catch him was a daydream. The two entered the teleportation station and teleported back to the school without hesitation. After a moment of trance, they once again returned to the school's teleportation building. The joy of the aftermath lingered in his heart. This trip to the spirit of life domain was really too dangerous, almost losing his little life. But the harvest was quite good. Not only did he raise his strength to a ninth grade grandmaster, he also brought back the most advanced technological achievements of the Mecha clan. It could be said to be the winner in the end. The ultra nano mecha that he himself had fused was far beyond all the technology of the blue star. Chen Yu was excited and at the same time did not dare to inform others about this matter. Su Ruler Jing was still trustworthy. Others were not so sure. I'll go back to the dormitory first ha. Huh? I'm really tired. 
Chen Yu and Su Ruling said goodbye and returned to the dormitory first. This biological spirit domain expedition was short in time but profound in significance. In the future, there would be opportunities to explore more in other living spirit domains. He had just laid down when his cell phone rang. At a glance, it was Han Su Ren calling. Chen Yu answered the call. Teacher, is something wrong? Come to my office. Han Su Ren did not say why, but his tone clearly had other implications. Chen Yu did not dare to rest and headed towards Han Su Ren's office. He knocked on the door and after receiving permission, he entered the office. Teacher, you're back ah, looking for me for something? Han Su Ren looked up at Chen Yu with a serious expression, constantly sizing him up. Chen Yu was somewhat confused by the look. Teacher, what are you? Han Su Ren spoke. It's only been a few days since I've seen you. You're a ninth grade grandmaster? He had just returned today and was checking various documents as per his usual practice. As the director of instruction of Tian Yun University, he usually had quite a lot of things to take care of, and a lot of documents and processes needed to be determined by him. He happened to glance at the updated list of the heavenly ranking. It wasn't too different from last month, but just before moving his eyes away, he found a familiar name on the list. Wasn't that the disciple he had just taken on? He had traveled for more than a week, and before the trip, Chen Yu was only a 7th grade martial artist. After returning, not only did he become a ninth grade grandmaster, he also defeated the 14th on the heavenly ranking. This was too unconventional, so even if it was very late, he still had to ask in person. Chen Yu had come out of the Red Rainbow Demon Realm before and raised three realms. It was exaggerated. If he had said that he had received some sort of inheritance, it would still be justifiable, but now it wouldn't be justifiable, right? Even for a supreme genius like Xia Qingling, it had taken two years for a 7th to ninth grade grandmaster. Compared to this disciple of his, Xia Qingling was really inferior. Han Su Ren was afraid that Chen Yu had learned some demonic technique and forcefully raised his realm through unnatural means. This is the last thing he wants to see. Although the effect of the devil's merit law is good, but the side effects are too big. The current may not be able to see. Later found that it will be too late. If this was the case, it must be stopped in time. Even if it dispersed the cultivation within Chen Yu's body, he could not be allowed to continue cultivating. Looking at his teacher who was so concerned about him, Chen Yu's heart warmed. Of course he would not tell the true situation, but in order to dispel Han Su Ren's doubts, he could only use his red dragon true body in person, a powerful dragon majesty spreading out and enveloping the entire office. Even Han Su Ren's powerful divine sense couldn't help but be shaken. This terrifying pressure startled him. Pure dragon race majesty. It definitely couldn't be faked. And the aura was familiar. Isn't this the aura of Lord Dragon God? Why is it so strong on you? Han Su Ren immediately recalled that Chen Yu had been to the Dragon Sacrifice Domain. And the Lord Dragon God was inside the Dragon Sacrifice Domain Ah. Then there was only one possibility. Chen Yu had received great appreciation from Lord Dragon God and had obtained some sort of secret method or inheritance from the Dragon Clan. Chen Yu also used this reason to explain to Han Su Ren why his realm had risen so quickly. The Red Sky True Dragon. That was the strongest creature on the Blue Planet. Even if it helped Chen Yu raise two realms, it would be as easy as a slap in the face. This now made sense. The worry on Han Su Ren's face receded and he laughed out loud. Worthy of being the person I have my eye on ah. Even the dragon god lord treats you like this. The future is unlimited ah. Chen Yu was a little embarrassed. Teacher is overstating things. It's all because I'm lucky. As I said, luck is also part of strength. You shouldn't always be too modest. Okay teacher. Then do you have anything else? If not, I'll leave you to rest. It was already past 12 at night. And tomorrow, Monday, Chen Yu still had classes. You go back first. Han Su Ren waved his hand with a smile on his face. Chen Yu nodded and turned around, ready to leave. Just as he walked to the door, he was called to stop again. Wait. Chen Yu immediately stopped in his tracks and turned around. Puzzled. Teacher, do you want to participate in the National College Tour competition? The sudden question made Chen Yu somewhat unresponsive. Han Su Ren had mentioned it to him once before but did not go into detail. Chen Yu was quite interested in this national college tour competition at that time, but his realm was too low to even qualify for the competition. Now that he had become a ninth grade grandmaster, he was definitely qualified. Han Su Ran also took this into consideration. With Chen Yu's strength as a ninth grade grandmaster going to the national college touring competition for some training, it was not bad for him. Even if he didn't perform well in the end, it would still be a good accumulation of experience. After all, he was only a freshman and there was still a long road ahead. Are you willing? Han Su Ren asked again. Chen Yu said repeatedly, Teacher, I'm willing. He still liked this passionate life rather than studying and cultivating all day long in a boring way. Of course, cultivation didn't mean much to him. 
It wasn't like he relied on cultivation to raise his realm. That stuff was too slow. Good. Then I'll sign you up for the school qualifier first. We have a total of five spots at Tianyun University. Ah, there's still an intramural qualifier. One didn't need to think about it to know that it was a competition with other heaven ranking students for places. The top few of the heaven ranking were still very powerful. It was difficult to stand out from this group. That day in the dragon sacrifice domain, Chun Yu had a profound feeling. Apart from Xia Qingling, there was also a martial spirit realm senior. And that senior did not look weak. On top of that, there were several half-step martial spirit realm seniors and sisters ah. The pressure was immense. 